Hello and welcome to another Marble Tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah and we are back for another Marble Tournament. We have a track that's kind of similar to the last video, but this time we've added more funnels and we've gotten rid of the spinner section and replaced it with a Plinko section with those little black and yellow dividers, which will just change it up a little bit for some of these marbles. Uh, last time we saw a, quite a few overtakes right in this little section at the end where the marbles would take the funnelist route and then the marbles that were actually ahead would be in the funnel and they would move out because they were stuck in the funnel. This time we've added funnels to those sections of the track to kind of equalize the field. Now it's time for group A. We have eight competitors competing in this race, a lot of which you uh, don't compete very often. We have Belgium, Senegal, uh, Libya, Pakistan, Ecuador, Vietnam, Madagascar, and France. And it is Pakistan and France being followed by Libya in the lead. And Madagascar is also in there as well in the second funnel. And it looks like Pakistan has taken over the lead, being followed by Libya yet still. But here comes Senegal and uh, France, who takes over the lead there through the half pipe. And then Libya is in the other half pipe. Let's see where France goes. They go down the right side of the half pipe. And you see there, there is a funnel on this lane this time. In the last video, there was no funnel there. So France would have made it to the first place way quicker, but they still were able to hold it, even though they had to go through the funnel in this first round. Belgium comes in at second, Libya in third, Senegal in fourth, Ecuador in fifth, and Madagascar comes in at sixth. So that will eliminate Pakistan and Vietnam, the last two marbles to finish in this race. Pakistan was in the lead first part of the race, but they ultimately lost out through those funnels, resulting in their elimination. So these are the six marbles advancing to the first quarterfinal. Now it's time for quarterfinal B. We have Philippines, Angola, Brazil, Japan, Lebanon, Nigeria, the USA, and Tanzania all competing in this second group. And it is Angola off to lead, being followed by the USA and Lebanon. Lebanon comes up and takes the lead, but here comes Brazil, and now they're in first place, coming all the way out to the second tan funnel, which is the fourth funnel overall. Which marble will come up in second? It is Japan, and they give a hit to uh, Brazil, and now a whole bunch of marbles going through that funnel, and it is Nigeria and the Philippines to break away from the rest of the group into the half pipe. But here comes Brazil, and they come and retake the lead, and now they're in that orange funnel up at the top. And who comes out first? It's Nigeria. Out of nowhere, I think they came out of that can funnel. Philippines comes in at second. Brazil in third. Tanzania comes in at fourth. Japan in fifth. Lebanon in sixth place. We only have two more marbles to go, but these two marbles are eliminated because they are the last two marbles of the group. So Angola and the United States will be eliminated from this tournament. So six more marbles, advancing to the quarterfinals. Now it's time for the first quarterfinals. France, Madagascar, Belgium, Senegal, Ecuador, and uh, Libya. Get started here. The interesting thing about this specific uh, tournament bracket is that all the marbles that compete in each round have already competed in each other in a previous round because they are not going against other uh, heats that advance to each other. It's simply a last two elimination style so these marbles already kind of have a feel of how the other marbles are racing and it is France and Ecuador in the lead but Libya is also up there as well the last two marbles at this point Belgium and Madagascar need to do some work they want to get out of the elimination zone but France is falling down and they are in fifth place right now Ecuador and Libya and Belgium all in the lead and Libya comes in at first Belgium comes in at second Ecuador in third place there's only one more spot open for the advancement spot. And Madagascar is looking like they're already in lead, but here comes uh, France and Senegal. It's a race in the funnels. Who will exit the funnel first? And here comes Madagascar, and they barely overtake France. And Madagascar will be the final marble to advance out of this first quarterfinal. France and Senegal will be eliminated from this quarterfinal. The so four marbles advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for quarterfinal B. Which marbles will advance this time? 
We have Nigeria, Lebanon, Tanzania, Japan, Brazil, and the Philippines. And it's Tanzania who comes out to the lead, being followed by Japan and Nigeria. We'll round off your top three to enter the first funnel. A whole group of marbles there, and it's Nigeria and Tanzania who get out first to the second funnel in Japan, giving some momentum to some other marbles. Tanzania is able to get out of the trouble. Japan, though, being a pretty aggressive racer, and here comes Tanzania. And they are able to go through the third funnel. And it is Tanzania who enters the half pipe first, being followed by Brazil now out of nowhere. Japan already falling down. Nigeria is already in the funnel. And Tanzania will take first place. We're still coming in at second. No, that's Nigeria. Brazil will come in at third. There's only one more spot open. And right now, Lebanon and the Philippines are fighting in this final funnel for one advancement spot. And it is the Philippines. So the Philippines will be the fourth and final marble to advance to the semifinals. And Japan and Lebanon will be eliminated from this tournament. Japan having some pretty aggressive racing through those funnels ultimately did not turn out for them. Now it's time for the first semi-final. Libya, Belgium, Ecuador, and uh, Madagascar. To get started here, only four marbles this time, and only two will advance to the final round. So there's less marbles to fight against, but it also makes it harder because all the marbles are so close together, and there's less spots open, only the top two will advance. Right now it is Madagascar and Libya who have already entered the first funnel, but here comes the other two marbles. They're all really close. And who comes out first? It's Madagascar. Libya and Belgium though, not wanting to be left behind. Libya actually takes the lead. They're all pretty neck and neck through these funnels. The half pipes is what really is going to stratify these marbles. It's Libya and Madagascar in the half pipes first. Which uh, lane will they take? Madagascar takes right, uh, Ecuador takes left, and Libya takes the straight path. And it looks like Libya will be in first place, but Madagascar comes and takes it at the last second in that merged section. Libya comes in at second. Ecuador and Belgium will be the last two marbles to be eliminated from this semifinal. So Madagascar and Libya will be your first two marbles to advance to the final round of this tournament. African nations, Libya and Madagascar. Who will they go against? We're about to find out. Get started with semifinal B. Brazil, Tanzania, uh, Philippines, and Nigeria. Be your four competitors who have made it this far into the second semifinal. Tanzania out first. Brazil coming in at second. Philippines and Nigeria in the elimination spot. And it is the Philippines who comes out first through the first funnel, being followed by Nigeria. And then Tanzania and Brazil still fighting. Brazil having a hard time catching up to the other marbles. They're still in the first funnel, and two marbles are already in the third funnel. Brazil having a terrible time in this semifinal. Nigeria overtakes the lead, being followed very closely by Brazil, uh, Philippines and Tanzania. And it is Tanzania who comes out first. They're in the first tan funnel, the central uh, exit from these two half pipes. And here comes Brazil and the Philippines. Tanzania will get first. The Philippines is in the funnel. But here comes Nigeria and Brazil. Brazil has a lesser chance because they're in that farther funnel. And here comes the Philippines. And they will be the other team to advance to the final. Brazil and Nigeria will be eliminated from this semifinal. Tanzania and the Philippines will advance to the final round. So Tanzania and the Philippines will advance against Madagascar and Libya. We have three African countries in the final and then one Asian country. Which continent will be the champion of this tournament? We could have a full African sweep. We have a one, two, three on the podium. And it is Tanzania who comes out first. Libya in second. Philippines is in third. Madagascar is in fourth. But it all changes as get to the final. Libya in first. Philippines in second. And then Tanzania and Madagascar still fighting in the first funnel. They're neck and neck. And now they're pressuring the Philippines for a second. Philippines barely gets out of that funnel in time. Libya, though, 
really pretty far ahead from the Philippines. Unless the, somehow the Philippines can overtake. But Phil, uh, Tanzania overtakes Libya through that funnel. Now they're both in the half pipes. This is for the championship gold spot. And here comes Madagascar as well. They're all neck and neck. Madagascar takes the central lane. And they're circling and they're going to take it. And they will be the champion of this tournament. Who will come in at second. It's Tanzania. And Libya will come in at third place. The Philippines will get fourth. We have a full African sweep. All one, two, three spots. Our country is from Africa. Madagascar coming in first with the gold. Tanzania with silver. And Libya with the bronze. Philippines will get fourth place. Pretty good accomplishment for these three marbles. These marbles are not featured in the Quebecus Marble Runs tournaments very often, so it's good to see them be able to perform so well in this tournament. So it is Madagascar who will win the Quebec Cup of this tournament. They get the gold medal and they will be the champions of this tournament. Congratulations to Madagascar for being your champion of this tournament. Tanzania coming in close at second and Libya in third place. Full African sweep, as I said. All these marbles, that's some pretty amazing performances. Hello and welcome to Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this marble race tournament. In today's video, we're gonna have a track with very many features, starting off with the Plinko and some spinners up through the elevator to a sky rail, and then through a funnel section down to the final Hubalino maze section with two half pipes and then a final funnel. But also you can bypass the funnel depending on which way you exit the half pipe. This is gonna be an intense race and an intense tournament as we have a lot of different countries some of which do not appear on this channel very often so we'll have to see which countries are competing in today's tournament will we see any marbles going into that final tan funnel and then be bypassed by some other marbles who actually go through the uh, section of the track that actually skips the funnel altogether we'll have to see as we get started with the first race here here is the bracket system for today's tournament. You see we have eight competitors all competing at once in our first group. Let's take a look at all the countries competing in this group. We have Brazil, Qatar, Pakistan, USA, Ecuador, Vietnam, Cameroon, and the United Kingdom. That is a mouthful of marbles as we get started through the Plinko for the first time. And it is Brazil off to lead being followed by Ecuador and then the USA. And they're all packing into this first hand funnel and uh, entering the first orange and now the second orange funnel and this Ecuador and Cameroon who are battling it out in this funnel section. Cameroon is looking like the first marble gonna be exiting. No, it's not. It is Ecuador who is taking back the lead. And now uh, uh, Cameroon having some trouble and here comes the marbles at the end and who will be the finish first? It will be Ecuador and the United Kingdom will get second. Cameroon in third and USA will finish off your top four we still have four more to go. The bottom two marbles in each round will be eliminated until we only have four left in the final. And the two marbles that will be eliminated, Pakistan and Vietnam, they will not be moving on to the next round, unfortunately for them. So these are the marbles advancing to the quarterfinals. Next up for our next group. We have Japan, we have Libya, we have Argentina, Poland, Mexico, Indonesia, India, Ukraine, and Japan. We just started here, who comes out to the uh, first place? It is Argentina being followed by Poland and then Mexico. Argentina did have a little bit of a lead through the sky rail, but really, that funnel really uh, diminishes your lead quick because uh, all the marbles get stalled right after moving so quickly through the sky rail. And who's off to lead at this point? It's uh, Indonesia being followed by Mexico and Argentina now. Both of them opt for the funnelist route, and it will be uh, Indonesia who will win the first 
uh, second heat in this tournament. Mexico coming in at second, and Argentina takes the funnel. Some other marbles can possibly pass them. Now they are able to exit the funnel and get third place. And here comes Ukraine. They get fourth. They will advance the next round as well as for India. And only one more marble will advance, and that will be Japan. The Poland and Libya will be eliminated in this first round. Libya way far behind from the rest of the marbles. Must be a humiliating defeat for them. So now we are done with the group stage in this tournament. It's time for the quarterfinals. First up for quarterfinal A, we have Cameroon, the UK, Qatar, as well as United Kingdom, Ecuador, and USA. All these marbles fought against each other in the first round. And let's see how they do in the second round. Ecuador getting a little, or Brazil getting a little bit stuck after that spinner section. And it is Cameroon and Qatar, as well as the United Kingdom, who now takes first place fighting in that funnel. But they are also facing some pressure from Cameroon, who did the same sort of strategy in the last time they competed. But they did lose out when they fell down the order in the second half of this race after this little uh, funnel section. We'll have to keep an eye on them. But at this point, they still, still are in the lead. And here comes Ecuador, though. They are rivals so far in this tournament. Ecuador takes the funnelist route. And they will take first place. And here comes the uh, United Kingdom. And they barely get third place. Because the car comes out and takes the away from them. And Cameroon will get fourth place. And unfortunately, that will eliminate USA and Brazil. Two big names in this tournament. And in Quebec, the Marvel runs as a whole. These two teams will not make it to the final round of this tournament. The four marbles have advanced to the semifinals. Now it's time for quarterfinal B. And only four more marbles will advance to the semifinals. And then two from each semifinal will advance to the final round in this tournament. Here we go with second quarterfinal. Mexico, Indonesia, Japan, India, Argentina, and Ukraine. We have a very uh, wide selection of countries to choose from in this group. And it is Ukraine coming out to lead. But they're facing some pressure from Mexico and Indonesia. Also Japan. But they uh, are losing out a little bit through this funnel section. Argentina trying to push out ahead of the uh, rest of the pack. They're about a funnel and a half away. And they opt for the funnel section after the half pipe. And Japan and Indonesia as well as India all trying to fight out in that funnel. Argentina will finish first, advancing to the semifinal. And uh, let's see which other marbles will advance with them. Japan comes in at second. Ukraine is in third, but they are in the funnel and also facing some pressure from Indonesia and India. And Ukraine goes out first. So Ukraine will advance as well. And India will be in fourth place. Indonesia and Mexico will be eliminated and they will not make it to the final round of this tournament. Also, I think I forgot to mention, but Japan also got second place. So they will advance to the semifinals with the other models to semifinal B. We are now entering the semifinal stage of this tournament. First off, semifinal A, Cameroon, the UK, uh, Qatar, and Ecuador will be your four contestants for the first semifinal. And they are off of this Cameroon coming out to the lead. Or no, that's Ecuador. And United Kingdom coming in at second. Ecuador but in the lead at the uh, uh, Sky Rail section. But so they've all caught up to uh, each other in the first hand funnel. And it is Cameroon coming out to the lead first. The United Kingdom coming in a second. And Ecuador following close behind. Ecuador and the United Kingdom as well as for Cameroon. All kind of seem to be rivals. And they've all been battling it out in this tournament so far. But only two of them will advance. The car is also in there as well. They can work some magic if they wanted to like they do right here. Look at that. They almost made it out of the funnel first. They come in at second. They're battling Cameroon. Which side of the half pipe will they take? Cameroon takes the funnel. And Qatar takes the funnel this side. So Qatar will be your first marble to advance to the finals. And it's going to be a race to the line for Cameroon and the United Kingdom. Cameroon comes out. And Cameroon will advance over the United Kingdom by a hair. United Kingdom and Ecuador will be eliminated in this semifinal. And Cameroon and Qatar will advance to the final round. And now it's time for semifinal B, Japan, Argentina, Ukraine, as well as uh, India. So we got three marbles that are white. 
And one marble that is yellow and blue, which is the Ukraine marble. And right now they are in first place, being followed by India and then Argentina. Japan is lagging behind, but here comes the funnel section. Who comes out first? It's India, but Ukraine speeding close behind them in that orange funnel. And it's looking like they're giving some momentum to India, but they're all kind of uh, pushing each other around through this funnel. And Argentina now is all the way to the uh, fourth funnel in this tournament. India is able to pass Argentina there, and Ukraine is falling down to last place. India goes to the final funnel. All these other marbles still can pass India if they opt for the funnel section after the half pipe. And India is able to finish in first place and with Japan coming in close at second. Unfortunately for Ukraine and Argentina, they will not advance to the next round, which is the final round of this tournament. They got so close that they weren't able to do it. Now it is time for the final round in this tournament. Qatar, Cameroon, India, and Japan will be your four competitors in this final round who will be crowned the champion and win the feedback of cup. We have started here and it is Japan coming out to lead Cameroon in second and India and Qatar having a little bit of trouble after that corner section. Cameroon coming close behind Japan and they've entered the first funnel. India a hard hit to Japan there. And who comes out of the first funnel? It's Japan. And here comes Cameroon doing the same strategy that Japan did to uh, India. But India, uh, Japan is still able to hold the lead. And now there are almost two funnels ahead of the second place marble, which is Qatar. And they are circling with India and Cameroon. Having a little bit of trouble there, but now they're in third place. Trying to pressure Qatar. But Japan is about to exit the last funnel. And they will be the champion of this tournament. They will get first place. Qatar and India battling for second. And Cameroon is still in the half pipe. If they take the funnel as section, they might be able to take second place. But here comes India. They will take second. And Cameroon will be able to take third over Qatar in the last second. But Cameroon will get the bronze. India with the silver. Japan with the gold. Qatar getting a respectable fourth finish. But of course, it is not on the podium and uh, not as great as the bronze, silver, or gold medal. So it will be Japan who will be the champion of this tournament and get the Fubeka Cup. They definitely worked very hard through multiple rounds and quite a few marbles to get here to the podium to sit on top with the gold medal and the very large trophy. They are the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Japan. India coming in close at second. Cameroon in third place. All these marbles. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Fubeka's Marble Wings. I'm Jeremiah and we are here at the Fubeka Stadium for this friendly Marble Circuit style race. We have 16 countries from all over the world competing in today's race. And as we take a look at today's track, we have brought back the booster, which we did not have in the last video. So we're gonna have a multi-lap race for today's race. 16 countries, like I said, will be competing. And uh, we'll have to see which team is the best. As we get started with the race, 11 laps. You can see all the countries up there on the left. And we are off. Who comes out to the lead first? The yellow marble, I believe that's Mexico or Ghana. Yes, it is Ghana. But it, here comes Japan coming into first place, being followed by Korea. We get going here. We have uh, an interesting mix of marbles from all sorts of countries, as well as um, all 16 marbles going at the same time. That's a rare occurrence here on Quebec's Marble Rings. So this is going to be a heated match. And it is the USA which came out to lead in this first heat, or first lap with Korea trailing close behind, but they're facing some pressure from Germany as well as from Japan. And India is rounding off your top five as we start lap two. And it's USA who's trying to extend their lead from Germany coming in at second place, now facing some pressure from Brazil. And Korea is falling down as well, going through the helix yet again. And here comes Ghana and they take over first place over the USA to that helix section. That's gonna be the section that you wanna keep your eye on in this race because that is the point where a lot of the stratification of marbles happen. But the USA is falling down to third place now. And it is Germany who is in lead being followed by Ghana. And then uh, USA 
facing some pressure from Indonesia in France. But there is a large chase pack outside of the top three marbles and is getting to the helix for the third time. Germany is still able to hold the lead and they are gaining some ground over some of these other marbles trying to extend their lead and it is Ghana coming in at second. USA needs to take second place. They want to be able to challenge Germany but they are also facing some pressure from a lot of other marbles behind them. We already have a blue flag. Mexico stuck on the track and they're going to get lapped. For sure, they're going to get last place. We might have an overlapping here. Germany trying to come up and overlap Mexico. An unfortunate event for Mexico. That's not what they wanted to happen in this race. It's Germany coming in first, facing some pressure from Indonesia and Ghana. And uh, then the next chase pack coming in. Uh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth being led by Japan and then Qatar and the USA. And Germany still in the lead. They've been leading for quite a number of laps now. But here comes Ghana and Je uh, Germany has fallen down all the way back to third. But they gained back second. And it is Indonesia who came out first in that chaos through the helix. And Ghana is able to keep second place. And now Germany's losing even third place. Here comes Qatar. They're in third place now as we get started with the sixth lap. We are halfway through this race already. It is Indonesia in the lead being followed by Ghana and Qatar. USA has fallen down to fifth. They're not out of the running yet, but it's going to be hard for them to catch up. And uh, as well as for Germany, they're falling down to fifth now. USA able to pass Germany to fourth place. Indonesia facing some pressure from Qatar and Ghana yet still. We enter the seventh lap. Indonesia really needs to stretch out their lead if they want to be able to uh, have a good chance of winning this overall championship. Ghana, though, needs to try to stay close. One of the strategies that some of these marbles can take is not lead, but follow the leader. And then once the leader tires out, that's when you try to come up and pass in the last couple of laps. We are starting the eighth lap now. As Indonesia crosses the finish line for the eighth time. Qatar now coming up behind Indonesia, trying to draft them, but they aren't able to. Indonesia is able to escape through these turns. USA now still in fourth place, being called by Japan, who has overcome Germany for fifth place. We get through the helix yet again. Still Indonesia in the lead, being called by Qatar, er, Qatar and Ghana. Japan coming in at fourth. USA though, coming up, drafting Japan a little bit. And here comes Ghana, trying to come up and overtake Qatar. Not much action though, we only have three more laps to go including this lap we are on right now. Indonesia through the helix yet again. And some hard hits there from Ghana and Qatar. And it is Qatar who's still in second place. Japan has uh, taken third place from Ghana. That's the first change in podium we've seen in a couple laps. USA though, coming up close to Ghana and they take fourth place. Ghana takes third. Japan has fallen down to fifth. USA could still have a podium. Take a look at what happened here. Looks like we have a marble that came off the track through the booster. That's Korea. And Korea will be having a DNF in this race. And I thought nobody could do worse than Mexico. It seems they can. As we start the final lap, it is Indonesia in the lead being followed by Ghana and Qatar. Then the USA and Japan will round off your top five. So we can start with the final lap here. Indonesia has quite the lead, but he's going to have some trouble because Mexico might slow him down, especially through this helix. See there. Mexico having uh, requiring Indonesia to give them a bump and Ghana and Qatar trying to make up some ground here comes Ghana they're neck and neck up the booster we only have one more turn to go and who will take it it's Indonesia and Indonesia will be your champion of this race 11 laps to victory Ghana coming in at second very close behind they almost had the win Qatar coming in at third place only 0.8 seconds behind Indonesia, Japan in fourth, and USA rounding off your top five. An amazing race today. Indonesia coming out with the win. They held the lead for quite a number of laps. Once they got, once they got in the lead, they were in the lead for almost half the race. I think it was like lap six or seven that they gained the lead and they never lost it since. We take a look at some of these replays here. Japan was in the lead at the first lap. Also, Germany loved, uh, led the race for maybe two or three laps right in the beginning of the race. Once they got their footing right in this first lap, and then they fell down out of the top five even. 
uh, and they didn't have good, uh, as good of a race. USA, though, was able to get in the top five, getting fifth place. They were a good contender in this race. They were up there in the top six, seven. I don't think they were ever, even ever in seventh in the entire race. They were able to hold out, and they finally got in the top five. Not a podium, but still, top five is a good accomplishment for the USA. Indonesia, though, is the one that everybody aspires to be today. They won the race. As well as for Ghana and Qatar, also two very fierce competitors. They uh, were in the top five as well for most of the race, even in the top three. Ghana, Qatar, and Indonesia really battling it out for the podium spots, and they never really lost out uh, outside of the podium. But it was Indonesia, Qatar, and then, or no, it was Indonesia, Ghana, and then Qatar, and that will be your gold, silver, and bronze. Congratulations to Indonesia for being your Marble Circuit's friendly champion. Ghana coming in close at second, Qatar getting the bronze. Indonesia though, getting the gold, being the champion. And they get the rewarding feeling of being the fastest marble, fastest country in this tournament. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Fubeka's Marble Lines. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to welcome you to this Marble Circuit style tournament. This will be a little bit different than Marble Circuits in that it's one race down to the end of the track and there's no booster, no elevator. It's just a sprint to the finish and then the top two marbles will advance to the next round and then there will be the semifinals and then whoever advances from the semifinals will go to the final round where the champion will be crowned. As we take a look at today's track, you can see we have a very, very long straight at the beginning of the course. And then it turns into some uh, turns, kind of like a square shape turn down to a U-turn. And there's also the helix section over at the end of the course. And that will just stratify the marbles even more after they've already worked so hard to get to the end of the course. We'll have to see how these marbles deal with that element. get started here with the bracket system which marbles will be competing in today's tournament we have four groups a b c and d and for group a we have indonesia the uk india and france and these are the four marbles that will be starting us off in the first group let's see how they do and they're off who comes out first it's india being followed by france and then uh the indonesia actually india and indonesia look pretty similar and it is India, uh, Indonesia in the lead, being followed by the United Kingdom, and then India and France is trailing in the back. And it is India still taking this race by storm. Really, it's a, a race for second place at this point, and right now it is the United Kingdom who's in second place. But here comes India, and they pass over through the helix, and they will advance with Indonesia. Both of the white marbles will advance, the two blue marbles, unfortunately, will be eliminated. So India and uh, Indonesia will advance and then France and the UK will be eliminated. Now it's time for Group B, Peru, England, Cameroon, and the USA. USA in the blue, Cameroon in the green, England in the clear, and Peru in the red. And it is Peru off to the lead. England coming close behind, trying to drop, but here comes Cameroon, and they take over second place through that little chicane section there. And it is Peru still holding the lead. Here comes Cameroon, though. Facing some pressure from the USA and uh, England. And a contact from Cameroon there to Peru. Nothing uh, uh, crazy though. Peru is able to hold the lead. And here comes Cameroon. Will the other two marbles be able to pass? No. So Peru and Cameroon will advance to the next round. And England and the USA will be eliminated in this first group. Cameroon and Peru will be going up against Indonesia and India in the first semifinal. Now it's time for Group C, which marbles will be competing this time? Sweden, Mexico, Germany, and uh, Ecuador. And it is Germany coming out to lead. Sweden coming in close at second. Ecuador and Mexico in third at fourth. But really, 
the top two marbles have already sealed their spot unless somehow they lose out in the uh, helix section. And Sweden has taken over Germany for first place. Germany's trying to come up and take uh, the lead from behind, but he doesn't really have to because they both are going to advance. And really, no contest for the first two uh, marbles compared to the second group. So it will be Sweden and Germany advancing to the semifinals. Ecuador and Mexico will be eliminated. So Sweden, Germany, semifinal B. Now it's time for Group D. Vietnam, Argentina, Japan, and Brazil. Argentina in the white with blue. Japan in the pure white. Vietnam in the yellow. And Brazil this time in the blue. A different change of uniform for uh, Brazil. Unusual, usually they're in the yellow color. This time they are blue. And it is Japan coming out to the lead, being followed very closely by Argentina, but a little bit of trouble there. And that allows Vietnam to pass into the advancement spot. Brazil is now taking third place. They're trying to come and catch up to Japan and Vietnam. But unless they somehow get through the helix quicker than these top two models, it won't happen. In the top two models, Japan and Vietnam, will advance to the semifinals. Brazil and Argentina will be eliminated. So Vietnam and Japan will advance to the second semifinal. Now it's time for semifinal A, Indonesia, India, Cameroon, and Peru. Indonesia in the white on the left. And India is the more bluish tint white. But Peru is taking lead. Cameroon in the green, lagging back in the back. And it is Peru facing some pressure from Indonesia, who's kind of trying to come up and take first place. But really, it's the top two uh, that uh, matter at this point. The finals, however, that's a very different story. Peru still in the lead by a long shot. Indonesia coming in at second. And these are the two models that will advance to the final round. Cameroon and India will be eliminated in the second round. Now for Peru and Indonesia. It's all about taking first place in the final. Not, none of this stay in the top two business. But now it's time for semifinal B. Sweden, Germany, Vietnam, and Japan. Sweden in the yellow with blue, Vietnam in the yellow with black. Germany's in the lead in the black color and Japan with the white. But here comes Sweden and they take first place over Germany through these next couple of turns. This group is pretty close together, but Sweden is trying to extend their lead and try to get away from the rest of the pack. Germany though is fighting uh, Vietnam for the advancement spot and right now they're still holding it, but Vietnam can still take it. It's not out of possibility, but it will be Germany and Sweden who will advance the first and second. Vietnam and Japan will be eliminated. Vietnam had a good run. They tried to get there, but they just weren't able to do it. We'll take a look at the replay. Interesting seeing the two yellow marbles right next to each other. Not sure if they were trying to cooperate, but eventually it was Vietnam who fell down and Sweden was able to advance. So I'm not sure if that collaboration worked out for Vietnam. Maybe they'll consider uh, not co collaborating with some fierce competitors because they might be two-faced. Now it's time for the final round in this Marble Circuit style tournament. Indonesia, Peru, and Sweden will be your four competitors. Which marble will advance to the winning spot, the gold medal uh, champion in this tournament? Three marbles will sit on the podium one will go home without a podium, without a medal. And one will be crowned champion. As we start the final round, of Peru, Germany, Sweden, and India, uh, Indonesia. And it is Germany, again, taking the lead at the early point of this race, being followed by Sweden and Peru. And, and now here comes Indonesia. They take second place. And they're now setting their sights on Germany. Germany trying to hold them off. And luckily for them, and here uh, they were uh, going the right direction. And here comes Germany through the helix for the final time. And it will be Germany who is in the lead. Peru closely gets second. Indonesia in third place. Sweden will be the marble, not sitting on the podium. Germany with the gold. Peru with the silver. Indonesia with the bronze. What an intense match. Peru barely coming up against getting second place. Indonesia would have had it. But Peru was able to use that helix to their advantage. And they took over uh, Indonesia in the final second of the race. Germany pretty much took the lead at the beginning of the race and held it for the entirety 
of the race. We saw that, uh, and a lot of their races in this tournament seems to be their strategy, and it seems to be a good one since there's only one lap in this race. There's less time for the other marbles to catch back up and no elevator or booster to kind of change your momentum and allow some of the other marbles to catch back up. See there, Indonesia almost passed them. Had the turn been to the left, Indonesia would have passed Germany, but Germany knew at the start that it was turning to the right. Peru almost had it there as well, but Germany was still able to hold it. Some great moves by Germany defensive moves that allowed them to keep the lead for the whole race to get to the helix here. Peru was in first place. Indonesia and Sweden, though, did catch up. They had a little bit of a lockup here. See, Indonesia and uh, Sweden were smoother through the second half of the uh, uh, helix there. And Peru barely going out over Indonesia in that final straight. So will be Germany who is the champion of this tournament? Congratulations to Germany for winning this Marble Circuit style tournament. Congratulations to Germany for being your champion of this tournament. Peru coming in close at second with the silver, Indonesia in the bronze, but today everybody aspires to be Germany with the gold medal and the Kubeka Cup. Congratulations to them once again. Hello, Marble Sports fans, and welcome back to Kubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, and glad to welcome you to this friendly Marble Quadrilla Tournament. As we get closer to the Quadrilla 2022 Tournament, uh, it's time for these marbles to get warmed up to that style of tournament and that's what we're going to do here on this quadrilla track in today's video so we take a look at today's track there will be a lot of features that we will see in the quadrilla marble run tournament 2022 here in a couple weeks you can see the finish line here and then you can see the track with a lot of square type track pieces where the marbles can either go one way or the other and then we get to the funnel section the one lane funnel with the red plastic ones and then the larger wood ones and uh, we'll have to see how these marbles do and how rusty they are because they haven't done very much quadrilla in the last couple of months so here is the bracket system it'll be one team versus one other team one marble per team and one will advance to the semifinals and then it'll be the same in the semifinals and then we'll have the final with four marbles First off, we have China versus the Philippines. And it is China who comes out to lead through the first red funnel into the second funnel. You get here, this is the first time that the marble can overtake and see if the Philippines can do it. And the Philippines are able to get through that funnel fit, uh, quicker. And that will allow Philippines to gain quite the lead over China. China can still take it through the Plinko if the Philippines does some bad moves there, and they do. So China will advance. The Philippines actually gets a DNF. What a terrible finish for the Philippines. And so that will advance China to the semifinals. Next up, we have Qatar versus Indonesia. Indonesia in the clear. Qatar in the darker shiny blue type color we get into the first red funnel it's kind of an inverse funnel and it is indonesia in the lead but here comes qatar a little bit of speed there but they lose it again and let's see if qatar can t overtake in this second funnel and it's still indonesia who's in the lead next up we have this parallel uh rail section here comes Qatar. They're getting pretty close. It's neck and neck, and Qatar takes it through the Plinko at the last second. Qatar will advance only eight hundredths of a second ahead of Indonesia. So that will advance Qatar versus China in the semifinals. Next up, we have Ecuador versus the USA. USA in the blue, Ecuador in the yellow. And they're off. It comes out first. It's Ecuador, and USA has some trouble kind of bouncing before they get into the hole to the inverse funnel. And Ecuador is about a half a funnel lead. 
have a fun radius. The USA is able to catch up a little bit here. Let's see if they're able to exit the big wood funnel first. No, they won't. They're still up a little bit in the lead. USA only has a little bit more time to catch up. Oh, look at that. A bump from Ecuador. Keeping the USA from catching up. Here comes the Planko, and the USA overtakes at the last second again. Like we saw in the last round, the USA will advance over Ecuador. That last Planko section can make or break your race, even if you have a significant lead. A lot of times, these other marbles will be able to pass you. Next up, we have Argentina versus Mexico. Argentina comes out first, but will Mexico be able to overpass in the Plinko section? We'll have to see as we get to the end of this race. But it is Argentina still in the lead. Mexico can uh, overtake in this first funnel as he enters the first overtake point. But it's still Argentina is able to take it. Now for the parallel line, line section. Argentina is still in the lead, but watch out for this Planko here in a second. But it's still Argentina who is able to take it over Mexico. Mexico is not able to uh, do that section very well. And they also kind of got hit out of the hole to the Planko section by Argentina. That's another strategy you can do. So Argentina will go up against the USA in the semifinals. Next up, we have Switzerland versus Brazil. Switzerland is the first marble to come out into the inverse funnel and into the regular red funnel. Now it's time for our first overtake point and in Switzerland having a little, little bit of trouble in that marble splitter that might allow Brazil to come up and take it. And they're neck and neck. Brazil takes it through that section. Switzerland has not very much time left to go. Brazil going through the plank up here comes Switzerland, but it's still Brazil. Brazil will advance to the semifinals and Switzerland will be eliminated. Whole second behind uh, Brazil for Switzerland. That's a pretty hard defeat for them. Next up, we have Spain versus Cameroon. Cameroon in the green, Spain in the yellow. Keep going here. Cameroon, first marble to fall back. And it is Spain, who has a pretty significant lead already through the first red funnel. And it's the second red funnel. Spain is doing an amazing job in this tournament so far. They're already halfway through the funnel. They've already exited it. And here comes Cameroon as well. Cameroon way far behind though. Spain has, or Cameroon has very little time left to even try to overtake Spain. But look at that. He's caught up to Spain. And he overtakes in the last second through the Plinko. What happened to Spain's lead? A downfall for Spain. Not sure if they got stalled on the track, but Cameroon will advance to the semifinals. What a mishap for Spain. Next up, we have Ghana versus Japan. And it is Japan. Comes out to the lead first through the red funnels. Now it's really just about staying with the competitor ahead of you, which Ghana is doing a bad job at right now. So you can get to the next overtake point, which is right here. And it is Japan who exit first. Ghana about a uh, length and a half behind Japan. And here comes Japan through the Plinko. Having a little bit of trouble, but they will advance over Ghana. Ghana will be eliminated 1.7 seconds behind Japan. Ghana did not have a good race in today's tournament. So Japan will advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for our final group in the group stage. Sweden versus India. Which marble will come out on top in advance in the semifinals? Yeah, the semifinals. It's India who comes out to the lead through the finals. And we're about to enter the first overtake point. Let's see if Sweden can overtake India through this first section. Still India comes out Sweden, but not by much. Sweden very close behind. They're neck and neck. Sweden still has a chance. And here they come through the final Plinko, and India gets through it quick. India will advance to the semifinals. Sweden will be eliminated. A close match. Sweden just wasn't able to overtake in that final Plinko section. Now it's time for the semifinals. China versus Qatar will be our first matchup. 
China in the red, guitar in the black, shiny, almost a metallic color. Guitar able to get a slight lead because China had a little bit of hesitation out of that blue block right before the inverse funnel. So guitar already getting pretty far ahead of China. As we enter the first overtake point, I don't think China's going to be able to do anything about it. They're pretty far behind guitar at this point. Unless somehow Qatar messes it up in the Plinko, they've advanced to the final. And they will. China not able to even get close. 1.6 seconds behind Qatar. And in uh, in the Marble World, that's pretty far behind. So Qatar will advance to the final. Next up, we have USA versus Argentina. USA in the dark blue. Argentina in the white with the light blue. USA comes out first. USA has been doing pretty good in these recent tournaments. They've gotten a couple podiums in the last couple videos. We'll see what they can do here. Looks like they're pretty close, but it is Argentina who isn't able to get up to the USA in that first one. I think the enter hole of the uh, right funnel on the opposite side. Look at that USA getting first by seven thousandths of a second over Argentina. And what a close win for the USA. And they will advance to the final versus Qatar and two other marbles. Next up, we have Brazil versus Cameroon. But as I was saying, the two large wooden funnels are actually the same piece. And so since they're uh, facing opposite directions, the hole that you exit in will actually be on the opposite side. So it's hard to gauge which marble is ahead. See Cameroon coming into the wood funnel and then uh, Brazil as well. You can see Cameroon will enter in the front side, but Brazil enters in the back because it's the same actual um, piece. And Cameroon is in the lead, but Brazil is not very far behind. They might be able to take it if they can get through the Plinko first, and they do there. And Brazil will be able to advance to the final, and Cameroon will be eliminated. It was a pretty close match. Cameroon was in the lead for some of that race. Brazil is able to take it at the last second. Now it's time for the final fi uh, semi-final in this tournament. Japan versus India. And Japan is the lighter color. India. More of the darker streaks. As we enter the inverse funnel, it is Japan who is in the lead. But here comes India. They're pretty close. They enter the marble splitter. A little bit of hesitation there. But I think they're pretty close at this point. Is Japan it comes out to lead by not by much. And here comes India though. India might be able to take it over the Plinko section. They're pretty close, but it is in uh, Japan who will advance to the final round. 0.2 seconds ahead of India. So Japan will be going up against Brazil, the USA, and Qatar in the final round. This will crown the top three podium finishers in this tournament. Which marble will be the champion of this friendly quadrilla marble run tournament? The fans are excited. The atmosphere in this stadium is intensifying. So get ready for the final round. We have the USA, big name in these tournaments. Brazil, another big name in these tournaments. And then Guitar in Japan are smaller names. Let's see what they can do. And is the USA following Qatar in the first two spots? As uh, Brazil and Japan coming in in fourth and or third and fourth. And let's see if the USA can overpass Qatar in this first one final. And Qatar comes out first, then the USA. But there's still hope for the USA if he gets to the Plinko section and is able to overtake Qatar. Let's see if he does right here. This is for the gold medal. And it is Qatar who will win this final? USA coming in at second, and Japan in third place. Brazil barely losing out on the podium. Qatar getting the gold. USA with silver. Let's take a look at some of these replays. See what just happened. See the USA getting past Brazil right in that first little funnel section. And then it kind of separated into two groups. The front group and the back group. Qatar in the USA being in the front group. USA was never able to overtake Qatar, so Qatar 
will be the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Qatar. But also congratulations to the USA and Japan for getting second and third. Congratulations to Qatar for getting the Marble Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament Gold Championship. USA coming in close at second and Japan in third place. All these marbles did some amazing performances and they definitely Hello and welcome to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for another Funnels and Stairs Tournament. We had this track a couple uh, videos ago and we've tweaked it this time to add some more elements and make the racing more intense. We've added a funnel as well as a skywalk section which we'll, you will see in a little bit as well as we have the two large funnels that we had in the last time we had this tournament. That will definitely be an interesting element in this tournament. So here are the practice systems for this tournament. We have four groups. Each group has four marbles. And then two marbles from each group will advance to the next group until we are at the final round. And the winner of that will be the champion. First off, Pakistan, Philippines, Brazil, and France. As we get going here in the marbles, I'll go over that skywalk, which is a new feature here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. And into the first yellow funnel, they go. Who comes out first? It's Brazil being followed by France. Brazil's already in the red funnel. France is now facing some pressure from Pakistan who gets there first and now Pakistan is in second place Brazil's making their way up the stairs this time we've added a little separator in between the two stair sections to make sure we don't have any more marbles falling down the stairs like we did the last time we were at this track and who comes up in second it's the Philippines Brazil and Pakistan are in third and fourth uh, France uh, France not Brazil had just exited the funnel there and Brazil is already up into the second green funnel. And here comes the, the Philippines, though. But Brazil taking this race by storm. They're already about to exit the white, the first white funnel. And they're already up into the orange funnel. There's only one more funnel after that. And it's the white funnel, which is actually a little bit quicker than the orange funnels. Because of the uh, rate of spiral. And here comes Brazil. And Brazil will take first place. No problem. And Brazil will advance to the semifinals in this tournament who come out in second it's looking like france unless somehow one of these other marbles can do a miracle at this point though it's not looking like it's gonna happen and france will get second place and they will join brazil in the semifinals, and they will advance pakistan in the philippines will be eliminated from this tournament brazil really had it for that entire race they came out early and stayed in the lead for the whole race, a great uh, performance by Brazil. Next up, we have Peru, Spain, Mexico, and Japan for the Group B. And we're off. Who comes out first? It's Mexico over the skywalk. They go into the first yellow funnel, being followed by Spain and Peru. But Japan comes out from the back, and now they're in first place through the second yellow funnel. And look at that. Peru gets stalled underneath the yellow funnel. And that makes them lose some ground. But now they're catching back up to Mexico, who is now in first place. Up the stairs they go. Who comes out second? It's Spain. Japan and Peru are still fighting in that red funnel. But it's Peru who comes out third. Up the uh, stairs they go. And Mexico is about four stairs ahead of Spain. Now here comes Spain. Trying to come up and catch up to Mexico. And they do. And here comes Peru now. They give a bump to Mexico. And now they both have similar momentum. And here comes Japan in a move through the inside. And they're able to take second place. Mexico is out of the advancement spot. Spain is way up ahead in the orange funnel. And here comes Mexico trying to catch up to the Japan. They still have a chance. If they can get to the white funnel before Japan does. Spain, though, is going to be getting first place. And they will advance to the semifinals. And Japan gets to the white funnel. Here comes Mexico. It's neck and neck. This is for the final advancement spot, but it's Japan. And Japan will advance to the semifinal. Mexico will be eliminated along with Peru. They will not move on to the semifinals. An unfortunate event for Mexico. He held the lead for some of this race. And then it gets eliminated in the first group of this tournament. So Spain and Japan. 
going up against Brazil and France in the semifinals. Next up, it's time for Group C, India, Colombia, Indonesia, and Portugal. And they're off, and it is uh, Indonesia off to lead, being followed by Portugal and then Colombia and India. Indonesia and Portugal battling in the second yellow funnel. And Colombia comes up out of nowhere. Takes over first place, and now they're in the red funnel. And as well as for India, they come up as well. And here comes Indonesia, though. They do not want to be left behind. But look at that. Indonesia and or India and Colombia doing a good job. They're step in step on the stairs. Portugal and Indonesia have some catching up to do. And it is India who comes out first, being followed by Colombia. Portugal and Indonesia still go a little bit behind. And look at that. They have a hit there. And Portugal and Colombia both come up and overtake India and Indonesia. And Portugal is now in the first white funnel. And here comes India. Colombia and Indonesia really need to catch up if they want to be able to advance. All they have to do is pass India, who's coming up here. And now they're going to overtake Portugal. India will be the first one to enter the second white funnel. Here comes Indonesia, though. And Indonesia is now going to advance unless somehow Portugal can get there. No. Indonesia in second place. India in first place. These are the two marbles that will advance. And look at that. Colombia stuck on the track. They will not advance. And neither will Portugal, who got third place. So India and Indonesia will advance to the semifinals. And they'll be going up against the two victors of Group D. Vietnam, Argentina, Canada, and the USA will bat be battling for two advancement spots. Who will be in those top two spots? At this point, it's the USA and Vietnam who are in the lead. But as we know, that can change very quickly. And look at that. A great move by the USA. Quickly going out of that, of that yellow funnel. And here comes Argentina and Vietnam. And as is Canada as well. They've all passed the United States through that second yellow funnel. Now they're all in the red funnel. But here comes the United States with some power. And Vietnam is the first one to exit the funnel. Up the stairs they go. Being followed by Argentina and the USA. But here comes Canada. They aren't able to pass on the stairs. So is Vietnam first. Being followed by Argentina. And then Canada. Which uh, USA and Canada are one step apart. Here comes Vietnam and Argentina. And the USA as well. Who comes out first is Vietnam and Canada. Around this green funnel. They're about to enter the white funnel. It's Canada first. And Vietnam gets stalled under the green funnel. We've seen that before. And now he's neck and neck with Argentina through the white funnel. But Vietnam comes out first. Has a little bit of trouble. And two marbles are stuck on the merge. That's going to allow for some major time gain by Canada. But Canada is stuck underneath the funnel as well. And a USA comes and takes a lead. But here comes Vietnam and Canada. Vietnam will get first, and USA will take second from the last second. This will advance Canada and Argentina. What a round. USA barely making it over Canada. Unfortunately for Argentina, they're still stuck on the track. The so Vietnam and the USA will be the final two marbles to advance to the semifinals in this tournament. First up for the next semifinal, Brazil, France, Spain, and Japan will be battling out for two spots in the final. Who will come out on top? It's looking like Japan will come out first, being followed by Brazil. But here comes Spain. Uh, first one to exit the yellow funnel. All the three other marbles are still in the first yellow funnel, but here goes Spain into the red funnel. And here comes Japan, close behind. They're about to enter the stair section, but here comes Brazil as well. They aren't able to give any momentum to Japan. And it is uh, Japan there. Look at that. A great overtake through the stair section for Japan. They're one step apart, Japan and Spain. And then Brazil and France, one step apart, almost a complete staircase below. So if they want to be able to advance, Japan and uh, Spain are going to have to do some major accidents. If they get stuck on a merge, maybe Brazil and France can catch up, but at this point they're almost a funnel behind. More than that, Japan 
about to exit the white funnel as well as for Spain. But look at Japan gets stuck on the merge and they're still stuck. Spain coming up and passing them, not dislodging them. A savage move by Spain. And here comes Brazil and they're stuck on the merge as well. Spain will get first place, but who will get second? And they dislodge Brazil. Now France is stuck. France and Japan is stuck. Brazil is the only other marble who is still in motion, so they will advance to the, si the final round with Spain. A lot of DNFs in this tournament. France and Japan both not able to finish. They're both stuck on the merge. That merge element is a very hard element for some of these marbles to go through. What a tragedy for France and Spain. Or France and Japan. Spain and Brazil will advance to the final round. And now it's time for the second semifinal. India, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the USA. Only two more marbles can advance to the final round. Will any marble get stuck on the merge in this tournament? And it is Indonesia who comes out first, being followed by the USA. And the USA, the first marble to get out of the hole of the second yellow funnel into the first red funnel they go. And Vietnam is the only other marble that is still in the yellow funnel. And India is the first marble to enter the stairs. Being followed by the USA. And then it's looking like Indonesia will be next. Vietnam is in last. But uh, India has the largest amount of stairs ahead of any other marble at this point. And they're already in the green funnel. But here comes the USA. Let's see what they can do about it. A bump from them. And they exit the funnel first. And here comes Indonesia and Vietnam. And they're having uh, a great time. They're pushing Indo India aside. And the USA is already in the white funnel. The other marbles still fighting in the green funnel. But here comes Indonesia into the first white funnel. The USA almost about to exit the orange funnel. But they're stuck underneath it. And uh, that is... Another problem we've seen in this tournament, Indonesia and the USA in the white funnel, but here comes some other marbles, but it's not looking like they're going to have enough time. USA comes in at first, Indonesia in second, so they will advance to the final round. Vietnam and India will be eliminated in the semifinals of this tournament. So the USA and Vietnam, or uh, Indonesia, will be going up against Spain and Brazil in the final round which is about to start which marble will be crowned champion of this tournament we're about to find out and they are off it is Spain and Indonesia in first and second being followed by Brazil and then the USA but the USA a quick move through the funnel and now they're in the second funnel but here comes Spain as well and Indonesia now all four marbles were in the uh, second yellow funnel, but then Indonesia is able to exit as well as for Brazil. The USA, a trend going for the USA. They have a great time getting through the first funnel and then they get all the way down to last place in the second funnel. And they, what they have done here is they get back in the first place through the funnel again. They go through the funnel slow and uh, they don't have much momentum to keep spinning through the funnel and that's what allows them to exit the funnel first even if they're in last place but here comes brazil to give some momentum to the united states as well as indonesia coming in as well and they're the first one to exit the first green funnel being followed by spain and then brazil but here comes uh spain and indonesia in the first white funnel spain is in the orange funnel and here comes indonesia great move by indonesia right through the orange funnel and here comes Spain but they're stuck underneath the orange funnel and Indonesia will be your champion of this tournament Spain is still stuck this is for second place the USA still could pass it's looking like they might be able to do it and they will USA will come in at second Spain will sit in third place on the podium Brazil a respectable fourth finish but Indonesia gets the gold USA gets silver Spain in the bronze spot an amazing finish for all three of these marbles. USA winning the last tournament. And now they get to sit on the silver for this tournament. They are having a great run in these tournaments recently on Fabeca's marble runs. So Indonesia will be your champion of this Funnels and Stairs tournament. They've done some great racing in today's tournament. 
and uh, they were able to make it past all three rounds to become champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Indonesia for being your Marble Funnel and Stairs Tournament Champion. USA coming in at second and Spain and third place. All these marbles did a great job in this tournament. Welcome back, I'm Jeremiah and this is the Skyrail Marble Tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. This is the second tournament we've had on the Skyrail track. Unfortunately, last time one was not able to join you for the commentary, but today I will be here to provide play-by-play -play commentary for this tournament. How this tournament will work is we have two marbles per team going on each side of the Sky Rail track, and it's pretty much just a sprint to the finish. And how the timing will work is the slowest marble on a team will be the time that is recorded for that run, and whoever is the fastest will advance to the next round. So as we take a look at the track here, some of the features of this track, you can see we have these little white blockers at the end of some of the rails to keep the marbles from flying off after the jumps, which is a interesting feature on this track. As we take a look at the bracket system for today's tournament, it'll be a dual style tournament. So first off, we have China versus India, which will start off our group stage. And they are off. And India has the slight lead, but they're more close together than the Chinese marbles were. But they have uh, gotten closer together, and India is taking the lead through the second part of this uh, track around the final turn. And it is India who will win by a long shot in time of 16.74. Uh, and China will only have a 17.13. So uh, it will be India who will advance. And I believe the times for this round were measured by the first marble to cross the line. I could be wrong. It could be the last marble that crossed the line. It is important for both of the marbles to be close together, though. If you have them farther apart, you have a slower time. So I assume, I guess it is the last marble to cross the line will be the time of that team. So India will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Germany versus France. And they're off. Germany kind of slowing down behind France. France is taking the lead at this point. And they also are doing a pretty good job at staying close together as we enter the final straight in this France. We will take that heat. Germany just couldn't make it happen. So France will advance to the next round in this tournament. Germany will unfortunately be eliminated. If we take a look at the replay, you can see the jumps uh, can really kind of stratify two marbles in your team and cause you to kind of separate a little bit and that's not really what you want to do. See France did a good job of kind of staying close together. Germany was actually really close together at the finish. But they weren't able to hold the speed that they had uh, to get to the end. So next up Nigeria versus Japan. Which is our next duel. Nigeria and the green. Japan in the white. Japan is separated already. Nigeria Already staying close together as they're already halfway through the course. Nigeria has a slight lead. And I think they're going to take it. Yes, they will. In Japan. Only three tenths of a second behind. Uh, Nigeria has 16.40. Japan 16.72. We'll have to see if any of these teams can get a sub-16. Not sure if it can happen, but we'll have to see how hard these marbles trained. Maybe one day, one of these marbles will be able to break the world record. So we'll be in Nigeria, who will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Mexico versus Spain. Let's see how Mexico does in this tournament. They're already separated a little bit. But after that first jump, if you are separated, it seems you are able to um, get closer together and Ger uh, Mexico has taken the lead but here comes Spain now they're neck and neck and Germany takes it at the last second two tenths of a second behind Spain was from Mexico Mexico a good overtake through this last little uh, u-turn type section see there they're way faster 
through that little section and they were able to take the lead from Spain. And unfortunately, that will eliminate Spain from this uh, tournament and that will advance Mexico against Nigeria in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Portugal versus Brazil. And they're off. It seems like the left track section separates the first two marbles and then they get re- United at the uh, first jump, but it is Brazil who's taking the lead. They only have one more uh, straight to go, and it is Brazil. We'll take that heat. 16.70 for Brazil. A decent time. Portugal getting the 16.98, so close to almost getting a 17 seconds. And uh, that will advance Brazil to the next round. Portugal will be eliminated. Brazil to the corner finals going up against either Pakistan or Indonesia. Who will it be? We're about to find out. Pakistan in the green, Indonesia in the white. And you see again, Indonesia getting separated on the first straight, but then they get closer together again when they uh, get into that first jump and they have actually taken over the lead. There's only one more jump to go and here comes Pakistan, but Indonesia comes and takes it back. Great move by Pakistan. And they take it. All right, uh, great move by Indonesia. Both of these teams did a great job. You see here, Pakistan goes all the way up that little white piece. And that gives them a lot of speed. And then Indonesia speeds through this turn section. And that got them the win. Indonesia 16.40. And Pakistan 16.66. So Indonesia will advance to the quarterfinals versus Brazil. Next up, we have USA versus Philippines. And they're off, you see yet again, the Philippines marble a little bit more spaced out. You see there, when they go after that second jump, the first marble slows down and they get hit by the second marble. And the USA coming out to the lead in this heat and they're gonna take it. And that will advance them to the semifinals. And we have a sub 16, 15.82 for the United States. And that is a new record in this tournament. The USA. Already putting on the heat only in the group stage. They still have two more rounds to go before the finals. And they're really showing that they have what it takes to be the champion of this tournament. So the USA will advance to the quarterfinals versus either Canada or Vietnam. Who will be dueling off in the group stage right now. And they're off Canada in the clear. Vietnam in the yellow, you see there, Canada pretty spaced out. And here comes Vietnam, and they've overtaken uh, Canada at this point. We only got two more jumps to go, and here comes the last section, and it will be Vietnam who will take this heat by a long shot. And their marbles were pretty much touching across the line. They had very good teamwork in this tournament. See here, even after the jump, they were able to keep together, especially at the end. They were a little bit spaced apart there, about two spaces. And then they came back and united through that little turn section and then finished very close together. But also Canada finished pretty close together as well, but uh, they weren't able to take that heat. So next up, the quarterfinals will start with India and France going off first. And they're off. India doing a better job at staying close together. But here comes France. And they've overtaken India. India having some trouble getting back. And they only got one more uh, section to go. Here comes India the last second. But nope, it's going to be France. Who will advance to the semifinals. India kind of fell back behind. We never really even got close to getting back up. You see, France already had switched directions before India barely had even gotten off the the last jump there. France at the time of 16.44. That's nothing compared to the 15.85 we saw from the USA. Let's see if they do another good one here in a second. But first off, we have Nigeria versus Mexico for our next quarterfinals. Nigeria, light green. Mexico, dark green. 
This time it's Nigeria who kind of spaces out. And they're neck and neck at this point. Nigeria has the slight lead. And here comes Mexico. And they're trying to overtake Nigeria. And they're neck and neck still. But it is Nigeria. Can Mexico come at the last second? A hard hit from Mexico. But no, it is Nigeria who takes the lead by five hundredths of a second. Five hundred. What a great match for Nigeria. That was a very close win. You see there that last little hit by Mexico. Little bit of... Uh, confusion between the two marbles and that is what cost them the win. They could have caught up but they had hit against the other marble and uh, their teamwork did not show. And so France will go up against Nigeria in the semifinals. Next up we have Brazil versus Indonesia for our third quarterfinal. And at this point they're neck and neck but Indonesia about one space ahead and now they're coming up Brazil trying to come up at the last second and they're neck and neck at this point. Who's going to take it? They're still neck and neck and it's Indonesia. By 16.55 Brazil 16.7 Indonesia will be advancing to the semifinals and this will eliminate Brazil. See there Brazil had the slight lead with the first marble. But the second marble is still neck and neck with the second marble from Indonesia. And Indonesia was able to uh, speed through that turn section take over the lead so Indonesia to the semifinals versus either the US or Vietnam and let's take a look at the USA here will they be able to have another sub 16 time and they're off already they have a little bit of trouble catching back up but there they go overtaking Vietnam even though they're a little bit spaced apart Vietnam only has a couple more seconds to try to come up and pass the USA. But the USA is doing really good here. They speed through the last turn. And let's see what their time is. 16.42. Not quite a sub-15. But it was fast enough to eliminate Vietnam. Makes it to the semifinals. So here after this last jump. They were all the way up to the top of this little white curve piece. And they sped back down. They used gravity to their advantage. The steeper the incline at the end of that rail there the faster speed you'll be going out the other way and the USA used that to advantage in this heat so the USA will going up against Indonesia in the semifinals next up France versus Nigeria for our first semifinals who will advance to the final round and they're off France taking the space depart approach and uh, Nigeria closer together what seems to be uh, the better strategy and they're still in the lead. France only has a couple more seconds through the turn. France coming up at the last second. But no, it's not able to do it. One tenth of a second behind Nigeria. France will be eliminated and Nigeria will advance to the final round. See here that first France marble almost catching up to Nigeria. But the second one was just too far behind to validate his effort. So Nigeria will advance to the final round versus either Indonesia or the USA. Which one will be the victor of this semifinal? The USA is what a lot of people have their eyes on right now, but they have a spaced out approach. But look at that. They use it to their advantage. They're in the lead. But now here comes Indonesia. But the first USA marble quite far ahead. What a unique strategy by the USA. And they're neck and neck, but the USA takes it at the last second. And a 16.19, a another great time for the USA. Indonesia just to average 16.42. There's some crazy dynamics going on there. They were using their uh, spaced apart. And then when the first marble would get down, they would already turn around. And by the time the second marble got there, the first marble would bump them into the other direction. We'll have to see what they do in the final round. But first off, we have the third place match, France versus Indonesia. Which marble will be able to sit on the podium with Nigeria and the USA? And it's France off to the slight lead. Indonesia still has to try to catch up. There's only one more jump to go. And then the turn section. Let's see if they can take it through the turn section. No, they won't. France will be sitting on the podium with third place. Great results for France. Indonesia with a 16.42 time. France has a 16.26 time. That's the United States uh, level time. Unfortunately, they weren't able to ever 
go up against the USA in the final round. They still get third place and they get the bronze medal on the podium. But now it is time for the final round, Nigeria versus the USA. Who will come out on top? The favorite, the USA, is the one that has had some amazing times and some crazy strategies. What will they do in this final round? They were spaced apart a little bit, but decided to go back to the uh, close together strategy and they're neck and neck with the Nigeria marbles are a little bit more spaced out. Here comes the USA. They're still neck and neck. Who will take it? And it's the USA who will be the champion of this round with another sub-16 time, 15.95. And Nigeria also getting an amazing time, 16.05. But it wasn't sub-16. USA is the only team who had a sub-16 time, and they had two in this tournament. Great performance by the USA, and they will get the gold medal in this tournament. Nigeria coming in a second with the bronze. It was a really heated final. They were so close, neck and neck for the entire race. Nigeria even in the lead for a good portion of the race, at least for the first marble. And here's though where the USA overtakes Nigeria right there for the first marble anyway. And the second marble comes up from behind. You see though, after every jump, the first and second marble are swapped. So each marble gets a turn leading. And then the USA comes out through the final turn section, overtakes Nigeria. So the USA will be the champion of this Skyrail tournament. Congratulations to the USA. Nigeria coming in close, very close at second and France finishing off your podium in bronze seat. Congratulations to the USA for being your gold medalist in the Sky Rail Tournament. Nigeria coming in close at second with the silver medal. And France with the bronze medal in third place. All these marbles. Hello and welcome to another Marble Run Tournament here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this Marble Billiards Tournament. We had a Marble Billiards Tournament a couple videos ago and we've brought it back to see which marbles uh, are still on top in the billiards world. We have some marbles who are coming back from the last tournament as well as some new marbles who are getting their first chance at a uh, glory at this billiards tournament. As we get started here, the rules are the same as last time. If a marble goes into the hole on one of the six pockets, that will score a point for the other team, kind of as like the other team hitting your marble into the hole as a cue ball would hit a marble or a uh, ball into the pocket. As we get going here with the bracket system, we have quite a few different duels in today's tournament starting off with Portugal versus France as we get going here Portugal has a marble in that will score a, a point for France and France will advance to the next round in the previous tournament France was eliminated in the first group so they've already done better than their last performance here on these marble and billiards tournaments we'll see how they do in the rest of this tournament as for Portugal, they advanced only to the second round in the last tournament uh, of this style. So they are having a hard time in this tournament. Next up, we have Colombia versus India for this Marble Billiards Tournament. Colombia didn't make it past the first round in the last tournament. And India didn't either. So one of these are guaranteed a better score. Colombia has a marble in the center pocket. That will score a point for India. And India will advance to the next round. And take a look at the repeat here. Uh, one of the India marbles lagging kind of hard behind. But it was Colombia who unfortunately got a marble in one of the pockets. The goal is to stay on the board and to not fall into the pocket. So India will go up against France 
in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for our third match, Vietnam versus China. Vietnam made it all the way to the semifinals in the last video, but they may have had a marble in the pocket, which eliminates them. And China will move on to the next round. China didn't make it past this first round. Last time we saw marble billiards, so they are doing well so far. And this is a hard reality for Vietnam. So China will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Pakistan versus the USA. Pakistan is one of the new teams that did not compete in the last billiards tournament. And the USA did compete in the last tournament. They only made it to the quarterfinals. So let's see which team will come out on top. And so far, nothing yet, but Pakistan gets one in the top right corner. So the USA will be advancing to the quarterfinals just like they did in the last billiards tournament. And Pakistan, unfortunately, will be eliminated. Which, uh, this is their first time in this billiards tournament, which is unfortunate for them. You can see there their own marble hitting one of their teammates into the top right pocket. Just couldn't stop in time. So Pakistan will, or uh, the USA will go against China in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Brazil versus the Philippines. The Philippines are another new country that have not done a billiards tournament so far. Brazil uh, did do the tournament last time. Ooh, right at the start. Philippines, right top center uh, corner. Or not top center corner. Top center hole. Which scores Brazil a point. They'll advance to the quarterfinals. Brazil only advanced to the quarterfinals in the last billiards tournament. Let's see if they do better in this tournament. We'll have to see. As we get started with the quarterfinals. But first up, we have the rest of this group stage to go. We have three more rounds. Canada versus Mexico is next. Mexico made it all the way to the semifinals in the last tournament. Canada didn't even advance past the first round. Let's see who does here. Ooh, right at the beginning there. Mexico getting one in the center pocket. And that will eliminate them. Canada gets a point. So they have all three marbles still on the, the uh, table. And that will advance, instantly eliminating Mexico. Mexico doing worse than they did in the last tournament. And uh, Canada doing better. We'll see how they do against Brazil. Next up, we have Japan versus Peru. Japan did not advance in the last tournament. And Peru is another newcomer to the Marble Billiards Tournament. Japan in the blue. And they get one in right at the start. That will score Peru a point. And that will be all for this round. Peru will advance to the semi or the quarterfinals, and Japan will be eliminated just like they were in the last Marble Billiards tournament. They didn't even make it past the first round. Peru is on a clean slate, though. They've never done a Marble Billiards tournament before, not at least in recent history. We'll have to see how they do in the quarterfinals. Next up, our final duel in the group stage, Germany versus Indonesia. And Indonesia made it to the quarterfinals in the last tournament. Germany did not compete in the last tournament. Let's see if they bring the heat. And there's one for Indonesia. So Germany will get a point. And Germany will advance the next round. Indonesia will be eliminated. Uh, and one of the big names in the Fubeka's Marble Runs tournament. They only made it to the quarterfinals, and this time they didn't make it past the group stage. Germany will advance to the next round versus Peru, who will come out in that duel. We'll have to wait until the other three quarterfinals are complete, which will be up next. The first quarterfinal, France versus India. See if India can keep up the momentum as well as France. Both of these marbles did not pass it, or make it past the first round in the last billiards tournament. Let's see who comes out top on this tournament. Nothing yet, but there's one for France. Therefore, India will advance to the next round, getting a point. France getting one in the top right pocket, I believe. It was a pretty hard hit there. They bounced, I think, all the way off the other side of the table before getting into that uh, top right pocket. Oh no, it was the center bottom pocket. Um, sorry for the confusion there, but it is India who will advance to the semifinals versus either China or the USA who will come out on top. China did not make it past the first round in the last tournament. USA 
made it only to the quarterfinals. So both of these teams are doing uh, better than they have so far. But the USA, unfortunately, gets one in the top center pocket. And that will advance China. And that will be all for the USA. They didn't do any better than they did in the last billiards tournament. China continues to advance. Which is definitely better than not advancing past the group stage in the last billiards tournament. This really is an interesting marble event. The goal is to try to stay out of the pocket instead of actually getting in the pocket, which is kind of harder for these marbles to do. Next up, we have Brazil versus Canada. Brazil didn't even make it past the quarterfinals in the last billiards tournament. Canada didn't make it past the group stage. And Canada already has one in a pocket. So that will advance Brazil to the semi or the sem yeah, the semifinals. Brazil doing pretty good. This will be better than their previous billiards record, only making it to the quarterfinals. Also, an interesting note, the last billiards tournament champion, Argentina, is not competing in this tournament. So we are guaranteed a new champion in the second billiards tournament. So Brazil will advance to the semifinals uh, versus either Peru or Germany. Two new names in the Marble Billiards Tournament. Who will come out on top? No marbles in so far, but it is Peru who gets ones in in the bottom center pocket. So that will advance Germany to the semifinals versus Brazil. And Peru, unfortunately, will be eliminated. See there, they a little bit out of control right after that uh, left turn after the first straight out of the starting gate, possibly causing them to get out of sync with the rest of the competitors. So that round off our top, or our final quarterfinal for this video. Next up, our first semifinal, India versus China. Both of these teams didn't even make it past the first round in the last contest, who will come out on top. And one marble in the bottom right corner, that was India. So China will advance to the next round into the final round. And India will advance to the third place match. Both of these marbles definitely have some gain compared to their last tournament. And it is China who comes out on top. Next up, our second semifinal, Brazil versus Germany. Germany, the only new name in this tournament who has not competed in the previous billiards tournament. Will they be able to advance to the final? And they're off. Who will come out first? Oh, Germany gets one in this top center pocket. So that will advance Brazil to the final round. And Germany will be advanced to the third place match, which is coming up next. Brazil, home of Fubeca's Marble Runs. Hoping to do good in the final round. They almost went into that top left pocket. But it was Germany who ended up going in the top center pocket. So Brazil will be going up against China in the final round. Now it's time for the third place match. India versus Germany. And they're off. And there's one for Germany. And unfortunately, that will eliminate them. India will be sitting on the podium in third place with China and Brazil. A great finish for India. Not even making it past the first round in the previous billiards tournament. Now finishing in third place. They definitely have done some trading since then to up their game in the marble billiards world. Now for our final match in this marble billiards tournament, China versus Brazil. Who will be the champion? of the second Marble Billiards Tournament. And they're off. Brazil has a slight lead. Ooh, some hard contacts there, but it is China who gets one in the bottom center pocket. And that will crown Brazil the champion of this Marble Billiards Tournament. The second Marble Billiards Tournament on this channel in recent history. And the champion will be Brazil doing a lot better than their last time only getting it to the quarterfinals and China will come in at second they didn't make it past the group stage which is definitely an improvement 
from the last contest. Let's take a look at the replay here. There were some pretty hard contacts at the beginning of the entry to the uh, table by the first two marbles. So we take a look here. You can see here, right in the middle, and they have some pretty hard contacts. And I believe it was the second China marble who ended up in the bottom center pocket. So Brazil will be the champion of this Marvel Billiards Tournament. Congratulations to them, but also congratulations to China as well as for India. Congratulations to Brazil for being your Marble Billiards second champion. China coming in close at second and India in third place. All these marbles didn't make it past the group stage except for Brazil who got to the quarterfinals in the last Marble Billiards tournament. So they all definitely had good... Going with the theme of raising marbles up we have two more elevators for you in this Marble Race. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah and welcome back to Quebec's Marble Runs. In this Marble Race, we have a, a quite a few uh, spiral elevators as well as a large wheel elevator. These will just be some different elements these marbles will have to get through in order to win this Marble Race as well as we have lots of funnels, which are the core of these races. And that's what these marbles are best at. So we take a look at the track. You see the large wheel elevator can only have two marbles at a time. It has four slots, but two of them are going down, which means that there will only be two marbles going up at a time. And that is the point where marbles can gain a lot of uh, uh, ground ahead of some of the other marbles in today's race. Here are the four groups for this tournament. You can see we have a couple newcomers this time, Honduras, South Africa, and Iceland. We'll have to see how they do. Oh, there was also Morocco. Uh, good wishes to them. Hopefully they'll do good in this tournament. But now it's time for group one in this group stage. For group one, we have Nigeria, Qatar, the USA, and England, and we're off. Who comes out first is Qatar up to the first spiral elevator. All the other marbles are still stuck in the blue funnel. Qatar, a major lead at this point. But here comes the other marbles. They're catching back up, and it's England and Nigeria now. Nigeria fighting for first place, and they take it through that orange funnel. USA and uh, England having some trouble in that second funnel. Nigeria now almost exiting the third funnel, and now Qatar has caught up. And they uh, underpassed there, giving some momentum to Nigeria. Now they're into the half pipe maze. This is a feature we haven't seen in a while, in a while here on Quebec's Marble Runs. It's a unique element. The Qatar is able to kind of hold the lead, but they're having trouble exiting this funnel and allowing Nigeria to catch up. And here comes England as well. The USA is still pretty far behind. And Nigeria barely comes out over Qatar through the, the uh, half pipe funnel. And now they're neck and neck in this orange funnel. After this is the uh, wheel elevator. And look at that, England coming out past both of these two marbles. They could do the wheel elevator first. Here comes Nigeria next. And Qatar still now in third place. England might be able to win this one. Unless Nigeria and Qatar coming up now. Now they're neck and neck. Nigeria and Qatar. Who comes out first? It's still England. And here comes Qatar by England. Trying to pressure for first place. And they take it. England trying to get second. But Nigeria takes it there. And England gets eliminated. A downfall for England. Qatar and Nigeria advancing to the next round. The USA not even in the running for the entire race. They weren't even on the screen. They were so far behind. They just couldn't get this race together in this tournament. As they finish these last couple of funnels, all the other marbles have already recovered from their race. The USA is still going. And it's 
finally finished the course. Kind of embarrassed after that race. So Qatar and Nigeria will advance to the semifinals. Next up we have Honduras, South Africa, Cameroon, and Iceland. Three newcomers in recent history on the Quebec's Marble Run scene. I wish them all the best. Who comes out first? It's Honduras up through the first elevator. And South Africa comes up next. Cameroon has been a couple tournaments recently. And then there's Iceland way back in the back. Honduras and uh, South Africa fighting right now. Both of these new teams really wanting to show themselves worthy of being in Quebec's Marble Runs tournaments. But Cameroon's coming up now. And they're trying to pressure from Honduras. Now they're spinning and they overtake Honduras through that funnel. Up the elevators they go. Honduras and South Africa are now fighting. Cameroon now entering the half pipe maze. And here comes South Africa. They come up in the same half pipe. That's where trouble hits. Let's see if Honduras can make that happen. No, they won't. They're all in separate funnels at this point. South Africa still has a slight edge, but they're in the same funnel there. It comes out first. It's South or uh, Cameroon, then South Africa. Honduras still in the maze. And now they're neck and neck in this orange funnel. Honduras and Iceland still in that half pipe maze of Cameroon and South Africa. Right close to each other. And Honduras or uh, South Africa is the first marvel to exit that funnel. And then Cameroon coming up close behind. Nice move by South Africa there. Barely getting out of the funnel before Cameroon can come and make any damage on that funnel. And here comes Honduras to the funnel. South Africa in the uh, second or the last funnel. And Cameroon's trying to come up and steal first place. But they aren't able to. South Africa takes this heat. Cameroon might be able to take second unless Hon somehow Honduras is able to do it. And Honduras will advance as well. Cameroon and Iceland will be eliminated. Two new teams will advance to the semifinals in this tournament. Great performances by South Africa and Honduras picking out Cameroon. Which I'm pretty sure Cameroon won a tournament recently in the last couple of videos. Now they've been eliminated in the first round. So Honduras and South Africa will advance to the semifinals versus Qatar and Nigeria. All pretty new faces in these tournaments. Next up we have the next group. Argentina, Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. Brazil and Argentina. Very uh, big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs tournaments. And then Peru and Colombia. Smaller teams. And Peru is actually a pretty rare country to compete in these tournaments. So they're happy to be here. And it's Colombia who comes out to the lead first. Being followed closely by Brazil and Colombia and uh, or Peru and Argentina down there in the back. But Peru is coming up now trying to catch up to Argentina there. And Brazil also passes Argentina. And uh, Colombia is still in first place. Brazil and Peru fighting in that last funnel before the half pipes. And it's, who is it? It's Brazil who comes out first. Brazil chasing Colombia. Trying to come up and pass, but Peru doesn't want to be eliminated either. Brazil just has to stay in second place, and they'll be advanced. But Peru has to gain some spots, and they do there, taking it all the way to first place. Colombia falling down to second, now having to face some pressure from Brazil, but they take back first place there. Great move by Colombia. Now Peru and Brazil are left to fight out in the funnel. Peru comes out first to the wheel elevator. Now for the final three funnels. Who will come out on top? Brazil does not want to be eliminated. And they're trying to come up to uh, Peru. But Peru has just taken first place from Colombia there. Now they're in the final funnel. Colombia trying to take it back. But they aren't able to. Peru will be first place. Colombia comes in second. And Brazil and Argentina will be eliminated. Two really big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs universe. They will be eliminated in the first round in this tournament. The Brazil and, Argent and Argentina fans pretty disappointed at this result. But the Peru and Colombia fans are cheering because they have advanced to the semifinals. Argentina pretty far behind from the other three marbles. They had a pretty bad uh, performance in today's race. So Colombia and Peru 
will advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for Group D, Morocco, Japan, the Philippines, and India. This is the first time that Morocco has competed in Quebec Marble in recent history, and they come out to the very quick lead, being followed closely by the Philippines, who's another new name. We've had some suggestions in the comments for the Philippines, and now they're competing, and they're in first place. We'll have to see how they do in the rest of this race, but here comes Japan, as well as for Morocco. They both want to advance to the semifinals as well. Japan and the Philippines are the first out of the second funnel. The Philippines are chasing Japan. Who comes out first? It is the Philippines. Japan and Morocco still stuck in that last funnel. And it's Morocco who comes out next. India and Japan, two bigger names, especially for India. One of the biggest names in Quebec's Marble Lens. And they are in last place at this point. They have some catching up to do if they want to be able to advance. Right now, it's the Philippines and Morocco who are in first and second place. Japan trying to come up and catch up to Morocco. But they take the wrong half pipe. The Philippines have already entered the funnel right before the wheel elevator. And now they're only a second behind Morocco there. Japan is able to take first place through that funnel. Philippines has fallen down to third. They're out of the advancement spot. Morocco. Try to come up and overtake uh, uh, Japan there. And they are able to. There's only two more funnels to go for Morocco. And here comes uh, India. And India. They pass Philippines. Philippines have having a downfall there. And Morocco is about to be advanced. India trying to come up and overtake Japan. And they did. And now they're going to advance unless somehow Japan come up from behind. And they're spinning around. It's looking like India will take it. But Japan comes through the inside. And they will take this heat as well as for Morocco. The in, uh, India and the Philippines will be eliminated. Morocco, when the newcomers advance into the semifinals, great performance by them as well as for Japan. One of the big names. But India and the Philippines didn't have such luck. India, uh, their advancement spot got stole by Japan in that round. Now it's time for the first semifinal. Qatar, Nigeria, Honduras, and South Africa. All smaller countries. Let's we'll see who comes out on top. They're all pretty rookie teams. And it is uh, Qatar who comes out first. Then Honduras and Nigeria. Then South Africa into this first funnel. Who comes out first? It's Honduras. And then Nigeria. And then they're all neck and neck through these funnels. And it's Nigeria who really gains the lead through this elevator. And they're already to the half pipes. All the other marbles are still in the funnel. But it is Honduras who exits next. Qatar and South Africa still fighting in that last funnel. They need to really catch up to these first two marbles if they want to be able to advance. These first two marbles don't really even need to race against each other as long as they stay in the top two spots. But here comes Qatar pressuring Honduras. And it is Nigeria who's already through the funnel before the wheel elevator. Honduras needs to catch up as well. But really, Qatar and South Africa are in the points of, uh, of uh, intensity right now. Honduras has overtaken Nigeria. They've taken first place. Nigeria is still stuck in the funnel. Qatar might be able to catch up, but it's looking like Nigeria will exit that funnel as well, entering the real elevator. And Honduras already in the second to last funnel. At this point, South Africa and Qatar have already been eliminated. There's no way they can catch up to Nigeria. Honduras and Nigeria funneling in these last two funnels, but here comes Honduras. And then that's South Africa. Honduras takes first place. And uh, it's not looking like South Africa is going to be able to catch up to Nigeria. They're one funnel behind. So close, yet so far. Honduras and Nigeria will advance to the final round. And South Africa and Qatar will be eliminated. Both of these marbles pretty far behind for the entirety of the race. Now they're finally being able to finish. But Honduras and Nigeria fighting out, fighting it out in the first uh, two spots in this race. Honduras comes out on top. And Nigeria and Honduras in the final round. Now it's time for semifinal B, Peru, Colombia, Morocco, and Japan. The only one looking here is Morocco. We'll see how they do against all the big wigs. 
They're all pretty stuck in the blue funnel at this point, and it's Colombia who comes out first. Who comes out next? Peru, and then Morocco. Japan is still stuck in the blue funnel. And Colombia still is a funnel ahead. Peru and Morocco fighting in the first funnel. Who comes out first? It's Morocco this time. And now they're all neck and neck in the second funnel. And it's Peru and Morocco who come out first. They've passed Colombia. Colombia is out of the advancement zone. And then Morocco. Or Peru is able to get to the elevators first. And then Colombia and Morocco. Japan still struggling in the second, uh, second funnel there. And Morocco and Peru are stuck on the half pipes. This allows Morocco to catch back up and dislodge them. And now Peru and Morocco are stuck. Colombia might be able to get a huge lead here because Japan still has a ways to go before they dislodge Peru and Morocco. And now they're all dislodged there. What an upset for some of these top marbles. Now Morocco and Colombia, well, as uh, for Japan, the top two marbles really losing their lead because they got stuck. And who comes out first? It's Morocco who comes out in the lead after this tragedy. But Colombia quick to the hole there. And they take it first place. And here comes Japan. They've taken over second place from Morocco and Colombia. And now Colombia and Morocco are fighting for only one advancement spot. Unless somehow Colombia can take first place there. And they do from Japan. Morocco still has a chance. And who comes out of the hole first? But Peru is able to give Morocco too much speed. And that allows Japan to advance to the final round. Peru and Morocco will be eliminated in this tournament. Morocco was so close to being able to come and give their momentum to, to Japan. And get to that hole first. But it was Peru who ultimately ruined their dream of winning this tournament. So Japan and Colombia will be going up against Honduras and Nigeria in the final round in this tournament. Honduras, Nigeria, Japan, Colombia. Only two of these marbles are newer marbles, and the other two marbles are more experienced. So all the eyes are on Honduras and Nigeria. And it is Nigeria who comes out first, but they're all neck and neck in this blue funnel. Who can come out and take the first step? It's still Nigeria to the elevator first, then Colombia, then Honduras. Japan is still struggling in these funnels. Seems like Japan is having a hard time in the first half of these races getting up out of these funnels. And it is uh, Honduras and Colombia who are fighting in the second funnel and Colombia comes out first. Honduras now has to face some pressure from Nigeria as well as for Japan. There's no more advancement zone. It's just first, second, third, and then fourth. And only three of these marbles get to sit on the podium. So really all you have to do is stay out of last place in Honduras just barely getting out of last place there. Now they're fighting with Japan in this funnel. And now Nigeria and Colombia are in the first two spots. Colombia is trying to catch up to Nigeria through the half pipe maze. And here comes Honduras as well. Japan has fallen back down to last place. And uh, Nigeria already up to the funnel before the wheel elevator. Colombia and Nigeria. Now Colombia being fought by Japan, and Japan is able to overtake them there. Honduras is falling down as well. Japan has taken second place. They're trying to come up and take first place from Nigeria, but they've already exited the wheel elevator. And all the other three marbles are neck and neck in this funnel. At this point, Nigeria has pretty much won the event. Unless somehow Honduras can catch up before uh, Nigeria exits these last two funnels. Honduras looking good in this first funnel, and they've caught up to Nigeria, but they're able to exit right before Honduras is able to do anything drastic. And here comes Colombia. They've passed Honduras. Now they're trying to catch up to Nigeria, but no. Nigeria will be the champion of this tournament. Colombia circling. They're going to be second. It will be in third place, Japan or Honduras. At this point, it's looking like Honduras will, unless somehow Japan can make it out in the last second. And they're in the same funnel, but they won't be able to. Honduras will get the bronze. Japan will get fourth place. Nigeria, the overall champion in this tournament. And congratulations to them, as well as a congratulations to Colombia and Honduras. But uh, it is Nigeria who is the champion. 
of this tournament. Congratulations to Nigeria for being our champion of this elevator tournament. Colombia coming in close at second and Honduras coming in at third place. Two new names in the overall podium. Today's track has more funnels, more stairs, is bigger, and is better. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah. Welcome to Fubeka's Marble Runs. You guys seem to like our last video with the stairs and funnels, so we have brought it back. This time with more features and bigger and longer track. As we take a look at the track for today's races, you see the debut of the double size Hubalino funnel, uh, and that will definitely be an interesting change of uh, terrain for these marbles because it has two entries that these marbles can take. As you see, we have four groups today. Each group will have four marbles. Two marbles will go on to the next group until we get to the final round. As we get started with the first group here, we have Peru, the United Kingdom, India, and Mexico. And we're off. One of the new unique features there is the kind of zigzag slalom piece there right at the beginning of the course now into the first yellow funnel who will come out first it's the United Kingdom and then India coming up into the second yellow funnel the entry to the second yellow funnel is very hard which uh, allows you to get through the funnel quicker and it is Mexico who's making their their uh, way up the stair first Peru coming in at second India is in third place and Mexico will be the first marble to enter the first green funnel Peru Coming in at second, Mexico is able to exit that funnel before Peru does anything drastic. And now Peru has been caught up by the uh, India and the United Kingdom marble. And Mexico, the first marble entered the first large white funnel. And they're already into the first orange funnel. One of two sides you can choose on this end portion of the track. And the United Kingdom comes up and catches to Mexico. Mexico is still able to get to the white funnel first, and they will advance. Only one more marble can advance. Will it be India, United Kingdom, or now Peru? Peru, hard hit from them. But it's India who comes out through the funnel. They're all in this last white funnel. Who will come out first? And it's India. India will advance to the next round, and the United Kingdom and Peru will be eliminated. Next up, we have Japan, Spain, the Philippines, and Vietnam. We've had some people request adding the Philippines to these tournaments. And uh, here is their chance at glory. And we get started here. First off, it's Spain being followed by Japan, and then the Philippines and Vietnam. But they're all neck and neck in the first yellow funnel. It kind of seems like this yellow funnel is a little bit tighter than uh, the orange funnels. And it is Spain and Vietnam who take the lead. Vietnam first marble enters the stairs. All the other marbles have quite a bit of speed in that yellow funnel. Vietnam may be able to get out of the first section of stairs, but they fall down there, allowing some of the other marbles to catch a stair or two up. Vietnam has to try to get out of this green funnel before Philippines comes up and gives them a hard hit from behind. Let's see if that happens. Philippines and Spain now coming up. Vietnam is not able to get out of the funnel. You can see there all the other marbles giving them their momentum. Who comes out first? It's Spain. A quick exit out of the second green funnel by Spain. They're already in the white funnel. And now they're entering the, the uh, one of the orange funnels there. Vietnam coming in on the white funnel. At this point, Spain is pretty much guaranteed a, a uh, advancement. But Vietnam comes up there, gives them all their momentum. And now Vietnam's in the first white yellow funnel, or uh, the white funnel. Spain Trying to get to that hole before the Philippines get out of that funnel. And it looks like it's going to happen. So Spain and Vietnam will advance to the semifinals. And the Philippines and Japan will be eliminated. They still get to finish the track though. Get to try out these large funnels in this tournament. So Vietnam and Spain will be going up against Mexico and India in the semifinals. Next up, we have Brazil, Nigeria, Portugal, and Indonesia. And we're off. Who comes out first? It's Indonesia 
being followed by Portugal and then Brazil. Nigeria falling back behind. This is one of their uh, rare occurrences here on these tournaments. I wish them well in this tournament. Who comes out first? It is Nigeria taking the lead from behind. But they are hit very hard by these other marbles. And it is Brazil who comes out to the lead through that second funnel. And then who's next? It's Portugal. And then Indonesia. Nigeria has fallen down all the way back to last place. They're only one step behind uh, Indonesia, though. They're not completely out of the running. Uh, as Brazil and Portugal are up there on the top. Brazil trying to dodge contact from Portugal. They're unable to do so. Portugal gives a lot of momentum to Brazil, allowing them to get into the second funnel. And then that leaves Brazil fighting with Nigeria and Indonesia in the first green funnel. Portugal is the first one into the large white funnel. And then Indonesia and Brazil fighting in the second green funnel. Portugal overtakes Indonesia in the large white funnel. Great move by Portugal. Indonesia won't have it. They're trying to come up and catch up to Portugal there. And they are able to take back the lead. They're in the white funnel. The white funnel has a shorter spiral period than these orange funnels. Indonesia will be the champion of this round. Will Portugal be able to advance? Uh, Brazil trying to come up and catch up, but they are able to. Portugal and Indonesia will advance to the semifinals. Brazil and Nigeria will be eliminated. Nigeria, unfortunately, ending up in ninth or uh, fourth place. Had not a very good performance in today's race. Indonesia and Portugal will be going up against either Pakistan, Sweden, France, and the USA. Two of these marbles will go up against the other two marbles in the semifinal B as we get started here. Who comes out first is Sweden, being followed by Spain, or, uh, France and then the USA and Pakistan. They're all neck and neck in the funnel. Who comes out first is Pakistan. Then the USA. USA gets hit from the inside by Pakistan. Pakistan has gotten to the stair section first, the double stairs, which I believe is the highest back-to-back -back stairs we have seen in Quebec's Marble Runs history. Uh, France coming in at second. Sweden has came in third. And USA is falling down all the way to last place. They have a ways to go if they want to catch up and advance to the semifinal. And here comes France. Almost undercutting uh, Pakistan there. Pakistan is able to get out of there quick. The USA, hard bump to France. They're hitting neck and neck with the other two marbles now. Who comes out the second place out of this first green funnel? And it will be France, then Pakistan, or uh, Sweden, and then the USA. Pakistan is already leaving the white large funnel, and they're into the first orange funnel. Here comes Sweden, though. They want to pressure for first place, a bump from them. They're circling, and here comes the USA. The USA can still take the lead, and they do there through the white funnel. They get through this funnel first. They will be the champion. It looks like they will. A great comeback by the USA. They'll be the champion of this heat. And it looking like France will be the other marble to accompany them in the semifinals. So Sweden and Pakistan will be eliminated from this heat. So the USA and France will be going up against Indonesia and Portugal in the semifinals. Now it's time for semifinal A. Mexico, India, Vietnam, and Spain. Who comes out first? It's Spain being followed closely by Mexico. But it is uh, Vietnam who's able to take a quick move through the first yellow funnel. Get into the second yellow funnel quickly. Now they have to dodge Mexico. Mexico comes up and passes Vietnam without even doing a contact. Which uh, allows Vietnam to come up close behind. They're only one stair behind from Mexico. Spain and India still fighting back there down at the bottom of the stairs. Really, it's a two marble race. A great move by Mexico getting through the funnel first, but they do stall under the exit. That loses them some ground over Vietnam. Vietnam, though, having some trouble getting out of this green funnel as well. Mexico doing a good job at keeping the lead. He enters the first white funnel first. And India and Spain really need to uh, catch up if they want to be able to have a chance of advancing to the final round. Mexico, though, is already in the uh, orange funnel. Vietnam coming up here, and Vietnam overpasses there. And there is the white funnel first. Mexico can still be advanced. Vietnam will be the winner of this heat. And 
this point. It's looking like Mexico will be advancing as well. India and Spain pretty much don't have a chance. Spain is stuck on the track on one of these merged elements. And they won't even be able to finish this race. Which is unfortunate for them. India, though, is able to finish the race. India and Spain will be eliminated. And Vietnam and Mexico will advance to the final round. Now it's time for semifinal B, Indonesia, Portugal, the USA, and France. Which two of these marbles will accompany Vietnam and Mexico in the final round? Who comes out first? If you, the uh, Indonesia, if you look closely there on that little zigzag section, there were a couple overtakes in the middle of the field, which is a hard thing to do because there's very little space. It is Indonesia who uh, gets out of the uh, yellow funnel first. The next three marbles still having a hard time with USA who gets out in second and then France and Portugal and Portugal overtakes through the stairs great move by Portugal and USA falls down the stairs we'll have to see if they have any injuries after that take a look at the replay there they weren't able to get up to the second stairs they fell down almost to the bottom of the first section of stairs Indonesia now already in the uh, first white funnel but the USA has already caught back up and they get hit right into the hole by Portugal. Portugal wants to pass the USA as well. They're pretty close together. Indonesia's already in the last white funnel. They have sealed their advancement. But who will come in second? Portugal and the USA both in the white funnel. Portugal has the slight lead, but will the USA be able to take it? Yes, they will. The USA will advance to the final round and Portugal will be eliminated. France also will be eliminated. But a great move by the USA, barely taking it over by Portugal. And they'll advance with Indonesia to the final round. Portugal, very disappointed at the results of this race. Now it's time for the final round. Vietnam, Mexico, Indonesia, and the USA. Four very big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs community. Who will be the champion of this round? The champion of this round will also be the champion of this entire tournament. So the stakes are high. Who comes out first? It's Vietnam. And Mexico again having some trouble stalling under the exit of a funnel. And it is the USA who has the same trouble there. They get pushed by Indonesia. Indonesia though isn't able to overtake there. We got USA, Indonesia, Mexico all within one stare of each other. And then Vietnam is one stare behind. This is going to be a heated battle. Vietnam falls down the entire first half of the stairs like USA did in the last round. USA still has to fend off Indonesia and Mexico, though. And a hard hit from Indonesia there. USA is still able to keep the lead. They are being very resilient from these tough competitors in this race. With US, or Mexico overtakes the USA through the white funnel. There's only the orange funnel and then the final white funnel to go. USA is the first to enter, but they're stalled under the orange funnel again. And they're neck and neck with Mexico. Who will it be? This is for the championship, and it's the USA who will be the champion of this tournament. Mexico comes in close as second. And Indonesia will get the bronze. Vietnam comes in with a respectable fourth place. Last place in this heat. They still were in the final round. They got to be included. But the USA is the one that everybody wants to be today because they are the champion of this tournament. What a finish. The USA and Mexico, two rivals in Quebec's Marble Runs, dueling it out right at the last second. The USA came out on top, being the champion of, of this tournament. Mexico coming in at second. They had some good running in this tournament compared to some of their previous tournaments recently. And so they're glad to be on the podium. Second to the USA. And then Indonesia sitting on the third place spot. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place in this tournament. Mexico coming in close at second. Indonesia in third place. All these marbles, big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs tournament.
we are here at the Fubeka Stadium for yet another marble tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and today we have flat out racing on this large Hubelino track. There are many features that the marbles will have to get through to beat their opponents in this track. We have a Plinko, we have spirals, we have stairs, we have funnels, and we have a slalom maze as well. Each of these different uh, sections of this track will test a different strategy that these marbles will have to take and we'll have to see which ones come out on top and which teams are the most well-rounded in this track. So how this event will work, we'll have two marbles going at a time. The winner of the race will go on to the next round, which is the semifinals. And then the final round, we'll have four marbles, the winners from each of the four semifinals. First off, we have Ghana versus Japan. And they're off through the Plinko section. First, who comes out first? It's Japan through the spiral section. And what the spiral is for is just gaining enough speed before the other marble can get to you. Because there's no possible way you can overtake through the spiral. And we are now in the slalom. Japan barely uh, fights off Ghana through the slalom. Now for the first funnel, Japan is still in the lead into the second funnel. Ghana has been following Japan this entire race so far. Will Ghana be able to catch up and pass Japan? Japan is entering the stairs now. Ghana is still in the third funnel. Japan already entering the fourth funnel just as Ghana is getting to the stairs now. At this point, it's looking like Japan is going to take this heat unless somehow Ghana can make a miracle and catch up to Japan. Japan only has two more funnels to go and they will be champion. Japan has entered the last funnel. Will Ghana be able to catch up their two funnels behind? It's not looking like it. Japan going around for the final time. And Japan will be the champion of this heat. Ghana will come in at second. Japan's time 66.867. And Japan, or uh, Ghana, uh, with time of 77. So that's a whole uh, 10 seconds behind Japan. So Japan will advance to the semifinals. Next up we have Australia versus Indonesia. Two countries in Oceania. Which one will come out on top? Australia in the translucent blue. Indonesia in the white with black stripes. Indonesia comes out through the Plinko. Down the spiral they go. But they're pretty close together. Who will come out through the slalom first? It's Australia. It takes a quick turn right down into the first funnel here, but Indonesia passes them right before the exit of the slalom, and they're neck and neck in the first funnel. But it is Indonesia who comes out first, and a quick exit through the second funnel as well. Australia has some catching up to do, but they're doing well in the second funnel as well. But Indonesia is already up into the stairs. Australia has to do a little work to catch up to Indonesia. We're halfway through this race already. Indonesia has a, a decent lead. Not as quite of a far lead as Japan had on Ghana in the last heat. They're only one funnel ahead of Australia at this point. Australia is trying to slowly inch their way up, but they only have two more funnels to do so. And they're in the same funnel now. Will Australia be able to pass Indonesia? No, they won't, but they are in the final funnel. This is for the win. They're neck and neck. Who will come out of the hole first? And it will be Indonesia by a hair. Australia comes in at second. Only two seconds ahead, or two seconds behind Indonesia. What a heated heat. Indonesia coming out over Australia. And they'll be going up against Japan. Two island nations going up in the first semifinal. Next up, we have Peru versus USA. USA in the black, Peru in the red. USA comes out through the Plinko. Now for the slalom, who comes out first is Peru who takes the uh, first right turn. USA trying to come up and they take first place from Peru right there. They're neck and neck through the first funnel. Just circling around USA, taking the lead, but they're neck and neck through this funnel. Peru does not want to give up the lead. But the USA keeps holding it at this point. Peru doesn't want to allow the USA to get too far ahead. They've seen what happened with some of these other teams in the previous seat. Peru has taken the lead now. They're one step apart. Will USA be able to catch up to Peru in the next funnel? 
And a hard hit from the USA there, slowing them down quite a bit. And they'll take the lead through that next funnel. Only three more funnels to go. USA has already exited the next funnel before the Peru even gets there. Peru only has two more funnels before the USA will be champion. Can Peru catch up? They're slowing down through the second funnel, but the USA is slowing down it well. And the USA will be the champion of this heat. Peru comes in at second. They will be eliminated. And the USA will advance to the semifinals. There's five second difference between the USA and Peru in that heat. The USA will go up against the semifinals. Spain and Libya by the next duel. One of them will go up against the USA in the semifinals. And they're off. Libya in the more shiny blue. Spain in the yellow. Spain has come out on top out of the Plinko. But it is Libya who's able to uh, take the first turn. But Spain is able to overtake through this slalom maze section. Seems like the second marble is usually the marble who enters the slalom first. But it's the first marble who is able to exit it first. And it's very interesting uh, dynamics there. But Libya and Spain are both neck and neck in this second funnel. Spain is coming out on top. Spain entering the stairs now. Libya needs to do a little bit of work to catch up. They're having a hard time getting out of that third funnel. Now they have. They're entering the funnel just as Spain had left it. Spain has a whole stair and all, uh, half a funnel now ahead of Libya. Unless Spain makes some crucial mistake, I think they'll advance. Libya is only one funnel behind though, but they're pretty pretty close in terms of the radius of spin in the funnel. Spain in the last funnel. Libya still in the second. And Spain will be advancing to the semifinals versus the USA. And Libya will be eliminated. Let's see how many seconds behind Libya was from Spain. Eight seconds. So not as bad as Ghana versus Japan. Still not a very good performance by Libya. Next up we have Qatar versus Vietnam. Qatar in the red, Vietnam in the blue this time. Well, I guess it's more yellow. With a very large blue strike. Qatar comes out of the Plinko first. Vietnam does not want them want to let them uh, get too large of a lead. Vietnam comes through the Solemn first. They overtake Qatar. This time through the uh, Solemn section. They're neck and neck through the funnel. Breaking the dynamics of the first couple of heats. They're neck and neck. One uh, length behind. Vietnam is overtaking Qatar there. Qatar is still in the second funnel. Vietnam has already exited the third funnel and now are entering the stairs. Vietnam now in the fourth funnel after the stairs. Qatar trying to catch up. But at this point, Vietnam has pretty much advanced unless somehow Qatar can get through these next couple of funnels. Because if you can slow down your speed and get through the hole as quickly as possible, they still could catch up to Vietnam. One of the secrets of a funnel is, especially in these little orange funnels, if you enter with enough speed, it'll actually make your... Uh... And Vietnam advances to the next round. But as I was saying, if you enter the funnel with enough speed, it'll actually elongate your um, path of spiraling. This will actually cause you to get into the hole quicker. But the car... 12 seconds behind Vietnam. So Vietnam will advance to the semifinals. Qatar will be eliminated. Next up, we have Argentina versus Brazil. Two rivals in the soccer world now coming down here against each other in this marble race. Who will come out on top? Brazil in the yellow and blue. Argentina in the white with the blue and black stripes. Argentina comes out through the spiral first. But they do... Uh, come through the first turn in the slalom neck and neck, but Brazil is able to overtake Argentina Through this green slalom section into the first funnel trying to get down through closest to the hole as quickly as possible before Argentina gets there And they're able to exit the funnel avoiding a bump from Argentina, which would cause, cause disaster for Brazil One of the major see what Argentina did right there Entering the funnel pretty fast, elongating their spiral, and they got through the funnel really quickly, and then they did the same thing 
in the funnel with Brazil, overtaking Brazil. Great strategy by Argentina there. Brazil has some catching up to do. Another strategy you can do in these funnels is if a marble is really slow, almost about to exit the funnel, if you can enter the funnel at just the right trajectory to bump your speed into that slow marble, it'll cause them to speed up and you to slow down, exiting the funnel first. But Argentina is still in the lead. Brazil still has a chance they can take advantage of these strategies I've been saying right here. And there's a bump from Brazil there. And they do the strategy I was just talking about. And they will advance to the semifinals. Argentina will be eliminated. Great strategies by both of these teams. Definitely rivals in this tournament. But Brazil is able to overcome Argentina. And they'll go against Vietnam in the semifinals. Next up, we have Indo uh, India versus Greece. Fans are definitely excited because that was a heated battle between Argentina and Brazil. Greece and India now. Greece in the blue, India in the white with multicolored swirls in it. They're neck and neck, but Greece a little bit ahead through the spiral. We'll come out uh, first through this green section and it, it looked like it's Greece. Greece comes out to the first funnel first. India chasing Greece from behind. Greece barely keeping ahead of India. They exit the funnel first. India trying to use some of the advantages they saw from Argentina and Brazil in the last heat. And they do there. And they exit the funnel first. Greece now doing the same strategy. They slow down. But India gives their momentum to Greece. And India will be the first one up the stairs. Greece in the first stair right as India is in the last. India only has four more funnels to go and they'll be advanced. Greece though does not want that to happen. They're trying to do all they can to get to India. Not quite in the same funnel there. India barely exiting before Greece gets there. There's only three more funnels to go. And oh, a good strategy by Greece, but they miss India. But now they're neck and neck in the final funnel. It's a duel, but India has some slower momentum. Will Greece be able to push them aside? No. So India will be advancing to the semifinals. Greece will be eliminated. Three second difference between those two teams. And it is India who will advance. Greece trying to use those strategies, but they weren't able to use them to their advantage in that heat. Next up, we have Cameroon versus Mexico. Mexico in the green with black stripes. A little bit stalled there outside of the Plinko. Cameroon in the green with more red and yellow stripes. And they're neck and neck through the Plinko sector, or the uh, Swollen section. Mexico barely overtaking there. And they're neck and neck through the funnel. But they're pretty opposite on the opposite sides of the funnel. Who comes out first? It's Cameroon, then Mexico. A bump by Mexico, quick exit of that second funnel. That was only two, maybe even one second in that funnel. Great strategy by Mexico there. And now a bump from Cameroon. And they overtake Mexico there. They're entering these stairs first. Mexico trying to catch back up. They're only three stairs behind. Cameroon has to do all they can to slow down as much as possible before they, Mexico gets there. And they're able to do it. Mexico almost comes up and bumps Cameroon from behind. Cameroon, though, is able to exit that funnel. Will they be able to do it again here? Yes, they will. Mexico trying to do all they can to get to Cameroon, give them some more speed, so that'll give them more time to get uh, to the funnel as quickly as possible. But Cameroon is in the final funnel. Mexico only has a couple more seconds to do something, but it looks like Cameroon will be advancing to the next round. Mexico will be eliminated. Cameroon gets a time of 76 seconds. Let's see what the difference is for Mexico. And they were eight seconds behind. Uh, so close, they weren't able to do it. They were so close. And multiple funnels to Cameroon. And Cameroon was able to exit the funnel before anything happened. Now for the first semifinal, Japan versus Indonesia. Japan in the white with colored stripes. Indonesia, the black and white striped marble. Through the first uh, spiral section, it's Indonesia in the lead. Japan coming in, and they take first place through the slalom. And they should try to come up from behind. Japan has a few rotations ahead of Indonesia in the funnel. But Indonesia coming up from, from, from behind. And they overtake Japan, giving some of their momentum. 
Japan has to come up now and try to do the same thing they do there. You see there, Japan had the more speed. Bumping Indonesia from behind, slowing down. But Indonesia was able to give the momentum back and overtake the lead once again. Now they're in the stairs. Japan has to try to come up and overtake Indonesia. But they're having a hard time getting out of the third funnel. Indonesia, probably a good 10 or so. Maybe even the entire funnel. Yes, they will. They're in the second funnel. After the stairs, Japan has to do something quick before things get out of hand. Indonesia, now only one funnel behind uh, the final funnel, which will allow them to advance. Japan, pretty far behind. Will they be able to catch up to Indonesia? It's not looking like it. Indonesia, a couple more revolutions, and yes, they'll advance to the next round, which is the final round. Japan will be eliminated in this semifinal. They were the first team to advance in this video, and now they have been eliminated. And Indonesia will advance to the final round versus three other marbles in the final heat. So Indonesia goes to the final. Next up, the second semifinal, the USA versus Spain. Both of these teams wants to go up against uh, Indonesia in the final round, but only one will be able to. USA in the black, Spain in the yellow. USA comes out through the spiral. And the USA quick turn through the middle of the slalom, but Spain trying to take a different path and they're able to pass the United States. And they're neck and neck and the United States is able to take the first funnel. Spain trying to come up from behind. They have a more elongated spin. The USA is able to fend them off there. Great strategy by the USA. Deflecting Spain's hit. And Spain is trying to do it again there. And they are able to take the first place uh, through the third funnel up the stairs this time. USA about a stairs behind. They need to do some major work. They want to be able to take this heat. It's looking like at this point, Spain may able may be able to. USA coming there. Will they be able to hit Spain? No, they won't. Problem with going and trying to hit your opponent to be faster. It means it may elongate your funnel if you don't hit them. And they hit them there. USA has passed Spain. But Spain is coming up to the final funnel. This is the neck and neck moment. And the USA is able to take the lead. And they will advance to the final versus Indonesia and two other marbles. Spain will be eliminated. A great move in that final funnel. Spain trying to come up from behind and give them, uh, USA, their momentum. USA gave it right back. And they said, I need to go to the final now. And that's how they got into the final. Next up, we have the semifinal C, which is Vietnam versus Brazil. Brazil, red, or er, uh, white, or... Er, Sorry for the color confusion. Yellow with blue stripes. Vietnam with yellow and blue uh, with also red stripes. Vietnam, Brazil is in the lead at this point. And they're neck and neck, but Brazil has the smaller radius spin. They're able to exit the funnel first. Will Vietnam, ooh, great move by Vietnam there. Bump to Brazil and they're able to take the lead. Both really slow through the respective funnels. Vietnam entering the stairs now. Brazil has some work to do. But it's not over for Brazil. Brazil can still catch up if Vietnam is too slow through these funnels. And more importantly, if Brazil can get through the funnels quicker than Vietnam. But Vietnam is already to the third to last funnel. And Brazil is still trying to get out of the stairs. There's Vietnam to the second to last funnel. Brazil is running out of time. And Vietnam to the last funnel. Vietnam blazing through these funnels like they're nothing. And Vietnam will advance to the next round. They'll be winning this heat. Brazil still in the second to last funnel. A terrible performance by Brazil. They could have had it, but they did not execute these funnels correctly. Therefore, they were eliminated in the semifinal stage. Vietnam will go be going up against the USA and Indonesia in the final round. Only one more marble will be able to go up against them. Brazil, 20 seconds behind Vietnam. That is unfortunate for Brazil. Vietnam goes into the final round. Now for the final semifinal, India versus Cameroon. Which marble will be the other marble to go in the final round? 
versus the three other models. Indonesia, or not Indonesia, India comes out to the lead. Cameroon coming in at second. Through the spiral, who will come out through the slalom? Contact by Cameroon, but India in the quicker path through the slalom. But uh, Cameroon, quick move through the slalom there. They're neck and neck through the funnel. And India overtakes Cameroon through the first funnel and a quick move through the second funnel. Cameroon is losing some ground. Now they're in the same funnel yet again. This is the final funnel before the stairs and Cameroon Quick move through the inside, and they're in first place now. India losing some ground. They're scared behind Cameroon. Cameroon needs to do all they can to get through the funnel before India gets there, because India can do some pretty aggressive moves to overpass in the funnels. Cameroon is in the second to last funnel. India only has two more funnels to try to pass Cameroon. Can they get through the funnel before Cameroon exits? No, they won't. Cameroon is in the last funnel. Will India be able to advance? I don't think so. Cameroon is already too far ahead and they're exiting the final there and they will advance to the final round and they'll be the final marble to be in that quartet of marbles in the final round. India will be eliminated in this semifinal. 10 seconds behind a average uh, behind score behind Cameroon. And Cameroon will be going up against Vietnam, the USA, Indonesia, in the final round this will be a four marble race and whichever marbles come out on top will crown your first second and third champion as well as for your fourth place finisher this will be a hectic match who will come out on top USA in the black Indonesia in the white Vietnam yellow and Cameroon in the green here we go for the final round in this race it comes out first it's Indonesia being followed by Cameroon the USA and then Vietnam and now we're going to have four marbles all at the same time in the slalom. This is going to be crazy. Who comes out first? It's Vietnam. But the USA, a quick move through the inside. And they're now in the second funnel. Indonesia is still lagging behind in the slalom as the other two marbles are in the first funnel. Vietnam, though, overpasses the USA through the second funnel. USA is coming up close behind. And they're trying to overpass uh, Vietnam there. And Vietnam is still able to keep the lead. But Cameroon bumped from the inside from them. USA is falling down the third. Cameroon is now two stairs behind Vietnam. We are halfway through this race. Right now it's Cameroon and Vietnam in the fourth funnel. Fourth to last funnel. And who come out first? It's Cameroon. Vietnam come up close behind. Will be able to do a bump to Cameroon. They're chasing them. They're chasing them. And they are not able to do it. Cameroon exits the funnel first, but here comes the United States and a bump from them. They take in second place. Cameroon's in the final funnel. Will any other marble challenge the first place or will Cameroon be the champion of this tournament? Here comes Vietnam, but Cameroon will be your champion of this tournament. Vietnam comes in at second and the USA comes in at third place. Indonesia, a respectable fourth finish, but Cameroon will be the champion of this tournament. A great performance by Cameroon. What a crazy match. Cameroon and Vietnam battling out in the second half of the race, as well as the USA falling back after being in the lead with Vietnam in the first half of the race. Cameroon coming out at the last second, and they will be champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Cameroon and all your Cameroon fans out there. Now it's time for the podium ceremony. Three marbles get to sit on the podiums. One marble still in the final round, but not able to sit on the podium this time. Three marbles get the glory from this race. Congratulations to Cameroon for being your champion of this Marble Hubalino Race Tournament. Vietnam coming in close at second, and the USA in third place. All these marbles had... Hello, Marble Sports fans, and welcome back. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for yet another Marble Run Tournament here on Fabeca's Marble Runs. We have another soccer tournament for you guys today. We've returned to a track that we had a couple videos ago to give some of these marble teams a chance at glory. We have the funnel in the middle of the field with two marble goalies on each side protecting their respective goals. 
and that's what these marbles are going to try to have to get past to in order to score more goals than the opposing team. Last time we had this tournament, it was Argentina who came out with the win being followed closely by Canada and then Brazil in third place. Some of the teams who did not even make it past the first round, Portugal, the USA, Indonesia, China, as well as many others as we get going on the bracket system for this tournament. First off, we have France versus Argentina. Will Argentina be able to pull off a second win on this field? We'll have to wait and see. Argentina is in the light blue. France is in the dark blue, and we are off. Into the funnel we go. We'll come out first. Argentina with one goal. Get blocked by the goalie on the left. But there's another goal for Argentina. And now France gets on the uh, pull of the, the uh, goal there. They are only able to score one goal. Argentina gets two. So they'll advance to the next round. And France will be eliminated. Argentina already showing that they have some skill in this tournament. Will they be able to come out and take another win on the same funnel soccer track? You can see there France getting blocked by the uh, side of the goal. They weren't quite aimed perfectly on that hit as well as they're being blocked directly by one of the marble goalies. So Argentina will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, the USA versus Colombia. USA was one of the teams that did not make it to the at least even the second round in this tournament before. Colombia Having two marbles there go way off from that right goal. And then the third marble goes way off. And the USA gets two goals in the left. The USA gets two scores. Colombia gets zero. Colombia did not even compete in this tournament in the last time we saw this track. And now we know why. Three goals, or not goals, three misses all right on the right side. Going way off to the right of the right uh, goal there. You can see none of them were even close than the two USA marble coming out on the left side. So the USA will be going up against Argentina in the quarterfinals. Next up we have China versus Brazil. Brazil coming in third place. Last time we were at this tournament, China not even making it past the first round. Will that happen again? China gets a goal. Uh, Brazil misses. And another block by Brazil. China gets another goal. And then there's one for Brazil. But China gets two goals. Brazil only gets one. So China will advance to the quarterfinals. Brazil will be eliminated. You can see there. First goal by China. And then Mexico, or, uh, Brazil misses right there on the right. And then they get blocked by a goalie there. China being able to pass the goalie. And then a miss for China. And Brazil getting one on the right. So China will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Uruguay versus Spain. Uruguay in the blue, Spain in the yellow. They're off. And both misses so far. Spain having a lot of time. Uh, wasted right before exiting the ramp under the funnel. But Uruguay gets three points. Spain only gets two. Uruguay smash out by them. They'll advance to the next round. Even though they had a block right there. They were blocked by the goalie. And watch right there. Spain had already exited the funnel. But it took a couple seconds for them to actually exit the ramp under the funnel. And then Uruguay gets one on the left. You see there Uruguay hits their other teammate into the goal. Amazing performance by Uruguay in this tournament. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on them in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Mexico versus Japan. Mexico in the green, Japan in the white. And they're off. Mexico gets blocked. Japan gets one in. Mexico gets blocked again. Japan gets another one. Mexico completely misses on that one. So does Japan. So Japan will get two points. Mexico gets zero. Japan will advance to the next round. Mexico will be eliminated yet again. You can see that Mexico marble sitting right in front of the goal. Had their other teammate come up and hit them from behind. They may have been able to get two goals and tied it with Japan. But that Mexico marble going way off to the left. 
So Japan will advance to the quarterfinals versus either the UK or Indonesia, who are next. And they're off to the merge section into the funnel. UK gets one right immediately. And Indonesia misses one. Indonesia misses another one. UK gets blocked, but then gets a goal, and so does Indonesia. But the United Kingdom has two, so they'll advance to the next round. Indonesia will be eliminated. One goal for the United Kingdom there. Indonesia misses the goal on the left, and the United Kingdom gets blocked again by the goalie. Those goalies are good at their job. You can see they're a little bit bigger than the normal marble size. And that's what they're for. Japan is going up against the UK in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Portugal versus Vietnam. And they're off one of the Vietnam marbles way behind. Going up the other side of the track, Vietnam only has two marbles. Portugal gets a score as well as for Vietnam. And there's another one for Vietnam and v Portugal gets blocked. Vietnam gets two goals even though one of their marbles is stuck on the track. Look at this. That Vietnam marble going up the Portugal lane on the track right before the merge. What is happening on that Vietnam marble? I'm not sure, but Vietnam was still able to advance to the next round. Hopefully they'll be able to get their teamwork under control by the time the, semi the quarterfinals start which is soon because India and Canada is next and this is the final duel in this first group stage India on the right, Canada on the left and we are off we will come out first it's Canada with a goal And here comes two more. Canada misses as well as for India. Canada gets one past the goalie. India doesn't get any scores. Canada gets two. Canada will advance the next round and India will be eliminated. You see there right off the bat Canada getting a goal and then the rest of the marbles having some trouble getting out of the funnel. But it was Canada and India at the same time who got out next. They were both unsuccessful at getting a goal and then next up was Canada who almost got blocked by a goalie but was able to just barely get into that goal so Canada will go up against Vietnam in the quarterfinals now it's time for the first quarterfinal Argentina versus the USA Argentina last tournament's champion versus the USA here we go and what Argentina's marbles is stuck on the merge USA already has an advantage. One goal for the USA, one goal for Argentina, and another goal for the USA, eliminating Argentina. The USA will advance to the semifinals. Argentina, unfortunately, will be eliminated because of one of their marbles being stuck on the merge. Seems to be a hard element for some of these marbles to get through. I'll try to jostle for the uh, top spots because both teams are entering at the same time. Kind of get mixed up and sometimes the marbles lose their speed as for the Argentina marble in this duel. So the USA is going to be the first marble advancing to the semifinals. Next up we have China versus Uruguay. And we're off. And China gets the marble stuck in the merge as well. China's going to have to be uh, really working hard at it. They only have one goal. If Uruguay gets one more goal, China is instantly eliminated, and they do right there. China is elimin eliminated, and the Uruguay is advanced to the semifinals. What is happening to some of these marble teams getting marbles stuck on the merge? All the other coaches of the rest of the teams taking note on these accidents, having some last-minute coaching sessions with their players, making sure that this won't happen for their teams because it can spell disaster. So Uruguay will be going up against the USA in the semifinals. Now we have Japan versus the UK. Will there be a marble stuck in the merge? Not this time. Pretty fast entry into the funnel. No marble has exited yet. There's Japan with one goal. United Kingdom gets hit on the goalpost. 
And there's one for Japan, but there's one for the United Kingdom as well. But Japan gets two goals. The United Kingdom only gets one. So Japan will advance to the next round. See there, there's one for the uh, Japan as well as for the United Kingdom missing. Japan gets one on the right side as well, leaving it to the last two marbles. Japan gets one there. Oh, Japan had missed their second one there and got their third one. So Japan will advance to the semifinals. Next up, Vietnam versus Canada, the final quarterfinal of this tournament. Canada versus Vietnam. And Canada gets a marble stuck on the merge as well. Will Vietnam be able to take advantage of Canada's disadvantage? Canada gets a goal. Vietnam misses, but Vietnam gets another one. So Vietnam will advance. Canada will be eliminated because of this marble incident yet again. Is there a conspiracy of marbles that are rigging this tournament because getting stuck on the merge? I'm not sure, but at this point, Vietnam is advancing and Canada will be eliminated. We'll see what happens as the tournament goes on. Next up, the first semifinal, the USA versus Uruguay. We'll come out first this time, looking like the USA and they get a goal. Here comes the next one. They get a goal as well as for Uruguay gets a goal as well. USA misses their third marble. It's all up to these two Uruguay marbles now. One goal. Both goals missed because they were blocked by the goalie. USA gets two points. Uruguay gets one. Therefore, the USA will advance to the final round in this marble soccer tournament. You, the uh, Uruguay will advance to the third place match. That second Uruguay marble having some trouble exiting the funnel. They were able to do it, but they were blocked by the goal. And now for the second semifinal, Japan versus Vietnam. Who will accompany the USA in the final round? And they are off yet again. Japan having the lead this time. They are mixed up in the funnel. One score for Japan. One miss for Vietnam. One score for Vietnam again. And then two more misses for Japan. Vietnam can still take this. And they get into the goal, which means they have two points. Japan only gets one. So Vietnam will be going up against the USA in the final round. Japan will be going up against Uruguay in the third place match. See that Japan marble getting blocked there. And then the second one completely missing the goal. And then Vietnam coming up on the right side of the goalie. So Vietnam will be going up against the USA in the final round. Now it's time for the third place match, Uruguay versus Japan. And they're off. One of the Japan marbles lagging behind. There's a goal for Uruguay and a miss by Japan. Uruguay gets another one there. Will Japan be able to come up there right on the line? Uruguay gets another goal. Japan has been eliminated already at this point. Look at that Japan marble, though. So close to getting a goal. They weren't able to do it, though. Uruguay gets three goals. A complete shutout for Uruguay. Putting them on the third place on the podium. See there, that Japan marble getting stuck right on the goal post. Unfortunate for them. It still wouldn't have helped anyway. It would have been 3-2. Now for the final round in this Marble Funnel Soccer Tournament. The USA versus Vietnam. USA didn't even make it past the first round last time we had this tournament. Now they're on the final round. Will they be able to come up and be the champion of this tournament and have a comeback? We'll have to wait and see as this final duel gets started. The USA will be on the right. Vietnam on the left. And we are off. The final round has started. And USA gets a marble stuck on the merge. Vietnam has a chance for glory here, but they get blocked and miss. If USA gets both of their goals, Vietnam misses. USA gets a goal, but that's all they need. The USA will be the champion of this soccer tournament. Vietnam will come in second. The USA being champions, even though they have a marble stuck on merge. 
incredible performance by those two the USA marbles especially the one that got the goal you can see there that USA marble stuck on the merge Vietnam had it in their grasp all they had to do is get two goals and if USA had to be even missed one they would have been champion but they missed both of the first two goals and then they missed the last one allowing the USA to come up and get out just one goal and that's all they needed going up on that left side the goal of victory for the USA the USA will be the champion of this tournament. An amazing performance by the USA team. Even though they had a marble stuck on the merge. As we listen to the American National Anthem. All these Americans are very proud of their team's performance in today's marble soccer tournament. Congratulations to the USA for being your Marble Soccer Tournament Champion. Vietnam coming in at second and Uruguay being in third place. All these teams performed very well in this tournament. The USA having a comeback being eliminated in the first round in the last tournament. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Quebec's Marble Worms. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this Marble Pool Tournament. While this tournament will work is your goal is to hit the other team into the hole as much as possible. So essentially, whoever gets the most marbles in the hole will lose the round. So uh, we'll have to see how these marbles try to use... Uh, strategy to dodge each other's hits to try to hit each other into the hole that will be an interesting uh, aspect of this tournament as we take a look at the track here you can see the pool green down at the bottom and then the two tracks coming in on either side starting up here at the starting line where the marbles will start and they have three marbles per team in this tournament but again here are the full uh, bracket systems for this tournament first off we have the UK versus France France in the dark blue, United Kingdom in the light blue, and we're off. And France gets one in, so United Kingdom gets a point. And the United Kingdom will advance the next round one to zero. Essentially, the reasoning behind this is your marble hits the other marble into the, the hole, similar to how you would hit a pool ball into another pool ball. You would hit the cue ball into one of the balls that you want to get into the hole can see one of the United Kingdom bar marbles hitting the France marble into that middle center uh, closest hole. So the UK will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up we have Colombia versus the USA. US USA in the white, Colombia in the yellow. And they're off. And the Colombia gets one in. So the United States We'll advance to the next round, 1-0 yet again. Let's see if the reason why Columbia lost is because they were too early. You see Columbia got all their marbles onto the field first. The USA barely dodging that middle hole. But uh, it was Columbia who ended up getting one hole in the top right pocket. So the USA will advance to the quarterfinals versus the UK. Next up we have China versus Brazil. China on the left, Brazil on the right. We'll come out on top. And China gets one in, here comes another one, but they don't go in. So China gets one pocket, therefore Brazil gets one point and Brazil will advance to the next round. Getting one point, China gets zero. there China accidentally hitting their own marble because of a contact from Brazil which caused them to lose a ball into the middle center hole Brazil goes to the quarterfinals next up we have Spain versus Vietnam Spain the more reddish yellow Vietnam is the more yellow with black stripes 
And one of the Vietnam marbles gets stuck in the, uh, not the Vietnam, Spain gets pushed into the pocket. So Vietnam will be advancing to the quarterfinals. You see here this first Spain marble getting hit into the uh, left or the right pocket by another one of their own team, unfortunately. Too chaotic of a match for them. So Vietnam will advance to the quarterfinals versus Brazil. Next up we have Mexico versus Uruguay. Uruguay in the translucent blue. Mexico in the green. Can Mexico make it past the first couple of rounds? And Uruguay has a marble in. So Mexico will get a point. Mexico advances to the quarterfinals. One step closer going against their nemesis, uh, the United States in these marble tournaments. Uruguay, unfortunately being eliminated. Let's see how it happened. You see there the first contact between the first two marbles. Uruguay goes into the center top hole. So Mexico will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up we have Canada versus Indonesia. Indonesia in the white, Canada in the clear with red swirls. As we get going here. And Canada gets a marble in. And Indonesia gets one point because of that. Indonesia will advance the next round one to zero. Will there be any instances where we have more than one marble in a hole. I haven't seen that yet. We'll have to see if that happens in the rest of the competition. Canada merely, nearly missing that top right pocket. But it was Indonesia who will advance to the next round with one point. So far, it's only been one point that have advanced all these marbles to the quarterfinals so far. Indonesia advances to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Portugal versus Japan. Portugal in the green, Japan in the white. They are off. And what happened there? Portugal, one of the Portugal marbles, flies off the track. Japan has a marble in the cockpit. Portugal advances the next round, but somehow one of the Portugal marbles is gone. Let's see here in the replay just what happened. You can see there. Portugal marble landing right on the Japan marble flying off of the whole pool green. Meanwhile, one of the Japan marbles had fallen into a pocket, scoring Japan a point or Portugal a point. So Portugal will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Now for our final duel in this stage, Argentina versus India. They are off. And India has marble in. And so that means Argentina will advance to the next round. Argentina gets a point. India, unfortunately, will be eliminated. You can see there that first collision is really crucial in this uh, tournament. Whichever marble as the wrong move on that first collision may fall into that hole as we've seen a couple times in this tournament. Next up we have the first quarterfinal, the UK versus the USA. And they're off the UK, a little bit behind, or a little bit ahead of the USA. The USA gets a marble in. The United Kingdom scores a point on that. And they will advance the next round. The USA will be eliminated. Seems like if your team lags behind a little bit, you have more chance of being eliminated because the other team has more time to gain onto your side of the uh, the green, pushing you into one of the holes because they have more momentum on the green. Next up, we have quarterfinals number two, Brazil versus Vietnam. Brazil, yellow with the blue. Vietnam, yellow with the black. And we are off. 
And one marble right at the end, the Brazil marble falling into the top center pocket, scoring Vietnam a point. So Vietnam will advance to the next round and Brazil will be eliminated. See right there, that last Vietnam marble coming in at the last second. Actually, that was a Brazil marble. Came up and hit the other Brazil marble right at the last second, unfortunately. Next up, we have Mexico versus Indonesia. Mexico wanting to have a good performance in this tournament. Wanting to remake a name for themselves. And Indonesia has a marble in. And that advances Mexico to the next round. One step closer to glory for Mexico. You see the Indonesian marble actually get there first. Mexico marble hitting them right into just the right angle to send them into the top center pocket. So Mexico will advance to the semifinals versus either Portugal or Argentina. Which is next. Argentina in the blue, Portugal in the green. As we get started, they are off. And no scores yet, but it is Portugal who gets a marble in, scoring Argentina a point. Argentina will be going up against Mexico in the semifinals. can see one of the Argentina marbles lagging behind a little bit. Is that what caused them to win? See where the pocket was. There weren't any pockets uh, directly at the start. Portugal gets one right there in the center. So Argentina will advance to Mexico in the semifinals. Now it's time for the first semifinal, the UK versus Vietnam. And we are off. Pretty neck and neck entry at this point, but it is Argentina, or I mean the United Kingdom, who gets there first. Scoring Vietnam into a pocket. Scoring them a point, which means they will advance to the final round. And Vietnam will advance to the third place match. You can see right there. Vietnam being pushed against the wall and then into the center pocket by the United Kingdom. Like I said, the United Kingdom advances to the final. Now it's time for the second semifinal, Mexico versus Argentina. One of these teams will face off against the UK in the final round, and one of these teams will be sent to the third place match. And they're off. Mexico getting a ball in. Mexico, unfortunately, will be eliminated. Argentina will advance to the final round versus the UK. Mexico will be advanced to the third place match versus Vietnam. See this first Mexico marble way too early. And then Argentina comes along and uh, hits another Mexico marble into the top center pocket. That seems like a common pocket for these marbles to be hitting. Now it's time for the third place match, Vietnam versus Mexico. Vietnam on the left, Mexico still has a chance to stand on the podium. And Vietnam has a marble in. Mexico will be the third place in this tournament, scoring one point on Vietnam. So Mexico will get to sit on the podium along with the UK and Argentina. You can see there that Mexico marble on the right side hitting the Vietnam marble into the center bottom pocket. Now it's time for the final round, the UK versus Argentina. Which team will be crowned champion of this marble billiards tournament? Two blue colored teams, the United Kingdom in the blue with yellow, Argentina blue with white. The United Kingdom is slightly shinier as well. And the United Kingdom gets away in the top right pocket. 
unfortunately for them because Argentina will score a point and they will be the champion of this marble pool tournament. The United Kingdom will come in at second. Mexico will be in third place. An unfortunate event for the United Kingdom. They didn't even get hit into the pocket. They just went into the pocket by their own will. Was there mutiny in this team? Keep a close eye on the United Kingdom marbles because one of them going into the top right pocket without even being hit by another marble. I think it was the last one. You see there, I guess they were hit by the Argentina marble off course where they were supposed to go, ricocheted off the bottom wall into that top right pocket. So Argentina will be your champion of this marble pool tournament here on Fubeca's Marble Run. This entire tournament, we did not see more than a 1-0 score on the uh, overall pockets scored per team. That's very interesting. I would have thought we would have seen at least one get two pockets in on the other team. Guess that's not how it worked in today's tournament, though. Congratulations to Argentina for being your Marble Pool champion. United Kingdom coming in at second. Mexico gets to sit on the podium as well, getting third place. All these marbles getting one point in every round that they were in. Very interesting. We did Hello and welcome to this top 10 marble soccer tournament plays on Quebec's Marble Runs to get started on this first play. Quebec's Marble Runs has had a lot of different soccer tournaments throughout the years. So we'll be taking a look at some of the best plays here as we take a look at our first play. The Lynx Ruffus versus Steel Brothers match and the Marble Champions League soccer round. You can see that one Steel Brothers marble hitting the goal post and then coming back to the fidget spinner to be able to go and get that goal. Now for number nine. This time it is a marble uh, soccer friendly race, India versus the United Kingdom. You see Indy got three points. The United Kingdom didn't get, or they did get one point. To see in the replay how these marbles did it. You see each team in this tournament has five marbles. Going down through this little green track first. there up until just there none of the marbles had scored and look at that one India marble there bouncing off the wall to get into that goal a very uh, technical move by India that's why they're up on this list now for number eight one of our most recent soccer tournaments Spain versus France this was a very intense match See there, Spain getting blocked by the marble goalie, and then having another one pass, but France gets two goals, so they were advanced. The main highlight of this tournament and this round was those marble goalies, Spain hitting one directly head on, their first marble right here, and then the second one coming up and hitting the other one out of the way to get into the goal. See, Spain got blocked by the goalie twice in this round. And that's what caused them the elimination. Now for number seven. This one was a little bit older back to the fidget spinner format. And then you can see there the Indonesia marble coming up from behind. And two of the marbles in this round stalled by that little figure goalie. Both tried to get in that goal, but they weren't able to. It was a tie in this match. Also, if you watch uh, near the end of this match, one of the Indonesian marbles being circled there gets in right away. But the second Indonesian marble gets hit by the Cameroon marble going into the uh, goal. Now for number six. Another round from the Marble Champions League, Tatubola versus the Blue Jackets. Three goals all within a couple seconds of each other for the Blue Jackets. Only one goal for Tatubola. 
great round by the Blue Jackets. Very quick scoring. See, there's one. There's two. And then this set, uh, third one comes up right there. Tatubola, though, also having a bounce off the rim. Now for number five, as we enter our top five plays, it's Canada versus the USA. And you see there, one of the Canada marbles getting stalled before even getting to the field. And Canada already has, uh, they got one goal there. The USA only has one goal as well, but Canada was able to take two goals, which still allowed them to advance to the next round in this tournament, even though they had a marble stalled on the track. You can see Canada's resourcefulness in this match. You can see that first, the second USA marble getting blocked by that marble goalie. The third one hitting the rim. They only had one goal on the left side. And this last Canada marble comes up and takes the second goal. Now for number four. Peru versus Mexico in this match. Wow, what a crazy match. Marbles flying everywhere. Peru comes out on top with three. Mexico only had two. We'll have to see what the replay shows on that one. That was a crazy, chaotic match. Let's take a look at that last Mexico marble. We'll see what happens there. See marbles going everywhere. Look at that. There's the last Canada marble, or the Mexico marble, hitting the side of the field, going into the goal. Great strategy by Mexico. Now for our third best uh, soccer tournament performance on Quebec's Marble Runs. Another soccer Cinco tournament in the Marble Champions League. Let's see Steel Brothers getting stalled on the Plinko, but they are pushed by the Vikings, which allowed them to take a goal. Allowing them to advance to the next round in this tournament. You can see there they were stalled. They would have lost, but the Vikings dislodged them getting him into the goal, as well as the Vikings getting a goal. They did have to get past that goalie first. Those were the two marbles advancing to the next round in this tournament. Now for our second best soccer tournament performance. Another one here in the Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament this time. Let's see which countries it was. This time it was China, Argentina, Spain, and Indonesia. Four countries, so they only have one marble to get into the goal. Whoever gets in the goal first, if at all, would have advanced to the next round. Let's see which marble gets there first. It was China, who's off to the early lead, being followed by Argentina, who takes the lead through that first spiral. They all catching up right here. Entering the field, who gets a goal first? And no one gets a goal, but China spitting there. And they get a goal, so China was advanced. Argentina was the second marble down to the field. Actually, they were the first marble, but China gets to go first in the standings because they were the one who had the goal. So China and Argentina advance to the next round. A amazing round. China was the last marble to enter the field. They were spitting like crazy right in front of the goal, trying to fight the dizziness all they could just to get into that goal. You see they were spitting for a very long time before they finally inched across the goal. See that they're still going. And then they finally get in there, solidifying their advancement. Now for our best soccer play in Quebec's Marble Run's history, we go back to our roots. One of the older Quebec's Marble Run's videos. India versus Brazil. Starting off with the Gassetti Marble track and no fidget spinner this time. Brazil gets one and then India and Brazil gets another one. Brazil was the advanced marble in this match. Let's take a look at the replay. See, this is one of the soccer tournaments that did not have a fittest there in the middle. 
helped you a lot with for more skill on the marble side. You can see those two Brazil marbles over there almost getting into the goal. So this was the second match in this tournament. India versus uh, Brazil yet again. And there's two goals for India, or and uh, uh, three goals for Brazil. And look at that India marble over on the right, sitting on the line of the goal. Was that counted as a goal? We'll have to see. You see there all the uh, Brazil marbles getting to the other side of the field first, leaving the India marbles less time to collide with the Brazil marbles. See that India marble there? So close to the line, they rolled back out, trying to get back in. They weren't able to do it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of these compilation videos. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremiah and I'm here to welcome you to another marble tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Today we have another marble soccer tournament. The goal is simple, get the most goals and advance to the next round. As we take a look at the track, uh, they'll have two teams going on each side and then they'll merge going into the funnel. And then there's four lanes under the funnel which can lead you to hopefully the goal. And in front of each goal there is a goalie marble which will not move so that you'll have to dodge that marble if you want to be able to get a goal. We'll have to see how these marbles are able to do in this soccer tournament. It's a little bit of a different style than some of our previous soccer tournaments. Here we go, first round, Pakistan versus Japan. Pakistan on the left in the green, Japan in the white with red and yellow swirls. We're going to get our first look at this new merge element you can see there and into the funnel. And Japan gets one out, no goal. Pakistan gets blocked by the goalie. Japan gets one in. And there are no other goals. Japan gets one. So Japan will advance to the next round. Pakistan will be eliminated. You can see those goalie marbles do a good job at uh, blocking the marbles from getting into the goal. They will not move, you can see right there. They are fixed in place. You can see they block two marbles, unless this one gets blocked as well. No, they just missed the goal. So Japan will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Now it's for France versus Spain. And we are off. See this tournament really isn't about speed, it's about the goals. Ooh, two blocks there, but Spain gets one in, and, another, and then uh, France gets another one in, France gets another one. So France will be getting two goals, Spain only gets one. So Spain will be eliminated, and France will advance to the next round. These goalies are really something these marbles have to look out for. See that one was hit by the goalie there, and then the next one comes up from behind, and Spain gets one as well. Or France and then France comes up and gets the second one that's what uh, allowed them to advance to the quarterfinals against Japan next up we have Vietnam versus Portugal and we're off to one of Vietnam marbles really far behind and Portugal gets stuck on the merge Portugal's only gonna have two marbles and there's a score for Vietnam, two scores for Vietnam, a score for Portugal. And the other Portugal marble wasn't able to score. So Vietnam will advance and Portugal will be eliminated. If that third Portugal marble had made it out of the uh, merge, they may have been able to tie it up with Vietnam. A great run by Vietnam. Missing the goalies twice. You can see that's what happened on that second Portugal marble. They 
hit the goalie, which is what that goalie's goal is to do, block the other team. Next up, we have Canada versus the USA. And they're off. Another Canada marble falling back behind, and they get stuck just like Portugal did. The USA will have one goal, and Canada will get an, a goal. It's tied. Can Canada bring it out? Yes, they will. And Canada will advance to the next round, even though they have a marble stuck on the merge. An amazing comeback by Canada, the USA, really having some trouble in this heat. You can see the USA marble almost got stuck there, but the Canada marble pushed him out of the merge, getting stuck himself. See, there's a blocked goal by the USA, and then there's one for the Canada. And USA misses on the left. And that final Canada marble comes out and gets the final score. So Canada will be going up against Vietnam in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Switzerland versus Mexico. If Mexico is able to get out of this first round, they'll do better than the USA. Ooh, a really far off miss by Switzerland, as well as for Mexico twice. And then there's a block by Switzerland. And Mexico gets one goal, so Mexico will be advancing to the next round higher than the USA, and they won't be going against each other in this tournament. I'm still just surprised at how far off from the goal some of these marbles are uh, aiming, those first two in particular. That's very interesting. I wonder what is causing that lack of aim. So Mexico will go up in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Argentina versus Indonesia. And they're off. Ooh, there's one for uh, Ar Indonesia. And um, they missed one as well. Argentina gets one. Indonesia gets blocked. There's another for Argentina. And then there's a... Uh, Pull hitter there, Argentina will advance with two goals, Indonesia only gets one. The, Indone the uh, Argentina marbles all waiting quite a long time in the funnel until two of the, Ar uh, the Ar uh, Indonesia marbles made it out of the funnel. Interesting strategy by Argentina. So Argentina will be going up against Mexico in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Brazil versus China. Through the merge they go. Brazil gets a marble stuck in the merge. This is starting to become a common trend. Brazil gets a goal, but so does China. China gets two blocks. Can Brazil come out? And Brazil gets another goal. Brazil will advance. And China will be eliminated, even though Brazil has a marble stuck on that merge track. China throwing the chance of getting the elimination spot out of the window. Getting two blocked marbles. One by the actual goalie marble and the other one missing the goal a little bit, hitting the side. Brazil coming up right in between those two marbles and getting the goal. So Brazil will advance to the quarterfinals and they'll be going up against either Germany or India, which is our next duel. And they're off. All the marbles get through the merge this time and there's a goal for Germany. And there's another goal for Germany and a block for Germany and then two goals by India. And another goal for India, a three to two smash out for India. First time we've had all three marbles in the team score a goal, an amazing performance by India. They'll definitely be a team to watch out for in the next round. You can see they all waited until all the Germany marbles came out of the funnel so they can have more accuracy and teamwork to get those two goals right there. So India going up against Brazil 
in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Japan versus France, our first quarterfinal. And here is another one of those France marbles lagging behind, but they are able to have enough speed to get through the merge. And then there's one for uh, Japan. Will there be any other goals? So there's a block by the goalie there to the Japan marble and a goal for France. And another goal for Japan. Japan will get two, France gets one. So Japan will advance. You can see the Japan marble hitting that goalie head on. Those goalie marbles are actually a little bit bigger than these player marbles. So they are hard to move. Next up, we have Vietnam versus Canada. Canada was one of the teams that advanced, even though they had a marble stuck in the merge section. And then there's a goal for Canada. Vietnam way off to the side. And then there's another one completely missing the goal. And another goal for Canada. And at this point, Canada has already advanced because Vietnam has no more marbles. So Canada has two. Vietnam only had one. Some of these marbles going way off the side of the uh, goal, not even getting close. That's not what you want to do in this tournament. Canada showed off what you really want to do in this tournament, get as many goals as possible. And uh, if they had gotten this last goal, that would have been better. But they had another one of those marbles go off to the side. Next up, we have Mexico versus Argentina, the third quarterfinal. Mexico doing a little bit better in this tournament. They've made it pretty far. And there's a goal for Argentina. Mexico gets blocked by the uh, goalie. And so does Argentina on that goal. And there's another block, but a goal for Mexico there. But another goal for Argentina. Argentina will advance, and Mexico once again will be eliminated. So Argentina will advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for the final quarterfinal, Brazil versus India. And we're off. See who gets the goal first. And India gets blocked by the goalie. A goal for Brazil. Another goal for Brazil, and then there's a goal for India. But Brazil has pretty much already advanced because India had no more marbles. And Brazil gets three goals. An amazing performance by Brazil. India had gotten three goals in the previous round. So it's a surprising performance. They only got one goal and Brazil got three goals this time. See, all three of the Brazil marbles went on the same side of the goalie in the same goal. So we're still going up against Argentina. Now it's time for our first semifinal, Japan versus Canada. Canada in the clear with red, Japan in the white. And Japan gets blocked by the goalie. All the other marbles are still in the funnel and a goal by Japan. Canada gets blocked, but there's a goal for Canada as well. And another goal and no goal for Japan. So Canada will advance to the final round and, can, and uh, Japan will advance to the third place match. There's an interesting contact here on the left side of the field that Canada Marble stalled right in front of the goal. And then another Canada Marble comes up and hits the other one out of the way so they can get in the goal. So Canada will advance to the final round. Now it's time for our second semifinal, Argentina versus Brazil. Argentina in the blue, Brazil in the yellow. They are off. And a, a wayward score by Brazil, way off from the goal. And uh, there's a goal for Argentina and another goal. Argentina has already advanced. Even though Brazil gets one goal, Argentina gets three. The top teams are really starting to show as we get farther down in this tournament. 
threes are becoming more common. So Argentina will advance to the final round versus Canada and Brazil will go in the third place match versus Japan. So Argentina will advance to the final round, but first we have the third place match, Japan versus Brazil. And we are off. Who will come out first? They're all really tight, but it is Brazil who gets a score. And another score for Brazil. No scores for Japan. They can still tie it, but they get blocked by the goalie. And a one goal for Japan, two goals for Brazil. And still will sit on the podium and get third place in this tournament. And now it is time for the final round in this marble soccer tournament. Canada versus Argentina are the two teams going off for the ultimate championship in this tournament who will come out on top argentina in the blue canada in the clear with red and they're off argentina gets a goal right at the beginning so does canada and canada gets possibly another goal and then there's another goal for argentina and canada and argentina gets a goal as well is that canada marble in the goal no they're not a millimeter too far out of the goal argentina will be the champions of this tournament what an insane match. Canada making a minor mistake. One millimeter outside of the goal. Let's see how that happened in the replay. See, there's an instant goal by Argentina. And then there's one followed closely by Canada. Canada gets blocked by the goalie, but was still able to almost get in the goal there. It was hard to tell if it was in or not. And then all the other marbles come up and get a goal on the right side. All on the same area. But it was Argentina who got three. A lethal mistake by Canada. Congratulations to Argentina for being your marble soccer tournament champion. Canada coming in close at second and Brazil in third place. All these marbles had some pretty good performances. Brazil got a three, Canada got a two. In most marble run tournaments, the goal of the game is to get down the track as quickly as possible. But sometimes at the bottom, you must focus on stopping in the right area. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and that is the goal of this tournament. As we take a look at the track, how this tournament will work is both of the teams will go on their respective sides yet again down to the bottom. And then uh, each little square down there will give you points depending on where each marble lands. And of course, whichever team has the most points at the end will advance to the next round. Here you can see the bracket systems for today's tournament. First off, we have Pakistan versus Canada. Time to get our first look at how these marbles do in this tournament style. And they're off. You can see all the marbles missing each other in that first uh, entry of the playing field. And Canada has a three there. Pakistan trying to come for that times two, but they wouldn't have gotten any points anyway because no other marble is in a point square. So Canada getting three points, they will advance to the next round. Pakistan will be eliminated. You can see there's uh, four or five, uh, six different types of squares on this playing field. You have the skull, which is just instant elimination, a uh, four, three, and a five squares, as well as negative two, and then the times two square which will double your points that the other marbles are on. So Canada will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Indonesia versus Spain. Indonesia in the white, Spain in the yellow. 
Oh, one of the Indonesian marbles really lagging behind there. And on a Spain marble goes out of the playing field. We saw that with Brazil in the last video. Indonesia has one in the three. No other marble is able to get any points. So Indonesia will be advancing to the next round and Spain will be eliminated. They really needed that third player in their team in order to have an, a uh, chance of advancing. Let's see if that marble that was lagging back behind in the Indonesia team is the one that got the point. There were a lot of collisions there. But it wasn't the the marble that was lagging behind was not the one that got the three points. They're over in the bottom right corner. You can see that Spain marble trying to get in the way so Indonesia would push them into the five square. They weren't able to do it. So Indonesia will advance to the quarterfinals going up against Canada. Next up we have France versus Germany. And we're off. France and Germany, two neighboring countries in Europe. Let's see who gets any. Oh, and uh, France gets in the elimination square. They will be instantly eliminated, even though they have the three points. Each one of their uh, marbles was in a different square. They had three points, then the negative two, which would have given them one point, which would have been enough to get past Germany, but they ended up getting in that elimination square. So, uh, they are not walking home advanced in today's tournament. So Germany will advance to the quarterfinals with zero points. And Portugal versus Vietnam is next. Vietnam in the yellow on the left, Portugal in the green, and we're off. Will any of these teams get the times two? Ooh, that Vietnam marble very close to the elimination zone as well as for the Portugal. But Vietnam gets three points and they'll advance to the next round. Will we see a team get more than three points in this tournament? We haven't so far. We'll have to see as the tournament goes on. I'm also very interested to see if there will be a times two sometime in this tournament. The times two is one of the hardest uh, squares to get to in this playing field because uh, it's right in the middle. And that's not where the marbles generally go after the entering the playing field. They either go to the left or the right side of the field. Next up, Mexico and Switzerland. Can Mexico revive themselves in this tournament? Mexico has not been having a very good time in the uh, last couple of tournaments after having a great time in a couple tournaments before that. They get three points and they will advance uh, over Switzerland who will be disqualified. A lot of collisions there by Switzerland to Mexico with that Switzerland marble almost getting the times too. But uh, they kept on going. They weren't able to stop themselves. The inertia was just too great. So Mexico will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Argentina versus the USA. Another chance for the USA and Mexico to head off against each other. If the USA advances out of this round. They're off. One of the USA marbles is gone. Where is the other USA marble? USA gets a four. Argentina gets zero. And uh, the USA almost gets another four. But where is the other USA marble? There are only two. They will get a glimpse of what happened in the replay. You see, they started with three here. And one of them fell off the track before even getting to the first orange hairpin. Unbelievable. An amazing performance by the USA. Advancing with only two marbles. Argentina. Really losing an easy chance of advancement. And once again, the USA will head up against Mexico in the quarterfinals. Next up, Brazil versus China. Brazil in the yellow, China in the red. Two, two big teams in this tournament. In China, instant five. Brazil trying to get a five. Will they get a four? They almost get a negative two there. But it is China who will advance to the quarterfinals. An amazing move by China, getting five right in the first couple seconds of entering the field. See how they did it. 
Oh, you can see there, one of the Chinese marbles going and hitting the other one. So they were bounced back a little bit, and then they used their forward spin to halt themselves right on top of the five square. Amazing strategy by China. China will advance to the corner finals. Now it's time for our final group in this first group stage, Japan versus India. And they are off. Japan on the left, India on the right. And India gets four. Will there be another scores? No, India will advance to the next round. With four points, Japan not getting any points. These two teams are pretty hard to differentiate. The colors are very similar in this tournament. But I think that was uh, the two Japan marbles up in the top left. And that one by the five right there. The Indian marbles. Also, one of them very close to the el elimination square. Have to be careful of that. So India will be going up against China in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Canada versus Indonesia, our first quarterfinal. Canada in the clear with swirls in it. Indonesia in their classic white again. And they're off a lot of hard collisions there. There's no points right now, but Indonesia gets a three. No, that's Canada. Canada gets three points. And Canada will advance to the next round. Indonesia will be eliminated. Sorry for the confusion there. But it was uh, Canada was able to get in that three spot. Let's take a look at that bottom right marble, completely changing directions, getting into that three square. It's almost like they turned around from that five. Not sure what the, uh, the uh, thinking was on that, but it turned out. So Canada will be advancing to the semifinals. Next up, Germany versus Vietnam. They are off yet again. Let's see who can get higher points. Germany's in the four. Almost getting up into that negative or that times two. That marble really trying to get up in there. You can see them pushing again and again, trying to get into that times two square. They weren't able to do it, but Germany still has four points. Vietnam has zero. So they advance to the semifinals. You can see most of these marbles are missing the contact between teams in the uh, first entry, each going a little bit sideways. Wondering if that is for the safety of these marbles to keep them from having any injuries colliding too hard right at the first entry of the field. Next up, we have Mexico versus the USA. Who will come out on top in this tournament? In the last tournament, it was the USA who made it out. Mexico was eliminated. Mexico wants to bring it back. And the USA almost getting in the elimination, but they do have negative two. And Mexico gets times two, but they don't have any other points. So the USA will be uh, advancing to the next round. They have three points, but negative two. So they only have one. Mexico, the first team in this tournament to get a times two, but they don't have any other marbles in any other point squares. So they didn't end up getting any points definitely disappointing for Mexico you can see the USA almost was instantly eliminated right there on that elimination square in the top right corner that marble is able to stay out so the USA will advance to the semifinals yet again and now for the final quarterfinals China versus India two very large countries the two top populated countries in the world And they're off. And hard contact there. India getting a three. India getting a negative two. So that's only one for India. But China isn't able to get any points. So India will advance to the semifinals. And take that final spot. In the second to last round. China will be eliminated. I think there was a very hard collision. Yes, there was right there. And the first two marbles on the entry in this round. 
And uh, those two marbles are the marbles that are in the top left corner. Almost like they were apologizing to each other for the uh, mishap at the beginning of the round. Let the other players come up and finish the rest of the race. So India will be going up against the USA in the semifinals. Now it's time for the first semifinal, Canada versus Germany. Germany in the blue with white swirls. Canada in the clear with reddish white swirls. And another hard collision at the entry. There aren't any points at this point, but Canada gets a five. Germany gets a times two. But yet again, they don't get any other points. So they are ending up getting eliminated because they uh, didn't have any other points, even though they got the times two. These marbles can't get a grasp on this times two format. Canada gets a five, a very high score in this tournament. See if that marble had stayed in the four, Germany would have been instantly advanced. They would have got eight points, but they weren't able to do it. So uh, it is Germany will advance to the third place match. Canada will advance to the final round. Now it's time for the semifinal, uh, USA versus India. USA in the white with more blue in it. India is the more greenish tint. Another hard collision there. USA trying to get in that times two. There's no scores right now, but India gets a negative two. And India also gets a four. So India will have two points. The USA will have zero. India will advance to the final. And the USA will go to the third place match. You can see that USA marble spinning there in the middle, trying to get into that times two. They were just a little bit too dizzy though. India in that negative two. And then the next one right over in the four. So India will be going up against Canada in the final round. Now it's time for the third place match, Germany versus the USA. And they are off. And these higher grouping marbles, oh, there's an elimination. The USA will be eliminated and Germany will take third place in this tournament. Even though they had a negative two, the USA having an unfortunate elimination square. As I was saying, these top marbles uh, further on in the tournament, caring less about the safety of these marbles colliding more often. And uh, they're focused more on advancing to win the overall tournament. Not sure if that's the smartest idea. But that seems to be what's happening at this point. Now for the final round of this tournament, Canada versus India. And they're off. Let's see what strategies they take. Ooh, a lot of collisions there. All the marbles kind of staying in the middle. Canada has a four. But India is in the elimination spot. And Canada will be your champion of this tournament. India coming in at second. What a round. India getting in that elimination spot in the final round of this tournament. A definite disappointment for India. You can see there all the marbles kind of stalled from hitting each other, kind of stunned right at the beginning of the uh, event. You can see Canada getting that four early, and then the other Canada marble kind of nudging India into the elimination square. A rough move by Canada, but it was able to get them the overall win. So Canada will be the final marble to advance to none other than the championship spot. Congratulations to Canada for being your champion of this tournament. India coming in at second and Germany in third place. Some very amazing plays in today's tournament, as well as some very interesting strategies. We saw...
Welcome back, Marvel Sports fans, to Quebec's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for this Line of Collision Marble Tournament. How this tournament will work is each marble will have a team going on their respective sides, and then they will collide on the catwalk, causing them to come off the catwalk, and then each marble will end up in one of the lanes on each side of the catwalk, and whichever lane you land in will give you respective points, and then whichever team has the most points will advance to the next round. And then uh, we'll keep going until there's only one marble left. And that marble will be crowned champion of this tournament. Here you can see the bracket system. We have a dual style system. First off, we have Germany versus Canada. And we're off. Germany's on the left. Canada on the right. First collision. And one of the Canada marbles gets in the red. Gets a zero. You can see one of the red lanes has a negative four. And it will be Germany who will be advancing to the next round. They get 12 points. Canada only gets 11. Which uh, was a very close match. If Canada had gotten into that yellow lane right beside the red, they would have gotten a 9 with that second marble right there. And they would have easily advanced. So that's one of the things that these marbles need to do is avoid the middle red lanes as much as possible. And then an element of speed comes up there because if you get to the catwalk before the other team, then you'll collide on their side of the course, and then you'll not be farther away from the middle red lanes. Next up, Spain versus India. India gets, or Spain gets two sixes, but India gets two sevens. India smashes out Spain, 16 to eight. Spain gets a negative four. See, there's another one of those red lanes. You really have to avoid those red lanes at all costs if you want to advance in this tournament. see there all the marbles almost completely missed each other that's a very interesting strategy next up we have Portugal versus Brazil Brazil in the yellow on the left Portugal in the green and we're off Brazil having marble lagging behind that happened in last race Brazil has one of the marbles out of the entire course and then another marble in the negative four. But Portugal has negative one. They have three and then minus four. Brazil somehow wins that heat. Unbelievable. Brazil having one in the red lane and one outside of the entire course. One marble was all it took for Brazil to get in this next round because Portugal did such a poor job. Two marbles in the red lanes and then one in the three. So Brazil will be advancing to the quarterfinals. What a heat. Portugal having a very hard time in that last heat. Mexico versus Argentina now. And we are off Mexico in the green. Let's we'll see who gets it. Mexico gets two negative fours. And their overall score is negative six. Argentina gets 18. Mexico will be eliminated in the first round in this tournament. They aren't doing very good. They didn't do very good in the last tournament. And they have had a downfall here in this tournament. They will not be winning this heat or this uh, entire tournament. Uh, they had a uh, good streak of wins there for a couple videos. But they are starting to seem to have a downfall. Next up, China versus France. France in the blue, China in the red with black stripes. And they're off. And uh, France having more speed there. They collided on China's side of the board. But China was still able to uh, get 17 points. France only gets 13. Let's see how they do that in the replay. You can see France trying to get to the other side of the board. That side of the board has some higher numbers. The right side. You can see there. China actually pushing one of the uh, France marbles down into the two lane. They at least dodged the red lanes though. So China will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Next up, the UK versus the USA. And we're off. USA on the right. UK on the left. 
The USA gets negative four. And the United Kingdom gets 13 points. The USA only gets nine. So the United States will be eliminated. The UK will advance to the next round. You can see that negative four space really is a uh, make or break for your competition here on this tournament. Will really cause your heat to go haywire, even though the USA got a nine and a four since they got that negative four. The other four didn't even count. UK will go, be going up against China. Now for Indonesia versus Pakistan. Indonesia in their classic white. Pakistan in the green. And they're off. And, and Indonesia getting zero. And Pakistan walking on the catwalk, eventually choosing the zero. Indonesia will come out on top 10 points. Pakistan only gets seven. Pakistan lagging on the catwalk. Can't quite decide where they wanted to go. And then fell at the wrong time going into the red lane, the zero lane. Let's see just how that happened. You see, it stopped right at the entrance of the other side of the board. And then was catwalking on the wall. Almost went on that side, but... Almost even got the negative four. That would have been detrimental for Pakistan. But they still were eliminated anyway. Indonesia making it to the quarterfinals. Now for Japan versus Vietnam. The final round in this first uh, round of 16. And they're off. Japan coming out to the slight lead. They all get good points. And it will be J Vietnam though. We'll advance to the next round. Japan only gets six. Vietnam gets 16. An ultimate smash out for Vietnam, if you will. Ten more points than Japan. But none of them got in the uh, red section. So really, it would just depend on which lane they chose. Okay, so Japan did get one, two, and three. And then Vietnam got three, nine, and five. So Vietnam will advance to the quarterfinals. Now it's time for J Germany versus India. India in the white, Germany in the bluish with white uh, stripes. And they're off. Germany gets a uh, zero. India getting some good points. They got 18 points. Germany only gets nine. So India will advance to the semifinals. one of the Indian marbles lagging behind a little bit they still were collided with the last uh, Germany marble Germany getting a zero so India will advance to the semifinals and now for it's the, it's the next quarterfinals of Brazil versus Argentina two rivals in the World Cup at least Let's see who comes out on top Brazil in the yellow Argentina in the blue and they're off Brazil gets two reds, one negative four, one zero. Argentina gets 13 points. Brazil only gets one. A downfall for Brazil. Brazil fans are not very happy about this result. As If you remember, though, in the last heat, Brazil barely got into the semifinals because they had one of the marbles actually fly off the entire course. And then they had a red. They only got three points. But because the other team got two negative fours, they were actually a negative score. So uh, Brazil had only one point, and that's all they needed to advance this to the quarterfinals. Now it's time for China versus the United Kingdom. And they're off. And both teams get negative four. But the United Kingdom gets three points, and China only gets one. I mean, uh, two. So the United Kingdom will be advancing because they only have negative one. China has negative two. Two negative scores. Definitely an interesting heat. See, both teams got the negative four there. And then they didn't they weren't able to get positive four to even just get a positive score. Advancing with a negative score. That is a new one here on Quebec's Marble Runs. UK advanced to the semifinals. Now it's time for the final quarterfinal. 
Indonesia versus Vietnam. And Vietnam gets two sixes and a four. Indonesia only gets two twos and a one. So Vietnam gets 16, Indonesia gets five. And Vietnam will be advancing to the semifinals by far. See, Vietnam having two marbles way over there in the last lane on that side. You see one of the Vietnam marbles actually getting hit back up the entry lane. And Vietnam, I mean Indonesia, not having a very good heat. The Vietnam will be going up against the UK. Now it's time for India versus Argentina, the first semifinal of this tournament. And they're off. And Argentina gets two negative fours, and then the other marble gets go, uh, pushed up into the other side's entry lane. Argentina gets negative one. India gets five, so India will advance, but that was a crazy round for Argentina. If you watch right here, two marbles go in the negative four, and then the last marble goes up into the entry lane. See, look at that. And they come back around and get a seven, which they still got a negative one because two negative fours is negative eight, plus seven would be negative one. So India will be going to the final round versus either the UK or Vietnam. Argentina will go into the third place match. And we're off Vietnam versus the UK. UK gets two four, negative fours. Vietnam gets two ones and a two. So Vietnam will get a four. United Kingdom gets negative five. And they will be eliminated. Vietnam will advance to the final round versus India. The United Kingdom will go against Argentina in the third place match. Vietnam versus India. Two of the big names here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Who will come out on top? We've seen quite a few teams get two negative fours. Definitely unfortunate for those teams. Now for the third place match, Argentina versus the UK. Argentina in the white, United Kingdom in the blue. And they're off. Two fives and a four for Argentina. Two threes and a two for the United Kingdom. Argentina gets 14. United Kingdom only gets eight. So Argentina will be able to sit on the podium. And the United Kingdom will get fourth place in this tournament. Look at that. Four marbles colliding and going the direct opposite way. Now it's time for the final round of this tournament, India versus Vietnam. Who will become king of the line of collision? India in the white on the right, Vietnam in the yellow on the left. And they're off, this is the final moment. Vietnam gets a zero, a one, and a six. India gets two nines and a one, India will be champion of this tournament. With Vietnam coming in at second, an amazing move by India. 19 to seven. Vietnam only getting seven points because they got a zero in the final round. That's not the time to get zero points. India getting two nines, that's the highest possible score that you can get on this board. And if they had gotten that last marble in the nine, they would have had a lot more points. India will be the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to India for being your line of collision champion with Vietnam coming in at second and Argentina in third place. Definitely an action packed event with a lot of failures and smash outs with India coming out victor.
Hello Marvel Sports fans and welcome back to another race here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this event. How this event will work is two marbles one at a time on each side of the track will be going down to the uh, through this little orange slalom section and then to this marble booster which will shoot another marble of that team down to these spinning wheels. And then wherever these wheels stop, that will be the points that that marble is awarded. And whoever has the most points will advance to the next round. So will Mexico be able to once again take the win? They've been taking these tournaments by storm. We'll have to see as Mexico is the first duel in this tournament, Mexico versus Canada. As you can see, the marbles waiting at the booster and then the first leg of the race is at the front and they're off Mexico on the right and Canada on the left and they hit the wheels let's see who gets the higher score as they're slowing down and it will be Mexico who gets 90 points Canada gets a zero Mexico yet again makes it to the next round in these tournaments and Canada will be eliminated You can see there the marbles actually leaping into the air the first part of this straight trying to get to the wheel as quickly as possible so Mexico will be advancing to the quarterfinals next up it's the USA versus China And they are off. China is the red and the USA is the white. And it's spinning around. And it will be the USA getting 30 points. China only gets not even one. So the USA will be advancing to the next round versus Mexico. Yet again in these tournaments, the USA and Mexico have been uh, going against each other in some round in these friendly races. Uh, which... Mexico has came on top most of the times that these two teams have uh, faced off. So we'll have to see how they do in this tournament. So USA will advance to the quarterfinals versus Mexico. Now it's time for the Portugal versus the UK. And they are off. And they hit the booster. The United Kingdom gets there a little quicker than Portugal. So the United Kingdom will find out their results sooner. And they will be getting 50 points. Portugal only gets 25. So the United Kingdom will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Portugal will be eliminated in this tournament. You can see that United Kingdom marble giving it all he had to get to that wheel as quickly as possible. And now it's time for Indonesia versus Argentina. Indonesia is the white, Argentina in the blue. And they're off, they're neck and neck. And they both hit the wheel. Indonesia is one of the fan favorites here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. And they get a 90, but the wheel goes back and they only get a 50, but it's still enough. Argentina only gets 25. So Indonesia will be advancing to the corner finals and Argentina will be eliminated. So Indonesia will be facing off against the UK in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Vietnam versus England. And they're off Vietnam in the yellow, England in the more whitish color. They both hit the wheels. Let's see who gets the higher score this time. And Vietnam gets 100. England only gets 50. Vietnam the dominant win. 
So if the arrow points in that little blue or the small yellow on the wheel, then you get 100 points. That's the lucky space, if you will, on these wheels. The Vietnam first marble to get 100 points in this tournament will advance to the quarterfinals. And now it's time for India versus France. India, another fan favorite here on Fabeca's Marble Runs. They've been doing pretty good in the last couple of tournaments. Let's see how they do in this tournament. And India gets another 100. France only gets 60. India, a dominant win by India as well. They will be advanced to the corner finals versus Vietnam. Two teams that have both got 100 on the previous round. That will be an interesting match to see. So India will be going up against Vietnam. Now it's time for Brazil versus Pakistan. Brazil in the yellow, Pakistan in the green. And they're off. And uh, Brazil, the homeland of Fubeca's Marble Runs. And only get a 50, Pakistan gets 75. So Pakistan will advance to the next round and Brazil, sadly, will be eliminated. So amazing how these marbles really fly in the air right after that orange booster element to get to that wheel must be a joyride for these marbles so Pakistan will be advancing to the corner finals against either Russia or Spain this is the last matchup of this first group Russia in the red Spain in the yellow Russia's off first. And it's going around. Russia gets 100. Spain only gets 30. So Russia will advance to the next round. Spain not even uh, getting close to Russia. A whole 70 points off. So Russia will be going up against Pakistan in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Mexico versus the USA. Who will come out on top in this heat? Will it be Mexico once again? Or will USA finally eliminate Mexico in this tournament? We'll have to see here in a couple seconds. And Mexico gets a zero. The USA gets 30 points. Mexico will be eliminated for the first time in a long time, the USA will be advancing to the next semifinal round. Mexico will not be victorious today. So the USA will be the first team to advance to the semifinals. Now they have to go uh, against either the UK or Indonesia. off Indonesia trying to come up and get a better time than uh, United Kingdom a better score looks like United Kingdom will stop the wheel first and they'll get a 90 points Indonesia only gets 25 so United Kingdom will advance to the semifinals versus the USA Indonesia will be eliminated Is there a strategy that these marbles take that uh, hitting the wheel at the right speed and velocity that will change the wheel's outcome? I'm not sure. But next up, we have Vietnam versus India. Two of the big teams here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. Let's see how they do. Who comes out on top first? 
and it was India who got out to the front. But India gets a zero points. Vietnam gets 50. So India will be smashed out of this competition and they will get eliminated and Vietnam will advance to the semifinals. India possibly having too much speed spinning the wheel a little bit too much. Had they hit it just a little bit softer they would have gotten that blue section and got 100 points and would have advanced. But Vietnam was able to get 50. The Vietnam will be advancing to the semifinals. Now it's time for our final quarterfinal, Pakistan versus Russia. And they're off both neck and neck on the uh, booster element. But Russia hits the wheel a lot softer, get only a 25. Pakistan gets a 90, so Pakistan will be advancing to the semifinals. Russia will be eliminated. Russia not hitting the wheel fast enough as Pakistan hit it a lot harder, even though they got there around the same time. Let's see just what happened. You see, Pakistan was on the ground a little bit quicker than Russia. See how fast the wheel was going compared to Russia's wheel. So Pakistan will be going up against Vietnam in the semifinals. Now it's time for the USA versus the UK. And they are off. UK in the blue. USA in the white. Wheels are spinning yet, yet again. And it's getting pretty close, but the USA gets 75. United Kingdom only gets 50. So the USA will be advancing to the final round. The UK will be advancing to the third place match. USA has been hungry for victory in these last couple of tournaments. So they finally get to be in the final round versus either Vietnam or Pakistan. We'll have to see. So Pakistan and Vietnam are going to go off here in the second semifinal. They are off. Who will come out on top? They're both around the same. But it is uh, Vietnam who gets 75. Pakistan only gets 50. So Vietnam will be advancing to the finals versus the USA. Pakistan will be going up against the UK. will be Vietnam going up in the final versus the USA. And now it's time for the third place match, UK versus Pakistan. And they're off, this is for the podium. They both hit the wheels pretty hard, but the UK wheel slows down quicker. And they get 100. Pakistan only gets 30, so the United Kingdom will get third place in this tournament. And they'll be sitting on the podium. A uh, amazing performance by the United Kingdom. Stopping the wheel right on the 100. Pakistan not having as good a luck. And now it's time for the final round. The USA versus Vietnam. Tensions are high here in this final round. USA been wanting a win for quite a while now. And they are off. Who comes out on top? USA gets 90. Vietnam gets 100. Vietnam will be the champion of this tournament. The USA coming in a second. So close to victory. But they weren't able to do it. Vietnam will be your champion of this tournament. What an upset for the USA fans. That was a very close finish in the final round, but it was Vietnam. We'll get our ultimate congratulations because they have won 
this tournament. Congratulations to Vietnam for getting first place, USA coming in at second, and the United Kingdom in third place. Definitely an action-packed tournament here on this channel. Vietnam coming out on top. USA having a good performance as well, getting higher up than Mexico. The United Kingdom coming in at... Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to another event here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this Marble Curling Championship. This will be a one-on-one -on -one style tournament where each team will have to try to get their marbles closest to the center of the target at the end of the ice. Similar to real curling where they have to get their stones to the center of the target. The marbles will have to go through a small track to get to the ice starting with a small funnel to one lane and then to a dividing funnel where they'll, they'll get jumbled up through the slalom into the big tube where they'll enter the ice and try to get closest to the center of the target. How the scoring will work is if the marble lands in the bullseye, it'll get five points. And if they land in the red type circle, then they'll be getting three points. And then the outer white circle is two and then the super outer uh, blue circle will be getting one point and they won't be getting any points if they don't land in the circle So here is the bracket system for this tournament and it will be a dual tournament and the first duel will be China versus Canada so China on the left and Canada on the right and they're off Let's get a first look of how these marbles do in this tournament and China going for the bullseye there But they do wander off into the white zone and it will be Canada who will be advancing to the next round with four points. China only gets three. Good job for Canada. That's uh, definitely what you would expect. Canada is one of those northern countries very good at curling. Next up, we have Mexico versus Germany. Let's see. Looks like Mexico has two, now three. And Germany only has one. Mexico will definitely be taking this heat. It's six to one. Germany only having one marble in the blue ring. A dominant performance by Mexico. Next up, we have Uruguay versus Indonesia. You can see marbles from both teams go on each side of that slalom section. Ooh, a hard hit from Uruguay there. Hitting Indonesia out of the circle. There's only one marble in the bullseye. Indonesia in the outer ring. And Indonesia will be taking this one by a slim margin. Uruguay getting zero points. Next up, the USA versus Russia. Russia on the right and the USA on the left. They all get jumbled up there. Russia comes out first, but this event is not about speed. It's about score. The USA having three marbles there. Let's see if that USA marble can get any closer to the red. No, they can't. They'll be taking this heat. Three to one. Russia barely in that blue section up in the top. Next up, Vietnam versus Argentina. One of those Argentina marbles having some trouble getting out of that funnel uh, right after the starting grid. And uh, three Vietnam marbles out there on the left. Only one getting in that blue section, though. That'll do it, though. They will take this heat. One to zero. Definitely interesting how some of these heats are very high scoring and some of them have one to zero will we see a zero zero match next up we have portugal versus india and portugal passing the bullseye and actually exiting the target 
India has one marble, and there's another one of those. 1-0, India will advance to the next round. So India will be going up against Vietnam in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Spain versus France. Two neighboring countries in Europe. Let's see how they do. And France has one in the white circle. Spain only has one in the blue. France will be taking the seat two to one. Next up for our final heat in this group, Brazil versus Pakistan. Brazil in the yellow and Pakistan in the green. They're all up in the circle at this point, but most of them fall out for Pakistan. Brazil has two in the blue, one in the white even. And Brazil will be taking this heat three to one. Pakistan has one up in the blue up in the top of the uh, the target. Now it is time for the quarterfinals. Brazil will be advancing to the quarterfinals with France. And now it is time for Canada versus Mexico. And three of the Mexico marbles stall at the starting gate. An interesting strategy by Mexico. Canada in the blue. Mexico coming up for the red. But they take a turn. Now they're only in the blue. Two Mexicos in the blue. One for Canada. So Mexico will be advancing to the semifinals with two points. Canada only having one. Definitely a disappointment for Canada. I would have expected better from uh, one of these northern teams who uh, have experience in curling. Next up, Indonesia versus the USA. Two white looking marbles. Indonesia is the pure white. And then the, the USA has the more blue and red. And the USA coming there, getting a red possibly. Yes, they do. A five to zero smash out for USA. Indonesia gets zero points. A great performance by the USA. They'll be going up against Mexico once again in this tournament to see how they do in the semifinals. Now it's time for Vietnam versus India. And one India marble out there coming in for the red. Can they turn around? Yes, they can there. They're right on the edge. Vietnam coming in with the blue. India getting another... Uh, Blue as well. India will be getting four points because of that red. So they'll be advancing to the semifinals. Vietnam will be eliminated. Next up is our final quarterfinal France versus Brazil. Brazil in the yellow and France in the blue. France coming out first. Two France marbles in the red there, passing the bullseye. Brazil only has one in the blue. Both of the France marbles come out of the uh, entire target, and Brazil holding it out, and they will be advancing to the semifinals. A definite disappointment for France, having two marbles very close to the center. They weren't able to uh, slow down and stay in the target. So now for the semifinals, Mexico versus the U.S., The U.S. and Mexico, two rivals in these tournaments. Mexico having all four, almost all four. Now only two in the target. The USA has one in the white. But Mexico has three in the blue, and they will take this heat. USA will be eliminated. And Mexico has a chance for glory once again. So Mexico will be advancing to the finals against either India or Brazil. And they're off 
One of the Brazil marbles lagging in that funnel back there. See how they do a hard hit from Brazil to their own team. And Brazil trying to get two marbles in the white. India messing around with the white as well. Brazil has one in the blue and they will advance to the finals against Mexico and India will be going in the third place match. If India had gotten in that white, they still wouldn't have been able to make it because Brazil has two marbles. So Brazil will be going in the final round against Mexico and now it is time for the third place match. Will the USA be able to get a podium? We'll have to see here. USA's got one in the white, coming for the red, coming for the bullseye, and passes it there. Are they looking like they might even exit the target. Yes, they will, but they have another one up on the top. And the US will beat India 1-0, and they'll be able to sit on the podium with Mexico and Brazil. And now it is time for the final round, Mexico versus Brazil. Here we go. And we're off. Mexico coming out first. And Brazil going for that red. Here comes another Mexico hitting. Uh, the Brazil marble hits the Mexico marble. Mexico coming up trying to hit the Brazil. Will they get a bullseye? It's close. And Mexico gets the red. Brazil not able to do it. And Mexico once again will be your champion of this tournament. Brazil coming in at second and the USA in third place. What a finish for Mexico. So Mexico will be your champion once again in this tournament. Congratulations to Mexico for being your champion of the Marble Curling Championship. Brazil coming in at second and the USA in third place. Mexico is doing a tremendous job at winning these friendly tournaments here on Fubeca's Marble Runs. And yet again, I have to say, Viva! Welcome back Marble Sports fans to Fubeca's Marble Runs. We have another friendly race for you guys today with 16 countries competing for the championship. In today's race we will have two slalom type sections down to two different types of maze section. All made by Hubelino and then the last part is more of a wooden type section that will uh, definitely be a different speed for these marbles down to a rubber Funnel type section to the end of the course. We'll have to see how these marbles do in today's race. We have the standard four groups today. Group A, B, C, and D. Group A will have Uruguay, Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. And we're off. And it is Colombia off to lead. Being followed by Brazil and then Uruguay. As well as Peru down there in last place. Colombia is still in the lead. And Uruguay has caught up now they are in first place and Peru as well Colombia and Brazil are falling down through these slaloms now it's time to enter the maze section it is Uruguay who gets there first then Colombia and let's see who gets into the white section first looks like it's going to be Colombia and Colum they all three go at the same time and they're all bouncing around and it is Uruguay who gets first Brazil in second Colombia and Peru get eliminated in this first round that last section with the rubber band funnel is definitely going to be a point of the race that you're going to want to watch for the rest of this video as uh, there were a lot of overtakes right in that specific section of this race now for group B Vietnam Sweden Canada and Indonesia and we're off and it is Canada in the lead but they get pushed aside by all three of the other marbles and it is uh, Vietnam and Sweden as well as Indonesia now who is in first place. Canada gets stuck. They are not going to be able to advance out of this round. They are stuck on the track. And there are no marbles behind them so they're going to be staying stuck. No one's going to be able to dislodge them. 
Indonesia and Vietnam are still fighting. Indonesia comes out first. They're having some trouble on the rubber bands. They are able to get first place. Vietnam is in second. Sweden is lagging behind in third place. There's no chance for them to uh, be advance out of this round, but at least they can finish, which is not something that Canada can say in today's race. So Indonesia and Vietnam will be advancing. Sweden and Canada will be staying and uh, eliminated out of this round. Vietnam and Indonesia will be going against Uruguay and Brazil in semifinal A. And now it is time for Group C. Pakistan, India, US, and Italy, and they're off. And it's Pakistan and the US who are in the lead at this point. But, uh, uh... USA is still in the lead. And look at that. Pakistan gets stuck, but then they get hit, and they're still stuck. Two stranded marbles in two races in a row. What an uh, unfortunate event for these marbles. The U.S. and India are still fighting up in the front. U.S. comes out first, but they bump on the rubber band. India takes first place. USA still advances, but Italy is still coming up far behind. They will be eliminated as well as Pakistan, who is stuck on the track just like Canada in the last round. You can see those rubber bands. If you enter the funnel wrong in that section, you will be bouncing quite a number of times before you finally get into that uh, small opening where the end of the course is. That's not what you want to do in these races. And now it's time for Group D. Mexico, Argentina, Spain, and Chile. And we're off. And it is Argentina off to the lead. But Mexico takes the overall lead at this point and it is Argentina now who comes up into the lead and there are a lot of changes at this point let's see who gets out first it is Spain Spain is trying to stay ahead of Chile at this point Chile has taken a uh, good lead but now Mexico is in the lead and now let's see who comes out and gets into the white section first it is Mexico then Argentina they're all bumping around Mexico as advanced as well as Spain Spain and Mexico will be advancing to the next round. Argentina and Chile were the marbles that are eliminated in this race. Now it is time for semifinal A. Uruguay, Brazil, Vietnam, and U Indonesia. And we're off. And it is Uruguay who is off to the lead. But quickly he is passed by Brazil and Vietnam. And uh, Brazil is off in the lead at this point. There is a lot of jostling for positions at the beginning of some of these races. We have to keep an eye out for that. And Brazil gets stuck on the track. Will they be dislodged by Indonesia? We'll have to wait and see. But Uruguay is, is still in the lead. Vietnam coming in at second. Brazil does get dislodged by Indonesia. Definitely an act of kindness from them. Uh, let's see if they are able to catch up. Maybe the rubber bands will be uh, Brazil's saving grace. Vietnam bouncing around as well as Uruguay. But Brazil is not able to come up and take second place from Uruguay and they will be uh, eliminated as well as for Indonesia. Vietnam and Uruguay will advance to the finals. Now it is time for semifinal B. India, US, Mexico, and Spain. And we're off. And who is off in the lead? It is the US and Spain being followed by Mexico and India. Farther behind is the top two and the bottom two if the bottom two want to advance they really need to catch up like they are doing right now the top two still want to stay up in the lead and the u.s and spain are the ones who are uh both of them get stuck there but they are able to uh come up and uh, get some more speed the mexico has taken the overall lead and they are bouncing around in the rubber bands and u.s comes in at second that will eliminate India and Spain. Mexico and U.S. will be the other two marbles who are advancing to the finals. And now it is time for the final race of today's video. Uruguay, Vietnam, U.S. and Mexico. Who will come out on top in this tournament? And we're off yet again. It is U.S. and Vietnam who are get the early lead. But it is Mexico who is up there as well. Vietnam is lagging behind quite a bit. No, no. That's Uruguay who is back up in the back. And Vietnam and the U.S. are battling in the front. Mexico needs to catch up if they want to get a higher spot than third. U.S. is in the podium spot right now. 
as well as for Vietnam. Will U.S. be able to take the gold? Here we go. It's, let's see if they can. Bouncing around in the rubber bands, and they take the gold. Vietnam coming in at second. Will it be passed by Mexico? They're stuck. No, they won't. They will. Uh, Mexico will take third. Vietnam gets second, and Uruguay gets fourth place. Vietnam getting stuck right before the funnel. Uh, just allowing Mexico to push them into second place. That's definitely savage. These were definitely some amazing races today. That rubber band section at the end of the course can make or break your race. And that's really what these marbles that uh, came up in the final were the best at. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place in this tournament. A definite grind to get here passing through three rounds to become champion. Some marbles were not so fortunate like Canada and Pakistan getting stuck on the track, not making it past the first round. Hopefully they do better in the next tournament here on Quebec's Marble Rounds. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place. Vietnam coming in at second and Mexico in third place. Mexico and Vietnam getting some good places, but today they all aspire to be the USA, who won the overall championship. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Quebec's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm excited to be here for this basketball marble tournament. You guys seem to like our last basketball tournament so we have brought it back this time with a more realistic looking net and a very long ramp as you can see here. The structure for this tournament is based on speed and getting baskets and uh, how it will work is the first marble to touch the basket in any way will get one point and then if you make a basket then you'll get two points so the total amount of points you can get is three if you were the first marble to get to the basket and you were able to successfully get into the basket this will be a one-on-one -on -one style tournament one marble will advance and one will be eliminated in each round so we only have two left and one will be crowned champion so we take a look at the track yet again a very very large ramp that will allow the marbles to get enough speed to be able to hopefully get into that basket which is the goal of this entire tournament. Let's take a look at the competitors that are competing in today's tournament. First off in the bottom left corner we have Brazil versus France. Then up in the top left corner we have India versus Indonesia. In the top right we have the USA versus Mexico. And finally we have Vietnam versus Japan in the bottom right corner. So first off, we have Brazil versus France. Let's get our first look at the strategies that these marbles will take in this tournament. So Brazil is in the yellow and France in the blue. Brazil will be out first. And uh, France, not even getting up in the uh, ramp, they'll get zero points. Brazil getting a basket and they were the first one down. Undoubtedly a terrible mistake by France getting eliminated right in the first uh, round in this tournament. They're definitely not happy. We can look at this cool slow-mo, though, of Brazil getting the basket. Right in the basket. They didn't even hit the rim. That is mastery of basketball. So Brazil will be advancing to the semifinals. And they'll be going up against one of the marbles in the top left corner, which will either be Indonesia or India. But now it is time for the next heat, which is Vietnam versus Japan. Two Asian countries. And uh, Asia isn't exactly known for basketball. Let's we'll to see how they do. And it is Vietnam off to the lead. But they miss the goal altogether. They get an air ball. And Japan scores a goal. They'll get two points. Vietnam gets one point for the fastest time. But uh, Japan will be advancing to the next round. You can see there, Vietnam not having enough speed to even get to the basket. And then Japan comes up from behind and scores a goal. Take a look at this slow-mo. See how far away Vietnam was. About a marble length from where they were supposed to be if they wanted to make a goal. And then here comes Japan. Japan there 
shooting just a little bit shallow, bouncing on the edge of the rim, but they were able to counteract for their mistake and get the goal. So Japan will be advancing to the semifinals and they'll be going up against one of the marbles in the top right corner, which will be either US or Mexico. And now it is time for the top left corner, India versus Indonesia. Two of the fan favorites here on Fubeka's marble runs. This will certainly be a heated round. And they're off. Who comes out first? It's India. And India comes out first. They get a goal. And then Indonesia comes and scores a goal behind them. But since India was first, they will be advancing, getting three points. Indonesia only gets two. So they weren't the first marble to get down to the bottom of the course. Both very good scores, though. India having a slightly better score. Indonesia shooting just a little bit shallow, bouncing off the rim. As we can see here, India coming up. And they had a pretty on-point score. As we see here, they uh, were right in the middle of the uh, rim there. To allow them to have a good score. And here comes Indonesia. And they shot a little bit shallow. See, their arch was a little bit too high bounced them on the rim, but they were able to make the basket anyway. So India will be advancing to the semifinals and going up against Brazil. And now it's time for the final heat in this group, which will be the USA versus Mexico. Two North American countries, as I've said before, they definitely know each other well to see who comes out on top in this heat. And it is the U.S. coming out to the lead, Mexico falling a little bit behind through the funnel. And the U.S. misses the goal altogether. Mexico was able to score a basket, which means that they will be advancing to the semifinal and the U.S. will be eliminated. The U.S. was able to get down to the ramp first they had a air ball it didn't even hit the goal as you can see there then Mexico comes up from behind and scores a goal also it looks like the US actually crashed into the grandstands hopefully no one was injured you can see there the USA just didn't have enough speed to get to the goal it didn't even whiff the net and then here comes Mexico from behind they were able to make a goal. Let's see if they were a little bit shallow or a little bit far-fetched. Looks like they had a century goal. Yes, they did. A little bit on the far side, but in the back side of the rim. But it's good enough. They were advanced to the semifinals. And they will go up against Japan in the semifinals. But now it is time for semifinal A, which is Brazil versus India. For the first semifinal, Brazil versus India. Who will come out on top in this heat? And it's Brazil who uh, falls back behind. India is in first place. India will get a goal. Brazil falls off the ramp. They will not even get a score. India, a guaranteed advancement after Brazil having a hard time on the ramp there. You can see they just weren't able to stay up on there. You can only get a goal if you even get up on the top of the ramp as India did right here. See how India did it. They had another one of those more shallow goals. It was a more direct uh, bouncing compared to some of those which actually bounced off the rim and then off the backboard before they got into the basket. But India will be advancing to the final round. They'll be going against either Mexico or Japan. We'll find out here in a second. And they're off. Who comes out first? It's Japan. Mexico coming up close behind, though. And Japan looks like they hit the goal. But Mexico is able to score a goal. Japan gets there first. Mexico gets two points for the goal. So they will be advancing to the final. 
against India, and Japan will be going to the third place match. You can see Mexico really far behind Japan in terms of, in terms of time. But they did have a better aim for this goal. Seems like they had another very shallow uh, shot into the goal. Almost missing it. But they were able to make the goal in the end and end up getting to the final round. So Mexico will be advancing to the final round versus India. Now it is time for the third place match, Brazil versus Japan. And they're off. This is for the uh, third place podium spot. And Brazil is off to the lead and they get a goal, which pretty much solidifies their third place as uh, they were the first ones down. So they will be able to sit on the podium with India and Mexico and Japan will get fourth place. See both of the marbles getting a goal, but uh, speed is also a factor in this tournament and you can't neglect it if you want to be able to do well. It's Japan. Having another one of those shallow goals that seems to be a trend here in this tournament. And now it is time for the final round of this basketball tournament, India versus Mexico. This is for the championship. Tensions are high. And they are neck and neck down through the funnel, but is Mexico first? India coming close behind Mexico. They were super close and they both get a goal, but Mexico was there first. So Mexico will be the champion of this basketball tournament. You see here, they may even be in the same frame. Yes, they will. India trying all they can to catch back up, hoping that Mexico will bounce off the rim. But they had nothing but net, which uh, ultimately allowed them to take the championship. Congratulations to Mexico for getting first place in this basketball tournament. India coming in at second and Brazil in third place. All these marbles played hard to get here and all three get respectable finishes. Fan favorites India and Brazil both getting respectable third and second places. But Mexico is the one they all aspired to be today. And once again, I must say, Viva la Mexico! That is a resounding cheer that you'll hear. Hello Marvel Sports fans and welcome back to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this tournament. This tournament is based on the classic arcade game King of the Hammer. The goal is to get the white marble as high up on the wall as possible without getting in the dead zone. As we take a look at today's track you'll see that the marbles have a little ways to go before they get to the end of the course just to be able to calibrate and uh, calculate how they're going to be able to hit the marble at the right speed in order to get in that perfect 100 score. We'll have to see how they do in this tournament. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of the next Rebecca's Marble Runs video. It helps out the channel a lot. We'll be having eight different countries competing on one on one, one at a time, and whichever marble gets the highest score will advance to the next round. Now let's take a look at the teams competing in today's tournament. First off, on the left bottom bracket, we have India versus Indonesia, two of the fan favorites. That'll definitely be a heated battle. And we have Japan and Brazil up in the top left corner, and then Vietnam and Mexico in top right corner. And finally, we have France and US, who will be facing off in the final round of the first uh, rounds in this tournament. And now for Japan versus Brazil. And it is Japan who will be going off first. And they're off. One of the features of this track is that there is a Y right under this funnel. 
and it'll have multiple ways to get to this uh, wall at the end of the course and they take the stairway which is a little bit slower but they are able to get very high up on the wall we'll have to see if they get a hundred or if that was a elimination and it was a hundred so they will be getting a hundred points we'll have to see if Brazil can come back and do better than that it's gonna be hard to beat and it's also a risky move considering that that's so close to the dead zone Let's see how Brazil does right now So we've seen one marble go down the left side of this Y, which is the stairs. Will Brazil go in the other side? And they do. And this is a more direct route going on this more speedy spiral type. But they lose a lot of speed. They uh, do not get very high up on the wall. We'll have to see what the score is on the replay. And they only get a 50, only half as much as Japan. So they will be eliminated and Japan will move on to the semifinals. It's definitely interesting. I would have thought that the uh, speedy spiral would have uh, had more speed for the marbles to get higher up and even possibly get up into the dead zone. We'll have to see how the other marbles do in that section of the course. And now it's time for France versus the U.S. France will be going off first. Really right here is the most pivotal point in the uh, course for these marbles having to decide which side of the Y they want to go down and they go down the stairs and they get pretty high up on the uh, wall as well will it be a hundred or will it be a dead zone we'll have to see in the replay that is definitely the quicker way I wouldn't have expected that uh, from looking at this course and they got way too high up they are in the dead zone they will be eliminated the USA will be advancing unless they get a dead zone too then we'll have to see what will happen then. Now it's time for the U.S. So does U.S. want to go take the riskier route, do the faster one, and have a higher chance of getting 100 points, or do the slower one? They do do the faster one, but they are able to control their speed. Looks like they get maybe a 90 or 80, which is better than an elimination from France so they get a 90 they will definitely advance over France who uh, got in the dead zone pretty much a easy instant advancement for the US so the US will advance to the semifinals they will go against one of the marbles up in the top right bracket Now it is time for the next round, which is Vietnam versus Mexico. The winner of this duel will be going against the U.S. in one of the semifinals. And Mexico will be going off first. And will Mexico take the fast route or the slow route? Fast route is possible to get more points, but it's also riskier because there is the dead zone. They go fast. It looks like they have 100 points. We'll have to check the replay and make sure. Good uh, showing by Mexico. And yes, they do get the 100 right in the middle of the 100 segment. Very close to the dead zone yet again. But they are uh, doing well. We'll have to see how Vietnam will be able to come back after this. And they're off. Vietnam really only has one choice and that is to take the fast route if they want to be able to beat Mexico and they take the slow route going through the spiral Let's see how they do and they barely get anything it looks like a 60 there and they will be eliminated Mexico will be advancing to the next round the spiral route is definitely not the route you want to go to you lose a lot of speed in that jump right before the wall so you can see they only got a 60 barely even they uh, almost got a 50 there, right on the line. So Mexico will be advancing and going against the U.S. in one of the semifinals. Now it is time for the final duel of this first group, which is India versus Indonesia. 
and India will be going off first. Seems like a lot of these marbles going first are not having a problem with their nerves. They're doing well with the pressure. Maybe that's why there are a lot of them are picking the faster route because it's a way to get rid of the pressure as quickly as possible. India does get 100 there. We take a look at the replay. All these hundreds so close to the dead zone. They almost got 90. They were able to get past that line and that's all that counts for the uh, points. And now it's time for Indonesia. Hope to see if they are able to come up and overtake India. Seems like a lot of times the second marble is having a harder time coming back after the first marble has gone. We'll have to see if Indonesia can break that uh, streak so far. They go down the fast. And it looks like they hit a little bit too hard. They may have gotten in the dead zone here. Let's check the replay. And yes, they did get the dead zone, so they will be eliminated, and India will be advancing to the next round. That's, uh, that's the risk part of the faster lane. You do have that risk of getting in the dead zone if you aren't able to control your speed. So India will be going up against Japan in the semifinals. And now it is time for the first semifinal, Mexico versus the U.S. Mexico will be starting us off. Two neighboring countries. They definitely know each other well. We'll have to see how they are able to cope with the pressure of this round. Which side will it be? And it is the slower side down the spiral. Mexico taking it safe. See how they do. They only get a 50 or 60. But at least they didn't get a dead zone. We'll have to see how the U.S. will react to this score. So they only get a 50 right on the line. They weren't quite able to get that 60. We'll have to see how uh, the U.S. will be able to come back in this tournament. Let's see. Will the U.S. take the riskier route or will they take the more safe route? which has the possibility of being eliminated. Both of them they are uh, equally risky at this point. They take the slow route. And they have a terrible performance, getting only a 30 or 40. We'll have to check the replay on that. Definitely disappointing for the USA fans. Us losing most of their momentum right on that jump before the wall. They only get a 40. Mexico will advance to the next round. Definitely disappointing. For the U.S. They will be going to the third place match, but uh, Mexico will be going up against the victor of this next duel, which is Japan versus India. And Japan will be starting us off yet again. Japan has been watching these other tournaments and they've been taking notes. We'll see which side they're able to go down and it is the slow side taking it safe once again. And they have a pretty decent performance for that side of the track. They get like a 60. See on the replay. They will be able to uh, keep their speed after that jump. We'll have to see if India takes the faster route or the slower route here in a couple moments. So India is the last marble in the semifinals. This is the make or break to get into the final round of this tournament. Which side will they take, risky or safe? And they go the faster route, and they have too much speed there. White ball goes up to the sky. I think they have been eliminated. We'll have to check the replay on that. Definitely. Oh, they didn't. They did get 100. They didn't quite get up to the elimination zone. That is definitely way too close for comfort. India will be advancing to this final and Japan will be going to the third place match. Definitely a risky move for India, but it did pay off. Right on the line on the 100. Now it's time for the third place match, Japan versus the US. And the US will be going first. This is for the third place, which is uh, the final podium spot. We'll have to see if the US is able to make it there or if it's Japan. U.S. having some trouble with risk management. 
in the last round. Let's see what they do after this. They take the faster route. And they were able to control their speed. They get a decent 90, possibly 100. We'll have to check here. And they do get a 100. So uh, they will be uh, have putting some pressure on Japan for the third place. And now for Japan. Japan having a decent showing in this tournament. Winning the first round and then not winning the second round. We'll have to see if they win the third place match. Having a 2 out of 3 win-loss ratio. They take the fast route. And they get a 90 very close to the U.S. We'll have to check the replay to make sure. But it's looking like the U.S. will be taking third place in this tournament. Yes, they will. In, uh, Japan only gets a 90. Which means U.S. has 10 more points. Therefore, gets to be the only marble sitting on the podium who was not in the final round. Which is India and Mexico. Now it's time for the final round. Mexico going first. The decisions in this funnel are very intense as we go around the funnel once more. Which route will be the slower route? Mexico is going to take it safe. They only get a 50. Definitely a beatable score for India. Only if they take the riskier route. Risking the elimination of the dead zone. We'll have to see how India can react to this. But Mexico has a 50. We'll have to see how this plays out. Now for the final running of this tournament. It is India. Will they take the fast route or the slow route? At this point, I would take the fast route and take the risk. This is for the championship. And they take the fast route. Let's see what happens. They are very close. 100 or dead zone. It's win or lose. We'll have to check the replay, and that will decide the championship. Here they come. They hit the white ball. And they are eliminated. Mexico will be the champion of this tournament. India not controlling their speed. They were eliminated, got too high up on the wall. Definitely a disappointment for India. But Mexico is cheering because they will be crowned the king of the hammer. Congratulations to Mexico for getting first place in the king of the hammer tournament. India comes in at second and the U.S will be in third place. Some amazing arcade game playing in today's video. Mexico coming out on top. And for all you Mexico fans out there, Viva la Mexico! Welcome back Marvel Sports fans, we are back. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this World Cup predictions video. In this video, we will be predicting which countries will make it to the semifinals for the World Cup. As we take a look at all the countries and uh, republics, which have countries that haven't yet been seeded to this far in the competition. We'll to see as uh, the football league goes on, which marbles will fill in these spots. We see lots of different countries here. We'll have to see which ones move on to the semifinals. And then from those spots, they will have two more spots to the final two spots in the World Cup. Here you can see where each marble will place if they get first or second in their group. And now it is time for Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. And we're off, and it is Senegal off to the lead being followed by uh, the Netherlands who take first place through this first funnel. And now it is Ecuador in the lead already getting to the first slalom section before any of the other marbles have even left the funnels. Ecuador has a huge lead at this point and it is Senegal coming in at second. The Netherlands falling down all the way to third and Qatar is down in fourth. Qatar had a good showing in the uh, friendly soccer tournament we had a couple videos ago. And Ecuador is already making it up these stairs. And Senegal is just now getting into the funnel after the first green slalom. Netherlands now making it up the stairs. Senegal trying to come up and catch up to them. And Ecuador is trying to get out of that blue funnel. See 
and they do right there coming into into this next larger slalom section and now it is Senegal in this next blue funnel and at the end of this slalom section Ecuador will be the champion of this race and they will they will advance to the semifinals and it looking like the Netherlands will advance as well unless somehow Senegal is able to come up and pass them and here go the Netherlands one more pass and they advance as well Senegal and Qatar will be eliminated and will not make it to the semifinal round of the World Cup. You can see Qatar still moseying around. They uh, definitely are very far behind in this race. And now they're finally finished. So Ecuador and the Netherlands will advance to the semifinals. Ecuador will go on the square A1 and they will go against B2 which is the second marble who will finish in the group B and then the Netherlands will go to A2 and they'll go against the first marble who finished in group B and now it is time for group B England Iran the US and the UEFA marble which can be Wales Scotland or Ukraine but they have not advanced that far, so we'll have to see uh, which marble this will be in the future. And we're off through the Plinko, and it is the UEFA who was in the lead, but now they're falling down into third place. And it's the U.S. who is in the lead, being followed by England and Iran, who is in last place. The UEFA is coming up, though. But England is the one who is the second marble to get into the slalom after the U.S. The U.S. is having an early lead in this race. They're going to be the first one to get into the tan funnel. And now the UEFA and England as well as Iran are all fighting. Call, all get into the funnel at the same time. And it is Iran who comes out first. The UEFA comes in at second and U.S. is in third. England is lagging behind. They haven't even gotten into the stairs yet. Now they have as well as the U.S. who comes out into the blue funnel first, then is the UEFA. And there's a hard hit from Iran. And now they're all four in the blue funnel. Who comes out first? It's Iran. Iran will get into the green slalom first, then it is England. Looks like these two marbles will be advancing unless somehow the U.S. or the UEFA are able to come out and they aren't looking like they're going to be able to. Iran and England are the top two marbles in this race. The UEFA and the U.S., will not make it to the semifinal round. So Iran will be advancing to the semifinal round. They will be going against the marble who got second in the first round, which was Netherlands. And England will be going against the first marble that made it in Group A which was Ecuador. And now it is time for Group C. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. And the race is about to start. And we're off through the Plinko. Who comes out first? It is Argentina being followed by Saudi Arabia and Argentina is the first one into the second funnel and then Mexico comes in as well Saudi Arabia is in third and Argentina now comes up and is in second place trying to get into that hole but they aren't able to and it is Poland who is off to the early lead Saudi Arabia coming up close behind trying to come up and take the lead right there they are able to Poland is stuck on the track and they are passed by Mexico who then comes and passes Saudi Arabia into that tan funnel Let's see who comes out first. It is Mexico, but they missed the stair quite a couple number of times. They lost a lot of time not being able to enter that stair uh, very efficiently. And so now they are neck and neck with Saudi Arabia. Poland is coming up in third. Argentina is still pretty far behind. They're at the bottom of the stairs. And now Mexico and Saudi Arabia are fighting in the blue funnel. And it is Saudi Arabia who comes out first. Will Poland be able to come in past Mexico? No, they won't. Mexico will come out first. Let's see who comes out in this slalom. Saudi, Saudi Arabia is looking like they're going to get first place. And they do. Mexico 
comes up and gets second. Poland tries to come up and steal it, but they aren't able to. Argentina will come up in last. So Saudi Arabia and Mexico will advance to the semifinals in the World Cup. Argentina slowly making their way down to the end of the course, and now they're finished. Uh, definitely not a very good performance for Argentina in today's race. So Saudi Arabia will advance to the next round, going in the C1 position, and they'll be going off against the D2 position, which is the second marble to finish in the Group D. And Mexico will be going against the marble who finishes first in Group D. And they are in this C2 square. And now it is time for Group D. France, Denmark, Tunisia, and another marble that has not yet gotten this far in the competition. That marble can be Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia. And Tunisia has a good early lead getting into the final funnel already, being followed closely by Denmark. And then the last two marbles are still up in the last funnel. Tunisia is already almost through the green slalom before any of the other marbles even leave this last orange funnel. They are already in the tan funnel. France having a hard time getting out of this last funnel as Tunisia is battling with this unseated country so far. And they are able to come up and take first place from Denmark as they're going up the stairs. They have already exited the stairs and into this next uh, orange funnel. And they are facing some pressure from this marble who can be Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia. Tunisia trying to come up and catch back up to Denmark who is slowly getting out of the blue funnel who will come out first it is the unseated marble all these other marbles are still in the blue funnel France coming up and they take second place through the blue funnel a great move by France and it's looking like one of the countries that represent this marble will be first place and France is looking like they're going to come in and take second Yes, they will. A great comeback by France. They will advance to the semifinals, and Tunisia and Denmark will be eliminated. So whatever country comes out on top, Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia, will be advanced to D1, going against Mexico. And France will be going against Saudi Arabia. So France will be in the D2 square. And then the other country will be in the D1 square. And now it's time for Group E. Spain, another country that has not yet been decided. Germany and Japan. The unnamed country can either be Costa Rica or New Zealand. We'll have to see as the uh, games goes on. And now the race is about to start. And we are off, and it is Germany who comes off to the lead, but it is Japan who comes out to an early lead, going all the way to the third funnel, before the other marbles even get barely to the second funnel, and it's the unnamed country coming in at second. Germany comes in at third. Oh, and they almost get stuck, wedged in the hole, Germany and Spain. And it is Japan who is still in the lead. Germany comes out on top over Spain in that last funnel. And now they come up and take second place. And a whole bunch of changes there. Who comes out on top? It is Japan. Germany is next. And the other two marbles are still in the funnel. The unnamed country comes up and takes second or third place. Spain is still in fourth. Germany has now taken first place. First one to enter the blue funnel. Hard hit from Japan, losing some speed. But then Germany comes and takes it back. Germany is the first one into the large green slalom. The other three marbles are tied up in the blue funnel. Germany having a tremendous lead at this point. They will definitely be advancing. The unnamed country comes in at second, being followed closely by Japan and Spain, who do come and overtake them. Japan comes up Spain, and it is Japan. Japan will be advancing as well. Spain and the unnamed country, which is either Costa Rica or New Zealand, will be eliminated, and they will not make it to the semifinals for the World Cup. So it is Germany who will advance to this next square, which will be the E1 square. And then it will be Japan who will advance to the E2 square. And these two marbles will be going against 
two marbles that finish in the F, which is coming up next. And now it is time for Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. And the race is about to start yet again. And we're off, and who comes out first? It is Morocco, but now, now it is Belgium in the lead, being followed by Croatia, who takes first place. They're the first one to get to the final orange funnel. But Croatia coming up in second. They're fighting in that final funnel as well as for Morocco. And it is Belgium off in the lead. Morocco coming in at second. Canada is in third. And Croatia has fallen all the way down to last place. Morocco and Belgium fighting in this tan funnel. Who will come out on top. It is Belgium who's the first one to enter these stairs. Canada entering the tan funnel right as Morocco is exiting. They are uh, doing as best as they can but they still are pretty far behind as Belgium is still in the lead into the blue funnel first Morocco coming in at third now because Canada has now taken that second place and first place from a bump from Morocco what a crazy turn of events Canada has now taken first place and they are in the lead by a lot Belgium coming in at second and Croatia comes up and takes second place Canada will be advancing they get first place Will Croatia be able to come up and take first or second place and have an ultimate comeback? No, they won't. All the three marbles finish all at the same time, and it is Belgium who will be advancing along with Canada. Croatia and Morocco will be eliminated. So Canada will be advancing, and they'll be going against Japan, who got second in the Group E. And then Belgium will be going against Germany, who got first place in group e two flags that are similar colored but they're just in different order and orientation that's very interesting germany and belgium now it's time for group g brazil serbia switzerland and cameroon Let's see which marbles come out on top in this group. And we're off to who comes out to the lead first. It is Cameroon, but Brazil comes and takes the early lead. A few other marbles are still in the funnel, but two of them exit now, and it is Switzerland and Cameroon. But Brazil is still in the lead. Cameroon coming up close behind, trying to come up and take first place. What is that there? Switzerland, a bump to Brazil, and they take first place. But Brazil takes it right back in the slalom. And Serbia is coming up in third place. Brazil gets into the tan funnel first. And now it is Switzerland who comes up and takes first place through that tan funnel up the stairs. They're already two-thirds up the stairs before Brazil even enters the beginning of it. And then it is Serbia and Cameroon lagging behind. Brazil trying to come up and take first place from Switzerland, who has already entered the blue funnel. A hard hit from Brazil. Let's see who comes out on top. Cameroon trying to come up and join the fight as well. See if they can. No, they can't because Brazil already leaves the funnel. Cameroon is bumping Switzerland around and they are able to take second place. Brazil, though, is going to be the champion of this race. They will definitely advance. Cameroon coming in. They will probably get second unless somehow Switzerland is able to come up and take it. But they won't be able to. Cameroon will be advancing with Brazil. And that will eliminate Switzerland and Serbia. At least Serbia isn't super far behind in this race compared to some of the competitors in previous races. So Brazil will be advancing to the semifinals. And they'll be going in the G1 square. And they'll be going against the H2 square. Which is the second marble who will finish in the H group. And then Cameroon come up into the G square and they will be going against the first marble who finishes in the H group which is about to start. And for group H we have Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and the Korean Republic. So 
this is the final group fighting for the final two spots in the semifinals for the World Cup. Who will come out on top? We'll have to see right now. And as Portugal comes out to the early lead in the finals, let's see who can exit the final first. It is Ghana. And then Portugal. And then uh, the Korean Republic. And the Korean Republic is the first marble to exit the second funnel and the third funnel, and they are in the early lead. And Ghana is coming up close behind, and they take first place. But then it is Korea Republic who takes it right back. They are fighting in this slalom. And they are stuck. Both of the marbles are stuck. They'll have to wait for Uruguay to come up and dislodge them. And it is Korea Republic who comes out first, but Ghana takes the lead through the funnel. And then it is Portugal. Portugal was all the way backed up in last place at the beginning of the race. Now they're up in second. And the Korean Republic has fallen down the last. Ghana is already up in the blue funnel being pressured by Uruguay. And now Portugal. And now all four of the marbles are in the blue funnel. Let's see who can come out on top. It's looking like Portugal coming around. But it is Uruguay who comes out first. Then Portugal. Then Korean Republic and Ghana. Portugal a little bit farther ahead than Uruguay. And Uruguay is being pressured by the Re Korean Republic who takes first place. Uruguay takes second. Portugal has been eliminated as well as for Ghana. An amazing performance by the Korean Republic getting first place. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to this Marble Soccer Tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this exciting day of soccer. Or is it football? If you're anywhere else in the world besides America, comment down below. Football or soccer? We have 16 countries competing today for the overall championship in this tournament on a one-on-one -on -one format. So we'll have to see how these marbles can do in today's race. They'll start up at the top and make their way down to the field where they will have a fidget spinner in the middle and then they'll have to try to make as many goals as possible and then whoever has the most will advance to the next round in the bracket system. As we take a look at the track you'll notice that each goal also has a goalie which will make it a little bit harder for some of these marbles to make some goals in this tournament. And here are the countries that are competing in today's tournament. We have England versus Mexico. And then we will have Pakistan versus Spain. And then Brazil versus Germany. And then after that, we have Cameroon versus Indonesia. And then on the other side of the bracket, we have Argentina versus India. The USA versus China. Portugal versus Vietnam. And Qatar versus France. So we'll have to see how these duels go. And Mexico versus England is the first duel in this tournament. So we're about to get started for the first game of soccer here in this tournament. And they're off. Let's we'll see how they do. And England gets a goal. Mexico gets a goal. England gets another goal. And they get blocked by a goalie. Mexico almost gets hit by the fidget spinner. But it is England who gets two goals. Two to one. And England will advance to the next round. Mexico will be eliminated in this first duel. Mexico so close to that fidget spinner. Almost having a chance of scoring a goal right there. See England getting a goal right off the bat. And as well as Mexico getting behind the goalie. England would have had three goals if it wasn't for this goalie right here blocking him. Then the other England marble came up from the left and scored a goal there. So England will advance to the next round and Mexico will stay eliminated. And now it is time for the second duel Argentina versus India. And we're off yet again. And let's see who gets a goal first. It's India. India gets a goal. And Argentina. India gets two goals. Will there be any more goals? India flirting with that goal over on the left. But they won't be able to get it. And they don't need it anyway. Because India will advance the next round. Two to one. Argentina will be eliminated. Take a look at this replay. There's a lot of jostling here. India gets one on the left, and then India and Argentina get one side by side on the right goal. There weren't any more goals after that. Argentina will be eliminated, and India will advance to the next round. And now it is time for Indonesia versus Cameroon.
And we're off yet again. Let's see who gets it. Indonesia gets one. Cameroon gets another one. And then there's another one for Indonesia. Just past the goalie. Two marbles right next to that goalie there. They aren't able to get in the goal. And it is a... Indonesia gets two and Cameroon gets one. Two to one. Those two marbles on the left. Very close to getting two more goals. But they weren't able to do it. Cameroon. One of the Cameroon marbles lagging behind a little bit. That's an interesting strategy for them. See Indonesia getting one right off the bat as well as for Cameroon. Indonesia coming up from behind on that goalie and was able to get that one as well. Almost got another one from the bump from Cameroon. They weren't able to do it. So Indonesia will advance to the next round eliminated Cameroon. And now it is time for Qatar versus France. And the round is about to start. And we're off. And let's see who gets a goal. Qatar gets three goals. Gets four goals. Qatar has a knockout. France only has one goal. There's another goal. But Qatar will have four goals. An amazing performance by Qatar in this round. Getting four goals. Four to two. A complete knockout. Let's see how, just how they did that. It was so quick. Hard to see. You can see two marbles getting in a goal there. Another goal on the left. And then the final goal on the right for the uh, France. Even got two goals. That last France marble coming up and getting that final goal. The other two France marbles had already stopped. So Qatar will be advancing to the next round. And France will be eliminated. Now it is time for Spain versus Pakistan. Let's see who gets goals in this round. Here they go, and it is two goals for Spain, one goal for Pakistan. Let's see if Pakistan can get any more. Spain coming around there, but there are no more goals. Spain will be advancing to the next round. Pakistan will be eliminated. So many marbles so close to the goal, but uh, they weren't able to get in there. Spain having two goals, definitely a uh, decent performance for Spain. Pakistan only having one goal. Let's see how they did it. You can see there Pakistan having some trouble with the entry to the field. Kind of all the marbles going everywhere and Spain had a more orderly enter entry into the, uh, the field there which ultimately led them to have more goals. So Spain will advance the next round and they will go against England in the next round. Now for U.S. versus China. Let's see who can come out on top in this game. And they are off. Let's see who gets first goal. USA gets two, three goals. There's two goals for China. Will there be any more goals? No. U.S. will advance to the next round and China will be eliminated. A close match between the U.S. and China. Let's see how they did it. Let's see, US getting in two and then three all on the right side, and then China finally gets in their first one and then their second one down in the left. So the USA will be going against uh, India in the second round. And now it's time for Germany versus Brazil. And they're off. And it is Brazil who gets one goal. They get two goals. There's another goal for Brazil. Germany gets zero goals. Oh, here comes one there. And they do get one goal. One goal for Germany, but three goals for Brazil. Brazil will advance to the next round. That Germany marble there is so close to getting a goal. They weren't able to do it. How you enter the field and where you hit the fidget spinner is really important in this sport. See how Brazil did it and how Germany was not able to do it in this round. You can see Brazil getting a goal right off the bat and then they had two more marbles roll in right on that left side with uh, Germany getting one right at the end. But uh, 
that last marble took a long time to get into that le that right goal which uh they got the one and only uh goal in that round for germany but brazil will be going against argentina in the second round now it is time for portugal versus vietnam and they're off let's see how they do no goals so far there's two goals for vietnam portugal not having any goals here he comes and vietnam gets another goal vietnam actually blocks portugal from getting a goal while getting another goal with another marble great strategy by vietnam in this game portugal not even getting one goal that's definitely hard for them you see they all trying to kind of just went everywhere you can see vietnam going back for this fidget spinner which allowed them to get goals and uh and they just kept on rolling which is sometimes what you gotta do in this sport see portugal trying to get a goal there but the vietnam marble black blocked them from getting it while another vietnam marble came up from the other side and got a goal so vietnam will advance to the next round going against qatar And now we are on to Spain versus England. This is the first quarterfinal. And we're off. And let's see who gets some points. Goalies doing a good job. Spain gets one point. England getting another point. And Spain gets another point. England has one. Spain gets two. Spain will be advancing to the semifinals. England will be eliminated. see how they did it in this replay goalies blocked three goal attempts in this round they definitely had an efficient blocking ratio in this round uh, Spain getting two points there Let's see they had one point there and here comes the second one as well as for one for England None of their other marbles were able to get a goal. So Spain will be advancing to the semifinal. And now it is time for India versus the USA. And we're off yet again. See who gets a goal first. And it is US gets a goal. India gets a goal. There's two more goals for each competitor. India gets all four goals, and USA only gets two. India will be advancing to the next round, eliminating the USA. A full knockout for India, getting four, uh, all four of their marbles in the goals. Definitely a great performance by India in this game. We'll have to see if India can make it and get into a round with Qatar because they're the only two teams uh, this far who have gotten full knockouts in this tournament. You can see there, the Indian marble actually pushing the USA marble in to get out of the way so they can make it for two more goals. The final Indian marble getting in there. So India will be advancing to the semifinals. Now it's time for Indonesia versus Brazil. Two solid colored marbles, white on the left and yellow on the right. See who gets a goal first. Indonesia gets a goal. They get hit by the fidget spinner yet again, but no goals here. Here comes another Indonesia marble there, blocked by the goalie. It's 1-0. Indonesia will be advancing to the semifinals and Brazil will be eliminated. Very low scoring game in this round. Indonesia only getting one goal. See what caused these marbles to not get more goals. They all kind of went out to the sides. Indonesia using the wall to ricochet back into the goal. Another attempt by the fidget spinner there, but they weren't able to do it. Brazil just kind of hung out in the middle of the field for most of the round. That's not the way you want to do it if you want to make goals in this tournament. Indonesia will be advancing to the semifinals going against Spain. And 
now it is time for Vietnam versus Qatar. Let's see how Qatar does in this round. See if they can get another four goal round. And let's see who gets any goals. Qatar gets a goal. Vietnam gets a goal. Let's see if there's any more goals. Qatar coming up and they get another goal. And there will be no more goals. Qatar will advance to the semifinals and Vietnam will be eliminated. Not another knockout for Qatar, but at least they still advanced. See how they do it. Some hard hits by Vietnam to their own members of the team. And uh, Qatar hadn't even made any goals yet. There's one. There's one for Vietnam. And then that one up in the top of your screen. Coming up close to the goal, but they weren't able to do it. And uh, for a while at least, then they finally got there and passed the goalie, getting another goal. Which ultimately advanced them to the semifinals. And they will go against India. And uh, they will be the two knockout teams. Two teams that have gotten four goals in a round. So we will start with Indonesia versus Spain. The first semifinal, and we're off. And off the bat, Spain gets goal. Indonesia gets a goal. Indonesia coming up, they get another goal. And there's another goal for Spain. Indonesia, there's another goal. Spain coming up against the goal. No more goals. Indonesia gets three, and Spain gets two. Indonesia will advance to the final round, and Spain will advance to the third place match. Spain and Indonesia both having a good game, getting quite a number of goals, and uh, they weren't all at once either. They kept getting goals over and over as the game went on. You can see here, each one only had one goal at the start, and then Indonesia got one. So Spain says, we need to get another one as well. And Indonesia says, well, we need another one too. Spain was not able to uh, get another one after that. Indonesia will advance to the final round. Spain will go to the third place match. And now it is time for India versus Qatar. Both knockout teams that got all four goals in one of their games. And they're off. Let's see if we can get any more knockouts in this round. India gets a goal. There's a goal for Qatar. 1-1. India coming up on that goal there. Qatar gets another one on the right. And that's it. Qatar will be advancing to the next round the final, and India will be advanced to the third place match. No knockouts this time by both of the knockout teams. Actually a pretty low scoring game. Maybe it's just that they are both such good teams that they kind of counteracted each other. You can see at this point in the game, India and Qatar both had uh, only one point coming up on the right getting another point India trying to get another point up on the left they weren't able to do it so Qatar will advance to the final round and India will advance to the third place match Qatar will be going up against Indonesia in the final round and now it is time for the third place match Spain versus India now for the third place match and we're off and Spain gets a goal, Indone India gets a goal. India gets two goals, Spain gets two goals, India gets another goal. Spain gets stuck by a, a, a goalie, and India will get the third place. Spain will get fourth in this tournament. Congratulations to all you India fans getting third place with last podium spot in this tournament. Definitely a good accomplishment. India. Let's see, India getting a goal there right past the goalie, as well as for Spain. And that uh, there's another India marble up on the top of the screen, which was the final goal. And now it is time for the final round: Indonesia versus Qatar. Final round is about to begin. Who will come out on top and be the champion of this tournament? Let's see who gets a goal first. It's Indonesia gets a goal. Qatar gets two goals. Indonesia gets two goals. Goalie on the right, blocking a lot of marbles. But Indonesia gets a goal on the left. And Indonesia 
will be the champion of this tournament. Qatar will get second place. Indonesia is the overall champion. You can see the uh, goalie on the right doing a tremendous job blocking three marbles at the end of this round, as we'll see here in a bit. Indonesia having a good performance. One marble at the end of the round was what made all the difference. You can see that goalie blocking that guitar marble twice, for, as well as uh, blocking that Indonesia marble and another guitar marble, and, uh, the Indonesia marble on the left, coming out from behind the goalie and getting the final third goal, which brought them to victory. Now it is time for the podium ceremony. Congratulations to Indonesia for being your overall soccer tournament champion. And Qatar for second place and India gets third place. Definitely India and Qatar having two knockouts. India was the ultimate comeback. Getting first place in the overall tournament. Our ultimate congratulations go to Indonesia. All This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back, Marble Sports fans, to another friendly race here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, and I'll be your commentator for today's race. We have a varied track today, which will include the first section, which is a Plinko, down to a couple of the orange funnels of the Quadrilla Marble Run track, down to some more Hubalino funnels down at the end of the course. We have 16 marbles representing 16 countries in today's race, all competing for that uh, coveted prize first place spot uh, who will win the overall tournament as we take a look at the track of today's race. It looks like a maze of wood for some of these marbles going down after the first couple of orange funnels. For those marbles just to sprint down to the next portion of the course where there is a stair stepper type contraption. We have four groups today, group A, B, C, and D. In group A will be Canada, Spain, Peru, and Mexico fighting out in this group. We'll have to see who comes out on top on the first race of this tournament. can see that stair stepper uh, area of the track an interesting way for these marbles to climb and get uh, more elevation Let's see how these marbles do in that uh, element of this race and they're off and it is Peru off to the lead all the other marbles are still in the funnels and it is Canada who comes out in the second funnel as well Spain is now in the funnel as well but uh, Peru and Canada are the ones who are making it down the uh, course first. And Peru is the first one to get to the stairs. And he is going up as uh, well as Mexico, who has passed Peru. Peru has fallen. I mean, Mex Canada. Canada has fallen down behind Mexico. And Spain is there as well. Peru has a little bit of a lead as well as all these other three marbles coming up close behind. Peru is a funnel ahead. We'll have to see if these marbles can pass for the... Uh, uh, second and only elimination or uh, advancement spot besides first place and it is Canada who's pressuring Peru for first place and he takes first place from Peru there Peru still trying to come up and he loses the second place as well Peru will be losing out the advancement spot Canada and Mexico will be advancing to the semifinals Peru having a terrible race in today's race he was in the lead for so long but eventually he was the one who uh, was eliminated with Spain at the final funnel. That's really hard for uh, Peru in today's race. Now for race two, and it is Japan, Indonesia, India, and Portugal. And Portugal is out of the funnel first in this first funnel, and they are about to come out into this second funnel as well. And then Japan and Indonesia are coming up as well. India is falling down behind. They are all now going through this wooden maze. Portugal is out in the front, already in the stairs, just like Peru in last race. Will they be able to uh, keep the lead? Uh, and look at that, Japan falling down all the way to last place. He was on the same stair as Indonesia. Not a very smart strategy because this is only a one marble per stair uh, system. 
And it is Indonesia who passes Portugal. Portugal is losing out. Will Portugal be able to advance uh, or will they be eliminated like Peru in last race? Looking like they're going to be able to uh, advance. And yes, they will. Indonesia and Portugal will be advancing from this round. Japan and India will be eliminated. So Indonesia and Portugal will be facing off the other two marbles in semi-final A to see if they advance from there as well. But now it's time to go to semi-final or group C. Mexico and Canada are the ones that are going to have to uh, fight Indonesia and Portugal in semi-final A. And we're off with Group C, Brazil, Russia, Nigeria, and the United Kingdom. And it is the Brazil who is off to the lead, uh, being followed by Russia in the right funnel. The United Kingdom is in the left funnel, and uh, Nigeria picks the right funnel as they go all through the wooden maze now. See who comes out on top. And it is Russia off to a good start. Brazil following close behind. One stair ahead, uh, behind uh, Russia. And Nigeria gets stuck on the track. They will definitely be eliminated as there are no marbles behind them to dislodge them. And now all the rest of the three marbles are in the first funnel. Now into the second funnel. Russia and the United Kingdom are fighting for the advancement spots. Brazil is trying to come up and take it as well. If Brazil can pass one of the other two marbles, they will be able to advance. But it's not looking like it's going to happen. Maybe right here. And yes, it does. Brazil is able to advance with Russia into the semifinals. United Kingdom barely getting pushed out of the advancement zone. United Kingdom and Nigeria, who got stuck on the track, will be eliminated in Group C. So Russia and Brazil will have to face off the two marbles who advance in this next race in semifinal uh, B. Now for Group D, Colombia, Argentina, the U.S., and the Vietnam. They're going down the first funnel. Who will come out on top? And it is the U.S. who uh, goes into the left funnel and Argentina in the right. But Vietnam is able to pass the U.S. in that left funnel. Colombia and Argentina still fighting in that last funnel. Colombia just leaving now. And it is Argentina or uh, Vietnam who is in the lead, being followed by the U.S. as they are going down into the stairs. And look at that. Colombia has fallen off the track uh, by the uh, stair section. That is unbelievable. Colombia just hanging out over there. It, uh, they forgot they were racing. They just wanted to uh, get out of there as soon as possible. Maybe the stress was too high. U.S. in the lead, being followed by Vietnam. Uh, and uh, Argentina trying to do all they can to advance. Vietnam takes first place. USA is in second. Vietnam or Argentina is not able to take the uh, uh, advancement spot. Argentina and Colombia will be eliminated. Vietnam and US will be the final two marbles to advance to the semifinals. And uh, Colombia just sitting over there being more of a spectator than a racer in this race. That's definitely an interesting turn of events in today's video. And now for the semifinals. Semifinal A is about to start. Canada, Mexico, Indonesia, and uh, Portugal. And they're off through the Plinko, and it is uh, Indonesia in the lead as they go through the funnel. But two marbles go to the right funnel, and it is Mexico who is still lagging behind. Portugal is the one who is still in the first funnel. Indonesia is in first place, going through this wooden maze already, being followed by Mexico and Canada. Indonesia already to the stair section before any of the other marbles are even finished with the wooden maze. And it is Mexico who is just entering the stairs just as Indonesia is exiting. Uh, Indonesia pretty much has guaranteed uh, advancement unless somehow Mexico comes up and steals uh, first place. It's not look like it's going to happen at this point. Portugal and uh, Canada are the ones who are trying to just come up and take the second advancement spot. They're all fighting in this last funnel. Indonesia gets first. Mexico trying to come up and take first place. But Canada and Portugal now coming up. And Portugal will be the one who advances to the finals. Portugal coming out on top of Canada and Mexico. Definitely a hard uh, hit on Mexico. They were in second place. But they were finally passed in that last funnel by Portugal. That's definitely the one of the highlights of this track. The last funnel where some of these marbles uh, choose to do their overtaking. Now for semifinal B, Russia, Brazil, Vietnam, and the U.S. And it is Russia out to lead, being followed by Brazil in the other funnel. They have already finished these two funnels down into the wooden maze. Brazil, or Vietnam, and the U.S. are still lagging behind in those two second funnels. Russia is already in the stairs, and uh, Brazil is coming up close. 
We'll have to see which marbles come out on top. And it is the U.S. who has gained back some spots. And they will be in second place up the stairs. And uh, Brazil will be the ones who get pushed down to the last stair on this staircase. Having about a second behind Vietnam, who is a second behind the U.S. Who is just trying to catch up to Russia, or at least just stay in second place so they can advance to the final round. Uh, but Vietnam and Brazil are making that hard. Russia gets first place. They will be advancing. Vietnam trying to come up and steal the advancement from the U.S. Will they do it? Yes, they will. U.S. and Brazil will be eliminated, allowing Vietnam and Russia to advance to the final round. USA almost having uh, an advancement here, but they weren't able to do it. They were uh, eliminated in that last funnel, as we've seen many times before. And now for the final race, Portugal, Indonesia, and as well as uh, Vietnam and Russia. Who will come out on top and be the champion of this friendly race? We'll have to wait and see, but it is uh, Portugal who is out in the lead, but they are passed by Indonesia who goes down in the right funnel. And Portugal gets stuck uh, before this orange funnel. That's definitely a hard hit for them, and they are dislodged by Vietnam who is now in the lead going down the wooden maze. And all the other marbles are still lagging behind in the orange funnels. Now they're racing in this funnel, and it is Portugal who is out in the lead through these uh, wooden maze. And Vietnam is still way up in the stairs. Portugal coming in at second. Russia in third. Indonesia is in fourth. Vietnam looking like they're going to win this championship. But you have to remember the last two funnels are the ones that usually have the most overtaking. As we see Portugal and Russia coming out here. And Portugal takes first place there just as I was saying. Portugal is now in the lead being followed by Vietnam. And Russia is falling down to last place. They're all right here in the final funnel. Who will come out on top? And it is Indonesia who will have a comeback in this race. They will be the champion of this tournament. With Vietnam coming in at second and Portugal in third, Russia will be finishing in fourth, losing out on the podium. And a congratulations to Indonesia, who won the overall championship. Definitely some great skill and a comeback in this last race. This is definitely a very interesting track in today's race. All the major overtakes happening in the last couple funnels. That's an interesting strategy move for a lot of these marbles. Uh, it pays off, though, for some of them getting into the final round and maybe even winning the overall championship like Indonesia. Congratulations to Indonesia for winning the overall championship. And now it is time for the podium ceremony. Russia still sitting there pouting at the end of the track. They didn't even get to come up onto the podium. Uh, well, I have to congratulate the podium winners right now. Congratulations to Indonesia for getting first place. Vietnam coming in at second. Portugal coming in at third place. Portugal having multiple overtakes in the final couple of funnels. They definitely had a good uh, races in today's race as well as for Vietnam making it all the way to the finals. Uh, but Indonesia is the one that they all aspire to be today. If you like this video... Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome back to another tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Run. Today we have basketball. As we take a look at the track here today, is the track begins with a slalom maze type section where the marbles will just try to have to pass each other and then down to a long straight where the marbles will have to try to get into the baskets on the end of the course. And if they can get into the baskets, then they will be able to get points which will help them advance. And if no marbles get in the baskets, the tiebreaker is whoever got to the bottom first. You can see that the middle basket closest to the jump only gives you two points, as for the back two baskets, they will give you three points. So those are the baskets that these marbles are going to want to try to aim for in today's tournament. Here you see the bracket system. We have four groups, A, B, C, and D. And two marbles will advance from each group down to the semifinals and then to the final round. And now for Group A, Vietnam, Peru, Pakistan, and the United Kingdom, and we're off through the first slalom section, and it is Vietnam in the lead, but they are overtaken by Pakistan as they go through this uh, final couple of chicane sections. They will get out first. It is Pakistan, and they get three points to see if anyone else can. No, they can't. And United Kingdom will be having the second fastest time after Pakistan, so these two marbles will be advancing, and Vietnam and Peru will be eliminated. 
as we take a look at the replays here Pakistan going on the right side of the course and was able to get a ringer into that uh, back right basket and the United Kingdom trying to get into the back left basket but they didn't miss Vietnam almost getting into that basket they bounced out though unfortunate for them they would have advanced had they stayed in the basket and then uh, Peru coming in at last Pakistan and UK will be advancing to the semi-final A and now it is time for Group B Group B, Russia, Chile, Portugal, and Brazil as we're off going through these uh, chicane maze. And it is Russia in the lead, but being some facing some pressure from Chile as they go down this chicane. And it is Russia off to the lead. Neither marble gets into the basket there. And, and uh, it is Brazil who gets the basket in the last spot. They are going to be advancing as well as Russia, who was first down. Had Brazil not gotten that basket, they would have been eliminated. But luckily, they were able to get that middle basket, giving them that two points, which ultimately led them to advancement. You can see Russia and Chile both trying to go for that left side basket. They came up short, uh, didn't have enough speed going down this ramp. You can also see Portugal here. They also aimed for that back left basket, but they missed as well. And then Brazil coming down straight, hitting right into the basket, which uh, led them to be advanced. Good for them. And it is Brazil and Russia who will be going against UK in Pakistan in the semi-final A. And now it is time for Group C. Italy, Indonesia, India, and Colombia. And we're off. Colombia having a terrible start. Uh, and it is Italy and Indonesia up in the front as we go through these slaloms once again. And it is Italy in the lead. And Italy does get in the back uh, basket, getting them three points. The only marble that's left is India, and they get three points as well in that back right basket, and that will eliminate Indonesia and Colombia. Another example of the last marble being able to advance because of the basket. That's really what the goal of basketball is. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see Italy coming out strong into that back right basket, bumping Indonesia off. Uh, keeping Indonesia from getting any points and then here comes Colombia trying the back left But they miss as well and then you can see India still way up in the slaloms trying to catch up back down They only have a chance to get the basket if they wanted to be uh, Advanced at this point and they were able to do it picking that middle exit of the uh, slalom there and they were able to get that back three points It will be Italy and India who would be advancing to semifinal B, and now it's time for Group D. Group D, Argentina, the US, Mexico, and Spain. And then it's time to go through the slums once again. And it is USA and Mexico who uh, gets the early lead. As it goes down these slums, they're almost about to get to the baskets once again. And Argentina flies off the course. They are going to be eliminated with Mexico and the U.S. being able to have the fastest times. No baskets in this round. Argentina, though, flying off the course. Definitely unfortunate for them. I don't think that's how they wanted this group to go. Let's take a look here to see how Argentina flew off the track. They seem to be going at a diagonal angle down that slope there, and they just flew over the wall. Uh, Mexico coming close behind, getting in the, getting second compared to Argentina, but Argentina did fly off, so they were eliminated. And then USA, who were the two marbles that were uh, advanced to the next round, and then there's Spain coming in at fourth place. That's the last group in this first group. Mexico and USA will be joining Italy and India in semifinal B. And now it's time for semifinal A. Brazil, Russia, United Kingdom, and Pakistan as we go down the slaloms. Russia is in the lead, being followed by United Kingdom and Pakistan. They're all going a different path, so it's kind of hard to gauge who is in the lead. But it is United Kingdom who comes out first. No baskets, and it's Pakistan next. He gets three points, with Brazil coming in at third and Russia coming in at fourth. They, those two marbles will be eliminated. Pakistan and United Kingdom will be advancing to the finals. You can see United Kingdom there. Missing the back left basket. That's what all these marbles are trying to aim for. 
it is easier to aim for that middle basket, but you do get less points. And none of these marbles want to take a chance. As you see Pakistan there getting a successful basket, the only one in this group. It will be Pakistan and the UK who will be advancing to the final round. And now it's time for semifinal B. Now for semifinal B, Mexico, India, Italy, and USA, and they're off. India takes the quick lead as they go through the slaloms. The lead is quickly taken over by Italy, and now uh, the U.S. as they go through the slaloms yet still. And it is Italy who comes out first, and the U.S. flies off the track as well, similar to Argentina a couple gr groups ago. And they will be eliminated as well as for Mexico. India will be the only marble getting a basket. Italy coming in with the uh, fastest time after that. USA will be eliminated. Hard uh, reality for them. So take a look. Let's see how the U.S. flew off the track like Argentina a couple groups ago. They were trying to, uh, it seems, try to go on top of the wall. Maybe use it to get into the basket from a different angle. I don't know, but it uh, was not successful, and they fell off the course. India and Italy will be advancing to the final round of this basketball tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs, and it is about to start. And we're off for the final round, Italy having some trouble right at the beginning. And uh, India gets stalled momentarily, but Italy is able to free them. The United Kingdom and Pakistan are fighting up in the front. Pakistan is the first to come out. No baskets for him. And Italy come up next. They get three points. The United Kingdom gets stuck on a basket. And India will be missing the baskets altogether. And Italy will be your champion of this tournament with Pakistan coming in at second India in third place and a sad reality for United Kingdom getting stuck on the basket they were so close to getting a podium finish but they weren't able to do it let's see just quite how United Kingdom got stuck on the basket there Pakistan almost getting a basket there but they ended up missing it uh, which ultimately cost them the win in this tournament the other marbles come down here United Kingdom and Italy Italy came out first coming out of the right side going diagonal risky move they could have flew off the course but they did end up getting the three bonus points United Kingdom bouncing off the basket and then going up on top of the rim and getting wedged in there uh, getting stuck uh, they uh, that is definitely not what they were planning and then finally coming India they didn't get a basket either but they did get third place because of the UK's incident. And it is Italy who will be your champion of this basketball tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Definitely congratulations to them. The UK is still stuck. They need to uh, send someone out to get them off the rim. They're just hopelessly hanging there. Italy will be the, on the top of the podium with Pakistan coming in as second and India in third place. Definitely a congratulations to Italy, who will be your basketball champions. It was definitely a great tournament today here on... are ready to race today at event one of glass car the sunstorm grand prix may I remind you to check out the marvel sports worldwide podcast a podcast that will cover all aspects of this race on the weekly show and all other fubeca races in the future look it up on youtube marvel sports worldwide podcast also don't forget of course to subscribe to fubeca for more content rainforest in the pole sitter position, followed by Penguin, Canarium, Nitro, Ivory in the top five. And in the bottom two, Volcano and Dragon's Tail. Take a look at those top five and the bottom two during the race. See if a comeback story will mount. Or if those top five will struggle a little bit facing the other elite competitors below them. Panning over these marbles, they all look ready to race, poised, composed. 
at the start. First race of glass car. All the officials lined up as well as the fans and the trainers. Nervous but excited for the inaugural race of glass car. The lights are all on and we are rolling Rainforest out to the right side immediately and Canarium will jump to the lead already hitting those guidelines so moving out there and let's take a look at Ivory now at first place Nitro just behind as they go up through the self propulsion system for the first time these guidelines here pieces of foam kind of messing with the marbles a little bit moving them around Nitro into the lead and look at Volcano already starting in 11th place and he has jumped up to second place youngest competitor in glass car this year a rookie certainly showing that he's here to race ivory moving around a collision there with nitro has the lead nitro trying to push back on the left side no movement there just take a look at volcano moving behind nitro drafting gaining some speed and ivory's losing to speed now uh volcano here to the left side and now gonna move past grab the lead here in lap three 20 laps on this circuit volcano has established a huge lead Nitro and Ivory both slowing down after that collision with him. He's going around the hairpin through the chicane, trying to maintain the gap he has. Behind Ivory, we have Penguin moving, as well as Rattlesnake. Trying to make their way up into the top three. And do well for their nation here in the first race of Glass Car. Volcano. Holding that lead. Nitro trying to move back in front. Taken to the left sides. Got him. Around the outside of the curve. And Nitro is going to move back into first place. Ivory falling back. back but you see Rattlesnake now up into fourth place as well. Working his way up. Started in seventh place. But you look at Rainforest all the way down in seventh after starting in that pole position. As he hesitated to move off to the right side at the start. Nitro still holding fast in the front. Volcano. The rookie doing the best he can to weave through the chicanes. But he's getting hung up on the side a lot, losing a lot of speed here on these final curves on each of the lap. Lap six we're in now. And these guidelines certainly sticking out a bunch, really messing with these marble speed and pulling on their agility to win the day here. See Angel all the way down in 12th place right now. That's not where she wants to be. But she's very composed in the course. I think she's good. Oh, look at that. As I say that, jumps up into 8th place. Look at that. Angel up into 8th from 12th. And now we're going to leave Dragon's Tail down at the bottom. He started at the bottom. He's still at the bottom. No challenge mounted from him at all yet. We'll have to see how the rest of this race goes. Look at that volcano weaving around Ivory. Agility on the course is wonderful here. Volcano on that left lane. Taking the outside line and staying in front. Dragon's Tail up into 11th place as Black Shadow now takes that last place spot. Ivory on Volcano's tail, drafting for some speed, but it's not going to get around him. Look at Volcano moving around Nitro as he hesitates at the guideline, and Volcano's going to grab that top spot. Look at Ivory with some collisions there. Around the outside curve, trying to catch up the Volcano. But every time she moves, Volcano moves in front. Another cutoff from Volcano. And it's not going to happen. Ivory now left behind a few inches there as Volcano. Not only aware of what's going on in front of him, but also the movement behind him. That's how he stays in front of Ivory here. Moving in front of him or cutting her off. And dubbing her momentum. Ivory. Now battling with Nitro, having some trouble with Nitro. Look at that right there. Overtakes her on the inside line of that curve. Nitro has not given up yet. Now Rockslide, the veteran, up into fourth place. Good to see him there. Rainforest also making some moves back. Volcano dropping back into third place. With Nitro now reestablishing the lead. It's been a battle between these three, but Rockslide says, let me get in on this action. As he's uh, hot on their tail. Up into fourth place here. Look at some movement there from Rainforest. Rattlesnake. Really knocking into him there. Some aggressive movements from Rattlesnake. He's going to stay in front of Rainforest for the moment. Nitro. Holding that top spot as Rockslide up into second place. 
Slow and steady, Rock Slide is overtaking each of these competitors. Ivory is not catching up. Ooh, hit off that guideline. Both marbles do, though, and it's the same distance. Volcano, the rookie, has dropped back a little bit. Only lap 12, so still plenty of room for him to move right now. See how that speed moves. Look at Volcano moving back and forth through those chicanes, weaving very, very skillfully. We will see how he approaches these top three. It's going to be hard to get past all three of these marbles to get to the top. But if there's anyone up to the challenge, it's the rookie Volcano. Not much movement from his rival Pacifica, who's back in 10th place, staying in front of Dragon's Tail and Black Shadow at best. And look at that Volcano moving around Rock Slide as Rock Slide slows down on the one guideline there. Taking advantage of all the mistakes these other marbles are making. Volcano is one of the most aware marbles on the track so far. Certainly some mistakes here and there, but you can't blame them. With these elite competitors, there's no way you can be perfect every time. But Volcano is certainly able to capitalize on the bad movements of other teammate, um, of other racers. And almost did it there with Ivory, but Ivory straightened herself out. Holding to that left lane now. I, uh, Volcano looking on the inside line, trying to stay in front of Rock Slide. Not the easiest movement for him. Rattlesnake, you see there. Trying to catch up there back there in six. Rainforest had overtaken him. Oh, look at that. Rock Slide making a move for Nitro. Around the outside line. Nitro cutting on the inside. And he's going to stay in front. A tough movement there. Well, these marbles are still holding all their speed. A lot of energy today. In race one a glass car. Nitro. What a surprise, out in front. Yes, about speed, but usually the reckless racing can get him in trouble. But he's really holding them off right now. He's smarting it up for this race. Ivory has moved up into second. Volcano, now jumped past Rock Slide, into third. Off the barrier there. Volcano pinballing back and forth between those guidelines. And it is all Nitro's race right now. Ivory is doing everything she can to catch up, but it is not happening. Nitro had a couple of hiccups during the race so far, but as we head into lap 18, it is straightened out in his favor. And first place belongs to Nitro. Take a look, you see Rock Slide now back in the sixth place. Dragon's Tail and Penguin now at the bottom. Not good looks for them for their first race. Look at that Rattlesnake moving up into fourth place. Some moves from him. And Ivory is slipping away at this point. Lap 19 and Ivory's down into fifth place. She was up in second for most of the race, but now Rattlesnake is making his moves. Moving around Rainforest. Now moving around Volcano as he shoots up the self-propulsion system. It is Rattlesnake to try to challenge Nitro. Out of nowhere, he works his way up right at the end and there's one lap to go. Rattlesnake is the only one who seems to have the chance to put an end to Nitro's reign. Ivory has dropped back to six. A tough look for her. Volcano followed by Rockslide and Rainforest here in the three, four, five spots. Nitro in the lead still. Rattlesnake, second place. The gap is huge. I think it's too much. And Nitro with a final bump off the barrier, comes across the finish line in first place. Nitro is your victor for Glass Car Race Run. Rattlesnake follows just behind, followed by the veteran Rock Slide Volcano, the rookie. A decent performance landing in fourth. Rainforest does decent for his pole position in fifth. Ivory in sixth. Angel was able to jump back up to seventh. Canarium, Black Shadow Pacifica, Dragon's Tail, and unfortunately for Penguin, last place. In the first race, the Sunstorm Grand Prix. Unfortunate finish, but for Nitro, a celebratory night as well as Rattlesnake. Great finishes for them. A good comeback from Rattlesnake who shot up into the end at the end. Shot up into second place in the last lap, the last couple of laps. And Volcano had the fastest lap in this race as well with a time of 24.112. Certainly the rookie was moving it quick for most of the race but eventually tired out a little bit and could not keep up with Nitro the whole time. Next event is Sunstorm Circuit 2 next week. 
join us then. See how this race continues to unfold. Take a quick look at some of the replays. Look at the start. See how Rainforest immediately rolled off to the right side there and already let Marbles in front. Canarium had the lead at first, but the slew of Marbles behind him just overwhelmed him immediately. And he got stuck back in the pack there for most of the race. Ivory, who came out of the chaos in the lead, held that top spot and battled with Nitro for most of this race. But it really is the end of the race that matters. The finish is the most important part. And Ivory was not able to stay up there with Nitro to the last few laps. Got a good look at Volcano as well, the rookie this season. Youngest competitor. Having some times with first place, as well as some good collisions, and his awareness on the track was masterful. Some good plays against Ivory there to stay in front. And you see that he will be a competitor to contend with. Pacifica, the rival, is not really showing much in the way of the speed he's supposed to have. But looking at the podium here for the first race, Nitro in first, Rattlesnake second, and again, Rock Slide in third. You asked fans of Dragon's Tail at this point how they felt going into race two of the Sunstorm GP. Their answer would be nothing less than dissatisfied. But with Dragon's Tail starting in sixth for this race, hopefully their answer will change by the end. Angel will be our pole sitter today, followed by Black Shadow and Ivory. Nitro, the winner of the first Grand Prix here in Glasscar, is pulling up in seventh to start. Certainly jumbled up the place starting in this race. Very different from race one. I couldn't tell you who will take the victory today. Certainly, it's a jumble. Of course, two sectors today. Couple of 90s, then hit that self-propulsion system, shooting up into that second sector, which kind of has a back and forth look to it. Two hairpins, and in between, a bunch of very slight but dirty curves that really mess with these marbles' speed and momentum. We'll see how they handle it. The lights have all lit up, and we are rolling Angel, moving to the right out of the pole center position in Black Shadow. Couple collisions there as they head to the self propulsion system here in lap one. 27 laps today will account for race two of the Sunstorm GP. Ivory has darted into the lead as we head through lap one. Coming around to that starting gate for the first time. And it is Ivory. Black Shadow right behind. And I think that's Nitro up there in third place. Very good starting for him. And he's all the way up into second. Are we going to see another run from this competitor? This speed hungry competitor. Penguin has also darkened the top three. But not before Rattlesnake has something to say about it as he moves around him and grabs third place. Here in lap two. And lap three is coming up here. Let's take a look at Angel, who has dropped back to ninth already. Not the kind of performance that the fans of Angel were expecting, especially after that very fast qualifying lap that she gave. Volcano also suffering down in 12th place. But eyes are really on Dragon's Tail right now. He's in sixth right now overall, holding that position. So far, no changes in his placement, really, since the beginning of the race. Oh, look at that. Rattlesnake darting around. Nitro in Pacifico. Oh, hit from behind from Penguin, and Nitro is actually going to be shot forward, but it's certainly he's going to be out of short swords from that. Hopefully no concussions will ensue on the field. Nitro moving on the inside line around Dragon's Tail. Dragon Sail has jumped into third place now. Will Dragon's Tail be able to turn around from his first performance in race one and come back with a solid 
win here in race two, or at least the top three. Right now, it's looking good for him as he is holding that third place position right now. Back in the pack there, Penguin drops down a couple of places as Angel slams into him from behind. And Black Shadow, who started in second overall, is now taking up residence in last place. But these marbles have all the speed they need. Those attenuators which have been removed for this race have certainly allowed the marbles more space to move around and gain some more speed and keep things moving along in the race. Those 27 laps will go by so quickly with that new addition. Ivory slowing down, having trouble with those slight curves there, and Nitro keeping in front. Some collision from Ivory, but it only helped Nitro out. You can't let your anger get you on the course. I know when you get past on the course, your first inclination is let me slam into that racer and knock him off his feet or his marble, you could say. But um, Ivory actually hampered her own situation there, but she recovers back in front, and Volcano out of nowhere is now back at the top. We're seeing a similar situation as saw back in the first race. Ivory, Volcano, Nitro, Rattlesnake all at the top. Canarium making a jaunt up there as well. And Pacifica starting to drop down. Rock Slide, funny enough, moving his way up. Maybe to balance out that top four as we saw in the previous race. Will it really be four or five marbles dominating the races this time. Black Shadow is down at the bottom, and so is Angel and Penguin, as per before, but Dragon's Tail, moving up a bunch of places there, is gonna try to say something about that. Volcano is holding that lead above Ivory. And he's moving to the left side around the longer curve. Not really staying towards the inside lane. Maybe more speed is coming from him there. But Rattlesnake, a couple aggressive moves around Ivory. He's going to grab second place and going to try to put a challenge on Volcano. Ivory moving around the outside line, trying to hit Rattlesnake from behind. Rattlesnake now does that to Volcano, hitting him from behind and moving ahead through the propulsion system. How does it come out? Rattlesnake in the lead. Volcano slowing down to a crawl here. Ivory. But look at Dragon's Tail threading the needle between Ivory as she moves back and forth through those curves and through Volcano, taking the inside line. Volcano tries to slam into him from the side, grabs back the lead momentarily. Dragon's Tail, a good move on the inside there, held the lead for a second, but is now slowed down by that outside curve, and Volcano will run away with it here for a moment. Dragon's Tail. Certainly a new performance here. The fans of Dragon's Tail are really on the edge of their seat here as he moves back and forth, sometimes up there into second place, now back into fifth. Will he emerge victorious here? You can see Black Shadow and Rock Slide battling it a little bit there. Not really much speed coming from them at the moment. And Penguin lagging behind in 12th place momentarily. Rattlesnake at the top now. Volcano right behind him. Ivory, Nitro, and Dragon's Tail. Round out that top five. Eyes are really on Dragon's Tail as Ivory runs into second place here. Is Dragon's Tail going to be able to hold his positions as Rockside comes right up behind him? Or is he going to let the other marble scare him? You see Volcano jump over that attenuator there as he crossed the line. I don't know if that helped him a lot, but it certainly is now running right up on Ivory's tail. But he bounces through those couple of curves and is now going to struggle. Ivory now moving around Rattlesnake on the outside line. Sometimes that outside line has proven to give more speed to these marbles. And you saw it there. As Rattlesnake struggled to stay in front of Ivory there and did not through the end of that lap. We are heading into lap 20 and Ivory is our leader. Rattlesnake certainly not given up by any stretch of the imagination. You can see he's a little bit bouncy right now. When he straightens himself out, he is a true marble to contend with out there on the course. Pacifica has now made an appearance in the top four. Oh, a ram from Nitro into Pacifica has only shot him above Volcano here. Marbles need to watch their collisions out on the course. Collisions are fine. Collisions are great. And there's been an accident evolving Penguin. 
I'm not really sure what's happening with him. He's in the red here, and he might be out of the race. Is he out of the race? I think he might be out of the race. Are we going to get any sort of replay on that? But here it is. Penguin on the right side spun up and got stuck on the corner of the track. Didn't pop off. But all momentum is gone, and Penguin is out of this race. Look at him. He's just sitting there. He's become a spectator on the field. And all you can say for Angel at this point is that she will not finish in 12th. But her fans are hoping she's going to be able to rise above 11th here. But as I was saying before, collisions are amazing out on the course. But if they're used in the wrong way, you can almost push marbles that you're colliding with forward. Fastest lap seems to be with Rattlesnake right now, 19.622. And he's going to stand about 2.7 seconds ahead of Ivory. Let's refocus back on our leaders here. Rattlesnake in first place, followed by Ivory, Volcano, Rainforest, Canarium. Dragon's Tail has dropped back to eighth place. It's been a wild race for him up and down the whole time. And now he's starting to falter. Rattlesnake seems to be in the clear here, and Ivory is making some moves, but has to gain quite a bit of ground if she's going to make any challenges. On the other side of the corner here, Angel is still in trouble down in 11th place. Ivory now only 1.5 behind Rattlesnake. The gap has decreased by about a second. And Rainforest has jumped above Volcano and shown that he's here to race as well. We are into the final lap, lap 27, and Rattlesnake is your leader. Is he going to be able to hold through to the end? Rattlesnake moving around this hairpin here. Second to last hairpin, that penultimate hairpin. Bounces through those curves. The final hairpin is at hand. Around he goes, hitting the edge of that border, and comes across in first place. Ivory follows shortly, about three seconds behind. Rainforest, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, Canarium, Rock Slide, Black Shadow. See Rattlesnake taking his victory lap there. And Angel and Dragon's Tail follow suit. Dragon's Tail, unfortunately. Ended in 11th place yet again. He started decently and actually made his way up to about third, even second place for a moment, but couldn't close the door. And even Angel was able to finish above him. Rattlesnake also picked up the fastest lap here, happening in tw lap 23 with a 19.6 about. And you can see that Rattlesnake has taken over the standings. Four points above Nitro here. With two podiums so far to his name. Ivory, another... Solid race for her, finishing in second, and Rainforest poking his head up into the top, finishing in third. Now is a great time for a couple of replays from the race. Take a look at these marbles as they pop out there. Angel immediately moving to the right. Another mistake, as we saw from Rainforest in the first race at Pole Sitter tends to dive off to the right as soon as the race begins. And we saw that here with Angel, who then got stuck, bounding between the marbles. Too many collisions, and she kind of lost that momentum real quickly. Ivory Nitro were the first to emerge here. The race turned too soon turned in Rattlesnake's way. Rattlesnake is one of the best racers I've ever seen in marble sports. Just the visibility to weave around other marbles. To avoid collisions. Uh, There's a great replay right there showing that. A lot of marbles in his way, but actually weave through them instead of trying to mess up with the collisions. Collisions are helpful, but too many of them can actually dampen your own momentum. And it's not the best way to proceed when you try to get to the top. First place racers in glass car will avoid collisions focus on moving past marbles. Again, another perfect example of Rattlesnake showing that he is the real deal. Did not even touch those two. Just ran right past them like they weren't even there. And Penguin. A notable disappointment for him as he gets stuck on the end there. An unexpected change of events for Penguin. He's going to have a lot of work to do if he wants to make up time in Glasscar. 
And with that, the podium music begins to play, and we will see our victors upon the podium. Rattlesnake again in first, followed by Ivory in second, and Rainforest in third. To round out the podium in Race to a Glass Car. Last car takes the oval. Hello again, friends. Keanu Bitterzicki, glad to be here with you as Last car makes its first move onto the oval. We had our qualifications earlier, in which another pole position for Rainforest. Did you see that qualification uh, finishing standings up there? Penguin, who's finished last in each of our first two races, takes second. Maybe that's a sign of things to come on an oval for Penguin after finishing last on those two road courses. Canarium third, Pacifica fourth, Black Shadow is fifth. Rattlesnake, who is the points leader and our defending winner from our second race, will start sixth. Nitro is seventh after winning the first race. As you see, there are the championship standings. 75 points, four points the lead uh, for Rattlesnake between Nitro and Rattlesnake. And then Ivory third. Ivory, though, will start last in this field. Rainforest and Volcano round out the top five all the way down to Penguin. One note on Penguin was not initially given the 25 points for finishing last after being uh, not being able to finish that last race. That's not the case anymore. They are off, though, and we are ready to go. As they cut out to the lead here, turns one and two. It is Canarium up the propelling system around three and four and into the lead for the first lap. It is Canarium leading the pole sitter, Rainforest. And Penguin, Nitro, and Pacifica all the way back. Ivory is made up one spot right now. Volcano running last as we quickly make our way into lap three of 32. Canarium is in the lead right now by two-tenths of a second. Rainforest running second after passing Penguin, but now Nitro has made that pass for second place. Pretty tight here in that middle of the pack. All the way back again, Volcano. All the way down in last. Three-tenths of a second now. Made up another tenth has Canarium. And so far, Canarium has run the fastest lap at 8.251. Nitro moves, or remains in second. Rattlesnake, the points leader, moves into third. Ivory starting to work their way up. And there is an accident. Rainforest. The pole sitter in trouble. Meanwhile, Rattlesnake has taken the lead. Let's look at the replay and see what happened. Oh, up and over. And you saw Ivory made some contact with that high uh, plexiglass. Ivory able to stay on the track, not the case for Rainforest. Again, they make contact. That's something you got to keep an eye on in turns three. Heading into four right after you make contact with that propelling system. And a disaster for Rainforest. Moves into 12th. Will not finish this race. Rattlesnake is the leader. Dragon's Tail has moved into second. Dropping back a little bit is Nitro. Back to fifth now. Canarium led the early portion of this race. And Rattlesnake, the leader, has now just run the fastest lap in lap number 11 of 32. Ivory working their way up to 6th. Canarium back up to 2nd. You've got the two yellow marbles, and they make contact, and Canarium takes the lead. Up and over they go into turn 3 and 4. And now here comes Black Shadow. Black Shadow takes the lead. May have led the lap. Very tight here. Nitro takes over 3rd from Rattlesnake. The top 4 are all right there. Here comes Ivory into 5th. As they get really tight... Only a little more than a tenth of a second separating Black Shadow, who's in the lead. Canarium runs second. Here is Ivory all the way up to second. Ivory going to go for the lead. Arounds turn two. Here they come up into the propelling system. Arounds turn three and four. It is still Black Shadow. And now Canarium has taken over second, and Ivory makes that pass back. All the way back to Volcano in tenth, and Dragon's Tail, who was in second for a little bit, now running in eleventh. Ivory has dropped back to eighth again. Now all the way to 11th. Ivory's now the last car, on, or the last, excuse me, marble on the course. Black Shadow maintaining the lead. Penguin trying to make their way back up to the front. Right now that lead is two tenths of a second. This is the fastest course that we have seen so far in Glass Car. Penguin, who started second, is back in second. Canarium, Nitro, and Pacifica, the top five. Rattlesnake has moved all the way back to last on the course. That's 11th. After leading for a little bit, Black Shadow still holding the lead. Here comes Penguin. They're coming close. A little contact. Canarium gets into the back of Penguin. May have propelled Penguin, who has finished last in each of the first two races, making a little contact, dropping back to third and now fourth as Black Shadow continues to fend off our other competitors. The lead is less than a tenth of a second. They make contact there on the back. 
up and over again into turn three. In this oval that is very similar to a uh, an Indianapolis Motor Speedway style, and it has provided a lot of contact. Black Shadow still the leader, and now Canarium makes the pass on Nitro for third. Ivory drops back to fifth after taking over fourth. Black Shadow still the leader, and that's not the case anymore. Nitro takes the lead, and now it's Dragon's Tail out of nowhere, followed by Pacifica. Rattlesnake's in third, an entire switch up of the field. And Dragon's Tail, with a time of just over eight seconds, just ran the fastest lap of this race. Penguin, who was in second, has dropped all the way to 11th. Rattlesnake, who was running last for a bit, is up in third. Dragon's Tail is the leader. Ivory in second after starting last. And again, more switches. Pacifica now in second. Here comes Nitro. Canarium has been up toward the top this entire time. This is tight. Everybody hanging in there. It is Pacifica now taking the lead for the first time. Only two more to go. They come around turn four. Pacifica will take the white flag. And here we go, side by side, Dragon's Tail into the lead, up into turns three and four. Let's see what happens at the line. It will be Angel out of nowhere. Black Shadow takes second. It was Pacifica and Dragon's Tail that went to the white flag in the lead. They will finish fifth and sixth. And Angel with a redemption story after taking the pole and finishing 10th in our last race, they gain eight spots, winning it by only 12 thousandths of a second. Unbelievably close. Black Shadow second, Volcano, Penguin, Dragon's Tail, the top five. Middle of the pack is Pacifica, and then Nitro in seventh. And on back from there, as you see the updated standings, it is a two-point lead now for Rattlesnake, who loses two points. Fastest lap of this race belonged to Dragon's Tail, who runs 11th in the standings, only one point ahead of Penguin. But as far as that goes, for the standings, it is Rattlesnake with 103 points, 101 back to Nitro, and 100 points for Volcano. And then Angel and Ivory are the top five. Despite two poles in three races, Rainforest middle of the pack in sixth. Let's look at some of these replays. This was an incredibly tight race the entire way through. Honestly, going in, I expected there may be some lapped marbles. That was not the case. Just Rainforest, who we will see later on, unable to finish this course. And there you go again. Watch that. Rainforest came out of turn one in third or fourth. It was Canarium who started third that came out in the lead. So again, it's been a uh, not necessarily a good thing to start on the pole. Fast forward to lap six here. And now lap seven, that is where disaster struck off the course. Severe damage for Rainforest, who will finish last, and that really hurts their chances. Rattlesnake and Dragon's Tail were up for a bit. There was a ton of uh, shuffling in this pack, whether that was Rattlesnake in the lead, Canarium was up at the top for the most part. You had Ivory going from first to last and back again, as there was a ton of passing on this course. A uh, very impressive, very exciting race, I would say. Black Shadow had the lead for a while. As you can see it there. And then things got real wild in a hurry towards the end of this race. Here it is, the final turn. Dragon's Tail went in with the lead, then it was Black Shadow, and out of nowhere, Angel comes across the line by less than a hundredth of a second. Let's have another look at the photo finish incredibly tight. There it is. Perfect camera work to show you 12 thousandths of a second. One more time. There it is. Clear as day, although extremely close. Angel is the winner. And all the way back to Rock Slide, who finishes last on the course. So, third place to Volcano, finishing uh, two tenths of a second behind. Again, 12 thousandths of a second for Black Shadow. Angel, though, is the one that they all aspire to be. As Angel takes the win, becomes our third different winner in three races of the inaugural season of Glass Car. A uh, very exciting, very close, very entertaining race, I would say. So congratulations to Angel, making their way uh, into the list of Glass Car winners for the first time. Glass Car takes the Moonscape Circuit as you have a look at our aerial view here. Race 4, 
of the first season of Glass Car 2020. Hello again, friends. Keanu Peterson, glad to be here with you as you have a look at our qualifying results. If you didn't have a chance to have a look at that video, there they are on the top left corner of your screen. Canarium won the pole. First pole for that marble starting first. That has not been a uh, good sign, though, for these marbles. You don't necessarily want to start first, but it'll be Canarium, Rock Slide, Rainforest, Pacifica, and Penguin who are the top five. Our last winner, Angel, will start 10th. There, we'll look at the championship standings. Rattlesnake leading Nitro by two points. And one more point back to Volcano. Angel is fourth. Ivory is fifth. Wins for Rattlesnake, Nitro, and of course, Angel in the 12 thousandths of a second win last week at the Oval as you look at the infield. And the setup for our marbles getting ready for what should be another great race here at the Moonscape Circuit. First time we've been here and a very different look as you'll uh, see in the very beginning of this first race. That self-propelling system takes a totally different look. 19 laps in this one and we are underway. Canarium will take them into the lead and immediately it is Rainforest who will take over that lead again. Hard time for these pole sitters. Wow, look at that. Everybody making contact there. And a lot of contact between the marbles. What I was saying though is the pole sitters have had a really hard time even keeping the lead through the first turn. It's Rainforest who started third in the lead. Right on their tail is Black Shadow. Penguin, Pacifica, and Rattlesnake. Canarium through the first lap has dropped all the way from pole position to seventh. Volcano, third in the point standings, but struggling. Last place right now. The lead is currently seven tenths of a second. Rainforest to Pacifica, who has taken over second. It's really close there. Look at all those marbles grouping together. Penguin now takes over second. Penguin jumps to the lead in front of Rainforest. And a larger lead now. Penguin trying to jump well in front. And if you can get some clean air before you go into that propelling system, system and then up on into the, uh, I guess, plexiglass uh, partition there, you can really gain some advantage on your lead there. Now Black Shadow's going to make a pass on Rainforest. Ivory and Volcano still occupying 11th and 12th. And it is Penguin and now Black Shadow, and the lead is over a second and a half. Penguin trying to continue that lead. They are one, two, three in a row as Rattlesnake battles with Pacifica and Black Shadow. It's Black Shadow in second. The lead still belongs to Penguin. And right now, Penguin has run the fastest lap, a 20.502, which was run on the second lap. We're now on lap five, and it's Rattlesnake who's taken the lead. Penguin had a lead of over a second and a half, and the last two marbles, you can see them coming there, Pretty well behind, but it's Rattlesnake in front of Penguin. Black Shadow and then Pacifica. And now Rattlesnake has run the fastest lap. In the lead right now. He said clean air could be important. Up and around they go. Oh, big contact there. I think that may have been Rock Slide. Lead is four tenths of a second right now. Rattlesnake back to Penguin. Canarium started on the pole, still running middle of the pack in seventh. Oh, look at the contact there between the two leaders, and it's going to be a pass again for Rattlesnake. We will take back over the lead, and now Pacifica makes a pass for third. Black Shadow drops to fourth. Rock Slide, first time we're calling their name, up into fifth place. Remember, 19 laps in this competition. And now Pacifica making a pass for second. Rattlesnake still holding the lead, and the lead is eight-tenths of a second reach that area where we have a scoring system set up and now look at the pass being made Pacifica takes the lead and might lead this lap right on their tail is Rattlesnake it's Pacifica across the line and now here comes Penguin again nice move and there will not be a lot of clean air that time Penguin now takes the lead Pacifica just ran the fastest lap however they have been passed back for the lead now they're going to make a pass again they are three wide here Penguin and Pacifica and Rattlesnake all battling. Meanwhile, Black Shadow going to try to make a move while that's happening. Ivory and Volcano still really, really struggling. Last week's winner, Angel, hanging in the back of the pack in ninth right now. Pacifica still leading. It's now four marbles going for the lead, and it is going to be Black Shadow and Penguin battling for the lead. Now the next two marbles all the way back to sixth in Rainforest trying to get in this matchup here. As we start to wind down on the laps, we're in lap number 11 of 19. Penguin trying to build a lead. They led by over a second and a half earlier in this race. 
trying to continue that. Top six trying to pull away. Canarium has moved all the way up to third. Now it's really the top three and then the next three before you slide off there. Canarium just ran the fastest lap now. The pole sitter, nobody's run a faster time. 24.01. And look at that, we might get a lap marble. Volcano really struggling. Well back. And that could get very interesting. Lead belongs to Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake will come across the line pretty close, but it's Penguin that takes that lap in second place. But now Canarium retakes that lead. Canarium might have a chance at the lead. One, two, three in a row. Canarium now has the lead. Let's see if a move is made. It is going to be made by Penguin to take that lead back. And they are closing in on Volcano, who would become the first lapped marble in this race and could cause some issues. And oh no, Volcano, just as we were mentioning it, off the course. Missed the plexiglass partition and will finish in last, unable to get through the rest of this course, really struggling anyway. And so now you don't have to worry about, at least for the moment, a lap marble. That's a break for the leaders as they are all close here, officially now a DNF for Volcano. Penguin is in the lead, Canarium the pole sitter trying to end that stigma that the pole sitter cannot win. Canarium and Penguin still battling. Pacifica has dropped back a little bit here. We'll have another look at our replay and let's see what happened. Yep, too much speed, shockingly, for the marble that's in last. All the way down to the lower portion of the course. Good thing that there wasn't a marble down there, otherwise could have been even more disaster rather than just for Volcano. Ivory had been hanging out in 11th, but they have now moved their way up to 8th. It's Dragon's Tail that's dropped all the way back. Angel struggling yet again, and Canarium still holding the lead. Pacifica trying to get back in this one. Pacifica actually now is closer to second than second is to first. Penguin starting to let this one slip away a little bit. Canarium, there's only a couple more laps left in this race, and if you don't hurry, Canarium might run away with it. And actually, just as I said that, here we go, Pacifica making a move. Gonna try to retake the lead. For the moment, it is still Canarium. And they come to the line, two laps to go. Canarium, Pacifica, Rattlesnake in third. Penguin and Rainforest are the top five. Pacifica takes the lead, jumps over where they hit the partition, makes a nice move. The top five are all in this thing. Nitro's in six, but not really a part of the competition in terms of qualifying or uh, competing for the win here. Final lap, here we go. Pacifica is the leader, Canarium battling. Here comes Rattlesnake. They come over the partition and it's Canarium who takes the lead. Now here comes Rattlesnake into second, being pushed by Pacifica, drafting up against that yellow marble. It's two yellows and a blue. Canarium retakes it and Canarium's gonna take the win. And they come across the line very close. It's Rattlesnake that's gonna get second. Third to Pacifica, Rainforest fourth, Penguin will take fifth, Nitro, Black Shadow, Rock Slide, Angel will end up ninth, Ivory is tenth, and finally here comes 11th place Dragon's Tail who almost got lapped on that final lap, nearly didn't finish the course. And of course Volcano had that scary incident earlier, and so they are unable to finish and will take last place. and be awarded the points that they get for that, which will be 25 points. You can see Rattlesnake was the biggest gainer, gained seven spots all the way up to second, but Canarium proves the stigma wrong. A pole sitter can win, does it with an overall time of six minutes and 46.1 seconds. And an impressive, definitely not leading for all the way, but they did a great job uh, to win from the pole. They'll move up to third, becoming uh, yet another winner in this competition. Rattlesnake is the points leader still. They are now up six points on Nitro. Canarium moves into third with a win here today and the pole. And we'll have a look at some of our highlights today. I mentioned how hard it's been for these pole sitters to get even into the first turn with the lead, and that was the case yet again. Although Canarium, as we know now, will come back to win the race, it was Rainforest who jumped out to the lead, and Canarium went from the lead all the way to seventh. Just out of that first turn, it was a really rough start. You can see there was a lot of contact between some of these marbles here. This was in lap four. 
and at this point in time, Penguin had gotten out to a pretty sizable lead. But there were some big runs, like that one right there. Rattlesnake had made a nice move. Some of the slow motion looks at that plexiglass. And you can tell the contact just looking at the course. Watch there, right there, when the marbles hit back down on the pavement. You can see some, some give there in the pavement, as there is certainly been a lot of contact and a hard impacts for these marbles. Obviously, we're hoping the best for Volcano after a significant accident, which we'll see later on in these highlights. But, uh, a lot of back and forth. Pacifica ran a nice race. Have a look at... Ah, I didn't even see that the first time through Dragon's Tail with a big mistake there. You can see... A lot of that, three, three by three going through that specific area of the course, one, two, three. Here's what we saw from Volcano up and over, and you see making contact right there, and then entirely off the course. Hopefully everything's okay there. Canary and Pacifica battling side by side going into the final lap, and this is where the move was made. Canarium stayed lower on the course, which is actually exactly what you wanted to do, because you see... Got that advantage coming out of that turn. And ultimately, that's what got the win for Canarium. Wins it by a little less than three tenths of a second. Rattlesnake will take second. And Pacifica, who took the white flag in the lead, will finish in third. Fastest lap was a 24.01. Ran on lap 11. By your winner, Canarium, who picked up a lot of points, got the pole. Got the fastest lap, and of course the win doesn't hurt either. An impressive day for Canarium, catapulting them back into uh, the, uh, the championship talks, as it is a big day at Moonscape Circuit for Canarium and for a lot of these marbles. And then a The inaugural season of Glass Car here on Marble Fubico rolls on as we make our second stop here at City Moonscape for our fifth race of the season. In our third circuit, and hopefully another exciting race on tap on the left side of your screen is the qualifying from earlier for this matchup. It'll have Dragon's Tail on the pole, Rock Slide, Canarium, Angel and Ivory, the top five. Hello again, friends. Keanu Bittersiki, glad to be here with you for the fifth race of this season in Glass Car 2020. We are back at the City Moonscape where we had uh, a lot of issues with that plexiglass barrier earlier that has been adjusted a little bit here for this race as you see the championship standings on the screen rattlesnake is the points leader nitro canarium angel and volcano the top five dragon's tail is last in the point standings but first on the starting grid today and hopefully a chance to turn the tides for dragon's tail starting from the pole our last pole sitter was canarium who overcame the challenges of being the pole sitter that we've seen early in the season and ultimately ended up winning the race at the City Moonscape here in what was our fourth race, a different configuration. It is a 13 lap race. Somewhere around 20 to 22 seconds will be the time per lap based on what we saw from qualifying. And here we go. Let's see if Dragon's Tail can keep the lead into the first turn. The answer is no. Once again, it is a problem out of the gate for the pole sitter. Lots of contact between the marbles coming through. Dragon's Tail is back in the lead now, followed closely by Ivory, Nitro, Canarium, Rock Slide, and Rainforest. Those are the top six. And it looks like they're all kind of separated there. Volcano, keep an, uh, keep an eye on Volcano, nearly lapped on this course earlier uh, in our previous race before actually leaving the race due to an incident. Ended their day early. They've dropped back to 11th. It's Rattlesnake back in last right now, and the lead belongs to Dragon's Tail, and that's the fastest lap so far. Lap 2, 21041 for Dragon's Tail, the current fastest lap. They're the leader over Nitro, Ivory, Rainforest, and Canarium, the top five. And a pretty good sized lead at the moment as Nitro trying to fend off Ivory. Now, gonna try to gain some momentum. And that lead is now another fastest lap. Dragon's Tail runs a 21.020, but here comes the rest of the field. 
And Dragon's Tail now having to hold off some competitors. Ivory and Rainforest are there. Volcano is yet again in last. As Rattlesnake has made a pass there, Angel and Penguin hanging out in the back as well. And it is a three-way race right now before you get back to Canarium. Rainforest just made a pass for second, gonna try to make a pass for the lead. Right now it's two-tenths of a second, or was moments ago, between Ivory and Dragon's Tail. Now a close match, maybe some contact there. And into the lead goes Rainforest, who just ran its fastest lap, a 28.72 take the lead. We're almost halfway through this race already. Very quick pace. You can see some of the marbles able to use that exit ramp for their satisfaction and for success, but some have had a hard time with it. Rattlesnake having a hard time with everything. Rainforest just ran another fast lap, a 27.71. However, it is tight. It's a four-way race, and the new leader is Rockslide, followed by Ivory, Dragon's Tail, and Rainforest drops back to fourth after entering that area with the lead. Rockslide trying to gain the advantage. Now here comes Ivory going to make a pass for first. They are close, and now there's a few more marbles that are getting in there. Ivory takes the lead. Rainforest drops back into second. Rockslide now makes that pass back, and Ivory has a little bit of an advantage here. And there is an incident with Rockslide. Rockslide is off the course. We'll have to have a look at the replay and see exactly what happened, but Rockslide holding second place, I believe, at the time. Let's have a look and see exactly what did happen. As you can see, Rockslide is that first marble. Oh, contact! Oh my, that is a disaster! With some contact with, I believe, that was Nitro. And Rockslide will not finish this race. It's a second straight race here at the City Moonscape in which one, at least one of the competitors will not finish. And it was Dragon's Tail who made that contact with Rockslide. And we're getting word that they are going to have an internal investigation on that, make sure there was no foul play there. Meanwhile, Dragon's Tail still competing for a win. Ivory is the leader. Pacifica has moved up to third. Rainforest is in fourth. Canarium holding strong in fifth. As Dragon's Tail had some contact that may have led or may have just been incidental with Rockslide to uh, end up out of the race. As Dragon's Tail coming up, and they are going to put a punishment on Dragon's Tail. A five-second penalty. A huge penalty. And so Dragon's Tail competing for the lead, but not really having a chance. Rattlesnake is about to get lapped here. And that would be the first marble in the history of Glass Car 2 get lapped. Remember, Volcano was nearly lapped last time. There's only two laps left, so that may not end up happening. It's Ivory in the lead. Pacifica has just passed for second. They're going to come up and over, and there is the lap, I believe. Yep, Ivory's going to make that pass. It is Pacifica in second. Pacifica trying to get around Rattlesnake, who's now kind of serving as, for a moment there, a pick for Ivory. As we've gone into the final lap, Ivory with the lead over Pacifica. Rainforest third. Dragon's Tail, remember, has a five-second penalty, currently running in fourth. Here comes Pacifica trying to come through, making it close. Pacifica right up on the bumper of Ivory as they come around through the final couple turns. Can Pacifica make the move through the last turn across the line? It is Ivory with the win. And it's going to be a close finish. That was 12 thousandths of a second. It happened from a different angle. It was right on the bumper was Pacifica, who will take second. Rainforest is third. Dragon's Tail comes across the line fourth, but they are going to have a five-second penalty added to them. Canarium, Nitro, Angel, Penguin, Black Shadow, Volcano, and then Rattlesnake. And then, of course, the DNF for Rockslide, who is having a very solid run. But unfortunately, some contact there causes some problems. Uh, Dragon's Tail will end up getting 7th place after the penalty is assessed. As you can see, Ivory, a big gainer for uh, Pacifica, who picks up 8 positions. Once again, Volcano, despite gaining 2 spots, really, really struggles, finishing in 10th and dropping back to 8th in the standings. As you have a look now at the updated standings, it is now a tie between Nitro and Rattlesnake atop the boards. Canaria moves to 3rd. Ivory is 4th now. 
and fifth is Pacifica in the standings as we have a look at our replay here and some of our highlights from this very fast paced and wild race and again issues coming out of the gate there for the uh, pole sitter which has caused problems in the past and it did here you can see some marbles having success others like right there you saw volcano and penguin have a hard time even getting to the exit ramp which caused some real issues for them and they ended up toward the back volcano uh, Rattlesnake and Penguin consistently in the back of the pack for the majority of this race. You saw there was where Rock Slide began to become a part of this competition. Dragon's Tail obviously didn't like it from what we're going to see momentarily. And here it is. So you can see there's Rock Slide in the front, Dragon's Tail's in the back. They both come down perfectly fine. Contact there between the two sends Rock Slide over. And that determination was that although it seemed like there was a lot of momentum being gained, the determination clearly was that that was a inappropriate action being made by the pole sitter. And so that ends up costing five seconds on the finishing time of Dragon's Tail. Uh, obviously, that is going to be one that's going to be talked about. The decision was made, and uh, it's unfortunate for Dragon's Tail, obviously even more unfortunate for Rock Slide, unable to finish this race, as you see the last couple of turns. I'll tell you what, Pacifica made a made a, a run at it, but ultimately a good job of staying in the line of sight by Ivory, and they came across the line. Not enough for Pacifica to make a move and have a chance at the win, so they will take second. They had the fastest lap, though. Lap number 13, it was the last lap, and it was the fastest lap of the race. It belonged to the runner-up Pacifica. Rainforest takes third, but they all wish they were Ivory right now. As Ivory gets the win and has now moved into fifth place in the championship standings. A very interesting race here at the City Moonscape for our fifth race of the season. Another marble that doesn't uh, isn't able to finish that due to maybe contact with the course, but maybe uh, slightly made... Uh, definitely more significant by the fact that there was contact with another competitor there. We saw our first marble get lapped, and that, by the way, is the points leader, Rattlesnake, who ends up... We are now into our sixth race of the first ever glass car season, and the championship contenders starting to make themselves known as you have a look at the Moonscape circuit. We're back on an oval here for the sixth race of the season, and I say hello again, friends. Keanu Bittersicki, glad to be here with you as you see the top left of your screen, the qualifying results from our qualifying session here for today's race. Nitro gets the pole, Rainforest, Ivory, Penguin, and Rattlesnake the top five as we are now into our sixth race of the season and some of our marbles that are uh, really competing for this championship, making themselves known as, as well as the marbles towards the bottom of the standings that have really fallen off the pace here. It's over 20 points from first to last. As you have a look at the championship standings on your screen now, Rattlesnake and Nitro come in tied at 164 points. Three points back to Canarium, who won from the pole last week. Ivory is in fourth, and Pacifica fifth. Rainforest just one more point behind at 158 points. So just six points behind the points leaders as you have a look at our crew chiefs along the sidelines, all wearing their face masks here covering and uh, helping to protect each other uh, to allow us to have this glass car season here in 2020. There are the team trailers that have been set up here at the Moonscape Circuit for a while here. It is a 44 lap race. Nitro is going to take us to the green and we are underway. Into turns one and two they will go and immediately Nitro loses the lead that is Penguin. As you see, the top left of your screen shows the standings. Penguin in the lead, Canarium, Nitro, Rainforest, and Ivory as we're one lap through. Like we said, 44 laps in this race. It's going to be a quick one. As you can see that ramp, which will cause, almost looks like one of those jumping water fountains that you see. As you'll see that continue to happen on the back side of your screen. But right now, it's Penguin in the lead by almost a full second over Nitro. Canarium, Rainforest, Volcano moving up to fifth. Pacifica ran the slowest lap. For what it's worth in qualifying, currently running in last. Volcanoes dropped all the way back to ninth now. Penguin still in the lead, followed by Nitro. Canarium, Rainforest, or excuse me, Dragon's Tail, then Rainforest. That was the fastest lap so far. Belongs to the leader, Penguin. And you can see Penguin really not being challenged early on. 
Pacific is still running in last. Canarium holding off Nitro for the moment. That lead is now over a second. There are the leaders coming through four. Back across the start-finish line in case you lost them there for a second. Lots of marbles going all different places. Love that view along the front straightaway there. As you can see, some of the marbles making moves. Penguin's still the leader. Dragon's Tail has started to move up now into third place. Nitro still running in fourth. There they are, and now Dragon's Tail makes the pass for second. It's a 1.3 second lead for Penguin over Dragon's Tail in second. Canarium has dropped to third. Nitro's in fourth. Volcano back up to fifth. And now Dragon's Tail is going to make a pass on Penguin for the lead. How about that? They get a lot closer now. Going up the ramp and through now turns three and four. And it is a race again. Penguin and Dragon's Tail. Canarium has now made that pass. And they're getting really tight. Look at all these marbles coming across the ramp at the same time. And everybody's in it again. All the way back to it seems Pacifica's the last one there. The last two marbles, uh, Rattlesnake and Angel, are kind of far behind. Lead back up to a half a second now between Penguin and now second place Canarium. Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, Volcano, the top five. They continue to run very close. And it's really close there between third and fourth. Black Shadow now up to third. Best running spot of the day. Pacifica has dropped back to 12th now. Everybody a little bit closer here. So we are 20 laps in now to a 44 lap race. But again, these laps go so quickly. We ran fastest lap of the race, a 6.7 second lap. Penguin still the leader, has led the majority of this race. Did not win the pole, though. That was uh, Nitro, who's now running in 11th. Really fallen back. Nitro going to move up to 9th, passing Ivory and Angel. It's still Pacifica in last, and it's still Penguin in the lead. Rainforest now, move, now runs in second. Black Shadows drop back to third. Rattlesnake and Canarium are 4th and 5th. Two tenths of a second is the lead. Maybe a move there for Dragon's Tail being pushed by Canarium through three and four. It is still Penguin in the lead. Dragon's Tail second. Black Shadow going to try to make a move for second place. They're going to go tight across the start finish line. Still Dragon's Tail in the lead. Dragon's Tail going to make a move now. Try to get the pass on Penguin. Not going to happen there. And that lead will now... Uh, become a little larger as Penguin got a run after some contact, I think. Looked like they may have made a little bit of contact there. It's been a pretty clean race here, and it's been a pretty dominant race, frankly, for Penguin. Still in the lead over Black Shadow, Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, and Canarium. Angel, who had been running in last for a lot of the races, moved up to seventh now. And Pacifica continues to run towards the back of the pack. The lead is three-tenths of a second. It is close for second and third, maybe some more contact. Black Shadow's in second. Coming around... Turn four, back across the start, finish again, and it is Black Shadow. Now Rainforest takes over third. Fourth and fifth, Dragon's Tail Volcano are all in it. Top five are in this one, but right now Penguin's starting to lengthen that lead out once again. It's a pretty big lead actually right now, and now it's starting to be shortened once again. Angel all the way up to fourth. What a run after starting way in the back, but the lead is 1.6 seconds. Penguin looked like it was a little slow there, bouncing off the walls this way and that, but the lead still belongs to that marble. Penguin in a pretty significant power position right now. Black Shadow and Rainforest battling for second. We're running out of laps. We're on lap 38 now. We're about to be on 38 as they'll come through turns 3 and 4 and send us to lap 38. Not many left in this 44 lap race and it is Penguin by a pretty wide margin over Black Shadow and Rainforest. Rainforest trying to make a pass for second and maybe give something to Penguin at the end of this race. But we enter lap 40 now and the lead still at points is a whole entire straightaway. Seven tenths of a second for Penguin over Black Shadow. Dragon's Tail's made the move back to third. Rainforest fourth. Ivory has moved into fourth now passing Rainforest. The top five again kind of separated from before you get to Canarium in sixth. Then Angel, Volcano, Rock, uh, Rattlesnake, Rockslide, Slide, Pacifica, and Nitro. Only two laps to go. Penguin trying to take that final spot. There we go. It is the final lap of this race. Penguin in a pretty big lead, and it's going to be a dominant win for Penguin. Dragon's Tail in second. There's the win. Penguin gets it. Dragon's Tail in second. Black Shadow, Canarium, Ivory, Angel, Rainforest, Rattlesnake, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, the Pulsitter, finishes 11th, and Rockslide, seven seconds back, will finish in 12th. 
what a race and a dominant win for Penguin. Holy cow, that was a great effort. And you can see Penguin now gains three positions overall from where they started the race. Dragon's Tail in second, Black Shadow third, Canarium fourth, Ivory fifth. Biggest gainer was uh, Canarium. Picks up five spots, obviously negative ten. Biggest loser ends up being Nitro. And it is Canarium that now moves into the lead for the championship by one point over Rattlesnake. One more point back to Ivory, then Nitro and Rainforest, the top five, as we have a look at the replay here. And this one had a lot going on from the very beginning, and Penguin led it from the first corner. You see there through turns one and two. Great job of just cutting off the pole sitter there, Nitro. And Nitro ended up in third. And it was Penguin from the start. And you can see some of the very impressive looks going up that ramp and then making contact again with the course. A lot of, uh, you can see some contact there between look like Pacifica and Canarium. It was a very well-run race and a, a perfectly executed run by Penguin, who starts out this race in fourth. Ends up in the lead by the end of the first corner and really never looked back. It was a rare occurrence where Penguin wasn't leading. Here was one of them where Penguin had to retake the lead on lap 14 over uh, Dragon's Tail, who was there. You had Rainforest was in the mix for a while, but nobody could really get back to Penguin. It was a pretty dominant win uh, and just uh, a showing of, uh, I don't know if it's knowing the course better or having just a better luck or uh, honestly just look like better prepared for the day from Penguin. A lot of passing, but most of it happened back in the pack. You saw Pacifica hung out in the back for the most part. Nitro went back and forth, ends up finishing in 11th. Ivory was in the middle of the pack for the majority of the time. Angel was at the bottom and then moved all the way up for a moment up to, I believe it was fourth, was the highest running position there. A lot of back and forth, but not a lot of lead changes. As Penguin leaves it just about as close to start to finish as you can get from the first corner on with very slight changes, including running the fastest lap. That was lap 42, was the fastest lap of 6702. Third place is Black Shadow on the podium. Runner-up is Dragon's Tail, came in as the last place runner in the standings. So a big gain there for Dragon's Tail. But of course, they're all aspiring to be Penguin after today's race here at the Moonscape Circuit on the second oval course we have run for Glass Car, a very different oval course, uh, but it still results in a lot of passing. However, this time, instead of a close finish from the leaders, it was close finishes later in the pack because Penguin was the marble to beat from the get-go, and it just did not happen. An easy win by over a second, 1.7 seconds back to first, and then from there, it was eight-tenths of a second back to third place, Black Shadow, so a very dominant... As the 2020 glass car season progresses into now our seventh race, it brings us to perhaps the most unique track that's on the course, or at least the most unique we've seen so far. That is the first circuit of the Sacred Hills City Grand Prix. If you look at the qualifying results on the left side of your screen, Dragon's Tail will be your pole sitter, followed by Nitro, Rattlesnake, Rainforest, and Penguin, the top five, all the way down to Canarium and Volcano, who both finished over two seconds off the pace. And with that, we welcome you to today's race. Glad to be here with you, friends. I'm Keanu Benedicki as we continue into our seventh race now of the 2020 glass car season. As I said, very interesting course, which is going to go from lower on the course there up to the top. And then through a zigzag portion of the course, which is there in the black with the red and white stripes. There is a chicane, a couple of chicanes actually in the middle of this course, which will force our uh, drivers to make a decision on where they want to go. Championship standings on your screen right now. One point lead between Canarium and Rattlesnake Ivory, Nitro, and Rainforest are the top five. So it'll be interesting to see and a good idea to keep an eye on all five of those drivers in addition to those who are in the lead and up toward the front, whether they are at the top of our championship standings or not. It's a 19 lap race. And with that, we are ready to go. They are underway as the green is displayed on the top of the starting post. And almost as always, 
It looked like for a second there, Dragon's Tail was going to have a hard time keeping the lead. That's not the case, though. Now, oh, up and over a couple of different collisions there as they will kind of settle out there. It is Rattlesnake right on the tail of Dragon's Tail, followed by Canarium. The one, two, three are right there. Angel is in fourth. Penguin rounds out the top five. Tried to make a move, did Canarium. Did not work. Went to the inside and will remain in third place and a pass for the lead. Rattlesnake and now Canarium both going to go by Dragon's Tail, who has a hard time with that chicane and getting out of the zigzag portion of the course. And the lead is 1.6 seconds now between Rattlesnake and Canarium. All the way back now to Ivory and Volcano. Again, Volcano struggling. And now... It is a battle for second and back from there as Nitro going to make a pass for fourth on Angel. Trying to come up on Canarium and Dragon's Tail. Canarium still in second. And the lead as now Dragon's Tail is going to take second. Canarium drops back to third. It is still a lead of over a corner right now. Pretty good size advantage for the leader as you can see coming through, although it was a nice turn there, coming out of the chicane for Dragon's Tail, trying to gain some ground on Rattlesnake, followed by Canarium, Nitro, and Angel. Lead is down to seven tenths of a second, and Canarium being pushed by Nitro now. It is tight there. Volcano has made up some spots. And making up some ground. Oh, over the chicane, it looked like went Nitro. As we have a battle now for the lead. Rattlesnake still in the lead. Here comes Nitro with a little contact to Dragon's Tail. It is close as they cross the start finish line. Entering lap six here. It is still a lead for Rattlesnake over Dragon's Tail. Dragon's Tail makes contact and makes the lead. Makes the pass to take the lead. Here comes Nitro and Rainforest are in third and fourth as Rainforest moves up the leaderboard. Ivory continues to struggle. Top five in the standings, 12th on the track right now. As Dragon's Tail just ran the fastest lap of this race, a 22.871 to take the lead, but look at the pressure being put on and the lead goes back to Rattlesnake. It is now third place for Rock Slide, who has made some moves. Pacifica has dropped back to last. Rattlesnake, who has been in the lead for a good portion, is still in the lead right now. It is really tight though between first and second. And right here is where there have been passes made, not this time though. Gonna continue to lead will be Rattlesnake. Nitro gonna make a pass, was in fifth, gets up to third as Dragon's Tail now takes the lead back. Nitro, Rock Slide, and Rainforest, Canarium, Angel all in it. Back to Penguin, Rattles, uh, excuse me, Penguin, Black Shadow, Volcano, Ivory, and Pacifica. Dragon's Tail is Gotten out to a lead of almost a second, just over nine tenths of a second. Nitro gonna make a pass to get right back into third again. And everybody back to Penguin is right there with each other. They are spreading out just a little bit. Not necessarily banging each other through every corner like you might have seen in previous races. You can see it's a pretty big lead between those first two. It is still Dragon's Tail in the lead, and another pass is made. This time it's Rainforest getting past Nitro for a moment. And, yep, still in front of Nitro as they make some contact. Rockslide and Angel making contact. That now was the fastest lap of the race. Dragon's Tail, a 21.942. On the 10th lap, it's the fastest lap, and when you're in the lead, you love to get the fastest lap. It'll allow you to continue to uh, extend your lead. Nitro has been making moves all over the place. Kind of going back and forth, but able to make some passes. Pass multiple marbles at a time. Right now running in fourth. It is still Dragon's Tail. Rainforest is now taking over second. Side by side with Rattlesnake, who retakes second place for a moment. But when you are facing another marble going side by side and you're not in first and second, it allows that lead marble to extend their lead. It's now two and a half seconds from Dragon's Tail back to Rainforest, who currently runs in second has gotten away a little bit from Rattlesnake as we are now into lap 13 and maybe Rainforest. Top five in the standings can make a run at Dragon's Tail. 11th in the point standings is Dragon's Tail trying to pick up a win and what a huge win it would be as this is another pass. Rattlesnake retakes second. 
and will again try to focus in on that lead marble. It's a little shorter now. It was two and a half seconds. It's down to nine tenths of a second. Not much in the back of the pack. Once you get past eight, it's been pretty steady. Volcano has, pla has uh, passed Black Shadow for nine. But then Black Shadow, Ivory, and Pacifica all running in the back of the pack here. It's a pretty significant uh, disadvantage for them. It's getting closer at the top of the leaderboard. It is still Dragon's Tail in the lead as we enter lap 15 now. Five to go. Rattlesnake trying to do something. Might get a lap marble there, as you can see at the outset of going over the portion of the course where you have the self-propelling system. You can see Pacifica in view there. Dragon's Tail in the lead. Rainforest has retaken second place. Rainforest has a run. Rainforest going to make a pass for the lead. How about that move from Rainforest? And now here comes Dragon's Tail trying to take that lead back. They are tight. It is Dragon's Tail back in front. Nitro is going to take third away from Rattlesnake. A couple of great moves there. And the lead back up to seven tenths of a second. Was that the run that had a chance to take out Dragon's Tail? We're on lap 17 now. Just three to go couple of really good runs there. One from Rainforest to take the lead, and then that good decision made, and now it is going to be a good use of the chicane. Rainforest takes the lead, trying to stretch it out. After all of that leading, we are going to go down to two to go, and it's going to be Rainforest who will take that move. Two laps left. Rainforest is the leader. And by over a second, 1.2 back to the leader, or the former leader, Dragon's Tail. Here comes a chance to maybe pass Pacifica, who could potentially cause a problem. They're going to wave the blue flag there. Tell Pacifica to make sure to get out of the way. That's not the case, though. Pacifica staying right in front of the leaders. Oh, my goodness. Pacifica throws a block, and we go into the final lap, and it's going to come right down to it. Some contact goes between Dragon's Tail and Rainforest. They get by Pacifica. Dragon's Tail retakes the lead out of the chicane. Now you've got to advance and avoid Ivory. They are going to make more contact. Dragon's Tail is going to go into the final turn with the lead around the corner and across the line. It is Dragon's Tail that gets the win. Back to Rainforest second. Rattlesnake will take third. Wow, what a wild finish. As the lap cars were about to be lap marbles, caused some issues. Nitro will finish fourth. Give fifth to Angel, Rock Slide, Penguin, and Canarium. Then Black Shadow, who repassed Volcano, who will end up 10th. Ivory is 11th, and a full 26 seconds behind is Pacifica, who will finish 12th. The winner is Dragon's Tail. What a run. A pretty dominant effort. Led the majority of the race. It was really between the top three. Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, and Rattlesnake, they were the ones who really led laps. Nitro continued to make good moves, but could never really get up there to have a chance to win it. So Dragon's Tail wins from the pole. Second time we've seen that now. Canarium did it as well. Biggest gainer was Rock Slide. Gained four positions overall. There were three that lost three. That was Black Shadow, Ivory, and Pacifica all lost three spots during the race. Fastest lap was lap 10 by Dragon's Tail, a 21 Nine four two, winning it by 1.4 seconds and the updated championship standings rattlesnake is still the leader or is the leader again i should say by four points it's a three-way tie between nitro canarium and rainforest and then angel and ivory in fifth and sixth dragon's tail moves all the way up to seventh penguin is eighth and on back from there as we will have our finale to the season next week, and the championship is far from over. Here are some of the highlights. You saw Dragon's Tail. You knew it could be a good day for Dragon's Tail when you get out of turn one, or even for that matter, into turn one with the lead as the pole sitter. Able to use the chicane. Chicane became a very uh, big part of this course. You can see here on lap five, there was some contact between Rattlesnake, who had taken the lead, and Dragon's Tail, and that's where you see Nitro get in on the action. This was a race that had a lot of touching, not a lot of, there was not really any dirty moves. That was where the main action came, into that zigzag portion of the course, where the course turned from the normal gray to that black color. 
that was maybe the biggest contact of this race. Racing for second between Rainforest and Rattlesnake. And they continued to battle for the majority of this race. Dragon's Tail had built a lead over two seconds at one point. But as we've seen throughout these races here, that is not always going to result in a continued dominant run. There have been a lot of large leads that have been cut very quickly. And you saw right there, going into the final lap, there was issues with Pacifica going into lap 19 and coming all the way through the lap. It actually, I think, cost the opportunity for a win for Rainforest. And so that's something that has to be taken into account. The blue flag was waved, which I believe meant that they were supposed to surrender their position. That didn't happen. And it ultimately provided an open door for Dragon's Tail, who led the majority of the race to make that last lap pass on Rainforest, who will finish second. An entire season will come down to one final race. Seven races, seven winners, and realistically, four up to maybe six of our, of our contenders will have an opportunity to win the championship as we welcome you to the final race of the 2020 glass car season. I'm Keanu Bidiziki, glad to be here with you as we will crown a champion at the end of today. On the left side of your screen, you see your qualifying results. And you'll notice the third place qualifier for today's race is Rattlesnake. They are the championship points leader at this point in time, holding a four point lead over a trio of contenders Ultimately, there are six marbles that are within single digits of the lead right now in the championship standing. So really, it is truly anybody's championship, but it is Rattlesnakes to lose at this point with one more race to go here at the Sacred Hills Grand Prix. And there are the standings. A four-point lead for Rattlesnake. It's Canarium, Nitro, and Rainforest, Angel, and Ivory all within uh, single digits of Rattlesnake, but really it's going to be between most likely Rattlesnake, Canarium, Nitro, and Rainforest. As we are just about ready to go, it is a 19 lap race, which will determine a winner. And after all season, it comes down to this. We are underway in the final race of the 2020 glass car season. And right off the bat, it is Rattlesnake that takes the lead points leader and has to be the championship favorite is in the lead right out of the gate. Nitro runs in second currently. One of those three marbles that are tied for second place. Rainforest is another and right now Rainforest runs in fourth. Canarium got off to a bad start running in tenth. One lap down and it is a little bit of a lead now for Rattlesnake. Nitro and Rainforest battling for second. It's a 1.2 second lead for Rattlesnake back to Rainforest. Who has now taken that lead and now Dragon's Tail jumps up into second. Penguin and Rock Slide. And it's Rainforest who's in fifth now. Angels moved up to fourth. All the way back in tenth is Canarium. And as it has been for a lot of time this year, Volcano and Ivory, mostly Volcano, making up the bottom of the standings currently. Rattlesnake is still your leader over Rainforest, Dragon's Tail, Rock Slide, and Angel. Canarium really having a hard time in a race that. They need to perform well in. Same can be said for Nitro, who's running an eighth. 1.8 seconds is the lead. If Rattlesnake wins, it doesn't matter where you finish. And right now it is Rattlesnake who is in that lead. And there has been no movement from Rattlesnake who has led this entire race so far. And they are lining up behind yellow and black marble. Right now it's Rock Slide in second, and so far the fastest lap that's been run was Rattlesnake on lap two. We're in a 23-9-7-1. So far nobody's beaten that, but Rainforest just took the lead. And now things might get interesting. Rainforest leading Rattlesnake, who's now battling with Rock Slide and Penguin. And if you can get Rattlesnake to fall a little bit, it gets interesting. Rattlesnake drops back to third, and now Rainforest just ran the fastest lap. They're battling for second and third between Rattlesnake and Rockslide. It's three R's at the top of the leaderboard. Rainforest, Rattlesnake, and Rockslide as they run currently. And now Rockslide jumps to the lead. Rattlesnake makes a pass on Rainforest, who drops back to third. 
Canarium is running in 11th. Out of it at this point. Same can be said for Nitro. So it's really now between Rattlesnake and Rainforest. They run second and third. Rock Slide spoiling the party right now. Rainforest says, I need to be in front of you. Right on his tail right now is Rattlesnake. Dragon's Tail is running in fourth, and then Penguin, who just actually dropped back a couple spots. Rainforest retakes the lead, and now a pass made again by Rockslide to take that lead back. They're side by side going out of turn one. And into two up through that self-propelling system. Rockslide holds the lead. Rainforest is in second. Rattlesnake is in third. A win would do wonders for Rainforest. The Rainforest is now going to drop back and in a hurry drops all the way to sixth. Now Nitro becomes the highest running competitor for the championship along with Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake is dropped back to third. Nitro runs in fourth. It is still Rockslide and now Black Shadow takes the lead on a pass there. Rockslide retakes that lead and Rattlesnake makes a pass for second. Right now none of the three that were tied for second four points back of Rattlesnake. They are running. That's Nitro who's in fifth. Rainforest, who was briefly the leader, just passed Nitro for fifth, so now Nitro's running in seventh. They've made some moves back and forth, and Canarium basically, basically out of it at this point, running in 11th. It's a 1.2 second lead for Black Shadow, who's the current leader over Rock Slide. Canarium, as we said, basically out of it at this point, as is Ivory and Pacifica and Volcano, yet again. Tough battle continues. I almost feel like Rainforest missed their opportunity there. We're on the lap 11 of 19. The fastest lap was just run, by the way. That was Black Shadow, who's the current leader. And it is Nitro that makes that pass for second place. Angel puts some distance between Nitro and the points leader, Rattlesnake. Now, if Nitro can get up to Black Shadow, things can get interesting, but it's a pretty significant lead right now. 2.1 seconds, and it's now Angel who's made that pass for second. Rattlesnake has dropped to fourth. Rattlesnake now makes a pass on Rock Slide for third, and Nitro has dropped all the way back to sixth. Just when you think you have a chance to make things interesting, it is a mistake made by one of those three marbles, well, really just two. Rainforest earlier, now Nitro making a mistake there. It's a one and a half second lead back to Angel from Black Shadow. Angel, of course, had the miraculous win at the Oval by 12 thousandths of a second way back when. Now running in second. Rattlesnake is third. Rainforest has made their way back up to fourth, and a pass is made. Rattlesnake now takes over second place. Running out of laps to make up time is everybody else, and Angel makes a pass for the lead. Black Shadow drops to second. Rattlesnake is now gonna be passed by Rainforest for third. Nitro is in fifth, and it's a seven-tenths of a second lead for Angel, who's made, who's made the pass, as we're now on lap 15. Five laps to go, Angel in the lead, and it's a battle between Rainforest and Rattlesnake. Rainforest really not only has to finish ahead of Rattlesnake, but needs some help as well. Rattlesnake is right on the tail of Black Shadow. And now it's close between Nitro and Rainforest for fourth. Meanwhile, it's not close up at the front. Two and a half second lead built by Angel. Can you maintain that? That's the question as the laps begin to dwindle down. These laps, though, take some time, so there's still a chance. Rattlesnake has made a pass for second. That really hurts. Rainforest is going to go by Black Shadow as well. Rock Slide moves back into this competition now, but the lead is stretched to nearly five seconds. Unbelievable show by Angel here in these closing laps. Rattlesnake might run a second place and ride that to a win in the championship, and that's all that really matters. It would be impressive for Angel as the laps are really dwindling down three and a half second lead there's only two laps left rattlesnake runs in second angel is the leader by a significant margin rainforest is in third black shadow fourth rock slide rounds out those top five and now a pass made by black shadow for third we're on the final lap 
and a championship is going to be handed to Rattlesnake when they finish this lap. It's going to be a win for Angel, almost certainly. The lead is over five and a half seconds. There is the leader. Going to finish off what's going to be a pretty dominant end of this race. Going to try to pass Canarium. Let's see if there's a lap involved. Canarium is close to being lapped and might be lapped. Will not quite be lapped, though. Angel going to get the win here in the final race of the season. Coming across the line in second is Black Shadow. Rattlesnake crosses the line, and that'll be enough to win a championship. Rockslide finishes fourth, Penguin fifth, and Rainforest, Nitro, and Dragon's Tail. Ivory ends up ninth. Pacifica, who started on the pole, will be tenth. Volcano made one pass for 11th, and ultimately a very disappointing end of the season for Canarium, who will finish 25, nearly 26 seconds behind Angel. And what is a very disappointing end, and there are the standings after this race. You can see Angel won it by 5.772 seconds, and then almost another full second back to third place. An incredibly impressive finish. The fastest lap, by the way, was run on lap 10 by Black Shadow. That's still the case. And Rattlesnake will hold on to win it. There are the final standings. Despite two wins this year, Angel comes up two points short. What an effort. Rattlesnake with 261 points is your 2020 Glass Car Champion. Finishing on the podium five times, winning one race, and ultimately being the most consistent, Angel will end up the second place finisher. And that shows you how inconsistent Angel was. Finishes second, despite winning more races than anybody else. The only marble to win two races as we have a look at our highlights here. And it was Rattlesnake at the beginning. Ran an impressive race. Got out of that first turn in the lead as you saw some chaos there. Right off the bat, this was some contact early between Nitro and Rainforest. A nice pass made there on lap six by Rattlesnake on Rock Slide. And then later on in lap six, a really smooth move by Rock Slide to go from third to first. Some impressive passes on this course, including that one right there. Another one by Rock Slide back on lap nine. This was the point of the race in which Black Shadow was the leader. You can see Nitro trying to make contact with Marbles and do whatever they could to pick up speed in a desperate effort to pass Rattlesnake and then gain some separation, but it was not to be, and that was the pass that ended up being the winner as Angel made the pass on lap 14 and stretched the lead out to over, 50, uh, over 5 seconds, nearly 6. Third place for Rattlesnake, second place for Black Shadow, first place for Angel. Normally we say they all aspire to be Angel, but rather they're certainly aspiring to be Rattlesnake today. A championship in the bag for Rattlesnake. A huge congratulations to them. Angel gets the win and the distinction of being the first uh, glass car marble driver to win multiple races. But the first ever season of Glass Car ends up as a championship for Rattlesnake. Thanks for watching. This has been Glass Car on Marble Fubica.
Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah and I'm here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Melbourne Grand Prix. In this season we will have 12 marbles competing in 8 races all striving to be crowned champion. You may notice that some of these marbles have changed color this season. This is to make for an easier distinction between marbles and to make for a better viewer experience. All these marbles have been training hard for this season and are ready for race one. But before you can race, you must qualify. The format for the qualifying of this season has been changed to allow for better racing. There will be three qualifying sessions, starting with Q1, which will have all 12 marbles racing in a two lap race, with the last three marbles being eliminated, not making it to the next round, and the position in which they finish will determine their starting order for the race. Q2 will be exactly the same as Q1, except for there will only be 9 marbles, as 3 marbles have been eliminated. Q3 will be a 4 lap race with the remaining 6 marbles, and the order in which they finish will be the starting order for the top 6 marbles in the starting grid of race 1. The people of Melbourne have put together an amazing track to be the host of the race 1 of the Marble Circuits 2022. Some of the features of this track are the drag reduction zone as well as the booster and a long straight. The grandstands are full awaiting the qualifying of the Melbourne Grand Prix. It's a hot summer day here in Australia. Hopefully that doesn't take a toll on any of these marbles for this qualifying. And now the marbles are in the block. And away we go for the qualifying of the Melbourne Grand Prix. Up the booster for the first time, and it is Knight Rivers in the lead, followed by Loose Wheel and Arrow Frog. As we go down this U-turn for the first time, a Loose Wheel has now taken first place from Knight Rivers, being followed by Arrow Frog, but Loose Wheel has a trouble on that wall. Now Knight Rivers is in first place, being followed by Arrow Frog and Big Dogs. Now for the second lap which is the final lap. This is a mad dash. Arrow Frog takes the lead by Storm. An amazing move by Arrow Frog, with Knight Rivers now still in second, being followed by Pink Pearl. But right now, all you want to watch is the bottom three marbles, because they are going to be eliminated in this race. And Arrow Frog will be your champion of Q1, but the marbles that will be eliminated are Fast Q Pins, Mamonas, and Black Pirates. So Black Pirates will be starting last in the starting grid with Mamonas in 11th and Fast Two Pins in 10th place. And now for Q2, Sea Turtles, Peppers, and Sparky are on the chopping block and we're off. Up the boost for the first time and Big Dog slows tremendously. He is way back in the pack, almost guaranteed an elimination with Gold Piston in first place. Peppers is in second with Arrow Frog in third place being followed by Knight Rivers. Sea Turtles and Loose Wheel are fighting to get out of this elimination zone as we enter the final lap. Pink Pearl fighting to stay in the top six with the Sea Turtles trying to catch back up and Gold Piston is still in the lead. A hit from Arrow Frog to the back which slows Arrow Frog down letting Peppers pass him now putting some pressure on Gold Piston and passes for first place with Sparky now in third. Loose Wheel coming up on Pink Pearl. If he can pass her by the end of the lap, he will not be eliminated. It's a race to the line, but Pink Pearl is able to stay in the top six. Loose Wheel ending up getting seventh with Big Dog in eighth and Sea Turtle in ninth. This will be the starting order for these three marbles in the starting grid for race one. We are down to six marbles for the start of Q3. This will be a four lap race, which will determine the starting order for the top six marbles. Marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Arrow Frog having a slow start up the booster for the first time. And it is Peppers in the lead, but it's overtaken by Sparky with a quick pass through the drag reduction zone. Peppers now in second with Pink Pearl in third place, being followed by Knight Rivers. With Gold Piston in fifth place with Arrow Frog in sixth. Down the back straight starting the second lap. Peppers trying to catch up to Sparky, but now facing pressure from Knight Rivers, who has overtaken Pink Pearl, who has fallen down to fifth. And Peppers takes first place from Sparky. Sparky trying to take it back, but a good move by Peppers, not letting Sparky pass, with Knight Rivers still trying to catch up. With Arrow Frog in fourth place, now pressuring Knight Rivers through these turns for the starting of the third lap. Peppers is in first place with Sparky in second. Knight Rivers in third place. Arrow Frog fourth. 
Pink Pearl is in fifth, and Gold Piston is in fifth place. Sparky coming up on Peppers now. Night Rivers gives a bump to Sparky, who's now pressuring Peppers. All Peppers has to do is stay in the lead for a little bit more than a lap, and he will be the winner of this qualifying. But Sparky is not making that easy as he almost passes Peppers. Very close, 0 .004 seconds behind in the line. But Peppers is able to retain first place. And a hit to Knight Rivers from behind from Arrow Frog, giving Knight Rivers some momentum. Now trying to catch up to Sparky, who takes first place from Peppers in the final lap. Peppers is in second, trying to take back the lead, and he does. And it's a race to the finish. Who will take it? And it is Sparky, who will be the champion of this qualifying. With Peppers in second, Arrow Frog is in third, Knight Rivers in fourth, with Pink Pearl in fifth, Gold Piston is in sixth. An amazing finish for Sparky, overtaking Peppers in the last lap, 0.122 seconds ahead of Peppers, which is definitely a close finish with Arrow Frog in third place. And now, for the start of the Melbourne Grand Prix. The marbles are ready, the lights are on, and away we go with Peppers taking the lead right at the beginning of the race. He is back in the lead after losing in the qualifying, but loses it to Gold Piston as they go of the booster for the first time. And now it is Big Dog in the lead. He started in eighth place and now is overtaken by Pink Pearl. And Sparky and Peppers are falling down the order. Big Dog trying to catch up to Pink Pearl with Knight Rivers in third place as they go down the back street. Pink Pearl, the previous champion, is trying to get a good start to this season. Could she have been holding back in the qualifying to trick the Marbles into thinking that she has lost her edge as they go through the drag reduction zone? Gold Piston is now in third place, trying to overtake Big Dog, who is still trying to catch up to Pink Pearl at this moment. He seems to be drafting Pink Pearl through these corners, and he takes first place in the third lap. Pink Pearl is trying to take it back, but it's surpassed by Gold Piston as they go up the booster. Gold Piston trying to catch up to Big Dog, who is extending himself from the rest of the field at this point and doing a good job at it. Knight Rivers has now taken second place, being followed by Gold Piston and now Fast Coup Pins, who is trying to overtake for the podium. But Gold Piston and Knight Rivers are going to make that hard. Or so it seemed, Fast Cube Pins has taken third and second place with Big Dogs nowhere to be seen. Knight Rivers now taking the second place. Great move by Knight Rivers through the booster. We have been seeing a lot of these moves through the booster as he takes first place there. Big Dogs falling down to second. A lot of these moves through the booster have been very beneficial to these marbles. A new element of marble racing that we have not seen before. Gold Piston now back in third place trying to catch up to Big Dog as he does right there trying to draft him but it is not working out. Big Dog able to stay ahead with Knight Rivers extending himself from the rest of the field and now Mamonas is in fourth place being followed by Pink Pearl in fifth place. Gold Piston trying to pass Big Dogs here but isn't able to do it as they go up the booster. Gold Piston is able to pass Big Dogs and Big Dogs takes second place and first place as the other two marbles take the drag reduction zone. A bad move by Knight Rivers and Gold Piston. Big Dogs is now back in the lead. We are now starting the seventh lap as they go down the back straight. Gold Piston losing some ground on Knight Rivers as he's trying to catch up to Big Dog. And he does right there, passing Big Dog, but Big Dog passes him back. A fight for the first place. And Gold Piston has now taken second, trying to catch up to Big Dog. Big Dog seeing some fighting going on behind him, just trying to stay ahead of these two marbles to stay out of any trouble and make it as easy as possible for him to retain the lead. But Gold Piston is trying to make that hard as he gives a bump to the back on Big Dog. Big Dog getting a little bit of momentum from that. Knight River is still in third place with Arrow Frog now in fourth place, catching back up after a not so good race so far with Black Pirates in fifth place. He started in the last place on the starting grid, now in fifth place, trying to come and take fourth. A great move by Black Pirates now is in fourth place. Big Dog still facing some pressure from Gold Piston up in the front with Arrow Frog in third place. 
And Gold Piston has a bump on the chicane there, and so does Arrow Frog. We've had an accident on the track. Arrow Frog is losing ground. The Arrow Frog fans are weeping. The tweets are tweeting at the downfall of Arrow Frog. Gold Piston able to retain his podium spot so far, dealing with the damage that he got from this accident, with Big Dog still in the lead, being followed by Night Rivers. Arrow Frog and Night Rivers pretty far ahead from Gold Piston, who is yet farther ahead from the rest of the field. Arrow Frog a whole second and a half in front of Gold Piston. This is an incredible lead. He has a bump off the wall there, and Night Rivers takes the lead from Big Dogs. Also take a look at Peppers and Sparky. Peppers is in last place, starting in second place. He is definitely not having a good race with Sparky down in eighth, right in front of Arrow Frog. But Arrow Frog is able to take it back, now in seventh place, dealing with the damage of this accident. Night Rivers trying to fend off Big Dogs, but is unsuccessful. Big Dogs is now in the lead with Gold Piston and Black Pirates in the mix. Night Rivers trying to fend off Gold Piston, who doesn't seem to be too affected by the damage at this point, as he takes second place and now was drafting Big Dogs, but has a bump off the wall there, now being drafted by Night Rivers. And now gets a boost of speed through the booster, hitting on Big Dogs, and Big Dogs is able to... What happened there? A shove from Night Rivers pushing Gold Piston to the top of the chicane. Is that even legal? Night Rivers definitely benefiting from this move, Definitely a questionable move though, as he is now trying to catch up to Big Dog with Gold Piston in third place. Sparky is now back up in fourth place, fighting with Arrow Frog, who is back up in fifth place, trying to redeem himself in this race. We are on lap 14, two laps to go. Big Dog's in first place, Night Rivers in second, with Gold Piston in third place, drafting Night Rivers here as we start the 15th lap. And a bump from Night Rivers to the behind of Big Dogs as they go up the booster. Gold Piston now pressuring Night Rivers through the drag reduction zone. And another move from Night Rivers to Big Dogs onto the edge of the chicane. Some rough play from Night Rivers in this race. He really wants to take the overall win. With Gold Piston now taking second place from Night Rivers on the start of the final lap. Big Dogs is in first place. Gold Piston is in second. Night Rivers is in third place. Arrow Frog is back up in fourth place. Big Dogs facing some pressure from Night Rivers. All he has to do is stay in the lead for the remainder of the lap, and he will be champion of the Melbourne Grand Prix. As he goes around the final couple of corners, he can see the fans, he can see the line, and Big Dogs will be your champion of the Melbourne Grand Prix. With Knight Rivers in second, and Gold Pitson is in third place. A respectable finish for Arrow Frog in fourth place, being involved in that accident with Gold Pitson. Both respectable finishes for those two marbles. What an amazing race. The fans are cheering, even the Arrow Frog fans, for the results of this race. Definitely an action-packed race with the efforts that Big Dog put into the offseason paying off, being crowned champion. Congratulations. You were very fast today and dominated the circuit. Yeah! That was amazing, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Big Dog's very excited for his first win in Marble Circuit's history. Definitely an amazing accomplishment. Especially considering the fact that he started way back in 8th place as we look at some of these replays here. The replay of the start of the race. Peppers taking the lead from Sparky in the first second of the race. Is there a rivalry developing between these two marbles? We'll have to wait and see. Some great moves here right in the first turn. Sparky losing a good 5 places right in the first turn of this race with Gold Piston coming in at first but ultimately it was Big Dog who came out in the lead he did have trouble holding the lead for the entirety of the race but he was able to keep it at the end Night Rivers putting on a good showing as well as Gold Piston in this race both getting on the podium this is one of the few replays of Fasku pins in this race you didn't see much of him in this race but he did have one or two good moves in the front of the field Night Rivers though, battling Big Dog for the entirety of the race as well as Gold Piston. All these three marbles were jostling for position the entire race. 
Gold Piston not being in the lead very much with Big Dogs and Night Rivers keeping that spot. And here's the accident with Gold Piston and Arrow Frog. Gold Piston getting stuck on the track, not even moving for a couple seconds. And then Arrow Frog comes in with too much speed, not able to slow down in time before he crashes into Gold Piston, making him fall down a lot of places. He was able to come back up and get fourth place. Definitely an accomplishment as well as for Gold Piston having this accident, gaining some damage in this race. Couple rough moves from Knight Rivers in this race, pushing Gold Piston as well as Big Dogs onto the top of the chicane to gain some speed as well as to slow those two marbles down. Some rough play, but ultimately it did work out with him getting second place. Here's a cool trackside view of the marbles. A view that only VIP marbles get to see. It's definitely a cool view. And here are the full results for the Melbourne Grand Prix. Big Dogs getting 25 points plus one point for having the fastest lap of this race. If you get the fastest lap of the race, you will be getting a bonus one point in this season. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for race two of the Marble Circuits 2022. And of course, congratulations to our three podium finishers. Big Dogs for getting first place, Knight Rivers in second, and Gold Piston in third place. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. And until next time, this has been Quebec's Marble Runs. Welcome back, race fans, to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Last time, Sparky stole the lead in the last lap of Q3, sealing his position at the start of the starting gate for race one. Will he be able to do it again in this qualifying, or will Peppers be able to take some revenge? The Bahrain Grand Prix is a very winding track with not much time to gain speed before you have to go into the next turn. This will definitely be a challenge for some of the marbles who are better at long straights with fewer turns. We'll have to see how they perform in this race. Black Pirates, Mamonas, and Fast Two Pins had a rough qualifying last race, being the first three marbles to be eliminated in this new format. Hopefully, they'll be able to do better in this qualifying. After the accident last race, Gold Piston and Arrow Frog have been repaired, getting some slight damage, but nothing major that can't be fixed. Hopefully, we won't have any more dangerous crashes in this season. Big Dog sits atop of the standings with 26 points, getting the fastest lap last race, giving him another extra point, with Knight Rivers in second and Gold Piston in third. And now for Q1, the marbles in the blocks. And away we go for the qualifying of the Bahrain Grand Prix up the booster and is Peppers in the lead being followed by Knight Rivers and Gold Piston through these U-turns for the first time. Knight Rivers takes first place from Peppers with Gold Piston pressuring Peppers right now but succumbs to Fast Coup Pins who is now in third place trying to catch up to Peppers and Knight Rivers as we start the final lap and Peppers takes first place and Fast Coup Pins is now in first place. Knight Rivers falls down to third. A great mistake by Knight Rivers falling down the order. Mamonas, Pink Pearl, and Black Pirates are in the elimination zone trying to do all they can to get out of this zone before the end of the lap, but it's not going to happen for Black Pirates, that's for sure, but Mamonas and Pink Pearl may have a chance. Peppers takes the win at the last second, and Mamonas gets out of the elimination zone, eliminating Sparky, last race's pull sitter. He will be eliminated in this qualifying. What a humiliation for him, with Pink Pearl also being eliminated and Black Pirates. And now, for Q2, the marbles are in the blocks, and away we go for Q2, up the booster for the first time, and it is Knight Rivers out in the lead with Fast Coup Pins and Gold Piston on his tail. Sea Turtles is in fourth place being pressured by Arrow Frog with Fast Coup Pins still trying to catch up to Knight Rivers, but Knight Rivers has a great boost of speed there, and now he's over a second ahead in front of Fast Coup Pins. And Arrow Frog is trying to catch up to Fast Coup Pins and takes second place. And first place from Knight Rivers through the booster. Great move for Arrow Frog. But Knight Rivers is now in second place with Gold Piston is in third. Sea Turtles just getting out of the elimination zone, putting Peppers in the spot with Loose Wheel and Mamona sharing this elimination zone. Frantic to get out of the zone, but it won't happen. Loose Wheel, Peppers, and Mamonas will be eliminated in Q2. Loose Wheel will start on 7th on the starting gate with Pepper starting in 8th and Mamonas will start in 9th. 
Now we have the last six marbles to compete for the top six spots in a four lap qualifying race. Arrow Frog sits on the top with Gold Piston in second, Night Rivers in third place. Fast Coup Pins is the only marble that has made it this far and was eliminated in the first elimination of the qualifying for race one, which is definitely better than last time. And now for Q3. And we're off with Big Dogs taking the lead right at the last second. Now Fast Cube Pins is in the lead, being eliminated in the first qualifying. Now he is in the lead with Big Dogs in second. Sea Turtles is in third place, trying to fend off Gold Piston as they go through this U-turn. And Gold Piston takes third place from Sea Turtles. Big Dogs still trying to catch up to Fast Cube Pins, who takes the drag reduction zone, but is able to retain the lead with Big Dogs still trying to get on his tail. Sea Turtles has taken back third place as they go through these U-turns once again. Gold Piston trying to catch up to Sea Turtles with Arrow Frog on his tail and Night Rivers is trailing behind. And Gold Piston takes second place from Sea Turtles and Big Dogs takes the lead from Fast Coup Pins who takes the drag reduction zone as they go up the booster. Big Dogs is back in first place. Is Big Dogs being a little bit too overconfident taking the lead in this race after winning last race? Or is he just being an excellent racer? Fast Coup Pins takes first place in lap 3 and Big Dogs takes it right back. Some aggressive racing from Big Dogs and he takes the drag reduction zone which helps him gain some speed as they go up the booster. This is the final lap. Big Dogs is in first place being followed by Fast Coup Pins and Sea Turtles with Night Rivers putting some pressure on Sea Turtles trying to take that podium spot, but Sea Turtles is fending him off. Big Dog is still in the lead, and he will be champion of Q3 of Bahrain Grand Prix with Fast Q Pins in second, Sea Turtles in third place. Big Dogs will be the pole sitter for this race with Fast Q Pins in second. Definitely some exciting racing in this qualifying, starting with Q1. Sparky getting eliminated, being the pole sitter from last race. What happened in this Q1? He just did not get a good start to this race. And these qualifyings are very short, only two laps. There's not much time to make it up. Peppers though, taking the lead at the last second, being the pole sitter for the Q1. Definitely a good achievement, but he was eliminated in Q2. Also, Black Pirates was eliminated in last place in Q1, just the same as the Q1 from last qualifying. He is not doing well with this new format. Arrow Frog and Gold Piston were both able to make it to Q3 after the accident in Race 1. Their damage has definitely been fixed and they are back on their optimal performance. Definitely good for them. Fast Coupins getting second in the overall qualifying, which is definitely better than his last qualifying. We wish him a good race, as well as Big Dog starting in pole position. Definitely will be good for him. We wish all the best to him as well, with Sea Turtles getting third place. We'll have to watch out for Big Dogs and Fast Coupins in this race, as well as for Sparky and Peppers. Will they be able to catch up after this disappointing qualifying? Pink Pearl having a rough season so far, being in ninth place in race one. She'll have to do better if she wants to keep her reputation. It's gonna be hard. Here are the full qualifying results, with Big Dogs in first place being the fastest marble, with Fast Coup Pins in second and Sea Turtles in third place. Sparky falling down to 10th place, definitely a not good qualifying for him. Hopefully he'll be able to catch up in this race. If you like this video, Welcome back race fans to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah and I'm here to welcome you to the Bahrain Grand Prix. Big Dog sits on the pole position after winning the qualifying a few days ago. Being champion of last race, he is trying to make it as easy as possible to take another win. At the back of the starting gate, you have an interesting group of marbles, Black Pirates, getting last place in both of the qualifyings of this season. He's definitely having a hard time with this new qualifying format. And then you have Pink Pearl, last season's overall champion, in 11th place. She's having a hard time with these qualifyings as well. And then you have Sparky, race one champion. He was put into the elimination zone by Mamonas in the last lap of Q1 which is definitely a hard hit for him, with Mamonas getting eliminated in Q2, not making it any farther than ninth. Nice. Arrow Frog and Gold Piston sit right next to each other on the starting grid. Rumor has it that they are actually becoming friends after the accident in last race. The Bahrain Grand Prix is a unique track with a very steep booster, 
and a lot of U-turns in succession with not much time to gain speed as we saw in the qualifying, but there are a lot of places that can be used as an overtaking point. As we look at the top down view, you can really see what type of environment that these marbles have to be going through in this race. Nerves are building, especially for Big Dogs, who sits on pole position. He is under a lot of pressure to perform well in this race to keep the overall lead. But Knight Rivers is sitting in fourth. He is in second in the overall standings. He wants to come and take the lead from Big Dogs. Here are the full results of the qualifying from a couple days ago. Big Dogs on pole position, followed by Fast Food Pins, Sea Turtles, Night Rivers, and Arrow Frog, who will finish off your top five. Just to let everyone know, race three of the Marble Circuits will not be coming out next weekend. They'll be coming out the weekend after that. And now, for race two of the Marble Circuits 2022. The lights are on. And away we go. Fast Food Pins takes lead right at the beginning of the race, but Big Dogs takes it back. And they go through the drag reduction zone, losing a lot of speed. And now Peppers is in first place, being followed by Knight Rivers and Mamonas as we go through these turns for the first time. Big Pearl is trailing behind in 12th place with Loose Wheel in 11th. Big Dogs has fallen down to 7th with Fast Coup Pins in 8th place. The drag reduction zone spelling disaster for these two marbles. Peppers is extending his lead, being followed by Mamonas and Knight Rivers, who is trying to catch up at this point. A lot of contact right before the booster, and Knight Rivers comes out on top with Mamonas in 2nd. Sea Turtles is in 3rd place, and Peppers has fallen down to 4th, with Knight Rivers now trying to extend his lead. Mamonas still in second place trying to catch up to Knight Rivers but is having a hard time doing it as Knight Rivers is extending himself from the rest of the field. Sea Turtles has taken second place but Mamonas takes it right back and he takes first place from Knight Rivers and Sea Turtles takes first place right before the booster. Knight Rivers has fallen down to fourth with Arrow Frog now in third place. Sea Turtles extending himself from Mamonas here. Mamonas is the second place champion right now, not getting in first place for very long. And Knight Rivers has now taken second place, drafting Sea Turtles, but Sea Turtles is able to get ahead. Mamonas taking second place briefly from Knight Rivers, but enters the drag reduction zone, allowing Knight Rivers to take the second spot. Arrow Frog is pressuring Mamonas for third place at this point, being followed by, who would have guessed, Gold Piston. They are really becoming buds in this race. Mamonas trying to catch up to Sea Turtle at this point, but Sea Turtles is able to pass and take first place from Knight Rivers and take the fast side of the drag reduction zone with the other three marbles taking the other side, allowing him to get a big lead. Knight Rivers is now in second place, being followed by Arrow Frog. Mamonas is now in fourth place, trying to catch up to Arrow Frog at this point. Sea Turtles trying to stay ahead of Knight Rivers as we go into the sixth lap. Knight Rivers trying to catch up and he goes through the drag reduction zone but is able to keep momentum a good move by Knight Rivers. Sea Turtles has a good lead right now and Gold Piston is now in third place being followed by Arrow Frog with the Monas now in fifth place. Big Dogs and Fast Pins are in the last two spot. What happened to these two marbles in this race? They were the top two pole sitters of the starting of the race. Something is definitely wrong with their strategy in this race. Knight Rivers has taken back pole position from Sea Turtles. These two marbles are definitely fighting for the pole position in this race, being followed by Arrow Frog and Gold Piston. They're all in single file around these turns. Knight Rivers sees these three marbles behind him, does not like what he is seeing. Arrow Frog trying to take second place from Sea Turtle and is able to do it. Sea Turtles and Gold Piston take the drag reduction zone. Now Arrow Frog is in second, trying to catch up to Knight Rivers as he is right now. Mamonas is now taken back third place and Arrow Frog takes first place from Knight Rivers as they go through these two turns. Knight Rivers has lost a lot of momentum. Black Pirates is now in third place, starting in the back of the field in 12th place. He is definitely a comeback king. He did this last race, but if you remember, he got up to the top of the field in the middle of the race and then fell back down and finished in 11th. We'll have to keep an eye on him in this race to see if he is able to stay up in the top of the pack or if he's going to fall back down like he did last race. Peppers is now back up in 5th place with Gold Piston in 6th. Arrow Frog extending his lead from Knight Rivers. They both take the right side of the drag reduction zone. Mamonas taking 3rd place from Black Pirates, but Black Pirates is able to take it back. Arrow Frog a good 3 seconds ahead of Black Pirates with Knight Rivers close behind. 
Black Pirates needs to try to close this gap if he wants to get any higher up in the standings. But you have to watch out for Night Rivers and Arrow Frog, two fierce competitors. As Night Rivers takes first place from Arrow Frog there, they both take the drag reduction zone, making them lose a lot of momentum. Black Pirates has an opportunity to catch back up, but where is he? He is back in sixth place. He is falling down the order just like last race. What is happening to Black Pirates in this race? Gold Piston is now in third place, trying to catch up to Arrow Frog who is having a hard time just trying to keep up with Knight Rivers at this point. And going through the drag reduction zone is not going to help him that much. Knight Rivers now has a huge lead, with Ramonas now taking third place from Gold Piston, trying to catch up to Aerofog. Black Pirates is now in seventh. Bay Dogs and Fast Two Pins are still at the bottom of the standings. This is a terrible race for them. Big Dog's most likely going to lose his lead in the overall standings if he does not make it up by the end of this race. Knight Rivers still in the lead, being followed by Arrow Frog and Mimonas. Gold Piston trying to pass Mimonas for third, but Gold Piston is able to hold him off at this point. With Loose Wheel now in fifth place, haven't seen him much in this season so far. Good for him being in the top five. Can he climb higher in this race? Gold Piston does not want that to happen. He's defending himself from Loose Wheel at this point. Knight Rare is still in the lead, being followed by Arrow Frog still. And Loose Wheel takes fourth place from Gold Piston. He is climbing up the ranks. Hopefully, he'll be able to do better in this season. Maybe he just had a rough start last race. Trying to catch up to Mimonas now, but it's going to be hard to do it as these top four marbles are very spaced out at this point. Each of these marbles are over a second apart from each other in this top four. Who will be the first to make a crucial mistake and break this balance? And a hit to Loose Wheel from Pink Pearl through the booster. An aggressive move by Pink Pearl actually giving Loose Wheel some momentum. Maybe he'll be able to use this momentum to catch up to Mimonas and take third place. He is slowly catching up to Mimonas at this point. Mimonas takes the drag reduction zone, but it looks like Loose Wheel does as well. Aerofog is now catching up to Night Rivers. They are neck and neck. Night Rivers does not like this, and now it's gained some more space. Loose Wheel has caught up to Mimonas. Now he's trying to pressure for third place with Mimonas, just trying to keep his ground at this point. Night Rivers doing a fantastic job in this race, holding lead by far for a very long time. Aerofog now pressuring him. And he takes first place from Night Rivers, just as I was saying how good Night Rivers was doing. Night Rivers is furious right now, trying to take back the lead from Aerofrog. Aerofrog having a great time, but he can't have too much fun, or else he might make a mistake. He has to fend off Night Rivers, who is furious and just wants to get back in the lead. They both take the drag reduction zone, and a bump by Night Rivers, actually using it to his advantage. Night Rivers is now back in first place. We have two laps to go. We are in lap 18. Mimonas and Loose Wheel still fighting for third place. Loose Wheel, a great deal behind Mimonas at this point though. Night Rivers and Arrow Frog, very far ahead of Mimonas. As we start the final lap, Arrow Frog takes the lead in the final lap from Night Rivers. Where is Night Rivers? He is falling down to second. Arrow Frog using a surprise tactic. Can he keep the lead for the remainder of the race? This would be a steal of a race if he can. Knight Rivers just trying to do all he can to get back in the lead, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. And Arrow Frog will be your champion of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Knight Rivers coming in at second and a surprise pink pearl in third place, dethroning Mimonas and Loose Wheel. An amazing race today with a steal of a win from Arrow Frog. Big Dog's ending up in 7th, starting in pole position. Not a very good race for him, but better than Fast Two Pins ending up in 12th, starting in 2nd place. A better race for Pink Pearl ending up in 3rd place. Maybe she's finally got her barrier. Wow, you made a sensational race with beautiful overtaking. Congratulations on your first victory at the Marvel Circuits 2022. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very happy now. I didn't expect to have such a special weekend. Thank you to the whole team. Arrow Frog sounding very excited after such a steal of a win. We'll definitely have to take a look at that in these replays. Big Dogs having a terrible race as well as Fast Coup Pins, both ending up in the bottom of the standings with Fast Coup Pins ending up in last. Starting in second place, what happened in this race? He did try to overtake for the lead right at the beginning of the race, possibly messing up his overall strategy both of the top two marbles 
end up going to the drag reduction zone, putting them in the back of the pack, possibly causing them the overall win of this race. Just goes to show you how important the start of the race is. You have to make sure not to be too aggressive or else you might make a mistake letting other marbles pass you right at the beginning of the race, forcing you to deal with major consequences. Night Rivers doing a fantastic job today, being in the lead unchallenged for most of the race right up until the last lap. You have to remember that you have to stay focused all the way into the last lap even if it looks like there's no possible way that you could lose this race. Because if you lose your focus, all is lost and you will probably lose the race, in this case, to Arrow Frog, who did not lose his focus and was able to take advantage of the mistake that Night Rivers made and steal the win. Amonos also having a good race today, staying in the top 3 for most of the race, but was eventually dethroned by Pink Pearl, who took 3rd place in the last lap. This is another show of loss of focus for some of these marbles, who were alone so long in the race that they kind of forgot that they were racing. The peace and quiet of dominating the race up in the front can be distracting and you have to keep your edge or else you won't be able to stay in the lead for very long. As we saw from Night Rivers and Mimonos, Night Rivers did end up getting the fastest lap in this race on the second lap of the race and from that point on he was for the most part in the lead. Here is the point where Arrow Frog takes the lead in the last lap. It looks like Knight Rivers went up on the chicane, making his turn radius longer, which ultimately allowed Arrow Frog to take the lead. It's wins like these that get these marbles going. Definitely an amazing race here at Bar River. Here are the full race results with Arrow Frog in first place, Knight Rivers in second, Pink Pearl is in third place. Pink Pearl had the highest number of gain spots compared to her starting position. Fast Pins having the highest number of lost spots, having 10 lost spots starting in second, finishing in last. And here are the full standings. Arrow Frog in first place being followed by Knight Rivers and Big Dogs. Big Dogs being dethroned, having 30 points, with the top two marbles being tied for first with 37. Ties are broken by the number of victories the marbles have. In this case, will be Arrow Frog. Congratulations to Arrow Frog for getting first place, Night Rivers in second, and Pink Pearl in third place. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for race three. Of the this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello, Marvel Sports fans, we are back. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Shanghai Grand Prix. News has surfaced that Black Pirates has fired his coach and pit crew after two devastating races and qualifyings. He got last place in both of the previous qualifyings, and in the actual races, he would get up in the top of the field in the middle of the race, and then he would fall back down to the bottom in both races. He has definitely had a hard time in this season. We wish all the best to him in this race with a fresh pit crew and coach. We'll have to see how he does in this race. As we take a look at the track here, this is a very different track compared to the one in Bahrain. It's a lot more long straights from all the gain speed in. It also has a very sharp corner that we have not seen yet in this season. It will definitely be a challenge for some of these marbles in this race. You can see Black Pirates coach giving him some last minute pointers for this ball fight which has definitely been a big change for a lot of these marbles in this season. Some marbles thriving in it, and some marbles not. Here are the full standings. Bell Frog sits in first place, 37 points. Night Rivers is in second, with Big Dogs in third place. Night Rivers has gotten second twice in a row. Maybe this race will finally be his time. And now, the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go for 2-1 of the Shanghai Grand Prix. Up to Busa for the first time, and it is Knight Rivers in the lead with Gold Piston in second. Black Pirates is in third place, now is in second. He is thriving in this first lap. He is now in first place, doing a tremendous job at this point. Is his new crew helping him out in this race? We'll have to wait and see, because it is stamina that he has some trouble with. With Gold Piston now coming in at second, Knight Rivers is in third place. As they go up to Booster for the second and final lap, now we have to start watching the back of the field. Pink Pearl, Loose Wheel, and Fast Q Pins are in the elimination zone. They're doing all they can to get out of this zone, but it is very hard, especially in this mad dash of a qualifying. 
Black Pirates has sealed his position in at least Q2. We'll have to see if he can hold out to get into Q3. With Gold Piston in second, Sparky gets third place. And the models that will be eliminated are Pink Pearl, Mononas, and Fast Two Pins. Fast Two Pins having another terrible qualifying. Maybe he needs to follow in the footsteps of Black Pirates. And now, for Q2, Marbles are in the blocks, and away we go. Loose Wheel out in the lead, but again, it is Black Pirates in the lead. He has become a front runner in this qualifying, with Sea Turtles now in second briefly, but Loose Wheel takes it back as they go through these few turns here. Black Pirates is facing some pressure from Loose Wheel as they go through this sharp corner, and Loose Wheel takes it to his advantage, takes first for a second, but Black Pirates has taken it back with Night Rivers in third place. Big Dogs and Arrow Frog are in the bottom two spots in the elimination zone. The two champions of the last two races, they need to get out of this zone if they want to have a chance of a good starting position for this race. We are in the final lap. Black Pirates is still in the lead. Will Loose Wheel be able to take it in this sharp corner? No. And Arrow Frog has gotten out of the elimination zone right now. Can he stay out for the remainder of the lap? Big Dog is on his tail, but Big Dog isn't able to do it. Arrow Frog stays in, and Big Dog is eliminated, as well as Sparky and Sea Turtles, who will start in 9th, 8th, and 7th. And now, for Q3, the Marbles are in the blocks. Four laps, and away we go. Black Pirates has a trouble at the beginning of the race. He is back in last place, with Arrow Frog in first battling Night Rivers. Two rivals from last race and a bump from Night Rivers onto the chicane. A familiar move from last race as well. Arrow Frog is trying to come back and he does take first place through that very sharp corner with Loose Wheel in third place. Peppers is in fourth place being followed by Gold Piston and Black Pirates. Black Pirates really needs to step up his game. He has so far, but if he wants to be in pole position, he's going to have to do better than this. Night Rivers is now pressuring Arrow Frog and Loose Wheel is in the mix as well. Night Rivers has now taken first place from Arrow Frog as they go through this U-turn. Black Pirates is still in the back of the pack. And now he is back up in fourth place, trying to catch up to Loose Wheel now. Night Rivers trying to extend himself for the third lap. Arrow Frog goes through the drag reduction zone as they go up the booster. Loose Wheel trying to catch up to Arrow Frog, and they are fighting for first place. Arrow Frog has taken back first place. Arrow Frog and Night Rivers are really rising as some of the top competitors in this season, with Night Rivers having a very consistent season so far, getting two second places in a row. Arrow Frog getting one victory and one third place. These are definitely two great racers. As we start the final lap of this qualifying, Arrow Frog is still in first place, being followed by Night Rivers and Loose Wheel, who can't seem to get out of third place. Black Pirates is down in fifth following Peppers, and Loose Wheel takes second place from Night Rivers in the final lap. Night Rivers trying to take it back. Arrow Frog is still in first place as they go through this sharp corner. Two more corners to go, and Arrow Frog will be the champion of this qualifying, and he will. Arrow Frog will be the champion of this qualifying with Loose Wheel in second, and Night Rivers is in third place. Peppers gets fourth, Pirates is in fifth, and Gold Piston gets sixth place. Definitely a great showing for Black Pirates in this qualifying, getting fifth place, getting last place in the previous two qualifying. Certainly an accomplishment for him. Let's take a look at some of these replays to see what allowed him to get so far in this qualifying after having such a terrible two qualifyings before. Right off the bat, he got in the front of the pack and then tried to extend himself from the rest of the field. That is what you want to do in these qualifying because there are so few laps. There's not much time to get back up in the front if you are not already there. Arrow Frog did show that it is possible to sneak out of the elimination zone and take the overall victory, but it is a very hard thing to do and he definitely has some skill in that area. Big Dog almost passed Arrow Frog at the line. If he had so, he would have gotten out of the elimination zone. Now let's take a look at Q3. By now, the other Marbles had figured out what Black Pirates is trying to do and then they foiled it, bringing him to last place right at the start of the race. Four laps is more time to get back up in the front, but still not very much. Arrow Frog and Night Rivers battling for most of Q3 for pole position with Loose Wheel in third place for most of the race. There's that shove from Night Rivers pushing Arrow Frog onto the chicane. Arrow Frog eventually did take revenge and was able to take first place from Night Rivers, who fell down to third after Loose Wheel takes second in the final lap. I know there's a lot of Black Pirates fans out there who are happy with this result. The hiring of a new coach and pit crew definitely is paying off. 
We'll have to see how he does in the actual race to be for sure. But for now, things are looking up. Here are the full results. Errol Frog being the fastest marble, getting to sit on pole position for race three. With loose wheel in second, Night Rivers is in third place. Peppers gets fourth, and Black Pirates rounds off the top five. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back, race fans, to the Marvel Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the Shanghai Grand Prix. In the qualifying, we saw a revival of Black Pirates getting fifth place, the first time that he has not qualified last in this season, coincidentally, after he hired a new pit crew. Maybe he'll have a comeback in this race. The Fubeka team has decided to implement a new technique to the drag reduction zone. In this race, the drag reduction zone will be disabled for the first lap. This is to make sure that the pole sitters do not lose out on their pole position right at the beginning of the race when they are not up to full speed. Then the DRS will be activated on lap 2 for the remainder of the race. Sitting on pole position is Aerofrog, who will definitely appreciate this new ruling, as well as Loose Wheel in 2nd and Night Rivers in 3rd. The left side of the starting position is what is most affected by the drag reduction zone. Those marbles are going to be the ones that are most appreciative of this ruling. Here are the full results from the qualifying. Aerofrog sits on top of Loose Wheel in second. Night Rivers is in third place. Aerofrog, the champion of last race, will be starting on pole position for this race, making it as easy as possible for him to be able to try to win this race as well. Night Rivers sitting directly behind Aerofrog, having two second places. He is hungry for victory in this race. Will he be able to take the win? We'll have to wait and see. Here are the full standings. Aerofrog sits on top for 37 points. Night Rivers is in second and Big Dogs is in third place. All Night Rivers has to do to take the lead is get higher than Aerofrog in this race and he'll be able to take the overall lead. And now, the marbles are ready, the lights are on. And they're off for the start of the Shanghai Grand Prix. Aerofrog still in the lead, being followed by Loose Wheel, and Sparky takes the lead up the booster for the first time, and it is now Loose Wheel in first place. Aerofrog is in second, with Sparky trying to battle it out for second place. Aerofrog trying to catch up to Loose Wheel at this point as to go through this U-turn, with Sparky still giving pressures to Aerofrog. And look at Knight Rivers, all the way down in 11th already. He has had a downfall in this race. And the DRS is now activated. Loose Wheel takes it, losing some speed, allowing Sparky to catch back up as well as Aerofrog. Now Aerofrog has taken second place, setting his sights on Loose Wheel. Drafting him at this point, and he takes first place. Loose Wheel is now in second, and Peppers has taken third place from Sparky. Now trying to catch up to Loose Wheel. Black Pirate still in fifth place. He's not gained any ground, but he has not lost any. We'll have to see how he does in the rest of this race. And Peppers takes first place, but Aerofrog takes it right back. Loose Wheel is now in third as they go up the booster. Aerofrog still trying to extend its lead from Peppers at this point, with the rest of the field being far behind from the top three marbles being led by Sparky and Black Pirates. Black Pirates now putting up a charge, and he is now in fourth place, passing Sparky. Aerofrog already has a huge lead at the start of the fourth lap. Peppers trying to make that lead smaller, but is having a hard time doing it. Loose Wheel in third place. Black Pirates trying to catch up to him. And Knight Rivers gains one spot over fast two pins. He has to really try hard to get up in the top of the field if he wants to be able to take this win. It's not looking good for him. He still has 11 laps to go, but it's going to be difficult. Black Pirates putting some pressure on Loose Wheel as he go through this turn and Black Pirates takes third place but Loose Wheel takes it right back and now Sparky is in the mix as they go on the right side of the drag reduction zone Sparky is able to come out on top and Black Pirates is in still fourth place trying to climb ever so slightly up the table but Sparky is making that hard. Aerofrog up in the piece and quiet at the front. He's doing a tremendous job at this point, but it's only the fifth lap. It's going to be really hard to the front run for the entirety of the race with all these other marbles trying to catch up to him. Black Pirates facing some pressure from Sparky up the booster. He is holding him off, but Sparky is able to take it as well as loose wheel. Black Pirates has fallen down fifth. 
Sparky trying to catch up to Peppers as he is doing right now. He is neck and neck with Peppers. Peppers is trying to hold him off as they go through these turns here. Sparky is drafting Peppers through this back straight for the start of the seventh lap. Peppers trying to hold him off. And Arrow Frog goes through the drag reduction zone, losing a lot of speed, but he got right back up to the booster and gained it all back. With Peppers now facing some pressure from Loose Wheel, who is in third place, being followed by Sparky and Black Pirate. Hero Frog is really separating himself from the rest of the field, doing a good job at it. And Loose Wheel takes second place with Black Pirates in third. Peppers has fallen down to fourth. Arrow Frog seeing some fighting behind him, and he goes through the drag reduction zone yet again, losing some ground. And Black Pirates has taken first place. Black Pirates is in the lead. As we enter the second half of this race, Arrow Frog has been dethroned, and he gets stuck on the track, and he gets bumped up by Momonos and Knight Rivers, and he has fallen down to six. What a downfall for Arrow Frog yet again, if you remember race one. Black Pirates is still in first place, Loose Wheel is in second, and Pink Pearl is in third place, being followed by Sparky and Peppers. And Knight Rivers is in sixth place of the booster, now he is in fourth. Coming back up from 11th, he is having a comeback in this race. He definitely wants to take the overall win. Pink Pearl facing some pressures from Peppers, and Peppers takes third place. Loose Wheel trying to stay ahead of Black Pirates, who is trying to take his first win of the season after doing such a terrible job in the qualifying. And he loses two places, and Knight Rivers is now in second place. An unbelievable comeback by Knight Rivers, but he is overtaken by Peppers. Black Pirates is sandwiched between two big names in this league. Knight Rivers in the front and Arrow Frog in the back. And now Big Dogs has taken fourth place. Now trying to set his sights on Knight Rivers, who has just taken second place from Peppers. Now setting his sights on Loose Wheel. Loose Wheel sees Knight Rivers behind him and is not liking what he sees. And Knight Rivers takes the drag reduction zone, allowing Peppers to take second place. Now setting his sights on Loose Wheel, catching up to Loose Wheel at this point. And he takes first place from Loose Wheel by Storm. He is trying to take it back and he is having some trouble, but he's able to catch back up to Peppers, but is not able to make any passes. Black Pirates is in third place, being followed by Knight Rivers. Knight Rivers is trying to pressure Black Pirates and pass him, but is having some trouble. Loose Wheel is now pressuring Peppers through the booster, and he takes first place from Peppers, and Black Pirates takes second place. Peppers has fallen down to third, being pressured by Pink Pearl, and Pink Pearl takes third place. Big Dogs, Knight Rivers, and Arrow Frog are having some trouble in this race, being in fifth, sixth, and seventh. They really need to catch up if they want to be able to take this win. Pink Pearl now putting some pressure on Black Pirates. Black Pirates is defending himself well though as they go up the booster. This is the 13th lap, only two more laps to go with Loose Wheel in the lead, being followed by Black Pirates and Pink Pearl. And Knight Rivers has now taken back fourth place, now trying to catch up to Pink Pearl, who is pretty far ahead at this point. And Pink Pearl takes second place from Black Pirates, now trying to catch up to Loose Wheel. Black Pirates is now in third place. As they go down the back straight, Loose Wheel takes the right side of the drag reduction zone and Pink Pearl does not, losing some speed with Black Pirate trying to catch back up to her. Doing a good job at it, he is catching up to Pink Pearl at this point and takes second place. With Big Dogs now pressuring Pink Pearl, Pink Pearl trying to catch back up to Black Pirates and Loose Wheel is just watching them fight at this point. He's about to start the final lap. Loose Wheel is in first place, being followed by Pink Pearl and then Black Pirates. Big Dogs is in fourth place. Knight Rivers is in fifth place. Will Knight Rivers be able to catch back up? It's not looking like it as Arrow Frog overtakes him. Pink Pearl trying to catch up to Loose Wheel in this last lap, as well as Black Pirates trying to take at least second place, but he's facing some pressure from Big Dogs. And it's not looking like Loose Wheel will be dethroned. He's going around the final corner with nobody behind him. And he will be champion of race three of the Marvel Circus 2022 at the Shanghai Grand Prix. The Pink Pearl in second and Black Pirates gets an amazing third place finish. He's definitely redeemed himself in this race. The Big Dogs in fourth place and last champion Arrow Frog in fifth place. Night Earth has fallen down to seventh, breaking his streak of podiums. Sparky somehow ending up in 12th after being in the top 5. Something definitely went wrong for him. Amazing. We managed to surprise the opponents with our strategy. Congratulations. Wow, I can't believe we got this victory this weekend. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Luis Wheel is definitely excited for this win. His strategy of holding out until the second half of the race definitely paying off. Let's take a look at the replays. You can see Loose Wheel starting in second, Arrow Frog starting in first. Arrow Frog definitely had some trouble. He was the leader for the first half of the race, but then fell down in the second half, even getting stuck on the track momentarily, which definitely caused his downfall. Loose Wheel having a good showing today. He was actually not in the top three for the entire race. Knight River is not having a very good race today, falling down to 11th within the first couple laps. Something definitely went wrong for him in this race, but he was able to catch back up even to second, but he ended up falling back down to seventh. You can see at this point in the race, Big Dogs was in last place, and then he ended up finishing overall in fourth. Definitely a great comeback for him as well, getting one win and now getting a fourth. You can see here Sparky in fifth place, pressuring fourth, third place even, early in the race, and then something went wrong in the race, causing him to get back down all the way to last place. Definitely a humiliating defeat for him, but sometimes it just happens. Black Pirates had an amazing race today, getting third place after having two terrible races. He is definitely doing a lot better with this new pit crew that he has hired. As you can see, the accident that we had with Arrow Frog getting stuck for at least a second or two before being hit by some other marbles like Night Rivers and Mamonas, who did actually lose some speed because of this accident. You can see this line of marbles drafting here, not a common sight in marble racing, but you can see that it is possible. Peppers did hold the lead for some of the second half of the race, but he did end up getting 8th place. Something went wrong for him as well in this race. This is definitely a complicated track for some of these marbles. So you can see here Black Pirates going through the outside to pass Peppers in that lap. And now it is time to look at the full standing to see how this race affects the overall points. Luis Wheel getting first place, Pink Pearl in second. Black Pirates is in third place. Big Dogs having the fastest lap, getting a bonus point with a time of 24.596, which was the fastest lap of this race. So an extra point for him. Here are the full standings. Arrow Frog is still in first place. Big Dogs has taken second place from Night Rivers, even though they are tied because he has one victory. Night Rivers failing to get higher than Arrow Frog. Had he done that, he would have been in first place, but he did not. Black Pirates climbing up to seventh place after being 11th place in the overall standings before this race because of his podium finish. Definitely a good standing for him. He's going to have to work hard if he wants to climb up the tables anymore. Congratulations to Loose Wheel for getting first place, Pink Pearl in second, and Black Pirates. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome to Italy for the qualifying of the Monza Grand Prix. I'm Jeremiah, glad to be here for the next installment of the Marble Circuits 2022. The marbles are ready to race for the prize of sitting in the coveted pole position. Each marble needs to put their best performance forward for this race. This qualifying format is really a mad dash, so if you want to advance, you have to make sure to get in the lead as quickly as possible. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the second half of the Marble Circuits 2022. Let's take a look at the track we have here today in Monza. Some of the features of this track are a lot of hairpins, as well as the first overlap in the track we have in this season. So the marbles will have a clear view of the marbles that are ahead of them down below. Once again, you can see the marbles making last minute preparations before this race. Black Pirates talking with his new crew chief once again, with fast two pins choosing not to follow in his footsteps, keeping his old pit crew. Here are the full standings. You can see how hiring a new pit crew and crew chief has bumped up Black Pirates' performance tremendously, bumping him from 11th in the overall standings up to 7th. And now, for Q1, the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Pink Pearl getting the lead, but it is Mamonas off to the good start. Pink Pearl coming in at second, and Black Pirates is in third place, being followed by Sparky. A hard hit from Sparky there, which brings Black Pirates down to third. Mamonas 
still fighting off Pink Pearl there, but he succumbs to her. Pink Pearl is now in first place, being followed by Mimonas and Black Pirates as we are about to start the second and final lap. And now it's time to start looking at the bottom of the field. Loose Wheel is in 10th place, being the champion of last race. He is in the elimination zone with Fast Pins and Arrow Frog, the race's champion before that. So they really need to try hard if they want to get out of the elimination zone. Black Pirates has now taken second place, trying to pressure Pink Pearl. And Sparky is now in third place, but he was overcome by Gold Piston. And now he takes it back again. Pink Pearl has secured her spot in Q2 at least, with Fast Q Pins, Arrow Frog, and Loose Wheel trailing behind. They only have a couple more seconds to get out of the zone, and it won't happen. Fast Q Pins will start in 10th on the starting grid, Arrow Frog in 11th, and Loose Wheel in 12th. Two of the champions of the three races so far in this series are in the bottom two spots of this race. What happened in this race for these two marbles? And now, for Q2. And we're off. And once again, it is Mimonas in the lead, being followed by Peppers and Sea Turtles this time. And Sea Turtles goes through the inside. Sea Turtles is now in first place, being followed by Gold Piston and Peppers. Black Pirates is in fourth, facing some pressure from Pink Pearl, who has not had a very good season so far. She sits in fifth in the overall standings. She's just trying to make that higher. Sea Turtles having a good lead so far, not having a good season either. As we start the final lap, Gold Piston has now taken first place over Sea Turtles through the drag reduction zone they go with Sparky, Night Rivers, and Big Dogs in the elimination zone. Big Dogs being champion of race one of this series with Night Rivers being in second multiple times. Sparky is defending off these two big names and trying to get out of the elimination zone, but Pink Pearl is ahead of him. It's going to be hard to be able to pass her with Gold Piston coming around these final couple of corners, and he will definitely be advancing to the next round. But the marbles that will be eliminated are Sparky, Big Dogs, and Night Rivers. Big Dogs getting one more place over Night Rivers, but he is still eliminated in this qualifying. And now, for Q3, six marbles, four laps, one champion. And they're off. Up the booster for the first time, and it is Black Pirates in the lead, but he is overcome by Sea Turtles, who is now extending his lead with Pink Pearl in third place. Black Pirates giving some pressures to Sea Turtles. A good move by Sea Turtles there. Now taking the lead even farther with Pink Pearl showing some pressure to Black Pirates. All these marbles are really fighting for position at this point. If you make one wrong move, the other marbles will capitalize on it. Like that one right there, Gold Piston is now in third and second place, hitting Black Pirates over the chicane up the booster for the second lap. And Black Pirates is now back in second place. Gold Piston has fallen back down to fourth. And Black Pirates has taken first place from Sea Turtles, who has fallen down to third place, being surpassed by Pink Pearl, and now is giving some pressure back to her as she is trying to take first place. And it is a three marble switch. Sea Turtles is now back in first place with Pink Pearl in second, and Gold Piston has now taken third place. Black Pirates has fallen down to fourth with Mimonas and Peppers way back in the pack as we go up the booster for the third lap. Gold Piston has now taken first place, being followed by Sea Turtles and Black Pirates with Pink Pearl in fourth place. Gold Piston has created a huge lead in this lap. Is this a change of strategy from Gold Piston? We'll have to wait and see in the actual race, but it is Sea Turtles defending himself from Black Pirates and Pink Pearl, who has just passed Black Pirates there, now pressuring for second place. And she takes it there. Now coming into the final lap, Gold Piston is in first place, being followed by Pink Pearl and Sea Turtles. But now it is Black Pirates in third place. Pink Pearl has to catch up to Gold Piston by the end of the lap if she wants to be able to hold pole position. But it's going to be hard to do it as Gold Piston is so far ahead with Sea Turtles in third place, being pressured by Black Pirates, who wants to be in the top three. Gold Piston coming around the final corner, and it's Pink Pearl coming in at the last second. It is very close. But it's Gold Piston with the lead. With Pink Pearl in second, Sea Turtles is in third. Pink Pearl only .012 seconds behind Gold Piston. That is a close finish. Black Pirates getting fourth place. Mimonas is in fifth with Peppers in sixth place. What a crazy finish. It was a sprint to the line. Pink Pearl almost stole it. Let's look at this replay here. And it is Gold Piston. But it was very close. Pink Pearl was actually able to pass Gold Piston after the line. But that's not what counts. It has to be before the line if you want it to count in the overall standings. Let's take a look at some of these replays. 
Most of the big names in this season were eliminated in Q1 and Q2, a surprising finish for a lot of these marbles, with some of the big names from last season, like Pink Pearl and Sea Turtles, getting all the way to Q3. Pink Pearl almost taking the win, which she has not had a very good season so far, so that is very surprising as she changed her strategy in this race. Fast Cupin's getting eliminated yet again in Q1. He's having a very difficult time communicating with his crew chief and pit crew. Here is the finish of Q1. Black Pirates coming in at second, with Sparky in third place. You can kind of see some of the strategies or misfortunes of some of this marbles, as with Fast Cupin's and Arrow Frog, as well as Loose Wheel. They did not have a good first race in this qualifying. As we go on to Q3, Black Pirates coming in at the lead at the beginning, but was immediately surpassed by Sea Turtles. Mamonas and Peppers never really got out of the bottom three marbles for the entirety of Q3, having a lot of trouble even just keeping up with the top three marbles, actually lagging behind in the second half of the race. Our congrats today go to Gold Piston, who sits in the coveted pole position for the race on Sunday. Pink Pearl close behind in second, with Sea Turtles in third place. Here's the point in the race where Gold Piston takes second and first through that first corner. Definitely a great move as Sea Turtles had just gone up on the side of the chicane. Here's Pink Pearl and Black Pirates coming after Sea Turtles. Pink Pearl did take second place from Sea Turtles and almost took first place from Gold Piston, but she was so far ahead it was hard to be able to do it in the time that she had. She gave it her all right at the end of the race, wasn't able to do it. Maybe next time Pink Pearl, we're all waiting. Race 4 here in Moza will definitely be a race of the seasons. Who will prevail on top? The Season 1 big names Sea Turtles and Pink Pearl, or the Season 2 big names Arrow Frog and Night Rivers. Here are the full results. Gold Piston in 1st place, Pink Pearl in 2nd, Sea Turtles 3rd, Black Pirates is in 4th with Mimona. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first 3 months free on a 12 month subscription. As we enter the midway point of this season, the top marbles are setting themselves apart from the rest of the pack. I'm Jeremiah, and I'll be your host today here at the Monza Grand Prix. Gold Piston sits on pole position after a sprint to the line in the qualifying, Pink Pearl only losing out by 12 thousandths of a second. Can she make it up in this race? We'll have to wait and find out. Some of the marbles that have been doing well in this season were eliminated early on in the qualifying, being put in the back of the pack for the starting grid. Some of those marbles are including Night Rivers and Arrow Frog, as well as Big Dogs and Loose Wheel. Some of the winners of the last couple races, they have not had a good qualifying for the start of this race. Gold Piston sits in 6th in the overall standings, being 16 points behind Arrow Frog who is all the way down in 11th. And all the other marbles that have a chance of taking the overall lead are in the bottom of the field as well, the closest marble being Pink Pearl in 5th in the overall standings, starting in 2nd on the starting grid. Here you can see the full qualifying results. Sea Turtle sits in 3rd place with Black Pirates in 4th, another great finish for Black Pirates in the qualifying, his crew chief being the major one to thank. The marbles are set and ready to start rolling in race 4 here in Monza, all striving to be champion, but only one will be able to get that title. Here are the standings as of now, Arrow Frog sits in first, being followed by Big Dogs, Night Rivers, Loose Wheel, and Pink Pearl, who will round off your top 5. And now, for race 4 of the Marble Circuits 2022, the lights are on, the marbles are ready, and we're off for the start of the Monza Grand Prix. Gold Piston in the lead, but hits the divider line of the drag reduction zone, falling down a lot of places, bringing Peppers to first place. And now Pink Pearl has taken the lead. As we go through this hairpin, Gold Piston is in second, being followed by Black Pirates as we start the first lap. Pink Pearl has gotten two podiums so far this season and is still striving for a win. She got five podiums in season one and four of those were race wins so she has some catching up to do if she wants to do better than last season as we start the second lap. 
The drag reduction zone has now been activated, allowing some marbles to pass other marbles if needed. Pick Pearl being pressured by Gold Piston in this lap and a bump from Gold Piston from behind, but nothing yet. He is drafting Pink Pearl at this point and Pink Pearl has some momentum there. Sparky has now taken third place from Black Pirates as well as Big Dogs, who is now in fourth place as we go down this back straight and he is pressuring Sparky and does take it as well as Loose Wheel, who is now in sixth place. Pink Pearl is still extending her lead from the rest of the field at this point. The last couple races, she has had the greatest number of gains from starting position. Both in race 2 and race 3, she gained 8 positions from where she started. But Gold Piston is a different story, not gaining or losing any places in the last two races, ending up in 6 in both races. And Gold Piston takes the drag reduction zone and Big Dogs has now taken second place as they go up the booster and Gold Piston now takes it back. Big Pearl is way up in the lead. She has no trouble with any of the other marbles behind her at this point. It's still possible for her to take the overall championship as she did last season as Big Dogs takes second place from Gold Piston there. The overall points leader, Errol Frog, is down in last place. He actually lost a place from his overall starting position. He is having a terrible race. Big Dogs in second place is doing a good job right now, starting in eighth place in the starting grid, having a good comeback at this point. Not so much for Knight Rivers, who has only made it one spot. And of course, for Errol Frog, who is down in 12th, Loose Wheel is up there in 4th place. He was in the bottom of the standings as well, and he's doing good at this point. Gold Piston coming up behind Big Dogs at this point, but hard hit on the corner, and he loses some momentum as they go up the booster, and he's trying to catch back up to Big Dogs there, but, but Big Dogs is holding him off. Pink Burl is nowhere to be seen way up in the front. She's doing a tremendous job in this race so far. She really wants a win here in race 4. Black Pirates is down in 7th place. He is having some trouble in this race, but he does pass Loose Wheel there. And now he's up in 4th place. The time tower had just not updated quite yet as we start lap 7. Not much action up at the front. Pink Pearl still in 1st place, pretty far ahead of Big Dogs. She's using the thoughts of victory from last season as a motivation to keep on going and keep focused. With Big Dogs coming in at second, wanting to be the second marble to ever be crowned champion of the marble circuits. With Black Pirates in third place, trying to make a comeback in the standings, he's in seventh right now. Can he make that even better in this race? Gold Piston is falling down the order. Peppers is now pressuring him to go through these turns here, but nothing's happening. This track seems to cater well to marbles who want to get out in the front and stay in the front for the majority of the race as a pink pearl at this point. We are in the 8th lap halfway through the race and no one has challenged pink pearl outside of the first lap. Big Dogs is trying to catch up to Pink Pearl and at least challenge her for the lead, but it's going to be very hard to do it as Pink Pearl is very far ahead. Black Pirates facing some pressure from Gold Piston there, but Gold Piston falls back and loses out to Peppers, who is now in fourth place. Arrowfrog has gotten out of last place, putting Fast Two Pins in that spot, who seems to be there quite often in this series, which is not a very good place to be. Pink Pearl is a whole five and a half seconds almost ahead of Big Dogs who is in second place. That is commanding lead. Gold Piston has now taken third place and now is trying to catch up to Big Dogs at this point as they go through these hairpins. Big Dog is still defending himself. You can see Pink Pearl passing the line way before any of the other marbles even get there. They still have a couple of turns to go by the time that she has already passed the line. And she has already gone up the booster. She is not even in the shot. As the rest of the marbles go through the booster, great move by Gold Piston there. Going past Loose Wheel, taking back third place. Now setting the sights on Big Dogs. As you can see, Pink Pearl is three turns ahead from the rest of the field. Every lap, it's getting harder and harder for the rest of the marbles to catch up if they want to be able to dethrone her. 
They only have five more laps to do so. As they go down the back straight, Big Dogs takes the drag reduction zone as well as Loose Wheel. But Loose Wheel is able to come out and take the lead from Gold Piston as Big Dogs has fallen down to fourth place, being followed by Black Pirates. As you can see, Arrow Frog and Fast Q pins crossing that upper section of the track as these rest of these marbles go through the bottom. They are very far behind, especially from Pink Pearl. Arrow Frog is definitely not winning this race. Loose Wheel has cut about a second off of Pink Pearl, now four and a half seconds behind Pink Pearl. You can see them crossing each other right there. They can see each other, but they're so close yet so far. All the top three or four marbles are spaced pretty far apart. It's going to be hard for them to catch up to each other, and they only have a couple more laps to do so before Pink Pearl becomes champion. Loose Wheel has to do all he can to try to catch up to her at this point, but Pink Pearl is already coming up the booster as he is going down the, through the drag reduction zone. Gold Piston making some ground on Loose Wheel at this point, and he is neck and neck with Loose Wheel, but Loose Wheel is trying to hold him off, and he does right there. Gold Piston loses some momentum through these hairpins, and he is put back in his place with Loose Wheel, trying to do everything he can to conserve energy. Black Pirates down in fourth. He is having a hard time in this race, being so spaced out from the rest of the marbles. Gold Piston takes the drag reduction zone there, and Black Pirates is able to catch up. He is on Gold Piston's tail, but Gold Piston is able to stay ahead. Big Dogs is down in fifth place, being followed by Knight Rivers, who is up in sixth place. And Arrow Frog is up in ninth. He has gained a couple spots. Will he be able to catch up by the end of the race? Probably not. Will Knight Rivers? Probably not. Loose Wheel catching up to Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl's lead has vanished and Loose Wheel is catching up to her. We only have two more laps to go. Pink Pearl just needs to stay in the lead for the final couple of laps. She's done so good in this race. Don't screw up now. Gold Piston is also catching up to Loose Wheel. He's trying to come and take back first place that he started in. Pink Pearl about to cross the line to start the final lap. Pink Pearl is in first place, being followed by Loose Wheel, Gold Piston, Black Pirates, and Big Dog, who will round off your top five as we go up the booster. Gold Piston has taken second place. Now he's setting his sights on Pink Pearl in the last lap. He's coming down to the wire. They are neck and neck. Pink Pearl is under a lot of stress. She only has half a lap to go, and she will be the champion of this race. And Gold Piston also wanting to take it, being the pole sitter of this race. He's trying to pass Pink Pearl as we go through the final corner, and it's going to be Pink Pearl, who will be your champion of the Monza Grand Prix. With Gold Piston in second, Loose Wheel is in third place. Black Pirates gets fourth. Big Dogs comes in at fifth. A great race for Pink Pearl, dominating every lap, coming down to the wire in the final lap, but she was able to come out with a victory over Gold Piston. We dominated the race in every lap. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful weekend. Everything worked out for us in this GP. Thank you all. Pink Pearl is definitely relieved after a nail biter of a last lap. She's definitely celebrating now. Let's take a look at some of the best moments from this race. As you can see at the start of the race, Mimona stalled, losing him a couple places right at the beginning of a race. Not the way you want to start this race. Peppers, one of the only other marbles besides Pink Pearl to hold the lead in this race, as well as Gold Piston briefly right there, but Pink Pearl was in the lead from then on out. Good move by Gold Piston there, overtaking Big Dogs, as well as Loose Wheel through that street. Also a good move. Pink Pearl, though, way up there in the front for the entirety of the race, all the way up until the last lap, where she either made a mistake or the marbles finally caught up. Big Dogs repassing Gold Piston for second place. Gold Piston and Big Dogs were definitely fighting for a lot of this race. 
Black Pirates also having a decent showing today, being up in third place for some of the race, as well as fourth and fifth place. Fighting with Gold Piston and Big Dogs, as well as Loose Wheel, as we see right here. Loose Wheel putting some pressure on Black Pirates and eventually passing it. See Fast Q pins way down there, way behind, going through the drag reduction zone, right as all these other marbles are way up in the track. Arrow Frog having a terrible race today, being in last or near last for the most of the race. He did finally make it a couple spots, but nothing major. This will definitely shake up the overall standings. Black Pirates. Clearly heading in the drag reduction zone there, allowing some other marbles to pass him. It's a very hard thing for some of these marbles to stay out of the drag reduction zone. And now it's time to look at the full race results. Pink Pro in the lead, Gold Piston is in second, with Loose Wheel in third place. Peppers is getting the bonus point for the fastest lap. Big Dogs being 10 seconds behind Pink Pearl with Black Pirates only 4 seconds. That's a very large gap in between those two marbles. Definitely an exciting race for these fans who are definitely all glad to have came today. Pink Pearl has now gained first place in the overall standings with Big Dogs in second. Loose Wheel is in third place. Arrow Frog has fallen down all the way to fifth place with Night Rivers in sixth. And Pink Pearl has taken the overall lead once again. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the Fubeka store, which has apparel for all your favorite teams for the Marble Circuits 2022. We are now halfway through the Marble Circuits 2022. Only four more races to go. Who will be able to take the overall victory? Pink Pearl is in the lead at this point. Will Arrow Frog be able to come and take the overall lead back from her? We'll have to wait and see. Congratulations to Pink Pearl for getting first place, Gold Piston in second, and Loose Wheel in third place. Congratulations especially to Pink Pearl who dominated this race with style. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12 month subscription. Welcome back race fans to the Marble Circuits 2022. I am Jeremiah here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Catalonia Grand Prix. In this race we will be having three qualifying sessions to determine who will start where on the starting grid for race 5 of the Marble Circuits 2022 here at the Catalonia Grand Prix in Spain. We have a tremendous track for you guys today, a very unique track for the, this season, having a lot of S turns as well as a hairpin and the sharpest U-turn in the history of Marble Circuits right after the booster coming up right there. It'll be the sharpest U-turn hairpin that anyone has ever seen in this season. It'll definitely be a stratification area for a lot of these marbles who have not done a hairpin this sharp before. Also, a after that hairpin, it is a very slow and meandering track, which is not focused on speed, more on stamina and strategy for these marbles to just be able to hold out against each other in all of these turns. Definitely one of the most high dense turn tracks in any of the seasons so far. Here are the full standings with Pink Pearl in first place with the 60 points. Big Dogs is in second with Loose Wheel in third place. Pink Pearl taking a commanding win last race. She definitely has a uh, win to uh, defend in this qualifying, but she is doing a terrible job right now as we start Q1. They go through the hairpin for the first time, and she is down in second place. Night Rivers is in first place, being followed by Loose Wheel and Sparky as they go through this track for the first lap of two, and Night Rivers is still defending himself there. Loose Wheel and Sparky are battling for second place as they go through this kind of a heart-shaped part of this track as they go and start the second lap of two drs has been act deactivated for the first lap of the qualifying as well as for the race as they go through this hairpin yet again arrow frog is down in fourth place as he is being uh pressured by fast q pins through these corners uh trying to catch back up to loose wheel he had a terrible race last race he ended up getting a disappointing 10th place which is pretty unusual for him and because of that 
he lost his overall lead in the championship standings and he wants to take it back from pink pearl who is in last place and she will be eliminated in this qualifying ending up in 10th place with peppers coming in at 11th and sea turtles all the way down in 12th place what a disappointment for pink pearl taking the overall lead in last race now being eliminated in q1 of uh, race 5 of the Marble Circus 2022. And now for Q2. Here we go. And it is Mamonas in the lead. Being followed by Aerofrog. Who takes the lead through that hairpin there. This is a definite crazy hairpin. That all these marbles are going to have to adjust to. If they want to be able to do well in this race. Black Pirates is now in second place. With standing the first qualifying. And he takes first place. And Aerofrog now takes it back. They are fighting for the pole position. As this is a mad dash. Only two laps as we start the second lap here. Aerofrog takes the lead by storm. As they go through that long back straight. Up the booster and up to this hairpin now. They all do good. And Mamonas uses the hairpin to his advantage. And takes first place from Black Pirates and Aerofrog. Who are down in second and third at this point. Gold Piston is defending himself from Big Dogs as they go through these meandering turns. The bottom three marbles to be watching right now as we come up to the end of this lap are Loose Wheel, Night Rivers, and Fast Q Pins who are looking like they are going to be eliminated in Q2. Loose Wheel being champion of one of the races as well as Night Rivers having a great season also being eliminated. These two marbles are going to have to have a hard time catching up as well. Loose Wheel did have an amazing comeback in last race. Will he be able to do it again in this race? We'll have to wait and see. But now it is time for Q3 and we're off up the booster. And it is Sparky in lead being followed by Mamonas and Big Dogs. Black Pirates is in fourth place with Gold Piston in sixth. Arrow Frog has now trying to take uh, fifth place from Gold Piston but is having some hard time. Big Dog is now trying to catch up to Sparky as they go through these turns and takes first place. As we start the second lap out of four for this qualifying, there is four laps in the Q3 for these marbles to have a little bit more time to fight over the pole position. Mamonas takes first place there. Now Sparky is in second being followed by Big Dogs with Aerofog still in the back of the pack. Black Pirates is in fourth. Will he be able to sit on the top two spots in the qualifying in this season we'll have to wait and see he made it all the way to q3 in race three and in race four after having terrible qualifyings before that but he hasn't been able to stay up in the top three very often the drs is still deactivated for q4 possibly to help these marbles uh, not be in at any disadvantage in such a short race as we enter the third lap Big Dogs is still pressuring Sparky with Mamonas in the lead. Mamonas wants his first pole sitter position in this season, but Sparky takes it back. Now Sparky is in the lead when Mamonas is trying to catch back up, but is having a hard time doing so. Aerofrog has not left last place since the start of the qualifying as we start the final lap. Mamonas is in first place. Sparky is in second. Big Dogs now takes second place from Sparky through the booster. As they go through these hairpins, and Aerofrog is still way behind. Black Pirates is trying to take third place from Sparky. At this point, he is drafting Sparky, but Sparky is able to gain some more momentum. As we go through these couple more turns, only a couple more turns to go. And Mamonas will have his first pole sitter position in this season. And he's looking like it's going to happen. Mamonas is your champion of this qualifying with Sparky in second. Big Dogs is in third place with Black Pirates coming in at fourth. Gold Piston in 5th and Aerofog ends up in 6th. Halfway up the standings in this starting grid, but it's not going to be good enough. Last race's pole sitter Gold Piston sits in 5th place on the starting grid for this race. Will he be able to come and take the win that he wanted last race that Pink Pearl stole? We'll have to wait and find out as we look at these replays here. They go up to Booster for the first qualifying and this hairpin definitely going to be a point of interest for the next race here in Catalonia. It's definitely going to be a hard turn for a lot of these marbles who have never went through this sharp of a turn before. It really has to slow down your speed if you don't want to really ram into the wall in that hairpin, which is something that these marbles are going to have to practice, especially right after the booster. All you want to do is just go as fast as you possibly can, but you have to slow down if you want to have a controlled and uh, good turn through that hairpin 
Let's see how they do in this here pin. You see there, Mamonas getting pushed up onto the edge of the wall, losing a couple spots. He was in first place, but Aerofrog able, was able to take it from him. That's one of the things that's going to be happening in this race. All these marbles going up on the side of the wall in this hairpin. It's definitely going to be a something that these marbles are going to have a hard time with and going to have to adjust to if they want to be successful in the Catalonia Grand Prix. You can see here, Loose Wheel and Night Rivers being eliminated in Q2. Definitely a disappointment for them. Night Rivers is having a hard time with the last two qualifyings. He's going to have to do better if he wants to be able to take the overall win and the overall championship standings away from Pink Pearl. He's been doing a good job this season, but lately he's having a hard time. As we come to Q3, Aerofrog was in the back of the pack for the entirety of this race, not even getting uh, to 5th place past Gold Piston, having a hard time even catching up. Uh, he's going to have to have a, a hard time, oh he actually did catch up there for briefly, but he did end up getting in 6th place, he's going to have a hard time actually catching up in the actual race he's starting halfway up the starting grid maybe he'll be able to catch up we'll have to wait and see but mamonas will be sitting on pole position being followed by sparky and big dogs who it looks like sparky took second place right before the line in front of big dogs good good move there and now it's time for the full standings. Mamonas is on pole position with Sparky in second. Big Dogs is in third place. Black Pirate sits in fourth. Gold Piston rounds off your top five. Big Dog, race one champion. Will he be able to take the win this race? We'll have to wait and see Sparky. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12 month subscription. Welcome back race fans to Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah here to welcome you to the Catalonia Grand Prix. In the qualifying we saw what type of chaos the tight hairpin in this track can cause. A new feature of this series these marbles are definitely going to have to adjust to in this race. Just a friendly reminder that this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Their service allows you to watch movies and videos that are normally not accessible in your country with the click of a button. Link in the description. Pomona sits on pole position being followed by Sparky and Big Dogs. How will these marbles be able to do in this race? Big Dogs is the only marble out of these three that have ever won a race. Uh, sitting in third place with Black Pirates in fourth place. He's doing well and having a comeback in this season. Gold Piston is in fifth, our pole sitter from last race. We'll have to see how he does in this race as well. Some of the big names in the season so far, such as Aerofrog, Loose Wheel, Knight Rivers, are all sitting right next to each other right in the middle of the starting grid. Pink Pearl is having a hard time as well, being near the back of the field to see if she's going to be able to have a comeback being the champion of last race. Here are some stats about our pole sitter Mamonas as we look at the full standings. He sits in 8th place in the standings. He has never won a race in the history of marble circuits. The highest he's placed in this season is 4th with the lowest being 12th in last race. He finished last place which is definitely a hard place to finish. And uh, he's trying to make the most of this race sitting in pole position after having a good qualifying. We'll have to see is he, if he is up to the pressure today here in Catalonia. The marbles are ready and I think it's about time to start racing. And now for race 5 of the Marble Circuits 2022 here in Catalonia. The lights are on. And we're off with Sparky taking the lead right at the beginning of the race as well as Big Dogs. And Mamonas takes the drag reduction zone, but luckily the drag reduction zone is disabled for the first lap. As we take the first look at this hairpin, which we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on for in the remainder of this race, Pink Pearl has taken the lead. Sparky is coming in at second. Mamonas has fallen down to third. He has to try to catch back up and get back in first place right in this first lap already, but he is losing ground as Black Pirates takes third place. Pink Pearl trying to have a second win in a row. Is she going to have a major comeback in the second half of this season? We'll have to see as she takes the drag reduction zone there. She's facing a lot of pressure, pressure from others, these other marbles as well as Mamonas who takes first place there. She is now in second place as she, and uh, Sparky is in third place. 
Mamonas is trying to take his first win of this entire series. He has not had a win in Season 1 or Season 2. We'll have to see how he does in this race as well. Carol Frog is already up in 4th place. Just as I was saying that Black Iris takes 3rd place from him. Mamonas has now gotten the fastest lap. 31.220 times. See if anyone else can get the fastest lap. Every little point counts in this race. Black Pirates is facing some pressure from Big Dogs as we go through these meandering corners. Black Pirates also is trying to get his first win of this entire series. He's having a comeback in this race and this series as well. He started in fourth place on the starting grid. We'll have to see if he can catch up and make any more places. And now Big Dogs has taken back the fastest lap with the time of 30.52 or 5.32. And look at that, Arrow Frog gets stuck in the hairpin, getting rammed by multiple marbles. What a tragedy for Arrow Frog. He has really been a crash magnet in this season. And Black Pirates takes the lead from Mamonas. Black Pirates trying to take his first win, and Mamonas now is trying to take it back there neck and neck. But Black Pirates is still able to hold the lead as we enter the fifth lap. We have 12 laps today, so it's a cho shorter race in terms of numbers of laps, but is a longer track. And another ram from behind from Big Dogs to Mamonas through that hairpin. It seems like it's kind of an inevitable part of the hairpin that we're going to have to see in this race. Black Pirates is extending himself here as Mamonas takes second place back from Big Dogs. Mamonas has lost the lead since the start of the race and he's having a hard time keeping it as he is trying to catch back up to Black Pirates who is doing a good job at keeping the lead at this point. He does go through the drag rejection zone but still so does Mamonas and Big Dogs to go up the booster here through the hairpin uh, and Big Dogs is trying to catch up to Mamonas. Big Dogs has had one victory of this series winning race one of season two. He wants to put another victory under his name going to have to be hard because he has to try to pass Mamonas and Black Pirates at this point. Pink Pearl is slowly coming up the standings, coming up in six now. She started way back down farther in the pack. As we go down this back straight here, Big Dogs has taken first place up the booster with Black Pirates now putting some pressure on him. And Mamonas passes Black Pirates. Good move through there. And now Mamonas is putting some pressure on Big Dogs. And Mamonas takes first place from Big Dogs there, and Big Dogs takes it right back. They are having a dog fight here for the first place. Mamonas, the split between Mamonas and Big Dogs is 0.9 seconds. We'll have to see if M Big Dogs can extend that any longer as Mamonas takes the drag reduction zone there. Black Pirates is using that to his advantage and tries to catch back up, and Arrow Frog is now in second place. A great move by Arrow Frog using the hairpin to his advantage. After this tragedy in the hairpin before, he has learned how to use this correctly. Hero Frog also wants another win in this season. He won race two of this season. He'll have to see how he does as well. The split is now 0.6 seconds behind Big Dog. Can Big Dogs be able to keep the lead for the remainder of the race? We only have three more laps to go and Big Dogs will be champion. Black Pirates and Mamonas though are Still in the runnings, they want to be able to take this win as well as we go through these meandering corners once again. Black Pirates is definitely thriving under his new leadership and crew chief after uh, having a terrible first couple of races. We're still seeing that fast two pins is way back down in the bottom of the standings yet again. We start the 10th lap here, two laps to go. Fast two pins is still near the bottom of the pack. He really needs to think about following in Black Pirate's footsteps and rehire a new pit crew so he can be able to do better in these races. Big Dogs has extended the split. Now he's 1.29 seconds, almost 0.3 in front of Arrow Frog, who just got passed by Mamonas there as we go through these corners. Mamonas and Arrow Frog only have one more lap after this one to be able to pass Big Dog as the lead is slowly diminishing. Big Dogs is slowly losing ground. Every move count here is a great move by Arrow Frog there. Some chaos through that hairpin. And now the lead from Arrow or Big Dogs has definitely been vanished. Arrow Frog is now trying to come up on Big Dogs and he takes almost first place, but Big Dogs is able to take it back. 
as he uh, gains some more momentum here. Just trying to hang on for the rest of this race. As we enter the final lap, Big Dogs is in first place. Moss is coming up by Storm, and he goes to the Dragon Ducks zone and loses some ground as they go up the booster through the hairpin, and no uh, action there. Mamonas is coming up and drafting Big Dog, doing everything he can, but he loses some ground there. Big Dog is trying to take the overall win, second win in a row in this season, but it's going to be hard as we have only a half a lap to go. Can Big Dogs be able to take the win? It's looking like it's going to happen. And Mamonas takes first place at the last second and steals the win. Congratulations to Mamonas. A great move. Holding off until the final lap. I can't believe it. Mamonas taking the overall win in this race. What an accomplishment for Mamonas. Big Dogs coming in at second. He is furious after doing so well in this race. Black Pirates coming in at third place. A podium for him. Impressive performance. Everything worked out for us in our first victory of the season. Congratulations. That was so exciting. I can't believe we got this victory. Thank you, guys. Mamonas definitely excited in this race. We'll have to see how he did in the replays to see just how he stole the win right at the last second from Big Dogs, who had the lead for quite a while in this race. Some of the big uh, marbles in this race, Mamonas, Black Pirates, Big Dogs, and Sparky, as well as Aerofrog, were the main marbles who were fighting for the win today. As you can see, right at the beginning of the race, Mamona stalled, allowing a lot of other marbles to pass him right at the beginning of the race, and he had to work his way up through the entirety of the race, and it did pay off eventually taking the overall win, but that's something they that have to keep in mind, that you don't want to be able to stall right at the beginning of the race, something that Mamonas has learned his lesson in. Luckily, he was able to take the win. Big Dogs was in the lead for the majority of the race. Something happened in the last lap, a good move by Mamonas, allowing him to pass Big Dogs right at the last second. Big Dogs definitely upset with today's performance. Look at this crash that happened between Pink Pearl and Arrow Frog. Uh, Arrow Frog having some unfortunate crashes today through that hairpin. Black Pirates doing a good job at drafting Mamonas here. Did he come over and take the lead? Yes, he did right there. I believe that's Black Pirates taking the lead from Mamonas. And Black Pirates did do a good job racing today, ending up getting third place. This is his second podium of the season, the first being back in Shanghai. Big Dogs, though, had the lead and the win in his grasp, but he lost it in the last lap, having a hard time dealing with that today after he wanting to have a second win of the season. No Marble has won twice in this season so far. Pink Pearl trying to do that right at the beginning of the race, but wasn't able to do it, and she lost a lot of ground, ending up in sixth place. You can see Mamonas and Big Dogs right here battling for the first place. Big Dogs taking it from Mamonas as we go through these meandering turns. This really was a... Uh, polarizing track you have such a fast and sharp hairpin right after the booster and after that it's a very slow and meandering track uh, two very different types of racing that these marbles had to be good at both if they wanted to be able to win in this race like that one right there arrow frog taking the lead out of that hairpin but I guess he's not as good on the meandering hairpins which is he's gonna have to have some work on and here's the final pass by Mamonas taking the lead right within the last two corners, uh, only like two seconds before the finish line. Uh, as you can see, Big Dog's trying to take it back at the last second. He almost had it, but didn't quite get it. And now it's time to look at the full results. Mamonas is in first place, Big Dog's is in second. Uh, which is not what he wanted to be in, but at least he did get the fastest lap, which gives him another point. Black Pirates is in third place, Arrow Frog is in fourth, Loose Wheel in fifth, Pink Pearl is in sixth place, Night Rivers in sixth. You can see all these big names in these series today are up in these top uh, marbles. And now here are the full results. Big Dogs has taken the lead from Pink Pearl with Loose Wheel in third place. Big Dogs has 72 points. Pink Pearl in 68, Loose Wheel has 61, Arrow Frog is down with 60 points, and Mamonas is still in 8th place, even though he got 1st place, 
He has not made it up any ground in the overall standings. Congratulations to Mamonas for getting first place, Big Dogs in second, and Black Pirates in third place. An amazing race today with a steal of a win from Mamonas from Big Dogs. Big Dog. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hey everyone, welcome to Canada for the sixth qualifying of the season here in Montreal. Eight marbles are still in contention for the overall championship, but as these races go on, that number decreases. Big Dogs has regained his lead in the standings after losing it to Aerofrog in race two, who kept the lead for quite a while, but then lost it to Pink Pearl in race four, who then lost it back to Big Dogs, who has slowly been racking up the points, but not in the lead. He has now gained back the lead, and can he keep it for the last three races of this season? We'll have to wait and find out. Pink Pearl definitely wants to take it back from him as we take a look at the track here in Montreal. The starting gate for this qualifying has been moved from its standard location to the top of the booster, as well as the drag reduction zone being directly after the booster, being followed by a sharp 90 degree corner. The marbles are going to have to watch out for these two challenging features right next to each other. Going to have to see how they react in this race. As we look at the full standings, Big Dog sits in first place, being followed by Pink Pearl and Loose Wheel. Arrow Frog has fallen down to fourth. Gold Piston is in fifth. Night Rivers is in sixth place. All these marbles are striving to become champion of this season, and this qualifying is a good place to start. And we're off for Q1, and Sparky takes lead right at the beginning of the race, being followed by Black Pirates and now Peppers, with Gold Piston in third, now fourth place, fighting Black Pirates for the top podium spot. As uh, Peppers now has taken the lead, now Sparky, they're all fighting for the top position at this point. This is a mad dash. Vasco Pin still in last place. Will he be eliminated in the first qualifying yet again? We'll have to see as we enter the second and final lap of this qualifying. Sparky is still in the lead, being followed by Peppers and Gold Piston. Black Pirates is down in fourth. And Mamonas, Night Rivers, and Fast Cupins are in the elimination zone. They need to do all they can to get out if they want to be able to make it to the next round. Night Rivers being a big contender in this season, but having some trouble with the qualifying. And Loose Wheel has taken first place from Sparky as we finish the first qualifying of this video. Mamonas, Night Rivers, and Fast Cupins will be eliminated. And Fast Cupins is eliminated in the first qualifying yet again. He will be starting in the last spot on the starting grid in race six here in Montreal. And now for Q2, the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Big Dogs takes the lead and as well as Sparky and Peppers is up there as well. Some of the marbles in the back loose wheel is trailing behind very far as well as for Gold Piston and Pink Pearl who has a hit from Arrow Frog there, slowing her down quite a bit. Sea Turtles is in first place. This is the first time we have seen this in a long time in this entire season. The Sea Turtles fans are definitely happy at this point. He is fighting with Big Dogs for the first place. Sea Turtles is in last in the overall standings, only having 12 points. It is not possible for him to win the overall championship, but can he have at least a small comeback and climb the standings in the second half of this season we'll have to wait and see as we enter the second lap of this qualifying black pirates is in third place the marbles that are in the elimination zone are loose wheel pink pearl and gold piston can pink pearl get out of the elimination zone by the end of the lap it's not looking like it's gonna happen as well as arrow frog who will be eliminated with gold piston and pink pearl Pink Pearl being the overall leader before Big Dogs took it over last race. Before that, Arrow Frog was in the lead for the majority of the first half of the season. Uh, we'll have to see how they do in the final race as we start Q3. Loose Wheel takes the lead, but it is still Big Dogs and Sparky who have been fighting this entire qualifying at this point. Sparky is in the lead right now. And uh, a good move by Sparky there, hitting uh, Big Dogs from behind, losing some momentum, but lost out to Loose Wheel there. And Sparky takes it back again. Sparky is victory hungry. Can Sparky try to take the overall championship in this season? 
I don't think so. He's in the bottom four marbles. Loose Wheel is up in third place in the overall standings, so he has a chance of winning, as well as Big Dogs, who is in the overall lead with Black Pirates in there as well. Sea Turtles is trailing behind in sixth place. Uh, this is going to be a, definitely one of the better qualifyings for him in this season, but uh, he hasn't had a very good season at this point. He was a top contender last season. What happened in the season that caused such an abrupt change in placing and strategy? This is an interesting group of marbles we have in this qualifying. Sparky, Sea Turtles, and Pepper is not mathematically possible to win the overall championship with Loose Wheel, Big Dogs, and Black Pirates still in contention for the lead, but Sparky is in first place in that this point. Loose Wheel is in second with Black Pirates in fourth. Uh, these three marbles want to dethrone Sparky as he doesn't really even need the pole position at this point because he cannot take the overall championship as we start the final lap. Sparky is still in the lead, being followed by Loose Wheel and Black Pirates as we go through this sharp corner. They're trying to just catch up to Sparky and take pole position. Loose Wheel wants another race win under his belt, but it's going to be hard as Sparky is still in the lead. But he gained some ground there, and as well as Black Pirates, but Sparky is still able to keep the pole position as we go through the final turn, and it is Sparky will be your champion of this qualifying with Loose Wheel in second. Black Pirates is on third place. Peppers in fourth. Big Dogs finishes in fifth with Sea Turtles in sixth place. Our overall leader, Big Dog, sits in fifth place. Will he be able to get higher up in this race and take a second win in this season? No Marble has won two races yet in this season. So we're waiting for that in this next race. Will that happen? We'll have to wait and see as we take a look at these replays here. Sparky was definitely one of the top contenders of these races today. Uh, he really knows how to use this track to his advantage as well as for Peppers and uh, Loose Wheel. Black Pirates was also up in there doing well in this race as well as for Sea Turtles who made it to the final qualifying but ended up getting last in that final race. But we'll have to see how he does in the actual race to, on Sunday. Pink Pearl being eliminated in the second qualifying. Mamonas, our last champion, last race champion, was eliminated in the first qualifying. That must be humiliating for him. Big Dogs taking an early lead here, facing some pressure from Peppers as they go through these meandering turns. Loose Wheel was way back in the pack, but he was able to get out of the elimination zone within two laps and was able to move on to the final qualifying, a good accomplishment for him in today's races. Take a look at the final qualifying. Pepper's having a rough start right at the starting gate there, as well as for Black Pirates as the four other marbles got farther up ahead than they did. And a good move by Black Pirates there, using Peppers to his advantage to gain some more momentum. Here is the final lap here. Sparky just holding off for the final couple of, of turns from a uh, loose wheel and was able to take pole position. Black Pirates getting in third place. Will this be the race where he will get his first win of the entire season? We'll have to wait and see on Sunday. Here are the full results with Sparky in first place. Loose Wheel coming in at second. Black Pirates is in third place. Peppers finishes in fourth. Big Dogs is in fifth. Going down to the bottom, it's Fast Coupins, Night Rivers, and Mamonas who are going to have the hardest time catching back up to the rest of the marbles in Sunday. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello, Marble Sports fans. Welcome back to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the Montreal Grand Prix. This is the sixth race of the season, only two more races to go after this race, and the Marbles are running out of time to collect points and get higher up in the overall standings. Sitting atop of the overall standings is Big Dogs with 72 points, being followed closely by Pink Pearl with 68, and then Loose Wheel with 61 points. 
Pink Pearl, last season's champion, is trying to come up and take first place from Big Dogs to try to win her second season in a row. Big Dogs does not want that to happen, though. He's just fresh on the top of the standings as of last race, as well as Loose Wheel, who wants to get up on the top as well. Now let's talk about our pole sitter for today's race, which is Sparky, who uh, uh, had a good qualifying last qualifying a couple days ago, getting a qualifying time of two minutes, which was only 0.4 seconds in front of the next marble, which is Loose Wheel, who sits on second place with Black Pirates in third place. Can Black Pirates come and take his first victory of the season in this race? We'll have to wait and see as the race progresses in today's video. Sparky also has not had a podium or a win in this entire season. He has had one pole position in this entire season. That's the best accomplishment he has at this point. He sits in 10th on the overall standings with only 13 points, tied with fast two pins down in 11. Sea Turtles is down in 12th place with 12 points. He uh, has definitely had a downfall in this season after having being let, finishing in third place overall in last season. Uh, so hopefully he'll be able to do better in this race today. And now for race six of the Marble Circus 2022 here in Montreal. The lights are on and we're off. Loose Wheel taking the lead right at the beginning of the race being followed by Sparky and Black Pirates with Big Dogs in fourth place being followed by Peppers as we go up the booster. The drag reduction zone is not disabled for the first lap in this race due to it being directly after the booster. The Marbles have no shortage of speed there. We go through these turns here and Loose Wheel is still uh, has lost the lead there to Big Dogs who is now in first place with Black Pirates in second. Sparky is in third place, has already lost some ground in this first lap. Can he even stay up in the top half of the field? We'll have to wait and see. Gold Piston has gotten the fastest lap at this point with a time of 30.401. We'll have to see if any other marbles can beat that in the rest of the race. Big Dogs is hungry for victory in this race after getting second in the last race, losing out to Mamonas. Can he get another race win under his belt? This will be the second win in a row if he succeeds for this season. First time in the season that a marble has been able to get two races uh, in this season. Peppers has now taken second place from Black Pirates as they go up the booster there, but goes through the drag reduction stri strip, uh, causing him to not be able to pass Big Dogs in that area. Loose Wheel has now taken third place, is putting some pressure on Peppers, and he takes third pl second place briefly, but then Gold Piston now takes second place. They're all right up against each other, drafting each other through these turns. Some very good moves by all these marbles. Black Pirates is falling down the order. Loose Wheel making a move against Peppers there, taking third place, going up the booster, now trying to come up and take second place from Gold Piston there through that sharp corner. A good move by Loose Wheel there. Black Pirates is trying to maintain his ground uh, since the start of the race. He is in third place, same as his starting position. He has gained a couple and lost a couple. Now he's trying to set his sights on Loose Wheel and Big Dogs up in the front. We are in lap five, already a third of the race done. Only two thirds left to go as Big Dogs is extending himself from the rest of the field and doing a good job at it. The split is 1.2 seconds from Loose Wheel who is in second place. Big Dogs wants to extend that lead. Loose Wheel is trying all he can just come up and make that smaller, but loses out to Black Pirates there who's gaining on Big Dogs fast as we go through these corners and Big Black Pirates takes the lead. Great move by Black Pirates, and now Big Dogs is drafting him through this back straight, and he takes it right back. Great moves by both of these marbles. Big Dogs having a scare there, but he gains back third first place. Fast Q Pins has now taken the fastest lap, getting 29.166. Let's see if any other marbles can beat it. Uh, he is down in 11th place in the overall standings, so every little point counts just to get him up out of this uh, standing that he's in right now just to try to ease the humiliation of finishing so far down in the standings. Loose Wheel trying to catch up to the top two marbles but is pretty far behind as to go up the booster trying to do all he can to catch up to the rest of the field which is Big Dogs and Black Pirates who Big Dogs has made an incredible lead in front of Black Pirates at this point 
the 1.1 seconds ahead of Black Pirates. Black Pirates is trying to catch back up. As we take a look at the middle of the field, Gold Piston all the way down to Fast Q pins. So, uh, some other marbles in there. Arrow Frog, Peppers, Sparky. Sparky is down all the way in 8th. He has had a terrible time in this race so far, being our pole sitter, falling down so far in this race. Pink Pearl is down in 11th. She is in second in the overall standings. She's having a terrible race as well. I have a feeling she's not going to be in second at the end of this race. With Knight Rivers down in last place, he has been there for a long time. He is having a terrible race as well. He has had a downfall in the second half of this season. Will he be able to have a comeback? in the rest of the season we'll have to wait and see it's not look, look, looking like it at this point black pirates has taken the lead from big dogs as they go through these chicanes and sea turtles is now in third place taking it from loose wheel loose wheel is losing ground now facing some pressure from gold piston black pirates has extended his lead from big dogs a tremendous lead at this point with sea turtles trying to catch up to big dogs as well with uh, loose wheel putting some pressure on sea turtles we are in the 10th lap, only 4 laps to go. The split between Black Pirates and Big Dogs is one and a half seconds. A very large split. Big Dogs is going to have to try to do hard if he wants to try to catch up to uh, Black Pirates. But he's having some trouble there and gets passed by Sea Turtles. Sea Turtles is now trying to catch up to Black Pirates. Black Pirates is doing a tremendous job in the second half of this race. Will he be able to take his first win of the season and just prove that his hiring of a new crew chief has helped him out in this series. Our last race champion, Mamonas, is down in seventh place. He's having a decent race, but he is in the bottom half, now joining the top half as he enters sixth place there, trying to catch up to the rest of the marbles in the top half ever so slightly as Black Pirates is still in the lead. And here comes Sea Turtles by Storm trying to come up and take over Big Dogs. Big Dogs has a good defense there, but Sea Turtles is still on his tail trying to catch up going through the drag reduction zone, but nothing happens there. Neither of them take the uh, drag enhanced side of the drag reduction zone, which slows them down, allowing the other marble to pass. Neither of them did, and Sea Turtles hits the wall there, allowing Loose Wheel to take third place. Now trying to catch up and pass Big Dogs as they go through these corners. We're entering the 13th lap. Only two more laps to go. Black Pirates is nowhere to be seen in this screen. Will he be able to take the overall win? It's looking like it at this point. He is very far ahead from Big Dogs, who is in second place, being followed by Loose Wheel, who is in third. All these marbles are pretty spaced out as they go through this little chicane. Loose Wheel is losing ground on Big Dogs. Black Pirates is just having a joy ride at this point as we enter the final lap. Black Pirates is in first place. Big Dogs is in second. Loose Wheel is in third place. Sea Turtles is trying to come up and take the final podium spot away from Loose Wheel, but it's getting looking like it's going to be hard. Loose Wheel does take the drag reduction zone, but so does Sea Turtles, not letting him catch up to Loose Wheel at this point. Black Pirates only has a half a lap to go, and he is very far ahead from uh, Big Dogs, and he will be champion of this race. Only two more turns to go. It looks like Sea Turtles has taken second place, but Black Pirates will be your champion of race six of the Marble Circus 2022 and the Montreal Grand Prix. His first victory of the season, his new crew chief really helping him win the overall win in this race. Sea Turtles comes in at second, beating out Big Dog, who finishes in third place. You did it. You won your first race of the season. Great job. Yes, I can't believe it. Thank you for bringing me to victory. You can hear Black Pirates thanking his crew chief for his success. He's definitely grateful and he's definitely excited after today's race. Here are the full results. Black Pirates gets the 25 points with Sea Turtles in second. Big Dogs is in third place. Fast Cupin finishes in seventh. A good finish for him. He also gets the fastest lap, which is also an extra point. He made five spots gained in today's race but ultimate congratulations go to black pirates in today's race now let's take a look at some of these replays to see just how black pirates managed to take the overall win from loose wheel sparky and big dogs 
Sparky fell down very far in this race after starting on pole position. He definitely had a hard race in today's race, uh, after, which was not expected after the qualifying. It seemed like he had such mastery over this track. Uh, something just he just didn't have it today. Loose Wheel, Big Dogs, and Black Pirates, as well as Sea Turtles, were the main marbles who were fighting for the top position in today's race. Big Dogs holding the lead for quite some time, but then he was overtaken by Black Pirates in the second half of the race, who was never who never lost out and was crowned champion. So take a look at some of these good replays here. Black Pirates coming in from fifth place, I think, passing Loose Wheel and Gold Piston. No, it was fourth and then tries to come up and pass Big Dogs through this turn by Storm, and he uh, takes the first place there. Great move by Black Pirates, and I believe that was the moment where Big Dog came and took it right back for a little while, but then Black Pirates came and uh, regained the lead. You can see that sharp corner causing some trouble for some of these marbles, like Pepper's right there having a small incident with Mamonas. Pepper's having some trouble. Uh, but he uh, seemed to recover. We take a look at Mamonas coming and passing multiple marbles here through this back straight, as well as Fast Coupins, who finished in seventh. Good finish for him. He uh, got started in last place in the qualifying, so he gained uh, quite a few spots in today's race. Here we can see Loose Wheel overtaking Black Pirates at that little uh, uh, chicane area. And now it's time to look at the full standings. And look at that. Black Pirates has taken second place in the overall standings. Talk about a comeback. Will Black Pirates be able to take the overall lead in the last two races? It is possible, even if Big Dogs get second place. Black Pirates keeps this up. He can win the overall championship. Loose Wheel comes in at third with Arrow Frog in fourth place. Pink Pearl has fallen down all the way to fifth after getting an 11th place finish in today's race. He definitely had a rough race today. Congratulations to Black Pirates for getting first place, Sea Turtles in second, and Big Dogs in third place. Definitely an amazing comeback for Black Pirates in today's race. And the future looks bright for the rest of the season. We still have to watch out for Big Dogs, who's in, who is in the overall lead. He still wants to take the overall championship. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome back. We are here in Monaco for yet another qualifying of another race here on Fubeca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the Marble Circuits 2022. As we enter the penultimate stage of this season, the Marbles are running out of time to get points uh, to take the overall championship. The Marble who stands on top of the standings right now is Big Dogs, who has 87 points being followed closely by Black Pirates who has 73 and then Loose Wheel who also has 73 in third place. Uh, all these three marbles are really battling for the top position including Black Pirates who is having an amazing comeback in the season. Um, but they, uh, the gate is still open for a lot of the marbles in the standings at this point to be able to take the overall championship. So uh, the pole position in this race is really going to be valuable as we only have two more uh, opportunities to get points in this season. As we take a look at today's track for the first time, this is going to be the first track and probably the last in this season that's going to have a tunnel. It's going to be interesting as well as a very wide corner uh, that will give the marbles a lot more space to uh, roll around and see how they can pass each other. And now for Q1, the Marls are in the blocks, and away we go, and it is Fast Q Pins in the lead, being followed by Sparky and Aerofrog, who are in second and third. Uh, Fast Q Pins is trying all he can to not be eliminated in the first qualifying. He has had a terrible qualifying and a terrible season this entire season, so he is trying to make it at all odds to uh, 
stay in the top, uh, at least the top nine at this point. But Arrow Frog is able to overtake him as we enter the second and final lap and enter the booster for the first time. Sea Turtles has taken third place. Loose Wheel is in fifth, and now we need to look at the elimination zone. It is Big Dogs in 10th place with Pink Pearl in 11th, and Night Rivers is down in last place. Black Pirates is down in 10th place. That's not good for him if he wants to gain more points in this season. Pink Pearl just getting out of the elimination zone, and Fast Q Pins has taken the lead at this point. Big Dogs, the overall points leader, is down in 11th place. It's looking like he's gonna be eliminated in this qualifying as well. Yes, he does, as well as Black Pirates and Night Rivers. Big Dogs is gonna have a hard time catching back up and keeping the lead in this next race. Fast Q Pins has finally not been eliminated in the first qualifying. A good achievement for him. We'll have to see how he lasts in the second qualifying. And we're off, and it is Pink Pearl this time who is in the lead, being followed by Fast Q Pins. Has he had a change of strategy? Possibly, it seems here. He's being followed and now overtaken by Sparky, who is now setting his sights on Pink Pearl. So they go through these corners through the tunnel at this point with some uh, cool blue lighting in there. Just a different atmosphere for these marbles to have to go through in this race. Pink Pearl is defending herself from Sparky. She has had a decent season and she's just trying to stay up in the lead so she can uh, take the overall championship if she is able to get enough points. And we are in the final lap. The elimination zone has Peppers, Sea Turtles, and Mamonas currently in its grasp. Uh, these marbles are trying to get out as quickly as possible as we enter the tunnel and it's not looking like they're going to be able to get out and Peppers, Sea Turtles, and Mamonas will be eliminated in this qualifying as well. They did have some jostling at the last second, but it is Sea Turtles who got the uh, lowest spot in that elimination. Now for Q3, with four laps and we're off, this time it is Loose Wheel who we have not seen in the top three for uh, the entirety of this qualifying so far. Now he's in the lead with Gold Piston in second and uh, Fast Q Pins has made it all the way to Q3. A great accomplishment for him in this race. Loose Wheel though, he is up in the top three on these overall standings. He's trying to get points as well. Uh, he has 73 points. All he has to do is get a couple more places higher than Big Dogs, which it's looking like it's going to happen at this point because Big Dogs was eliminated in the first qualifying and uh, he'll be able to take the overall championship lead from Big Dogs. Gold Piston is in second with Sparky in third place. Fast Q Pins is down in fourth. Arrow Frog is coming up at the back being uh, uh, chasing Pink Pearl as we enter the third lap. Loose Wheel is just trying to extend himself from Gold Piston as we go up the booster for the third time. They go through this uh, wide corner. It's definitely an interesting corner for some of these marbles. There's a lot of bouncing off the walls as we go through that corner. It's definitely a different change of pace for some of these marbles in this season. Gold Piston is catching up to Loose Wheel as we start the final lap. Loose Wheel is just trying to hold his ground and Fast Coupin is trying to hold his ground uh, from Pink Pearl as we go up the booster for the final time through the wide corner Gold Piston is on Loose Wheel's tail to go through these couple more corners Loose Wheel just has to stay in the lead for the remainder of the lap and he will be the pole sitter of this race Gold Piston is trying to do all he can there neck and neck uh, Gold Piston is drafting him going through the boost of uh, the uh, tunnel and Loose Wheel will be your champion of the qualifying for the Monaco Grand Prix and he will be the pole sitter for this race with Gold Piston coming in at second. A good uh, try for Gold Piston, but no avail with Pink Pearl in third place. Fast Q Pins will be starting in fourth, Sparky in fifth, and Arrow Frog will be starting in sixth place. If the race here in Monaco finished the same way that it will start because of this starting position, Loose Wheel would definitely gain the lead. Pink Pearl would probably come in second and Arrow Frog would be up there in the top three as well. Now let's look at the results. See just how uh, Loose Wheel was able to take the overall podium spot in this qualifying. He was really not in the top uh, couple marbles in the, in the uh, first two qualifyings. 
Uh, he was in fifth right there. He wasn't really in the spotlight though because the, the marbles you want to watch in these qualifyings are the top few and then the bottom few. Uh, so he was kind of more of a mid runner right up until the last qualifying and that's where he really sh uh, shined and just came to out to, uh, to take the overall podium. Black Pirates and Big Dogs, the top two contenders in this uh, season right now, being eliminated in the first qualifying, uh, definitely not good for them. They're really going to have to try hard to gain spots in the next race uh, if they want to be able to retain the lead. Fast Q Pins having a tremendous showing here in today's qualifying, getting all the way to Q4. He usually gets eliminated in the first qualifying of uh, this series. Maybe he's finally getting his bearings and uh, learning how to work this new qualifying format of this season. Maybe he's just a slow learner. So we take a look at the final qualifying right here. He is in third place at the moment. Loose Wheel though held the lead for almost the entire race. Pink uh, Gold Piston almost coming up and taking the lead from him. It was for pole position, but he wasn't able to do it through the tunnel for the final time. And Loose Wheel was able to take the pole position. Gold Piston coming in at second. Pink Pearl, also a contender in this season. She might uh, be able to come up and take the lead from Loose Wheel. She can be aggressive like that. And here are the full results. Loose Wheel coming in at first place. Gold Piston in second. Pink Pearl in third. The Fast Food Pins and Sparky rounding off your top five. Night River and Big Dogs as well as Black Pirates coming in in the bottom three. Night River is having a terrible qualifying and a terrible downfall. Welcome back race fans to the Monaco Grand Prix for the penultimate race of the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah and I'm excited to be here as the things get tense here on the track. We have Big Dog sitting on top of the standings with 87 points being followed closely by Black Pirates and Loose Wheel. Big Dogs and Black Pirates are starting pretty far back on the starting grid. Loose Wheel is up on pole position. He's the marble that is most likely to be able to take the overall lead at this point. If he would want to be able to take the lead, he would have to be able to get first place and Big Dogs would have to get fourth for them to be tied and if Loose Wheel got fastest lap then Loose Wheel would be taking first place by one point. We'll have to see if he is able to do it in today's race. Some other marbles in the top half of the starting grid. Gold Piston uh, sits in sixth place on the overall standings. He may have a chance of getting higher up as well as for Pink Pearl sitting in third. She sits in fifth in the overall standings. As we look at the results from the qualifying a couple days ago see Loose Wheel getting first place, getting that coveted pole position, uh, which definitely will help him in this race today if he wants to take the overall lead. There's only two more races to be able to take the lead before a winner is crowned. So uh, every position in these qualifyings count in these last two races. As we take a look at the track today here in Monaco, some of the features are the tunnel as well as the wide corner. The marbles are going to have to figure out how to use these elements to their advantage if they want to succeed in today's race. And now for the penultimate race of the Marble Circus 2022. The marbles are ready. The lights are on. And boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. It is Gold Piston out to the lead right at the beginning of the race being followed by Loose Wheel who lost out his pole position right in the first couple of seconds in the race being followed by Pink Pearl who is in third and then Arrow Frog is up there as well but Gold Piston is trying to extend his lead at this point as we go through the track for the first time in this race. And now Loose Wheel takes first place from uh, Gold Piston as we go through these couple of corners and now about to enter the tunnel. As we go through the tunnel here and now for the starting of the second lap, Loose Wheel has gained a tremendous lead already in the second lap. Knight Rivers has gained the fastest lap with 50, or 29 seconds uh, and he is in sixth place right now out uh, starting in last. A great start for him and he is having a comeback at this point. Gold Piston is still trying to come up and catch Loose Wheel, trying to get as many points as possible to be able to try to take the overall championship. And Knight Rivers is in third place already in the third lap, almost not even now the third lap. He is having an amazing comeback in this race. Will he be able to come and take the overall championship from Big Dogs if he does a tremendous job in the last two races of this season? I'm not sure, but it looks like he's going to try. 
He's now uh, putting some pressure on Gold Piston as they go through these corners. Loose Wheel is still far ahead at this point. Arrow Frog and Pink Pearl are fighting farther back in fourth and fifth place. Black Pirates is up in eighth. He's not having a very good race. He did not have a very good starting position, though. Can he be able to come back up and take uh, some more points and possibly even take the lead? We'll have to wait and see. He's still in eighth at this point. As we take a look at the mid-pack here, Mamonas, Aero Frog, and Pink Pearl battling for the 4th, 5th, and 6th place. Mamonas coming out on top. Gold Piston, Knight Rivers, and Loose Wheel have faced or spaced out from each other at this point, just trying to stay ahead of the marble behind them. Uh, so, not much action at this point as we enter the 5th lap here in Monaco. You can see Black Pirates coming up behind Pink Pearl trying to inch his way up from the back of the pack and there's fast pins behind him fast pins started in fourth place on the starting grid and now he has fallen all the way down to eighth place not a very good race for him he did have a good qualifying the first in the entire season but he's having a hard time in this race which is not uncommon to see in the marble circus 2022 you can see Black Pirates drafting Pink Pearl through the tunnel there and loses out a little bit. Pink Pearl is able to gain back some momentum. Black Pirates is still trying to come up and take it. Loose Wheel has made a tremendous lead for himself. The split is, is 2.16 seconds. That is an amazing split for the Marble Circus 2022. And uh, some marbles are having some trouble in the DRS there. But Loose Wheel is the one who everybody is watching at this point having a dominating race at this point. If he wins this race, it will be the first time that a marble has won two races in this season because each race so far has had a different champion. Knight Rivers also wants to take his first win of the entire season. He's gotten two second places uh, and then he started not doing so well in the second half of the season and now he might be having a comeback in today's race. Loose Wheel losing some momentum there and Knight Rivers is trying to catch up uh, and Gold Piston has lost some ground on Mamonas. Mamonas is trying to come up and take third place from Gold Piston. Gold Piston does not like what he's seeing through these corners here. And Mamonas coming in and he takes third place from Gold Piston right before the booster and now through this wide turn. Let's go through the drag reduction zone there. Mamonas now trying to set his sights on Knight Rivers who is up in second place. 2.2 seconds behind Loose Wheel. Uh, so the split is growing between Loose Wheel and Night Rivers. Either Loose Wheel is doing better or Night Rivers is doing worse at this point. Mimonas now succumbs to uh, Gold Piston there. Gold Piston has now taken third place. Mimonas now takes it right back. They are fighting for the third place at this point. We are already halfway through this race. And now Night Rivers is being drafted by Gold Piston here. Night Rivers has lost his lead from Gold Piston. Gold Piston is trying to do all he can to take second place at this point with Loose Wheel just up in the front in the peace and quiet with not a care in the world. And here comes Gold Piston and he takes second place from Night Rivers. Night Rivers has lost second place. Now Gold Piston is trying to come up and do better than Night Rivers. Trying to come up and take uh, first place from Loose Wheel who is very far ahead at this point. Already a couple turns ahead of Gold Piston. Knight Rivers is trying to come up and take back second place. And now Arrow Frog is up in fourth place. Uh, trying to come up and take third from Knight Rivers. But it's going to be hard as Knight Rivers is still battling with Gold Piston up in the front. And he takes second place back from Gold Piston there. Gold Piston has fallen down to third yet again. Loose Wheel has had a dominating race in this entire race. Uh, and he has not been out of the lead the entirety of the race. The split is 2.1 seconds. Night Rivers and Gold Piston trying to use each other's momentum just to catch up to Loose Wheel. Gold Piston is still battling with Night Rivers for second place as Loose Wheel crosses the line for the 11th and now 12th lap. And uh, uh, Night Rivers is still up in second. Gold Piston in third with Arrow Frog in fourth and Pink Pearl is in fifth place. She has not really moved very much in this race. She has just kind of been in the middle of the pack. Will she be able to pull out uh, a overall win in the last race? Is she holding back and to win the last race like she did in season one? We'll have to wait and see. Mamonas has now taken fifth place from Pink Pearl there. 
as we enter the 13th lap, the penultimate lap of the penultimate race here in the Marble Circus 2022. Loose Wheel is still in the lead. Big Dogs is down in 11th place. He is for sure going to lose the overall lead to probably Loose Wheel at this point. Night Rivers is going to also climb up the standings as well. As well as for Gold Piston and Arrow Frog. Black Pirates is down in 7th. He's definitely going to fall down uh, the standings as well. So uh, this is going to be an interesting turn of events as they enter the final lap. Loose Wheel is still in the lead by a huge margin with Night Rivers in second. Gold Piston is in third. Loose Wheel is already up the booster before the uh, second two marbles even get to that corner there. And uh, he's already going up through this corner as you can see at the top of your screen as the second and third marbles are way down, uh, way behind him. Loose Wheel about to enter the tunnel as uh, Night Rarers is about to enter this final corner. Loose Wheel comes around the final corner and he will be the champion for the second time in the Marble Circus 2022 here at the Monaco Grand Prix. Night Rivers comes in second with Gold Piston in third place. Arrow Frog comes in at fourth. Pink Pearl ends up in fifth place. What an amazing race today. Loose Wheel just having a dominating performance trying to do all he can to take the overall championship which he has achieved in today's race. Amazing. He managed to surprise the opponents with our strategy. Congratulations. Wow, I can't believe we got this victory this weekend. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loose Wheel is definitely excited about his second win of the season and the fact that he is able to take the overall championship from Big Dogs. As we take a look at the full race result, Big Dogs finished at down in 10th place. Black Pirates finished in 7th. These two other top two marbles uh, did not have a very good race today, but Loose Wheel is the one who had the best race. Night River is having the fastest lap as well. Let's see at look at the replays to see how Loose Wheel is just able to keep in the lead for almost the entirety of the race outside of the first two laps. Uh, Gold Piston was in the lead and he was uh, battling with Loose Wheel for the first lap or two and then Loose Wheel just extended his lead for the entirety of the race after that point. You can see also Pink Pearl trying to use all the chaos right at the beginning of the race to uh, gain spots but she was not able to do it. She ended up finishing in fifth place. Gold Piston you can see one of the few moments that he was in the lead in the race and now Loose Wheel is already in the lead by the end of the first lap to go through that tunnel there. A very interesting tunnel uh, for today's race. You can see all these marbles. Arrow Frog having a decent race today, uh, but Night River is having the fastest lap, uh, which is surprising. You would think that Loose Wheel would have the fastest lap, but maybe the reason he was in the lead for so long is that other, all the other marbles just were not able to catch up to him once he had already made the lead. You can see here Gold Piston coming up and taking third place from Mamonos. Great move by Gold Piston there. We only have one more race to go after this race. And uh, there's only one more chance for these marbles to be able to come over and take the overall championship lead from now Loose Wheel. We'll have to see how the overall standings have been shaken after today's race. And see which marbles are still in contention for the overall championship in the last race in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Gold Piston and Night Rivers were the main marbles who were fighting in the top two podium spots besides Loose Wheel. Uh, and Night Rivers was able to take second place after having a couple bad races. Another second place finish for Night Rivers. He has to have the record for the most second place finishes in this season. So you can see Loose Wheel a good like probably three or four seconds in front of the other two marbles at the finish line. And now it's time to look at the overall standings. Loose Wheel has taken first place from Big Dog, who is 10 points behind Loose Wheel at this point with 88, but Loose Wheel has 98. Arrow Frog is in third place with 82. Black Pirates has 79. Pink Pearl having 78. Night Rivers has gained a couple spots, getting to sixth place with 72 points. It's not possible for him to take the overall win. But he still may be able to climb the standings in the final race to pass up problems. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below who you think will win the overall championship at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Congratulations to Loose Wheel for getting first place, Night Rivers in second, and Gold Piston in third place. Loose Wheel taking the overall championship, will he be able to hold it for the last race of the Marvel Service 2022?
we'll have to wait and find out. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back, Marvel Sports fans, to the qualifying for the final race of the Marvel Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, for the Interlagos Grand Prix. Five marbles are in contention for the overall championship. Loose Wheel sits atop of the standings with Big Dogs coming in close at second, and Arrow Frog sits in third place. And Black Pirates and Pig Pearl are the only other two marbles that are mathematically possible to take the overall championship. So these five marbles really need to have a good performance in today's qualifying if they want to have a good start in the race here at Sao Paulo, Brazil. And let's take a look at the track for today's race. It is a very long track with multiple overlays, a very winding track. It also has a couple very fast sections for these marbles to uh, really increase their speed in today's qualifying. So, uh, Loose Wheel, if he can get second or better in the uh, race in a couple days, then he will be guaranteed the championship for this uh, entire season. So, if he can get in the first top two or even top three spots in the overall qualifying, then uh, he'll be able to have a better chance of winning this championship. So we'll have to watch and see how he does in this qualifying. And now for Q1 of the last race of the Marvel Circus 2022, and we're off. And it is Knight Rivers in the lead, being followed by Mamonas, who now takes first place as we start the first lap. And it is uh, uh, Arrow Frog, who has now taken first place from Mamonas. And now they go up the boost for the first time. It is Arrow Frog, Knight Rivers, and Fast Pins up there in third place. Fast Pins want to have another good qualifying after having a good qualifying last race, but he did have a terrible race. So. Uh, the qualifying doesn't really matter. Yes, it does, but only if you're able to use it to your advantage in the actual race. Knight Rivers is still in the lead, but he is facing some pressure from Pink Pearl at this point. Also, Peppers is up there with Arrow Frog as well. Peppers is now trying to come and take first place from Knight Rivers. Where are these marbles that are in contention for the overall championship? There's Arrow Frog and Pink Pearl in third and fourth. Loose Wheel is down in ninth, and Big Dogs is in 11th. Will Big Dogs be eliminated in this first qualifying? It's looking like it's going to happen. And Loose Wheel has fallen down and into the elimination zone as well. Loose Wheel will be eliminated. Big Dogs barely gets out of the elimination zone. Loose Wheel will start in 11th place. Black Pirates in 10th. Loose Wheel is going to have a very hard time in this race if he wants to hold the championship lead in the final race. Black Pirates also is going to have a hard time if he wants to be able to come up and take the lead as well. We'll have to see how the remaining two marbles uh, are going to be able to do in this qualifying in Q2 as we start here. Peppers is in the lead being followed by Big Dogs and Arrow Frog as uh, we go through these turns and this straight here almost up to the booster at this point and it is Sea Turtles and Fast Coupins who are in second and third but uh, there is a lot of fighting up in the top three or four marbles that uh, it's hard to keep track. Peppers is in the lead now being followed by Big Dogs who takes first place there and Pink Pearl is in sec or third place. Peppers is trying to uh, climb the tables even though he can't win. He still would like to get some more points. Big Dogs has a little slip up there allowing Peppers to get a huge lead. We are in the final lap. Big Dogs and Pink Pearl as well as Arrow Frog are all up safely in the top half of the field. It's not looking like they're going to be eliminated in this qualifying. Night Rivers, Mimonas, and Gold Piston are the ones that are looking like are going to be eliminated at this point unless they can do something to get out of the elimination zone. It's not looking like it's going to happen though. Peppers, Pink Pearl, Big Dog, Fast Pins, Arrow Frog, and Sea Turtles will be advancing to the next qualifying. Night Rivers, Mimonas, and Gold Piston will be eliminated in Q2. Pink Pearl, Big Dogs, and Arrow Frog are the three marbles that are still able to take the overall championship that have survived the two qualifyings. We'll have to see how they finish in this last qualifying. And we're off for the final qualifying of this season. And this Arrow Frog out to the lead with Pink Pearl and Big Dogs coming in close behind. They all want to get as close as possible to that pole position. But, uh, and now it is go uh, Fast Q pins in second, but they are overtaken by Big Dogs there. Arrow Frog is, sits in third place in the overall standings. He really wants to take the overall win, and he's making it as easy as possible for him to do that in this final race. Sea Turtles coming in at second. He sits in ninth place with only 30 points in the overall standings. 
Uh, so it is surprising to see him in this qualifying. He uh, is not necessarily a bad racer, just has had a terrible season in this season. He did uh, get in third place overall last season, so we'll have to see how he does in this qualifying. He has overtaken uh, Arrow Frog there, with Pink Pearl now coming in at third place, trying to take second from Arrow Frog here. Big Dogs is in fourth, being pressured by Peppers, and then there's Fast Cupins trailing behind in sixth place. He has made it to another final qualifying, coming in at sixth place, uh, like he did in last qualifying, but uh, he's not doing very well in this Q4 at this point. Sea Turtles has gained a huge lead at this point, with uh, Pink Pearl and Arrow Frog coming up from behind, as well as Big Dogs. Pink Pearl wants to try to come up and take the pole position. Will she be able to take the overall win? And, uh, and will she win the final race like she did last season? We'll have to wait and see. But at this point, we are in the final lap. She is looking like she's going to finish in second. Unless Sea Turtles does some uh, detrimental mistake that will allow her to catch back up. Arrow Frog is in third place. Fast Coupins is in fourth. Big Dogs and Peppers are down in fifth and sixth. And Sea Turtles is looking like he's going to be the champion of this qualifying. And he, he will get the pole position. T uh, Pink Pro will be getting second. Arrow Frog in third. Fast Coupins will come in at fourth. Peppers in fifth. And Big Dogs will be sitting in sixth on the starting grid. A very interesting starting grid for this race. Loose Wheel coming in at 11th place in the starting grid. And Pink Pearl, Arrow Frog, and Big Dogs coming up in the top six. These three marbles are going to have the most likely chance of taking the overall championship from Loose Wheel at this point. This track shows a lot of potential for these marbles to really show how good they are at racing as we saw a lot of overtakes in today's qualifying. Here are the full results for this qualifying. Sea Turtles coming in at first, Pink Pearl in second, Arrow Frog in third, Fast Two Pins in fourth, and Peppers will round off your top five. Black Pirates and Loose Wheel down in 10th and 11th. They're going to have a very hard time. They want to take this championship. Pink Pearl starting in second. Will she be able to take her second championship win? This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Seven races have all led up to this. Five marbles are in contention for the overall championship. Loose Will sits atop of the standings, but he qualified in 11th, which leaves the door wide open for the championship to be taken. Hi everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and welcome to the Interlagos Grand Prix for the final race of the Marble Circuits 2022. In today's race, we're going to be having the championship decider to see which marble will be able to take the overall championship crown in this season. With the first place in the standings being Loose Wheel, with uh, Big Dogs in second, Arrow Frog is in third place. In order for Big Dogs to take the overall championship, Loose Wheel needs to be finished in fourth place and Big Dogs has to be in first place. If Loose Wheel finishes in third place, Big Dogs also has to have the fastest lap. And then if Arrow Frog wants to take the overall championship, Loose Wheel has to finish in sixth. Also Black Pirates and Pink Pearl are also mathematically possible to take the overall championship, but then Loose Wheel has to finish in eighth place. As we take a look at the results from the qualifying a few days ago, Sea Turtles getting the pole position, Pink Pearl and Arrow Frog are down there in second and third as well. These two marbles want to take the overall championship as well as Big Dogs and Black Pirates coming in uh, later in the starting gate. And then there's Loose Wheel down in 11th. Sparky ending up in 12th. Guessing from the positions on the starting grid, the most likely marble to take the championship at this point is Arrow Frog, who sits in third place. He's definitely far enough ahead from Loose Wheel to be able to take the overall championship. And now, the final race of the Marble Circus 2022. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. 
And it is Sea Turtles in the lead being followed by Pink Pearl who takes the lead right at the beginning of the race. And it is Peppers in third place. But now it is Night Rivers who has taken first place. And he is fighting with Pink Pearl who has now taken it back. And now the top three marbles have separated themselves from the rest of the field as we get going in the first lap of 19 today for the final race of the Marble Circuits 2022. It is Arrow Frog in third place trying to come up and take over Night Rivers and Pink Pearl. We're up in second and first. Try to get as many points as possible because he can't take the overall championship. Where is Loose Wheel? He is down in 10th. Big Dogs is in 8th. Black Pirates is in 6th. Gold Piston has gotten the fastest lap with a time of 26.188. We'll have to see if anyone else can take it. Especially for some of these marbles who can take the overall championship like Arrow Frog, Black Pirates, and uh, Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl, though is having a tremendous lead at this point, facing some pressure from Night Rivers, a familiar sight in this season. Night Rivers is very uh, upset that he can't take the overall championship. He at least wants to get up there, possibly even in the top three. And uh, he has taken first place from Pink Pearl there as we go through these turns. We are already in lap three, and it is Arrow Frog trying to catch up to Pink Pearl and Night Rivers still. Loose Wheel is still down in 11th place. Arrow Frog takes 2nd place from Pink Pearl there. And now Night Rivers gets the fastest lap with a time of 25.073. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he is in 1st place though, so that is not surprising. Arrow Frog is now trying to come up and take it from uh, Night Rivers, but he has a little slowdown there. And then he has a counter draft from uh, Pink Pearl there. Now allowing him to come up and catch up to Night Rivers there. He's coming up by Storm. And he's drafting at Night Rivers. Up the booster they go. Still no passes. And now Black Pirates is in third place. An amazing uh, comeback for Black Pirates. And he is coming up. And now he takes first and second place from Big or Arrow Frog and Night Rivers. He is in first place. Can he take a win in this season? He has had a tremendous comeback in this season. Will he be able to come and take the overall victory? We'll have to wait and see. But it is Arrow Frog who is in second place. Black Pirates gets the fastest lap there. Not surprising. The top three Marvels at this point are able to take the overall championship. Then there's Night Rivers and then Big Dogs who sits in second in the overall standings. And Loose Wheel is climbing up the tables. He is in seventh. That has kicked out Pink Pearl and Black Pirates from taking over the overall championship unless he falls back down to eighth place. Arrow Frog and Big Dogs, though, still can't take the overall championship if Loose Wheel finishes in this spot. The split between Black Pirates and Arrow Frog is 2.1 second, and there is rain in the forecast in a couple minutes. That'll definitely uh, be some interesting factors that these Marvels will have to play with in a couple minutes in the end of this race. You can see the thunder already starting to come as the, these Marvels are getting ready to embrace the drenching. Arrow Frog. Still in first place, and Big Dogs is fighting with Pink Pearl for second place. He did have it momentarily, but then Pink Pearl took it right back. And now they're coming up by Storm, and they take first place from Arrow Frog, and now Pink Pearl is in the lead. Big Dogs is in second, or third, trying to come up and take second from Arrow Frog, and then it is Gold Piston in fifth place. Black Pirates, though, is still very far ahead off the screen for most of the time the rain is coming so he's trying to make it as far ahead as possible before he can slow down by the rain Aerofrog has a little bump off the wall there not what he wanted but at least he doesn't lose any ground he does lose some ground off of pink pearl but no places the split between loose wheel and night rivers is only two seconds which is uh pretty far for the middle of the pack right rivers is trying to stay ahead of Loose Wheel, who is coming up to 6th place now. And uh, he is climbing up the tables. All these top marbles are very worried at this point, seeing Loose Wheel climbing up the tables. He has already gained a good 5 or 6 places. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on him. And the rainstorm is coming. It is getting darker outside as we about to get into the rain. Black Pirates is still in the lead by a huge margin. And then Pink Pearl and then Big Dogs top three marbles are very separated at this point as Big Dogs is going up the booster there and now Loose Wheel is in fourth place. If Loose Wheel makes it um, one more place, Big Dogs has to get first place and the fastest lap in order to win the overall championship. Loose Wheel is coming in for the overall championship contention. He is doing a tremendous job at this point. We have uh, 
Seven laps to go, and then Loose Wheel will be champion if he can get one more place. And the marble that is defending this place is Big Dog, the marble that needs to be in first with the fast slap if he wants to be able to beat uh, Loose Wheel, who is, will be in third place if he takes it over. Black Pirates knows nothing of Loose Wheel coming in at fourth place. He still thinks he is doing a tremendous job as well as for Pink Pearl as we go through this uh, starting line for the start of the 13th lap, and it is starting to rain. Loose Wheel has passed Big Dogs. Loose Wheel now can win the overall championship if he finishes in this spot in the overall uh, finish in this race. What will these other marbles do to get him to go down farther in the standings? The split between Black Pirates and Pink Pearl is about a minute and, uh, not a minute, a second. Loose Wheel coming up over Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl does not like what she's seeing. Loose Wheel being in third place. She's definitely in no position to beat him in this circumstance. Looks like the rain has not yet gotten here, but it, uh, it definitely is getting darker outside and it's getting a little cooler as well for some of these marbles. Black Pirates is very far ahead from Pink Pearl. And Loose Wheel comes up and takes second place from Pink Pearl there. Loose Wheel has solidified his over championship winning unless uh, some of all of these other marbles come and take it back like that right there. Pink Pearl takes it right back. Big Dogs needs to get up in first place with the fastest lap. He can take the overall championship if Loose Wheel finishes in third place. So he really needs to come and catch up at this point. And now it is starting to rain. Loose Wheel takes first place for, or second place from Pink Pearl there. And now Black Pirates is getting slowed by the rain. As we go up the booster, Loose Wheel is coming up and trying to pass uh, Black Pirates for first place. Black Pirates is uh, trying to hold his ground. Loose Wheel is being very aggressive today. And uh, Black Pirates still has to try to stay and get his first win of the season. If he can, he can take the win, that will be enough for him at this point because he cannot win the overall championship with Loose Wheel coming in at second place. Big Dogs and Pink Pearl trying to come up and take over Loose Wheel. You can see Black Pirates having some trouble with the water. He is skidding, and Loose Wheel takes first place from Black Pirates. An amazing comeback by Loose Wheel, starting in 11th place. He is now in first place, and he has solidified his overall championship win. He needs to just stay in the top three, and he'll win the overall championship. Big Dogs has taken second place. He does not want that to happen. He is trying all he can to get in first place and push Loose Wheel into third place. And it looks like Peppers has hit Mamonas off the track. We'll have to see if he gets any penalties after this. We are in the second to last lap. Loose Wheel is still in first place. Looks like Peppers will be getting a punishment of negative two positions. So the position that he will finish will be two more down than he what he actually finished. And now Loose Wheel is coming and starting the final lap with uh, Big Dogs in second. Black Pirates is in third place. Loose Wheel pretty much has won the championship at this point unless he has some terrible mistake where he falls down to fourth place. And now we're going to have an overlapping situation. Big Dogs has taken first place there and now Sea Turtles is slowing him down there as Sea Turtles is in last place besides Mamonas and he uh, has overlapped Sea Turtles there. But Big Dogs is in first place. Loose Wheel is in second. Big Dogs will be your champion but Loose Wheel will be your overall championship winner of the Marble Circuits 2022. What an amazing accomplishment for Loose Wheel coming in at second. Big Dogs tried all he can to take the overall championship if Loose Wheel had finished just one or two places lower. Big Dogs might have had a chance, but it is Loose Wheel who will be the overall championship decider. Pepper's coming in at ninth, but his punishment will make him have to finish in 11th because of the aggressiveness that he had on the track, pushing Mamonas off the track. Loose Wheel, you're champion of the Marble Circuit. Yeah, let's go, let's go, yeah. You can hear Loose Wheel and his crew screaming for joy as they have won the overall championship, the second team in history to win the overall championship after Pink Pearl. Here's the overall race result. Big Dogs finishing in first place. Loose Wheel coming in at second. Pink Pearl in third. Black Pirates comes in at fourth. And Arrow Frog finished in fifth. All these top marbles that were in contention 
finish in the top spot. They all tried their hardest, but Loose Wheel ultimately took the overall win. Black Pirates getting the fastest lap. Big Dog's wishing he had the fastest lap, but that didn't happen. Black Pirates was able to take that. Now let's take a look at the replays. The final replays of the season to see how Loose Wheel was managed to take a comeback starting in 11th place, getting all the way to first and then to second after Big Dogs took it from him. Let's take a look at these uh, starting grid, see how these marbles did. Uh, there was a lot of jostling in the middle of the pack that uh, switched a lot of the places up in the marbles. And then Loose Wheel ended up starting in last place after this first turn and he had ways to go to get up in second place, which is an incredible accomplishment for him. You can see Knight Rivers coming up and taking first place there. He was a big contender in the actual race for a lot of the first half of the race, and then he started falling down as some of the marbles that can take the overall championship started to come up and push him down the order. You can see Knight Rivers about to come and overtake uh, Arrow Frog there. No, it's actually Black Pirates. That was a great move by Black Pirates there, taking two places, coming up all the way to first place. And he held first place for a good portion of the race, you know, by a large margin as well. You can also see uh, some marbles jostling around here in this corner, but Loose Wheel is nowhere to be seen. There he is down in, looks like probably fifth place there. And here he comes, taking two places there, right in the middle of Arrow Frog and Knight Rivers. Amazing move by by uh, Loose Wheel. He's definitely become an amazing racer in this season. You can also see him coming over and racing for the line on that lap with Pink Pearl. Uh, I'm not sure who made it there, but it looked like Loose Wheel is the one who was able to come out on top after that lap. And here's the point where Loose Wheel come and took first place from Black Pirates, an amazing move. Let's take a look at how, uh, wow, Pepper's hitting Mamonas off of the track. Definitely aggression on the track. And now for the full championship standing. Congratulations to Loose Wheel for getting first place. Big Dogs comes in at second, and Pink Pearl gets third place. What an amazing finish for to this season. Loose Wheel coming up only three points ahead of Big Dogs. You can see if uh, Loose Wheel had gotten only one place lower, they would have been tied. And uh, that's why Big Dogs needed the fastest lap. But Loose Wheel came in second, and he took the overall championship. Definitely an amazing comeback story for Loose Wheel. see all the members of the crew chiefs uh, cheering for all these marbles, including Loose Wheel, who took the overall championship. Congratulations to Big Dogs for taking this race win. Loose Wheel coming in at second, Pink Pearl coming in at third place. Everybody wants to be Loose Wheel today, as he has won the overall championship. The Loose Wheel fans are cheering for the uh, championship decider. Big Dogs and Pink Pearl, though, definitely having something to be proud of, getting second and third podium spots. Pink Pearl being a major contender in this season after winning the overall championship last season. She wasn't able to take it this season, but she still had a good run. What an amazing season. Eight amazing races, eight amazing qualifyings, and 12 amazing marbles, and one champion. Our ultimate congratulations goes to Loose Wheel as we enter the final podium ceremony of this season. Congratulations to Team Loose Wheel for winning the Marble Circuits 2022. They are definitely excited for this ultimate win of this season. You can hear the fans cheering, even not of the uh, Loose Wheel fans, but all the fans are cheering for today's victory. A dream come true for Loose Wheel today, winning the overall championship after finishing in dead last in Season 1. A definite comeback for Loose Wheel. Oh, as we congratulate him for the final time here on Marvel Circus 2022. Yet one more congratulations to Loose Wheel winning the overall championship. You can see the tears of joy in his eyes, hugging his comrades at this uh, amazing moment in his life, winning the overall championship of the Marvel Circus 22. An ultimate congratulations to him. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the Marble Circuits 2022. 
and stay tuned for the next installment here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off, and until next time, this has been Rebecca's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone. We are here at another marble tournament here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah. Today we have a Hubalino style slalom track. Four sections of slalom separated by four different separating one lane tracks down to the end where we have two finish lines and then one elimination zone 
And if the marble ends up in that zone, they're instantly eliminated, even if they're in first place. So that's where you want to avoid when you finish this race. We have four groups competing today. Each group has four marbles. And so that's 16 marbles all competing for the first spot in this uh, slalom tournament. You can see the whole track here today, all four slalom sections. And of course, we have the Plinko board at the beginning just to separate the marbles a little bit right at the beginning of the race. Here are our four groups. We have group A, B, C, and D. The top two from each group will advance to the semifinals and the same in the semifinals to the finals. Group A, here we go. Indonesia, Algeria, Bahrain, and Belgium will be our first four countries competing in this tournament. Who comes out to the lead first? It's Indonesia being followed by Algeria, and here comes Bahrain, and they're trying to overtake Indonesia, but here comes Algeria as well. They're all fighting up in the top two and three, and Belgium having a really hard time. They're really far behind, and here's where things get interesting. Will there be any el elimination? There goes Indonesia. They are eliminated. Algeria and Bahrain both get in the uh, finishing line. And Belgium also gets eliminated. So Algeria and Bahrain will be advancing to the semifinals of this tournament. Now it's time for Group B. We have USA, Australia, Ecuador, and Qatar all competing for two advancement spots. Qatar, of course, the home country for this year's World Cup. Everybody has their eyes on them recently and uh, we'll have to see how they do in this tournament. First off, it's Ecuador who was in the lead, but Australia overtakes them. Here comes Qatar as well. The USA is doing terribly right now, all the way down in last place. Qatar and Australia fighting up there in the top two spots, but who will get eliminated? Here goes Australia into the elimination zone. USA gets finished and so does Qatar. So and uh, Ecuador gets eliminated as well. So the USA and Qatar both advance to the semifinals with Algeria and Bahrain. Now it's time for Group C, France, Iceland, Brazil, and Pakistan. And they're off through the Plinko, and who comes out first? Looks like Brazil had a quick bypass of that Plinko section, which uh, got them a little bit of speed right at the beginning but it's really hard to keep any speed in the slalom track because you are fighting against gravity when you go up into the curved upward section. So really, this is about accuracy. You actually want to slow down in this track if you want to get through the whole thing. And here goes France into the elimination zone. France is eliminated. Brazil will advance. Who else will advance? There goes Iceland. They will advance. And Pakistan will not advance even though they get in the green zone because they were the last marble to finish. So Brazil and Iceland will advance to semifinals B. Now it's time for Group D. Sweden, Switzerland, England, and Iran. And they're off through the Plinko into this large blue section, and we start the slums now. Who is in the lead? It's Switzerland being followed by Sweden, and then England and Iran following in the second half of the race. And it is Sweden, who's already gained a significant lead. But out of nowhere, here comes Iran. And Sweden takes it right back. There's a lot of overtakes in this type of race. And let's see if anybody gets eliminated. There goes England. They're eliminated. Sweden will advance. Iran is in third place right now. Unless they get eliminated. No, they won't. So Iran will advance with Sweden to the semifinals. And unfortunately for Switzerland, they will be eliminated too. Because they were the last marble to finish. Sweden and Iran advancing to the semifinals versus Brazil and Iceland. Now it's time for semifinal A. We have Qatar, USA, Bahrain, and Algeria. All four of these marbles already advanced from the previous uh, qualifying groups. And now they have to a little bit more competition to fight against. And who comes out to lead? It's Qatar and the USA. Both of these marbles were in the same group. Group A. Let's see what they can do. Here comes Bahrain, though, and he overtakes the lead. But here comes USA and Qatar both coming right back out. And Qatar and the USA both get eliminated. Bahrain advances to the next round. And unless Algeria hits that elimination zone, they will advance as well. Yes, they go into the advancement spot. Both Group A marbles, Qatar and the USA, both going in the, advance, or the elimination spot. Unfortunate for those two marbles. 
but Bahrain and Algeria advance to the final. Now it's time for semifinal B. We have Iran, Sweden, Iceland, and Brazil. Let's see who can come out on top in this group. They're all pretty neck and neck, and they keep switching lanes as they keep going through the slalom. There's a lot of overtakes because lots of marbles shove each, mother, uh, each other out of the way. And it is Iran and Sweden who have gotten away from the rest of the pack. And they're fighting right now. Who will come out first? And there goes Sweden into the uh, elimination spot. They are eliminated. Iran gets stuck in the slalom. And they will advance. They're the first one in the green. And here comes Brazil in second. So they will advance as well. Unfortunately for Iceland, they will be eliminated because they, of course, were the last marble down. This is a marble race, not just about elimination, but also about speed. So Brazil and Iran will make it to the finals. We have Bahrain, Algeria, Iran, and Brazil all in the finals for this tournament. You can see the VIP spectators all on the edge of their seats awaiting this highly anticipated final. Which marble will come out on top and be the champion of this friendly tournament? Here we go, the finals. The elimination zone is disabled. So really this is just a race to the line, less pressure in terms of elimination but more pressure in terms of the high stakes of winning or losing the overall tournament it's algeria and iran battling it out in the uh, front of the pack but here comes brazil as well brazil and iran fighting there's only one slalom left who will come out on top they're fighting and it is brazil and iran still in the lead iran comes out first and iran will be your champion of this event brazil coming in close at second and Bahrain in third place. Algeria has not even finished yet. They actually are stuck on the track. They'll have a DNF, but they still will get fourth place because they made it to the final of this tournament. Definitely an exciting final. Iran coming out with the win. Let's see just how they did it. Brazil was so close to getting first place as well. Iran was able to overtake them in the last second. See, Brazil is actually in the last spot in this first slalom. They had a hard time through the Plinko section, and actually, Iran wasn't in first place either. It was Algeria who was in lead at first, being followed by Bahrain. But Iran and Bahrain both got stuck there, and that's what allowed Brazil to catch back up. And I think they overtake here as well. Brazil and Iran butting heads multiple times in this uh, final race can see right here is where Brazil comes into second place and actually into first and I ran close behind and every time they go into this little section where they kind of um, where they exit the next portion of the slalom they keep on hitting each other over and over again swapping spots pretty much each time because the first marble goes farther up into the uh, excess section of the slalom and the other marble actually gets hit by the other marble already there. And that causes them to lose momentum, ultimately letting them exit the slalom first. And you see there, Iran hitting Brazil, causing them to lose out the win. And stealing the win for themselves. So it will be Iran who will be your champion of this friendly race. Congratulations to them. Also, congratulations to Brazil and Bahrain are podium sitters. Congratulations to our podium sitters, Iran, Brazil, and Bahrain. Iran getting the Hubeca Cup from this tournament. Definitely an amazing tournament to watch. We had a lot of great overtakes and a lot of downfalls as well. Hello and welcome back to Quebec Marble Runs for our New Year's Special Marble Race Tournament. We have our marble track laid out for us with lots of funnels, a staircase, and lots of racing to come. We have four groups, A, B, C, and D. And we'll start off with Group A, China, Iceland, the UK, and Indonesia. And they are off into the first funnel they go. It is China in lead, being followed by the United Kingdom. 
and Iceland is in there as well. Indonesia is having a hard time getting out that first white funnel, and China gets into the first stairs. Into the second stairs they go, and it is United Kingdom in second place. Iceland in third, China still leading the pack as we get into the first yellow funnels. And let's see if the United Kingdom can catch up, possibly even do an overtake on China. And there goes China into the second yellow funnel. Here comes the United Kingdom. No overpasses yet. And we're running out of track for the United Kingdom to overpass for the lead. Only the top two marbles advance to the next round. And China is sealing the deal for them to advance. Here comes the United Kingdom and a hard hit there, but they aren't able to do anything to China. And now China's in the final funnel. And China will be the first marble to advance out of Group A. And now all the other marbles are in the almost the final funnel. And the United Kingdom is having a really hard time getting there. Here kind of they come in Iceland comes out over Indonesia at the last second. A very close finish. The United Kingdom comes in at last after being in second for the whole race. So China and Iceland will advance to semi-final A. Now it's after Group B, Portugal, India, France, and Japan. And they're off. And it is Portugal who comes out to lead quick through that first white funnel. And now they're all in this orange funnel. And we got two marbles kind of doing a dance of sorts. I believe that was uh, France and Japan or India. And is Japan in the lead being followed by Portugal as we go up the staircases. And uh, France in third place. Here comes Japan out of the staircase first. And Portugal comes out at second into the yellow funnels. And France and India close behind. But it is India who looks like they're in the lead. Now that's Japan as we go into the second yellow funnel. Portugal comes in at second. India third. France in fourth. As we go around the second yellow funnel. Japan. Still in lead as we go into these rails into the blue funnel. The blue funnel is a slower speed funnel. And here comes Portugal and a hit from them. And now we got India. And India is in the lead as we go into the final funnel. We have three other marbles who still need to advance. And there goes Japan. And they advance past India in this final yellow funnel. Now it's a race between Portugal and India. India comes out first. And it will be Japan and India who will advance to the semifinals. And Portugal and France will be eliminated. So Japan and India will face off versus China and Iceland in semifinal A. And now it's time for Group C. We have the USA, Vietnam, Pakistan, and Argentina in Group C. Only two of them will make it past this round. Which two will advance? And it is uh, Vietnam and the USA coming out to lead. But here comes Argentina. And they are past for lead. And they're in the stairs first. Who comes out second? It's the USA being followed by Pakistan and then Vietnam. As we go into the second staircase, it is Argentina who is still in the lead. Argentina now entering the first yellow funnel. USA coming up. Quite a few stairs behind. Here comes Pakistan and Vietnam very close behind as well. We go into the yellow funnel and Argentina still able to hold lead. But after that, things may start to change. Who comes out second? It's Vietnam who has come up into second from last place. USA is in third. Pakistan in fourth as we go into the second yellow funnel. And Vietnam is pressuring for first place, but they aren't able to make any moves. Argentina still in first as we go into the second to last funnel. Vietnam trying so hard to get into that hole before Argentina. And there's a hit from the USA as well. And the USA is able to get to the last funnel. Here comes Argentina as well. Let's see if they can get... Uh, finish before Pakistan does there goes Pakistan Pakistan will advance and Vietnam is up there as well but the USA will come in at second and they will advance along with Pakistan Argentina and Vietnam will be eliminated from this tournament so the USA and Pakistan in semifinal B now it's time for group D Brazil Switzerland Mexico and Spain
and they're off through the plinko into the white funnel they go and it is spain who comes out to lead but they're all neck and neck in this first orange funnel mexico comes out first as we go into the stairs spain in second brazil in third and switzerland will be finishing off the rest but i think they are gonna dnf they haven't entered the stairs yet they might be stuck underneath that funnel We'll have to see as we get farther in this race if we get a glimpse of Switzerland or if they're out of this race. And it is Mexico who is in the lead, being followed by Brazil and Spain. One of these marbles will be eliminated. Which one will it be right now? Spain is in last place outside of Switzerland, who is still stuck under that funnel. So this is a very high stake race. Only one of these marbles will be eliminated. And Brazil and Spain are fighting for the one spot. Mexico way in the lead. And I think they will be able to finish comfortably in first place. Brazil exiting the blue funnel. Now they try to get out of the final yellow funnel before Spain catches up. Will they be able to do it? It looks like it. And they will. So it will be Mexico and Brazil who will advance to the semifinals. And Spain will be eliminated and Switzerland as a DNF they will be eliminated as well definitely a bad performance by them we have seen marbles get stuck underneath funnels like this before but we haven't seen it in a while see they're still stuck under that funnel so Brazil and Mexico will go up against Pakistan in the USA in semi-final B, now it's time for semi-final A. We have China, we have Iceland, we have Japan, and we have India. And they're off through the plinkle they go, and it is India who comes out to lead into the first orange funnel they go, all neck and neck. And this is really where they start to separate as we go into the stair section, and we have uh, Iceland getting a little bit stuck underneath that funnel but they were able to get dislodged by India and they're all one step apart as we go up the staircase let's see if anybody can gain any ground in this little short section no they don't so it is still all Iceland India China and Japan in the respective places as we uh, exit the staircase really really close match we go into the first yellow funnel, it is Iceland who comes out first, being followed by India and then China and Japan, still all in the same places. Let's see if there can be any moves made as we go into the second yellow funnel. Still Iceland in the lead, but China's pressuring for second. Will they be able to do it? Yes, they do. And now they're in second place in the advancement spot, being followed very closely by India as we go into the blue funnel, and Japan is way behind. And, uh... Here comes Japan. China exits as well as Japan. They might be able to advance and eliminate India and Iceland. Here comes India and Iceland, though. Japan and China will advance, eliminating India and Iceland. So close, but so far, Iceland leading the pack for so long. But they had a downfall in the second half of this race. China and Japan will move on to the finals. Now it's time for semi-final B, Pakistan, the USA, Mexico, and Brazil. And they're off. Who will come out first? It's Brazil being followed by Mexico and then the USA. Pakistan in there as well. Brazil's able to exit that funnel first into the staircase. And they've got at least four stairs ahead of second place. Who is Mexico or Pakistan? And then Mexico and the USA will follow that as we go into the second staircase. Brazil almost already at the top of the staircase. They've gained some ground over Pakistan in that short little straight section. Pakistan now in this first yellow funnel along with Brazil. And now they're all in this first yellow funnel. Who come out first? It's Brazil. And Pakistan has looked like they'll be able to come in at second. Mexico and the USA are neck and neck though. And I think the USA will be able to overtake. Yes, they do. Into the second yellow funnel. And Pakistan, I think, has overpassed uh, Brazil for first place in this yellow funnel. Yes, they have. Now they're in first place. Who comes out in second? It's Brazil. Into the second to last blue funnel. And Brazil may be able to overtake here. Yes, they do into the final funnel. They go. And here comes the USA. They may still be able to advance uh, if they are able to pass Pakistan. And they actually get first place. A quick overpass by Brazil. 
and they Brazil will advance as well. The USA and Brazil, Mexico and Pakistan will be eliminated. A great performance by the USA. They were in third place. They go and pass Pakistan, get up to Brazil, and pass within a couple seconds of being in that funnel with Brazil. Luckily, Brazil was able to uh, end the race as well. Eliminated Pakistan and Mexico. So our final contestants will be China, Japan, the USA, and Brazil. Comment down below which one of these four countries you think will win the final match of this New Year's special. And they're off into the Plinko, and it looks like Japan comes out to lead, but it is Brazil now who is in lead as they all get jumbled up in this first orange funnel. Who will exit first? Neck and neck, but it is Brazil who comes out first, then the USA, then J Japan, then China. And Japan and China both trying to be on the same stair, but China is push down a stair because this is a one marble per stair only type of staircase they're all one step behind each other being led by brazil usa and brazil in the final on a yellow funnel now they're all in the final yellow funnel who will come out first and ex er, enter the second yellow funnel it is the usa overpasses brazil here comes brazil right back though a little bit of contact there and see if they can come back and retake the lead. USA so close to the hole and they're able to exit first into the rails, into the blue funnel they go. And this is for the win. Brazil coming as well. The USA trying to dodge, but they aren't able to. A hard contact from two marbles now. And they're all neck and neck in this blue funnel. And here comes China. Some hard hits there. China is able to get to the final funnel. Let's see if any other marbles can come up. Here comes Japan and the USA as well. China gets hit by the USA. And the USA might be able to take it, but no, it's Japan. Japan will be the champion of the New Year's special. China will come in in second with the silver and the USA with the bronze. Brazil won't finish on the podium. They'll be last in the finals, but still fourth place overall in the finals. What a crazy finish. Did you guess correctly and who would win the final match of this New Year's special? Comment down below. And now it's time for the podium ceremony for our three podium sitter marbles. It is Japan who comes out in first, China and second, and the USA in third place. Congratulations to all three. Hello and Merry Christmas from all of us here at Fubeka's Marble Runs. Today we will have a friendly race with eight countries from around the world competing in this Christmas marble race. You can see the track laid out for us today, of course, with all of the Christmas decorations. And we've even gotten a light dusting of snow, which definitely will add a little bit of a Christmas spirit to this marble race. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Glass Car 2023 will be coming soon in January. Definitely some exciting news and definitely something to look forward to. Now it's time to meet the teams competing in this tournament. We have Japan, Brazil, India, and Argentina in the top bracket. And of course, the four marbles in the second bracket. But first, it's time for semifinal A. And we are about to start and wear off into the first white funnel they go. And it is Japan who comes out to the quick lead as we go into this orange funnel. And here come all the other marbles as well. Who will come out first? I think that's Argentina. As we get going into the first rail section, it's Japan being followed very closely by Brazil as we go into this first orange funnel after that rail section. And there goes Brazil out of that orange funnel. And they're going to be able to get to the uh, conveyor belt first. And let's see who's directly behind them. There's one step, two steps behind Brazil is India as we go into the next rail section, which is really just about gaining ground over your opponent because you can't overtake in this one marble lane. As we go into the next orange funnel. Can Brazil keep the lead? Here comes Argentina and India. And I think Argentina, it has passed India. Yeah, India is in the back of the pack now. And Japan is still trying to hold the lead. But there goes Brazil back, taking the lead back. And we go into the second to last funnel. There goes Brazil into the final blue funnel. And they're able to exit first. And they'll advance. And Japan will advance as well. Argentina and India will be eliminated. So Brazil, Japan, 
are having a very good Christmas so far. Let's see if they do even better as we go to the finals. And now it's time for the second group of this tournament. We have Indonesia, Vietnam, USA, and Mexico. And only two of these marbles will go up against Brazil and Japan in the final. And now it's about to start and we're off. Comes out to lead first. It's Indonesia being followed by the USA, but they're all pretty neck and neck. And it looks like Vietnam and Mexico are able to exit that funnel first. But quickly, they're overtaken by the USA in that funnel. Into the rail section they go, being led by the USA. And here comes Mexico and Vietnam. Very close together. And what happened there? Mexico spinning in place for a couple of fractions of a second. And then they exit the funnel very quickly. I have never seen that in my marble commentating career. And well, it's a very good strategy by Mexico as we get going through this sky rail section. And Mexico trying to get out of this funnel before they face any trouble. But uh, Indonesia is making that hard. Here comes the USA and Vietnam as well. The USA only has a little bit more time to overpass Mexico for the lead. And here comes Vietnam. There comes USA as well. Mexico about to exit and enter the final funnel of this entire race. And here comes Indonesia in second. There goes Mexico and they will advance. Here comes the USA as well and Vietnam. And they're all in this final funnel. Who will exit first? There goes the USA and they will advance with Mexico very close in front of Vietnam and Indonesia who barely missed out on advancing to the finals of this Rebecca's Marble Runs Christmas special. So our finalists will be Mexico, the USA, Japan, and Brazil. Which one of these marbles will become the Christmas champion of this event? Comment down below. We have two North American countries, one Asian country, and one South American country all competing for this Christmas prize. Who will come out on top? We're about to find out. And they're off into the white final. They go. Who comes out first? It's Brazil being followed by Japan. Here comes Mexico and the USA as well. And Mexico is able to get out as well as for the USA. But these first couple of funnels are really hard to keep the lead because they're so bunched together. And uh, it's really hard to keep the lead. As we go into the second group of funnels, they're a little bit more spaced out now. In the USA and it looks like uh, Brazil are able to streak away from the rest of the pack. Into the rail section they go. Can Brazil catch up to the USA at the end of this sky rail section? There's Japan as well. And uh, where is Mexico? I haven't seen them in a while. In the USA and Brazil fighting in that funnel. Uh, Brazil is able to get out first, but here comes the USA and they retake the lead. Into that little wiggly section into the third to last funnel. Brazil and the USA really fighting for this. USA still in lead, but here comes Brazil right back. And they overtake for the lead into the final funnel. Can the USA catch up and be the Christmas champion? And they are able to take the quick lane. And the USA will be the Christmas champion of this Rebecca's Marble Runs Christmas special. Brazil will come in at second. And Japan will be in third place. Mexico missing out on the podium but still made it to the finals congratulations to the usa for being our christmas champion so there you go the usa moving up to the championship position getting the christmas Rebecca cup brazil so close to getting the win they weren't able to do it. They were really neck and neck, the USA and Brazil, for the entire race, taking the lead back and forth. And it, uh, ultimately, it was the USA who came out with the win. And they get to sit on the top of the podium and be the Christmas champion. Congratulations to the USA for being the winner of this Christmas special. Brazil coming in at second and Japan in third place, getting to sit on the podium as well but today everybody spires to be last car friendly race is about to start the lights are lighting on we have brazil in first place uk in second mexico in third and we are off 
and it will be 19 laps for this race as we go to the first corner. It's Mexico who comes out to lead up the booster. They go and around that plexiglass barrier and into these next turns. It is Mexico extending their lead ahead of the USA and Vietnam who are trying to catch back up as we go into the final couple of corners for this first lap and we have gotten a full view of this track as we go into lap two it's mexico still in lead usa and indonesia in second in third place up the booster yet again mexico 0.8 seconds ahead of france now who is in second place as we go into these next couple of turns who comes out from that chaos there it's indonesia who takes the lead from mexico as we start the third lap mexico furious uh, with their lead being taken away they want to take it right back but now they're in third place the usa has taken it back as we go into this next turn but mexico takes it right back yet again and indonesia trying to stay in the lead as we go into the fourth lap uk in third place now pressuring the usa for second mexico has fallen down to fourth and brazil is in fifth place and Indonesia is a whole second ahead of the USA. Can the USA catch up to Indonesia and overtake for the lead? Indonesia fastest lap with 22.64 second time. And who's that in the lead? Now it's Vietnam. Vietnam has taken over the lead from Indonesia. And now Indonesia is facing pressure from the USA. Four second. France and Mexico back a little ways in fourth and fifth. Vietnam has just taken the fastest lap, 20.44 seconds. And they're doing a good job right now. Indonesia still trying to catch up. And they've caught a little bit of ground, 0.4 seconds. But it's gonna be hard for them to catch up. And here they go though, and they take the lead there. Indonesia now back in the lead. Vietnam is very close though, to so go through the booster, and Vietnam takes it through the uh, exit of that plexiglass section. And now they're back in the lead. We're on lap seven, almost halfway through this race already. Vietnam in the lead, Indonesia in second, France coming in at third, USA in fourth, Mexico in fifth, and here comes France, and they overtake for second place over at the USA and Indonesia and now they're putting their sights on Vietnam and there they go and they're making a pass there and now France is in the lead Vietnam very close behind though let's see if they can take it right back as we enter the ninth lap and here comes Indonesia good speed from them and they overtake for second place from Indonesia up the plexiglass they go yet again Indonesia back in the lead over France and Vietnam. These top three marbles are very close. A lot of overtakes and Indonesia is trying to fight France. It gets back and forth. France, Vietnam, Indonesia in the lead. And here comes the USA. They want to get in on the action as well. And where is France? They have extended themselves from the rest of these three marbles. USA now in second place catching up to France. Here comes Indonesia and France and the USA as we go into this next corner. Indonesia in the lead. This is a battle in the second half of this race. So many marbles fighting for the lead. Indonesia in first place. Here comes Vietnam. The USA is in there as well. France and Brazil all co closing in on Indonesia who's having a really hard time keeping the lead. They've lost it many times but somehow they were able to take it back and now it's Vietnam who is in lead. Another good leader in this race. It's Vietnam Indonesia battling for the win and Brazil is up there in third place as well. France and the USA are losing some ground on these top three marbles. Mexico fighting the USA for fifth place. Will they be able to do it? And there goes China and they're barely ahead of Vietnam. We may have a lapping situation here as we enter the 13th lap up the booster once again. Here comes Vietnam and Brazil. Brazil now in the lead over Vietnam and Indonesia who is both drafting Brazil. Indonesia takes back the lead in that street as we go into the final corner of this lap into the 14th lap they go and China may start to put some problems on some of these other marbles but China has fallen off the track and China will have a DNF. What a horrible situation for China. They went over the plexiglass and now they're on the ground. That's good for Brazil and Indonesia because now they won't have any marble 
to worry about. To slow them down ahead of the other two marbles. We're in the 15th lap. Indonesia in the lead, but Brazil coming as well. They are switching back and forth so many times. It's hard to keep track of who is currently in lead. There goes Brazil back in lead. It's a neck and neck battle between Brazil and Indonesia as we enter the 16th lap. Let's take a look at the replay here on China. It went so high up, it went over the plexiglass. Had they stayed on that uh, section of the track that they landed on, they would have had a major shortcut. I'm not sure if that would have been allowed. Brazil in first place, 0.3 seconds ahead of Indonesia. We are in the 16th lap. They lose in third place, France being followed by Vietnam and Mexico. But they're pretty far behind, second and third. And then there's Brazil leading the pack with quite a bit of length. Brazil only has two more laps to go. Here comes France, and they may overtake the lead through this straight. They don't. And as Brazil still in the lead, they only have two more laps to go, and they will be the champion of this race. Can they fend off France for that time? Up the booster they go. France trying everything they can to pass, and they do right there. And now it's France in the lead as we go around this hairpin turn. And now we're going to have to start thinking about more lapping situations because India is in the back of the pack and you're going to start seeing them on the screen as well but now it's time for the final lap it's france in lead up the booster for the final time brazil takes the lead and here comes vietnam and they take it from france as well they're both trying to catch up to brazil they're running out of time can brazil fend them off for two more turns and there's a big boost of speed for brazil around the final turn and it will be brazil who will be the champion of this friendly glass car race Vietnam coming in close at second and France in third place Mexico in fourth Indonesia rounds off your top five definitely congratulations to Brazil they fought hard for it and they took home the gold Vietnam fighting the entire race getting second and Indonesia another big leader finishing in fifth still a, a respectable finish but it's no first place like they wanted. So China DNFing on that booster section. Definitely a hard pill to swallow for them. As we take a look at some of these replays, Mexico was in lead for the first couple of laps. But eventually they were dethroned, fell down as Argentina and Vietnam came to the spotlight. Here's Vietnam overtaking the USA for second place. I believe the USA may have taken it right back. The second half of this race it was a neck and neck battle between quite a few marbles. They kept overtaking for the lead over and over again, back and forth. Definitely an intense race. It's plexiglass, the star of the track. These marbles really fly. Off. The dangers of that. These marbles are taking risks in order to receive glory. And in China's case, that risk did not turn out so well. There's Indonesia, France in the USA, up in the top three. And look at that. In, uh, India. Having trouble on the wall section there. Here's Brazil, Indonesia, and Vietnam fighting for that top position. And here's the spot where China flies off the track. Way too high, too much speed, which caused them to DNF. up the booster, almost a vertical exit. Here's an overtake by Vietnam. So congratulations to Brazil for being the champion of this friendly glass car race. Vietnam coming in at second and France coming in at third place. This is just a preview of Glass Car 2023. 
which is coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for Glass Car 2023. It's definitely going to be an amazing season. Brazil with the fastest. We are here in Bahrain for another friendly race here on Fabeca's Marble Runs. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah. We have 12 marbles representing 12 countries all competing in a 19 lap race here in this Bahrain circuit. You can see the, uh, the uh, teams over on the left. USA, India, Australia, Argentina, France, Belgium, Japan, Vietnam, Mexico, Brazil, China, and Germany will round off your 12 marbles competing in today's race. Which one will come out on top? We had a race similar to this uh, two videos ago, and it was the USA who came out on top. Will they come out on top again? We'll have to see here in Bahrain. The stadium is packed, as it always is, for the tournaments here on Fubeka's Marble Runs on the edge of their seats awaiting this race which will definitely be an exciting race. As I said, 19 laps, which is made possible by the Marble Booster here on Fabeca's Marble Runs. Amazing piece of technology. And now we're about to get started with the race. The lights are on, the marbles are ready. And we are off, and it is India coming out to lead right at the start. But the USA is able to take it right back through the DRS they go. And there's a whole bunch of marbles coming out into the lead, uh, being led by Vietnam. Argentina coming up close in second. Mexico is now overtaking Argentina for second place. Argentina has fallen down to third. Australia is in fourth. And France is rounding off your top five for this first lap. USA has fallen down all the way to seventh. They started in pole position. Will they be able to catch back up and win another friendly race here in Bahrain? We'll have to see. But it is still Vietnam who was in the lead, but Argentina is able to overtake it. Vietnam has fallen down all the way to fourth place. Mexico coming in at second. Ar uh, Australia in third place. And France has taken fourth. Argentina trying to stretch out their lead here in the third lap. But they do take the DRS, which allows a lot of other countries to come up and catch back up to them. And Australia is the marble that comes out of all that chaos in the lead. Mexico still in second. Argentina is, all, is back up in third place now. France trying to catch up as well. Australia is already facing some pressure from Argentina, who's came back to second already. Mexico having some trouble with that DRS. And uh, they are falling down to third. Here comes Argentina. Trying to make a pass for first over Argentina. And there it is right there through the inside. Argentina now in first place. Australia not very happy. And there's a bump from them. And they overtake back for first place. And here comes France now trying to pressure for second over Argentina. But nothing happens yet. The USA has fallen all the way down to 12th place starting in pole position. They are doing very bad in this race so far. Let's see if they can catch back up any. India in 11th. They started in second in the pole position uh, starting order. They're having a terrible race as well. Australia still in the lead. Nobody's able to pressure them at this point. Belgium, though, coming up in third place. Now the pressuring Argentina. And then there's the chase pack. France, Mexico, uh, Germany, and Vietnam all up there in that middle pack. Trying to catch up to Argentina and Australia. Or your top two and they both go through the DRS and here comes Belgium and France they're not able to do anything right now France trying to draft Australia they're having some hard time uh, as Argentina losing some ground Australia trying to come up from behind but here comes France but they're not able to do anything you're in eighth lap right now and it is Argentina still in the lead France overtakes for second place Australia has fallen down to third and here comes a bunch of other marbles it's Mexico then Germany and then Australia uh, well he will round off your top five France takes over for first place Argentina has fallen down to second let's see if France can hold it Argentina wants to keep the lead they were in the lead for quite a while and they want to take it back we are almost about to enter the midway point of this race is France being followed by Argentina and then the chase pack, which is Germany, Mexico, Vietnam, and a bunch of other marbles all the way down to eighth place, all right there next to each other. The top two are trying to break away from the rest of the field farther than they already are. France is just trying to 
single himself out from Argentina. Argentina does not want that to happen, though. He's trying to catch back up, and he's gaining a little bit of ground there. And uh, Germany is still facing pressure from Mexico, who's been doing decent in this race. He hasn't been able to hold the lead, but he has been in the top five for most of this race. And here comes Argentina on the right side, and they overtake for France through the DRS zone. And Argentina is back in the lead. France still in second. And here comes Belgium for third place. So they get a big boost of speed there, and they're catching up to France. Let's see if they can overtake for second place, or France can hold it and maybe even take back first from Argentina. To the DRS for France, that loses them a little bit of time, as well as for Belgium. Argentina really extending their lead. And here comes Mexico, and they overtake for third place over Belgium. And France still in second, trying to catch up to Argentina. Argentina is having an amazing race. They've been able to stay in the lead for almost the entire race, and then when they do, they really get far ahead, and all the other marbles have a really hard time catching back up. We are in the 13th lap. Over halfway through this race, and it's still Argentina. Being followed by France and then Mexico. Let's check in on some of these other marbles. The USA is in 11th. India is in 12th. The two top two uh, starter marbles in the starting gate. They're not having a good race. Germany all the way down in 10th. And Australia in 9th. Australia was in 2nd and 1st for some of this race. What has happened to them? For Argentina, though. Having a tremendous race in first for almost every lap. They've probably been in first for probably like 10 laps out of these 15 laps we've had so far. And it is still France in second, Mexico in third. And here comes Japan. We haven't seen them in the top five yet, and they're in fourth place now. But they have a long way to go to catch up to Mexico. And China all the way up to fifth now. They were in the bottom half, and now they're up in fifth. See if they can catch up to Japan and Mexico. France still inching their way up, trying to gain every possible space they can on Argentina. And they've caught up. There's the lead on Argentina is gone. France be able to pass here. Mexico and Japan still in third and fourth. And Argentina is able to regain their lead. It's not as large as it has, as it has been, but France is still trying to catch up here comes Mexico and Japan in third and fourth and there's a pass for France and France is now in first place Argentina is furious they're trying to come up and take it back they only have two more laps to go can Argentina retake the lead over France will this be a runaway for France Argentina is drafting them Let's see what they can do through the DRS they go and a little bit of trouble there but they use it to their advantage Argentina is back in the lead quite the strategy going up on that uh, striped area and using that to kind of change their angle of the rolling and pass France on the inside. Mexico still in third place, Japan in fourth, China in fifth. As we enter the final lap, it's Argentina in lead, but here comes France and they overtake for first place in the final lap. Argentina trying to catch back up, but France has already gained somewhat of a lead. Only a couple more turns to go, and here comes Argentina drafting France. This is going to be a race to the line. France still has to a hold off for one more corner, and it looks like they're going to be able to. And it will be France who is the champion of this race. Argentina coming in at second, and surprise China coming in at third place over Mexico. They're over to, uh, able to take third place right at the last second over Mexico. Who gets fourth? Japan in fifth place. Belgium in 6th, Germany 7th, USA 8th, Brazil 9th, Vietnam comes in at 10th, Australia in 11th, and India in 12th place. Wow, you made a sensational race with beautiful overtaking. Congratulations on your first victory at the Marvel Circuits 2022. Yes, 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 I'm very happy now. I didn't expect to have such a special weekend. Thank you to the whole team. You see the France Marble. Very excited about their win over Argentina. Argentina led most of the race. And then it was France at the very end in the last lap. Coming in from behind. A surprise win by France. They're definitely excited. 
with the result of this race. Argentina not so excited. They were cheated out of their first place. They did so good. Then they lost out in the final lap. And then China getting respectable third place. Good finish for them. They started all the way back in 11th. So that's quite the gain they had in this race. Congratulations to France. We are back for another tournament here on Fubeca's Marble Runs. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and today we have a marble treadmill race. That's right, we have a treadmill for these marbles to race on, yet it is not a race. It is more focused on endurance and lasting longest, because if you fall off the end of the treadmill right there, you will be eliminated. So this will be a unique event for these marbles to compete in. We'll have to see how they do in this new event. Also, a quick announcement. The Hapei Kojula Tournament is being pushed back to September 18th. So mark that on your calendars, and that's going to be a lot of fun up here in a couple weeks. Now it's time for the practice system for this tournament. We have two semifinals going off to one final. Two marbles from each semifinal will advance to the final. And now it's time for semifinal ice. Spain, India, USA, and Portugal. And they're off on the entrance track, and they enter the uh, treadmill for the first time. And we'll have to see who can endure the most. How you really endure in this race is you want to stay closest to the end of the treadmill as possible because the more movement you have, the more momentum you will gain, which means that once you get down to the bottom, you will shoot back off because there's a little ramp at the end. And then you might fall off at the end right there, almost like the USA did there. And they might have some trouble. Uh, but they were able to bump into another marble, I believe. That was Spain. And use that to their advantage. That is one strategy you can do in this type of event. Oh, here comes Portugal. Oh, and they fall off. So Portugal will be eliminated. We only have three more marbles. And a hit from India to the USA. But nothing happens. India is having a little bit of trouble. They're getting pretty close to the edge of that treadmill. Also, besides endurance, this is also about stamina. Because eventually, you're going to run out of energy. And you won't be able to roll fast as you did when you first started the race. Look at that, the USA just hovering there. They're not even going up or down. They're rolling the same speed as the treadmill. As well as for Spain and India going all over the treadmill. Let's see if they hit the USA there. And they do there, bumping the USA from behind, but a quick rebound from the USA to Spain. And now the USA is back in their stable position. India and Spain having a little bit more trouble now. Which marble will be advanced or will be eliminated out of this round? India continues to push the USA out of their stable position. Oh, they moved over a little bit, and here comes India as well. Spain is closer, but now they're coming up as well. Not a lot of movement from these three marbles at this point. Oh, the USA having a little trouble on the wall. They're losing some momentum, and here comes Spain as well. But nothing happens there. India. Has an interesting strategy. They kind of like to go back and forth on the treadmill. The USA tries to stay at a more constant uh, area in the front of the treadmill, which, I, in my opinion, would be the better route. Ooh, here comes the USA. Close to the edge of that treadmill, though. And India, really fast right there, but they aren't able to... Well, I guess they wouldn't want to fall off there. And they do there, though. India will be eliminated. And the USA and Spain will advance to the final round. And look at that, USA finishing right there as well. And Spain will be the winner of this specific heat. That lasted a really long time. The first marble, Portugal, finished in 40 seconds. And then uh, India finished a whole two minutes after that. Now it's time for semifinal B. Mexico, the United Kingdom, Brazil, and France. And what happened there? Brazil is off the track. Where'd he go? And he came flying out underneath the little ramp section at the end. Not sure if that's allowed in the rules. I don't think the officials are doing anything about it. Guess it's going to stay as it is. An interesting strategy by Brazil. I think that gained them a couple seconds to allow the other marbles to kind of 
uh, collide with each other. And then Brazil just kind of popped out from underneath that ramp when all was calm. And Brazil still doing pretty good as well as the United Kingdom and uh, Mexico. But United Kingdom and Mexico both pretty far behind as well as for Brazil there. All three models really getting a lot of momentum there. The longer you are on that little ramp section, the less spin that you will have. And when you come back onto the treadmill, it'll push you even harder. This treadmill is leaned. That's why the marbles will roll back because gravity will take over this backward spinning. And there goes France. France has been eliminated. Only three more marbles left. But as I was saying, when you go on that ramp, you're no longer rolling downhill and you actually start to roll backwards a little bit to enter back onto the treadmill. And that's when the treadmill really takes over and pushes you really far behind and takes these marbles quite a while to regain control and roll forward. We're at a minute and 30 seconds now. Two hits. You have, uh, Brazil to United Kingdom to Mexico. Mexico is the one who's farthest behind right there. Look at that. All right next to each other. It's almost like they're cooperating. But at one of these points, one of these marbles is going to have to push out of their shell and hit one of the other marbles into the zone. The United Kingdom flirting with the edge of the treadmill and a bump to Brazil. So Mexico coming up a little bit close to the edge of the treadmill as well. And there's Mexico having a little bit of trouble there. They actually went up kind of on the side of the ramp. That made them lose a lot of speed. And there you go. They couldn't keep it in control. They will be eliminated. And Brazil in the United Kingdom will advance. But now they're just racing for the championship of this heat. Which marble will be the overall winner of this heat? And it will be United Kingdom. Brazil, the third marble to fall off the treadmill. And that Kingdom will be able to finish without falling off the treadmill. Now it's time for the final round in this treadmill tournament. Four marbles. We have USA, Spain, United Kingdom, and Brazil. Which marble will be crowned champion in this marble treadmill tournament? And where off USA comes out to the lead. And that also causes them to get eliminated right away. The USA instantly out of the podium. A disappointment for the USA, only lasting six seconds. What a tragedy for the USA. The other three marbles are still going constant. Nine Kingdom with a stable position right there. Oh, here comes Brazil and Spain so close to the edge of the treadmill. Here comes Brazil yet again. He's able to dodge the edge of the treadmill. Brazil and Spain fighting for second place. The United Kingdom staying more stable. And there goes Brazil. Brazil will get third place in this tournament. They lasted 45 seconds. And now it's a duel. Spain versus the United Kingdom. Who will make it out on top? Who will last the longest? Right now, the United Kingdom having some trouble. And there's a hit from Spain trying to just nudge them far enough back that they will fall off the treadmill. I think the United Kingdom strategy, they're trying to get enough momentum that they can actually bump Spain so much so that they would fall off the treadmill. Spain is just trying to be constant and then when the United Kingdom stretches far enough back onto the treadmill, Spain will try to come up and hit them from behind. Two very different strategies. Which one will come out on top? Here comes Spain trying to nudge the United Kingdom back towards the end of the treadmill. They haven't performed this technique perfectly yet because the United Kingdom is still here. There's a little nudge from the United Kingdom to the ramp and that causes Spain to go haywire. They got a lot of momentum and a bump back right to the United Kingdom. They are fighting in this treadmill. Here they come right back and another bump the United Kingdom. But Spain is able to dodge a little bit. Let's see another bump right here. Oh, nope. They barely miss. Now they're having some trouble. They're counting on hitting Spain to lose all their momentum. Oh, there they go. And it is Spain. Spain will be the champion of this tournament. United Kingdom coming in at second. What a duel for the final round. The two marbles in the top two spots. Dueling it out. And it is Spain who will be the champion of this tournament. And so... The strategy of waiting and then hitting the marble from behind after they had already gotten back 
is the better strategy. Congratulations to Spain for being the champion of this tournament. Hello and welcome to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this friendly tournament. We are back in Melbourne, the location of the first race from the Marble Circus 2022. And we are going to have a friendly race here on the same track. You can see the 12 marbles competing in today's race. Brazil, Vietnam, France, Argentina, China, Belgium, Japan, the USA, Australia, India, Mexico, and Germany. And these are going to be the 12 teams that will be competing in today's friendly race. We'll be having 16 laps, and we'll have to see which one of these marbles is the fastest through this type of track with all these different types of turns, as well as the DRS, which is a track or a feature that some of these teams are not accustomed to. We'll have to see how they react in this race. You can see they're all ready in the paddock, and we're about to start the race. And the lights are on. And away we go. 16 laps and already Vietnam takes the lead through the first stretch. Brazil already falling down. Here comes Belgium. And now they're in the lead up the booster for the first time. And who comes out, uh, out of the frenzy? It is the USA. And now here comes China. And they overtake uh, through that corner. And there's a lot of overtakes for the first position. In this first lap, we have uh, 15 more laps to go. We'll have to see how China reacts to the USA in the upcoming uh, laps. And it is Argentina in third place trying to pressure the USA. But right now, they're pretty far behind. But here goes the USA through the DRS. And actually, the Argentina goes through as well. And Belgium is able to take third place. USA, though, still trying to come up and overtake China. Who... Uh, does right there. Good move by the USA. And they're able to overtake China for first place. And as well as for Belgium, they overtake second place. China has fallen down to third place. Can they stay in the top three? Or will they be passed? Yes, they will right there. India is now in fourth. Because Belgium is able to take third place over China. China is falling down the order quite quickly. And uh, they're not doing very good at this point. And here comes uh, Belgium and India. They're all fighting with Argentina for the third place. And Argentina is able to take second place there. And now they're catching back up to the USA, who has been quite quietly in the lead. And they get overtaken by Argentina. Argentina now in the lead. The USA has some catching up to do. They want to be able to win this race. Uh, and uh, India and Belgium also need to catch up to the USA if they want to be able to finish on the podium, at least for India. Belgium is on the podium, and now here they are, drafting the USA. And Argentina trying to gain a significant lead in front of the USA. The USA is having some trouble catching up because they're having to defend themselves from Belgium. We go down the lap here. We are on the sixth lap of the booster again. And Belgium overtakes the USA, and now they're pressuring Argentina. Here comes a sprint from the USA, and they take first place. Great move by the USA through the uh, correct side of the DRS. Belgium in third place, trying to catch up to Argentina and the USA still in the lead. They regained it from Argentina. Let's see if they can hold it for the remainder of the race. We still have the greater part of half of the race. And a little pressure from Argentina there, but the USA is still able to hold the pole position. Here comes Belgium, move on the inside. And they're able to take second place over Argentina enter the eighth lap when this will be the midway point of this race we only have eight more laps to go belgium is 0.73 uh milliseconds behind usa not milliseconds uh 0.73 seconds and they are gaining argentina though falling back behind and now they have some pressure from france and germany coming up now and let's see if they can do anything over argentina USA and Belgium. Nothing really happening right now. They're too spaced out to really have anything drastic happen. But France has taken third place. And now they're setting their sights on Belgium and the US. Let's see if they can catch up. They're at least probably like a half a second uh, behind Belgium. And Belgium is now drafting the USA. And a little bit of trouble there. And they get caught up. And France gets caught up as well. And France is falling down the order. Argentina now takes second place over Belgium. 
We've had a wreck here on the course. We only have six more laps to go. We are in the 10th lap. The USA was able to get out of that crash as quickly as possible. I think they were actually ahead before uh, the crash happened. And then Argentina now coming up and trying to take first place from the USA. But the USA does not want that to happen. So they are still staying in the lead. Belgium coming in at third place. Germany in fourth. And Mexico round off your top five. China is in sixth place. They started off in first in the first lap. But now... They are down in six, and here comes Argentina, and they take the lead over the USA here in the 11th lap. It is Germany finishing off the podium at this point in third place. They are not very far ahead from Belgium and Mexico. Let's see what Mexico and Belgium can do. It is still Argentina in the lead, being followed by the USA and then Germany. USA and Argentina have been fighting this entire race, and here comes the USA, and they overtake for first place. But here comes Belgium and Germany, and they are both pretty close. But uh, Germany is starting to fall back a little bit, and there's second place for Belgium. Now they're drafting the USA. The little bump off the wall there causes some loss of speed, and now Argentina is drafting Belgium. And Belgium, through the booster they go, and they take second place, and now... Uh, here comes Argentina because Belgium goes up on the little side uh, ramp on this turn. And Argentina is able to take the quicker route. Now they're trying to come up and overtake the USA. The USA is still in the lead and they are showing themselves as a fierce competitor in this friendly race. It's not coming in uh, so friendly anymore. And here comes Belgium though and they're trying to overtake second place from Argentina and then in fourth place we have Brazil first time we've seen them in the top four let's see if they can get into the top three and then France up there in fifth place look at that China all the way down in 11th place we are having a downfall in this race we are on the penultimate lap but it's still the USA in the lead and a little bump from Argentina there but nothing happens and uh some rough racing by Argentina. Belgium following close behind in third place. As we start, the final lap is the USA in first place, being followed by Belgium, and then Argentina. A quick change there. Last-minute change. Belgium overtaking 